Divine Summer Empire, Jiangning Province, West Sea City. On the playground of West Sea First High School, several professionals were setting up a spell formation. West Sea First Middle School, more than 100 senior students, were unified for the transfer today. More than 100 senior students were sitting upright, listening to Principal Lu Yun's speech. Students, after three years of study, you have all learned and mastered the theoretical knowledge about the professionals. Today, will be the day of your transfer, and the day that will determine your future lives. I won't talk too much nonsense here, I hope that all of you can reach the heights of Su Qianqing's classmates and become pillars of our human race. The Su Qianqing that Lu Yun spoke of was once a student of the first middle school as well, who had transmuted into a holy mage, and was currently a great man of up to level 80. Lu Yun often used his deeds to teach his students. Lin Muyue looked at the transfer spell array that was about to be erected and completed on the playground, her gaze sinking slightly in anticipation having come to this world for several years, she already knew what kind of world it was. This world was combined with a game, and people would make transfers in their senior year of high school. Passing through a copy, raiding a secret realm, joining a battlefield, or killing monsters in the wild, one could gain experience. Get experience, level up, skill up, and strengthen your strength. Fighting against all kinds of demons and monsters, you will be able to create a space for the human race to survive. Countless human sages spilled their blood and sacrificed their lives to have their current lives. The success rate of transferring to a new profession had long since reached 100%, but it was only a matter of whether the profession was good or bad. The most popular is naturally the main combat profession, followed by the auxiliary profession, the next is the life class profession but this is only a rough classification, the main combat profession is certainly popular, does not mean that the auxiliary class and life class profession is poor. Powerful auxiliary professions are also the meat and potatoes, whether it is a copy or playing the secret world, or on the frontline battlefield, auxiliary professions are indispensable. Even some places, would rather have one less output, but also cannot lack an auxiliary. The same is true for life class professions, and there have been god class life class professions that are equally powerful. In Lin Meiyu's understanding, whether a profession is powerful or not, it mainly depends on the person. There were trashy main fighters, and there were also god tier auxiliaries. As a ray of light shot up into the sky, the transfer spell array had been set up. Lu Yun waved his hand, follow me and set off. He led more than 100 senior classmates to the playground Lin Meiyu followed the group forward, pondering in her heart that she didn't know what profession she would be transferring into. It was anyone's guess as to what one would transfer into. Some people usually performed average, but ended up switching to a powerful main combat profession. Some people usually performed well, but ended up becoming a life class profession. Although he was known as the two geniuses of the first middle school along with Xia Shui, the only way to really know what he would be able to transmute into would be to enter the spell. His shoulder was tapped, and Gao Yang came over with a smiling face, what would you most like to transfer into? Lin Mou looked at him and shook her head, not answering. Gao Yang continued to laugh, tell me, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you, I'd most like to change into a knight, look at me, I'm tall and big, changing into a knight would definitely be awesome, and then I can also protect my sister. His physique was indeed quite suitable for the knight profession. But it was difficult to transfer into a main combat profession. Lin Meiyu had counted it, and it was about a 10% probability. Out of these 100 plus people, there wouldn't be more than 15 that could become a main combat profession. As Gao Yang continued to speak, Lin Mou just smiled faintly and didn't answer. Lin Mou spoke very little, and although her grades were very good, she didn't have many friends. Many people felt that Lin Mou was sick. Gao Yang said a couple sentences and went to talk to someone else again. Someone pulled Gao Yang, what are you talking to the muffled talker for, it's not like he's going to answer you. That's right, just better grades, what's the big deal? I don't know what I can transfer into today, maybe just a life class occupation. A few people said in a few words, Lin Mou was generally popular among her classmates, many people felt that Lin Mou was too cold and arrogant. Her grades were good, so she looked down on others. Gao Yang laughed, actually, Ma Yu just simply doesn't like to talk. Unfortunately, no one believed this. Lin Mayu wouldn't explain more, there was no need. The group arrived in front of the spell formation, Lu Yun walked up to an old man and said respectfully, Master Zhang, I'm troubling you today. Grandmaster Zhang shook his head, it should be done. Grandmaster Zhang did not hide his information, everyone could see it. Zhang Xian, level 52, formation master. Lin Ma Xian was slightly surprised that he was a formation master, and his level was as high as level 52. Formation masters were considered a rare profession of the auxiliary class and were not common. Formation masters were on the battlefield was very popular, once the formation was set up, whoever entered that area would Dai Lu Yun and Zhang Qian exchanged pleasantries before walking back. He took out a list and looked at the students, the following students whose names I read into the transfer formation. Everything that should be taught has been taught and you all know it, don't be nervous, just relax. First, Su Dei. Su Di answered the voice and walked into the transfer formation with some apprehension. 
The spell array roared into action, and with a brilliant burst of light, Su Da's transfer ended. Life class occupation, farmer. Su Da's face turned slightly white, not realizing that he had become a farmer. Su Da has become a farmer. Farmer is fine, if you can upgrade to a great farmer or even a holy farmer in the future, it's also a good profession. Aha, uh -huh, in the life class professions, farmer isn't that bad. Chapter 2 Transferring Visions, I Won't Lose to You After Suda stepped down from the spell, his usually good friends comforted him Tension. Tension, whose name was called, jogged all the way into the phalanx. Again, there was a brilliant glow. Life class occupation, chef. Tension was satisfied with his profession, my dad is a chef, I didn't realize that I'd become a chef as well, it's kind of like my son following in his father's footsteps. Hang man. Nyoda. One after another, people went up to perform transfers, and most of them became living professions. Occasionally, there were a few auxiliary professions, while at least the main combat professions were even rarer. As more and more people went over to transfer, Lu Yun's face wasn't very pretty. Zheng Qian stood by Lu Yun's side, and as the arranger of the transfer spell formation, he knew the transfer situation very well. This year's students are average. Hearing Zhang Qian's words, Lu Yun also sighed, yeah, there hasn't been a single rare profession until now. Zhang Qian snorted, still rare professions, how many years has it been since your first middle school has produced a rare profession, it would be nice to have a main battle class higher profession. Lu Yun laughed, yeah, there are only one or two rare professions that come out every year in the entire West Sea City, I'm too extravagant. Xia Shui. Lu Yun called out another name. Xia Shui answered and left. Before she set off, Xia Shui even glanced at Lin Mashue, a hint of provocation flickering in her eyes. She and Lin Mou were known as the two geniuses of the first middle school. However, in terms of grades, Lin Mou always pressed Xia Shui, who was always second. Xia Shui always held a breath in her heart, she wouldn't admit defeat. Lin Mou ignored Xia Shui's provocation, he acted as if he didn't see it, still maintaining a bland demeanor. Hmph, this young lady will let you know who the real genius is. Like a proud swan, Xia Shui walked into the transfer spell with a confident stride. Zheng Xian, who always had his eyes closed, suddenly opened his eyes and glanced at Xia Shui, this girl is not bad. Lu Yun froze slightly, why did Master Zhang say that? Her mental power is more than twice as strong as an ordinary person, she might be able to transfer into a mage. Mage. Lu Yun was instantly energized. Mage was a higher profession of the main combat class. There hadn't been any higher professions of the main combat class this year until now. If it was some special mage, it would be a proper rare profession. The spell formation was in operation, and the light was bright. Two huge fireballs suddenly rose from the light and exploded like fireworks. Lu Yun trembled with excitement, a vision, a rare profession. The appearance of a vision represented a rare occupation. Main combat class rare occupation, elemental mage. Lu Yun's mood at the moment was incomparably excited, just now he was still saying that rare professions were just a luxury he didn't expect a pillow to come to him when he dozed off, and it came true just after he wished for it. Wow, Xia Shui is so powerful, it's actually a main combat class rare profession. Elemental mage ah, too powerful, it said that after leveling up, the attack power is quite terrifying. That's right, in a city like our West Sea City, a god-level elemental mage can be wiped out by directly throwing a forbidden spell down. Worthy of being a genius, the name is true. Xia Shui was similarly filled with excitement as she walked down from the spell formation. Zhang Xian made it a point to say, little girl, you're very good. Lu Yan's face was also smiling like a blooming chrysanthemum at this moment, overjoyed. Xia Shui bowed respectfully towards Zhang Qian, thank you senior for the compliment. After Xia Shui went back, a bunch of her classmates surrounded her and asked questions non-stop main battle class rare occupation ah, that was really rare. Occupations were also graded in addition to being categorized. In addition to the living class occupations are not graded. The main combat class and auxiliary class occupations can be divided into five levels, low level, intermediate level, high level, rare, and legendary. Legendary professions were almost unheard of, the entire Divine Summer Empire might not be able to produce one in ten years. Rare professions were relatively more numerous, like West Sea City could produce one every year, and sometimes there would be two. The current Xia Shui, Lu Yan Su Qianqing who was often on his lips, were all rare professions of the main combat class. Lin Mu Yue. Lin Mu Yue heard his name and lifted his feet towards the spell. Xia Shui looked at Lin Mu Yue with a challenging look in her eyes. Lu Yan asked, Master Zhang, what do you think of this child? Zhang Chen looked at Lin Mu Yue, aside from being particularly calm me, there's nothing special about him. Lu Yun said, there are two geniuses in our school, Xia Shui from just now is second and he is first. Zhang Qian spoke indifferently, there is no necessary connection between academic performance and transferring, you should understand this. Lu Yun naturally understood, but he still harbored expectations. If there could be another rare profession, that would be through the roof. 
the spell formation operated and erupted with bright light. The originally bright sky suddenly darkened, and in the blink of an eye, dark clouds overwhelmed the sky. A gust of cold wind blew from all directions, and the temperature dropped drastically. Day turned into night, as if the end was coming. What's with the wind? There are so many dark clouds under the sky. It doesn't say it's going to rain, this wind is so cold. Lu Yun was surprised, what's going on? Zhang Qian stared at the spell formation and said indifferently, a vision. Transmutation vision. Lu Yun was almost about to cry out in shock, such a large transformation vision was unheard of. With that, he was alarmed, such a large vision movement, it wouldn't be right if it didn't give a rare profession ah. Just don't know if it's a support class or a main combat class. Impossible, I won't lose to you. Xiaoshui clenched her fists, this vision was much more dynamic than what she had just seen. In her heart, she was not convinced of losing, but purely from the vision, she had to be convinced. Chapter 3, The Skeleton Warrior That Came Out of the Trash Heap Suddenly, a student shouted, Look guys, there's movement in the dark clouds. Everyone looked up. A bit of firelight rose from the dark clouds. The firelight floated in the air, rising and falling. Besides the firelight, there seemed to be something else. And there was also a clicking and clacking sound of friction coming out of the many dark clouds, which was toothsome to hear finally, a sharp-eyed student saw what was in the dark clouds and was so scared that he fell on his butt and sat on the ground. It's skeletons, the ones in the dark clouds are skeletons. Along with his words, the image in the dark clouds had fully unfolded. Thousands of skeletons were densely packed, and that firelight was clearly the soul fire in their skulls. One skeleton glowed with a ghastly white light, hideous and terrifying. Although they knew that this was just a vision, there were still many students who were scared to the point of retreating. One of the soul flames descended from the sky and landed on Lin Mashian. All the visions then instantly disappeared, and everything returned to the way it was. Uniqueness hidden profession, necromancer. Not a rare profession. Rather, it's a hidden profession. And it's also a unique hidden profession. This meant that there was only one of this profession in the entire world unless Limerick died, there wouldn't be a second identical profession. Hidden professions were even rarer than rare professions, and even less than legendary professions. It wasn't clear if they were strong or not, but it was certain that they were fewer anyway. Lin Muyu's necromancer profession was the only one in the world. Lin Muyue is so powerful, he actually became a hidden profession, and it's still the only hidden profession. How could wordsmith's luck be so good, could it be a mistake in the spell? Hidden professions aren't definitely powerful, there are quite a few people in history whose hidden professions aren't very good. Right, 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 hidden professions are just less, not necessarily powerful. But the vision just now was so scary, and his profession is called necromancer, so does he have to deal with the dead all the time? He originally didn't speak, isn't it just right to deal with the dead, and there's no need to speak? Lin Meiyu came down from the spell after his full occupation awakening. The uniqueness of the hidden profession, he was also a little excited in his heart, but from his face was nothing to be seen. Joy and anger were not visible, having shock and excitement in one's heart was fine, why bother putting it on one's face? Wait a moment. While passing by Zhang Qian, Zhang Qian suddenly opened his mouth and called out to him. Lin Mou turned around and saluted towards Zhang Qian, what are your orders senior? It wasn't that he didn't know how to speak, it was just that he spoke very little. The proper etiquette would not be missing. Zhang Qian asked, your profession is a hidden profession, and I've never seen it before, do you show a skill? Facing Zhang Qian's request, Lin Maxian did not refuse. Please wait a moment, senior. Having just completed his transfer, he was not completely familiar with himself after checking his attributes. Name, Lin Muyu A. Occupation, Necromancer, only. Level, 1, 0. 0%. 0 Strength, 10. Agility, 10. Spirit, 20. Physique, 10. Equipment, none. Summoning space, 0, 10. Skills, Soul Flame, level 1, Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 1. Soul Flame, level 1 burns the target soul, causing searing damage, power depends on your own mental strength and skill level. Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 1 summons a Black Iron Skeleton Warrior, skeletons can be categorized into Black Iron, Bronze, Silver, Gold, Diamond, Legendary, and Divine. In terms of attributes, Spiritual Strength trumped the other two attributes. This also represented the positioning of the necromancer, a profession belonging to the mage lineage. The soul flame skill also illustrated this. But the summon skeleton warrior skill was again somewhat similar to the summoner profession. Soul flame was definitely not suitable for displaying, so Lin Mou chose summon skeleton warrior the skill was activated and a black vortex appeared around Lin Moshian. A skeleton warrior burning with soul flame then walked out of the vortex. Spirit dropped from 20 points to 10 points in an instant, consuming a full half. The skeleton warrior of the black iron rank had grey bones on his body. 
There were quite a few cracks all over his body, and even the knife in his hand was broken and old, not knowing which rag pile he had picked it up from. More than just the knife, the entire skeleton warrior looked like it came out of a trash heap. Such a black iron level skeleton warrior didn't look the least bit powerful, as if it would fall apart as it went along. Lin Muyue also checked the attributes of the skeleton warrior in passing. Black iron grade skeleton warrior. Strength, 15. Agility, 15. Spirit, 15. Physique, 15. Skills, none. The four major attributes were quite balanced. No strengths or weaknesses no skills for now, will only use normal attacks. It wasn't as powerful as it could have been. When the skeleton warrior appeared, the students let out a gasp and unconsciously took a few more steps back. People always held fear for scary things. There were only a few bold ones that didn't move at all. Like Gao Yang, on the contrary, there was a hint of curiosity. Zhang Qian's fingertips glowed and landed on the skeleton warrior like a light breeze. A red light instantly emerged from the eyes of the skeleton warrior, looking towards Zhang Qian, and the soul flame pulsed violently with it. Skeleton warrior is attacked, whether to counterattack. Do not make a choice within 10 seconds, counterattack will be made automatically. A piece of information suddenly popped up in Lin Maya's mind, and he hurriedly ordered the skeleton warrior not to move. Zhang Qian wore a smile, very vigilant. Chapter 4 Looking at our family's Miyu? He was a level 52 professional with a high level of detection Lin Moyu was only level 1, and it was surprising that his summons would be hostile to him. Through the detection technique, Zhang Qian saw the attributes of the skeleton warrior. The attributes were ordinary nothing special. After all, Lin Mashiwe was only level 1 right now, and from this attribute, he couldn't tell if he was professionally strong or weak. Perhaps after leveling up, this skeleton warrior would become powerful as well. Zhang Qian waved his hand, thank you, work hard, maybe you'll be something in the future. Lin Mashiwe saluted towards Zhang Qian once again. The skeleton warrior walked along behind Lin Moyu, making clicking sounds while accompanied by gusts of cold wind, adding a bit more of a scary flavor. As he went back, many students unconsciously moved away from him. The skeleton was too scary. Gao Yang came over. Can I touch it? Lin Meiyu nodded her head, indicating that it was okay Gao Yang bravely reached out and touched the skeleton warrior. The touch of the steel plate again seemed a little cold. The flames on the skull had no heat, and the closer it got to the flames, the colder it got instead. Gao Yang asked, is this skeleton powerful? Lin Meiyu shook her head, it should be more powerful than you. Really? Don't quite believe it, it looks a bit tattered. At this time, Lu Yin called Gao Yang's name, Gao Yang answered, I'll go transfer first, I'll talk later. Lin Meiyu looked at the skeleton warrior and thought silently in her mind, recycle. The vortex appeared in front of him again, and the skeleton warrior disappeared after entering the vortex. The self-summoning space attribute bar also changed. Originally, it was summoning space, 010. Now it became summoning space, 110, skeleton warriors, number, 1. Lin Mashian carefully checked the introduction of the summoning space. Summoning space holds summon items place, summon items that are not normally used can be put into the summoning space and can be called out at any time when needed summons called out from the summoning space do not need to consume spiritual energy. In other words, you can usually summon a skeleton warrior and put it in the summoning space, and call it out any time you need it. Currently the summoning space had a capacity of 10 compartments and could hold 10 skeleton warriors. If the summoned object was injured, it could also recover quickly in the summoning space. As one leveled up, the capacity of the summoning space would also increase. Lin Mashian thought of the image he had just seen during the transfer. The image he saw during the transfer was completely different from the images others saw. He saw a dragon, a giant dragon. The giant dragon soared through the air, letting out pained cries from time to time. In moments, it fell back to the ground and tumbled madly. Lin Mashian saw that there were thousands of skeleton warriors, to say the least, crawling all over the giant dragon. The skeleton warriors waved their sharp blades and continuously landed on the giant dragon. Each strike caused horrifying wounds. No matter how much the dragon struggled, it was useless. Apart from wailing, the dragon could do nothing. In less than a minute, the dragon collapsed with a mournful cry. The dragon's eyes completely lost their luster. This scene let Lin Moyu know how strong the skeleton warriors really were. As long as they reached a certain number, even the giant dragons could be slaughtered like pigs and dogs. Lin Moyu believed that he would one day be able to reach that level as well, slaughtering dragons like dogs. The transfer spell burst into brilliant light. Gao Yang's transfer ended. Main combat class advanced profession, sword and shield knight. It was really as Gao Yang wished, becoming a knight. And not just any knight, but an advanced profession, sword and shield knight although both are knights, there is a fundamental difference between the two. Otherwise it wouldn't be qualified to be labeled as advanced. Gao Yang excitedly ran back, how about it, I told you I can for a knight. 
Lin Mou showed a rare hint of a smile, while also giving Gao Yang a thumbs up. Gao Yang laughed out loud and patted Lin Mei Yu's shoulder, in the future, we'll fight copies together and I'll stand in front of you. What's that saying, let me think. He patted his head, if you want to kill me, step over your corpse. Lin Mou was a bit speechless, she couldn't stand this guy and finally spoke, you said the opposite. Gao Yang was surprised, you finally gave up and opened your mouth. I intentionally said the opposite, didn't you realize? Discovered nothing. What intentionally said the opposite, that is to say the opposite, okay, but also refused to admit it. What a tease. Lin Mou gave Gao Yang a look of contempt everyone's transfers were finally all over. Lu Yun brought them back to the large classroom. This time, 106 students from the first middle school had their transfers, among them, Lin Mashua was a hidden profession. 12 transferred to the main combat class, 18 transferred to the auxiliary class, and the rest were all living classes. This ratio was already considered good, and Lu Yun was very satisfied. Classmates, the transfers have ended. Regardless of what profession you've transferred into, you all need to work hard to upgrade and increase your skill proficiency. Starting tomorrow, our Western Sea City's novice upgrade copy will be open to all of you students. All of you students can enter the replica for actual combat upgrades. Students of life class professions don't need to be in a hurry, the school has arranged a life skills hall for you, and there are teachers in there who will teach you to master various life skills. I hope that in the big exam in a week's time, all of you will be able to get good grades and enter the higher education institution of your choice. The information in the novice upgrade copy was basically clear to everyone. The monsters inside were concentrated between levels 1 and 8. And there weren't many of them, and the difficulty was very low. It was much safer than the West Sea City Wilderness. Of course, you can also not go to the newbie upgrade copy, directly to the field. As for life and death, deal with it yourself. At the end of the school day, Xia Shui stopped Lin Meiyu. Gao Yang smiled cheekily, Miss Xia, what, fancying our family's Moyu? Xia Shui frowned, get lost. Got it. Gao Yang rolled very dryly. Chapter 5, Divine Talent, Divine Passive, Undefeatable Little Strong Man. Xia Shui was a meter seven tall, with a shapely figure, and a small face that was extremely delicate, and was regarded by many as the school flower goddess. Unfortunately, Lin Mou was even taller, at 1 meter 85, even Xia Shui needed to look up Lin Mou, I want to compete with you. Lin Mou looked at her with a questioning face. Xia Shui knew that Lin Mou didn't like to talk, and spoke directly, I'll compete with you to see who gets better grades in the big exam, do you dare to compare? Oh. Lin Mou let out an O and walked around Xia Shui. Xia Shui stomped her foot, it's a deal, I won't keep losing to you. Xia Shui originally thought that her rare occupation could steadily suppress Lin Moiwei today. I didn't expect Lin Moshiwe to come with a hidden occupation. Regardless of how strong or weak the necromancer was, it was obvious that she had lost again. Xia Shui wouldn't give in. Lin Moi walked back home. The home was empty. Lin Moiwei made herself some food in a simple and casual manner. The furnishings in the house were very simple, there was hardly any furniture. A photo was very conspicuous. In the photo was Lin Mou, a beautiful young woman, and an old woman with gray hair Lin Mou in the photo was smiling under the sunlight. It was completely different from his current appearance. Besides him, the young woman and the old woman in the photo were also smiling in the same way. The photo was taken three years ago. He had traveled across and inherited the memories and emotions of the original owner, and had very deep feelings for the two people in the photo. In his previous life on earth, he was an orphan and had no relatives. Here he had relatives, relatives who loved him and loved him. He treasured them doubly. Unfortunately, the good times didn't last long. Two years ago, his grandmother died of illness. A year ago, his sister also went to the Xijing Academy. Now he was the only one left in the family. Lin Mashiwe's words became fewer and colder. I'm also going to the Summer Capital Academy. Lin Mo Yen said firmly in his heart. Not for any other reason, because Lin Mohan was there. It was just that the Xiaojing Academy was too difficult to take the test, and last year, only Lin Mohan was the only one in the entire West Sea City who had got nine and not came from outside. Principal Lu. Lu Yun stood at the door with a bag of things. Ma Yua, here's some food, take it and eat it first. Wait for some days, I'll send you fresh ones. Lin Ma Yu took the food, thank you. Lu Yun nodded, we're going into the replica tomorrow, have a good rest. For this year, Lu Yun had sent some food over every few days. This was something he had promised Lin Mohan to do. Last year, Lin Mohan had been accepted into the Xiaojing Academy as the top student of Shihai City. But Lin Mohan didn't want to go at that time, the reason being that he wanted to stay behind to take care of his younger brother, Lin Muyue. Once she went to Xiaojing Academy, she would not be able to return for at least three years. 
Lu Yun kept on giving Lin Mohan ideological work and assured him that he would take good care of Lin Mo Yu only then did Lin Mohan agree to go to Xiaojing Academy. Knowing that in a city like Shihai City, it was a great honor to have a student who had been admitted to the Xijing Academy. This was especially true for the first middle school and Lu Yun. Lu Yun did what he said he would do, and had always taken care of Lin Mo Yu over the past year. At night, Lin Mo Yu studied his skills. His spiritual power had been restored, and he could summon another skeleton warrior at any time. In his left palm, he held a bright red gemstone. This was the only thing he had brought with him when he crossed over, the mid Lu. When he raised his hand and was about to summon it, a voice suddenly sounded in his head. Detected that the host has awakened the necromancer profession. Occupation meets requirements, the strongest talent system is being bound. Starting to extract the world's origin and optimize the skills. Skill optimization complete. Congratulations to the host for awakening the unique divine talent, total increase, level 1. Congratulations to the host for acquiring the passive skill, damage transfer. Lin Muyue's spirit was shaken and he immediately checked his attributes. Name, Lin Muyue. Profession, Necromancer, Unique, Profession, Necromancer, Unique. Level, 1, 0. 0%. Zero Strength, 10. Agility, 10. Spirit, 20. Equipment, none, equipment, none. Summoning space, 110, Skeleton Warriors, number, 1, comma. Talent, total increase, level 1, unique, comma. Passive skill, damage transfer. Active skills, soul flame, level 1, summon skeleton warriors, level 1. Overall increase, level 1 increased the effect of all skills by 10 times. Damage transfer, all damage taken by the sorcerer himself is taken by the summoned object. Soul flame, level 1 burns the target's soul, causing searing damage, with power depending on one's spiritual power and skill level. Summon skeleton warrior, level 1 summons a black iron level skeleton warrior. The basic attributes hadn't changed, and currently only a talent had been added as well as a passive skill. But both of them were considered divine skills. There was no need to talk about the talent, the unique divine talent, which increased all skills by 10 times at just level 1. How strong this talent was, Lin Muyue could no longer accurately describe it with words. Even his always calm face showed a bit of shock at this time. The effect of the passive skill was similarly breathtaking, and it was completely described as god tier. All damage was transferred to the summon. In that case, as long as the summons didn't die out, he wouldn't die. If you wanted to kill him, you had to kill all his summons first. There was no need to say how powerful this passive skill was. If there were thousands of summons, Lin Moshian would be comparable to an immortal body this kind of passive skill was unheard of. It was only after a long time that Lin Moshian came back from his shock. He realized that the ruby on his left hand was gone. So it was you. Lin Moshua activated his skill to summon a black iron grade skeleton. A vortex appeared in front of his body. Accompanied by a toothsome friction sound, a black iron grade skeleton stepped out of the vortex. Chapter 6, Single Brush or Group On the surface, the black iron grade skeleton in front of him was no different from the black iron grade skeleton summoned in the afternoon. The shape hadn't changed much, it was the same as the one that came out of the garbage heap. You can't just look at the surface. Black Iron Skeleton Warrior Strength, 150 Agility, 150 Spirit, 150 Physique, 150 Skills, none With the same appearance, the attributes had changed drastically. All attributes had increased by 10 times. Strength, agility and spirit not to mention, the 10 times increase in constitution basically represented a 10 times increase in all of the skeleton warrior's vitality and defense combined with the damage transfer skill, it would be very difficult to kill Lin Mou. Lin Moshian released the skeleton warrior that was in the summoning space as well, and found that its attributes had also been doubled by 10 times. The full increase had worked just as well. With 10 points of mental energy left, Lin Moshua once again summoned a black iron ranked skeleton. He then began to meditate. Meditation was the best way to recover mental energy and could replace sleep. There were quite a few students in the school who could do it. Early the next morning, Lin Mo Yan woke up on time. Spiritual energy had been completely restored. The three black iron skeletons were standing faithfully in front of him, as if they were guards, not moving at all. As the soul fire pulsed in the skeleton skulls, the room was cloudy and the temperature dropped several degrees, it's nice in the summer, not having to worry about the heat. Lin Mo Xian thought in his heart, the corner of his mouth curling up very slightly. He once again used Summon Skeleton and recruited the fourth skeleton warrior. He then received all four skeletons into the summoning space. Retaining ten points of spiritual power and carrying four black iron-ranked skeletons that had been increased by ten times, Lin Moshian thought that it was completely sufficient. 
With 150 points of strength, even a level 7, level 8 night warrior would be nothing more than that. There was already a bus waiting in front of the school to take them to the location of the replica. When they arrived in front of the replica, it was already overcrowded. It wasn't just the first middle school that came to the novice replica, almost all of the students in West Sea City who had completed their transfers would come over there were a total of six middle schools in West Sea City, and there were more than 800 students who had transferred yesterday. Most of them had become living professions. Less than 200 were able to come here, not even a third of them. The students stood together as the school teachers went to check in for the duplicate entry procedures. Old Lou, you've gotten rich this time. One main battle class rare profession wasn't enough, another unique hidden profession, you're really rich. You guys have been amazing in your first middle school these past two years, last year there was a Lin Mohan who got into the Summer Capital Academy. Are you planning to knock on the door of the Summer Capital Academy again today? Several principals gathered around and chatted feverishly. Lu Yun was red-faced at this time, Xia Shui and Lin Mo Yan are really good, if there is a chance, I really hope they can get into the Summer Capital Academy. Xia Shui? Isn't it that big miss from the Xia family? And Lin Mo Yu, how is that name so similar to Lin Mohan? Lu Yun said, Xia Shui is the big miss of the Xia family, and Lin Mo Yu is Lin Mo Han's younger brother. No wonder, the Xia family has a great bloodline heritage. As for Lin Mo Yan, the sibling is really something. Gao Yang poked Lin Mo Yan, do you want to team up together? Facing Gao Yang's invitation, Lin Moiwa shook her head. Gao Yang feigned anger, brat, are you looking down on me? This young master invited you in good faith, if you don't give this young master a reasonable reason, this young master definitely won't stop. Looking as if he was angry, in fact, the trace of laughter under his eyes had already betrayed him. Lin Moiwa ignored him, and sure enough, within two seconds, Gao Yang changed his face again. Boss, why on earth don't you team up with me? Lin Moiwa said indifferently, group leveling is slow, solo upgrading is fast. Gao Yan wondered, how do you know? Read more books. Lin Mo Yan returned another rare sentence. Gao Yang rubbed his head, obviously not quite believing it. At this time, Xia Shua suddenly said from the side, Lin Mo Yu is right, if you team up with two people, although it's faster to kill monsters, the experience needs to be shared equally between the two people. The speed of killing monsters in a team of two is increased by 50% to 60% at most, but the time to find monsters is fixed, so the overall efficiency becomes slower. According to the experience summarized by seniors, copies below level 10 are suitable for solo brushing. Copies above level 10 are only suitable for teaming up. Xia Shui said it clearly, and Gao Yang wasn't stupid and understood after thinking about it for a while. At this time, Lu Yun walked over. Aside from Xia Shui and Lin Mashue, all main combat professions should bring a few auxiliary professions to team up into a copy. Don't think about single brush upgrades, and realize that in the future, you won't be able to get away from your assistance when you go to high difficulty copies. Refusing to bring an auxiliary on a normal day, and looking for an auxiliary when you need one, how can it be so good? To put it politely, instead of looking for an assist that you don't know, it's better to look for your own classmates, at least there is a classmate bond between you guys, and you won't run alone if there's danger. Lu Yun said it very clearly, and it was true. It made those who had originally risen to the point of solo brushing calm down. If the main combat profession didn't bring an assist, the assisted upgrade speed would be very, very slow. Someone asked, why don't Xia Shui and Lin Mashin need to bring an assist? Lu Yun cleared his throat, the two of them are different, Xia Shui is going to take the Xiaojing Academy and needs to upgrade quickly. Moreover, Xia Shui wouldn't stay in the novice copy for too long, in two days at most, Xia Shui would leave the place. As for Lin Muyue, I don't understand his profession, I don't know his battle power, you guys can ask the auxiliary if they're willing to team up with him. Chapter 7, Let's Compete and See Who Upgrades Faster Several aides shook their heads. The majority of those who had become auxiliary milkmaid professions were girls. When these little girls saw Lin Moyu's skeleton warrior, they were scared to death, so what kind of team was there to form? Lin Moyu said indifferently, Teacher Lu, I'm also going to take the Xiaojing Academy. The meaning is very clear, I don't want to form a team, I want to brush alone. Lu Yun was slightly surprised, do you know how difficult it is to take the Xiaojing Academy? Lin Moshiu nodded, I'm confident. Lu Yun understood Lin Moshiu's determination, I hope you can succeed. If you wanted to take the exam to enter the Xiaojing Academy, the first thing was the level requirement. It had to be at least level 12 or above, with the insurance point going up to level 15. Last year, Lin Xiaohan was admitted to the Xiaojing Academy at level 16. It wasn't easy to rise to level 12 in just a week's time. As for level 15, it was even more difficult. The highest level monster in the novice copy was level 8, and it was impossible to rise to level 12. The level of danger in the wilderness was much higher than that of the novice copies, and a novice professional like them would just be sending them to their deaths by going there rashly. In addition to the level requirement, there were some other conditions. 
the specifics would need to wait until the big test to be known. At Lu Yun's request, several of the main combat professions had chosen to assist. Either two or three people formed a team. Gao Yang chose a prophet aid the prophet could give him points to increase his status, and could also heal appropriately, which was considered a good milkmaid. After the formalities were completed, the school issued weapons and equipment to each person. Fighters were assigned different weapons based on their different professions. Old Mi is handsome, right? Gao Yang got an iron sword and a shield, or he had a posture of the sky as the boss and I'm the oldest. Lin Mou also got a mace. Staff. Spiritual strength plus one. It didn't even have a little bonus, it wasn't a leveled weapon. There is no difference between having it and not having it, it can only be used for show. Xia Shui had her own weapon and didn't ask for the schools. Her weapon is a law book, Lin Mou can feel that there is not weak energy flowing in the law book, it should be a good weapon. Xia Shui said to Lin Mou before entering the copy, let's compare and see who upgrades fast. Lin Mou was non-committal, neither agreeing nor refusing Xia Shui hummed daintily and tilted her head to reveal her long, white neck, if you don't answer, I'll take that as a yes. Saying this she turned around and entered the copy. The corner of Lin Mayu's mouth twitched slightly, so competitive. Silently saying that, he also entered the copy with her. The environment of the novice copy was a prairie with lush grass that was more than half a meter high. Many slightly smaller monsters were hidden in the grass, making them difficult to spot. The density of monsters here was not high and it was quite safe, so it also led to a problem where the time spent looking for monsters was longer than the time spent on monsters. The point of the existence of newbie copies was to let newbies get used to battles and adapt to them. Lin Mashian released four skeleton warriors. Go find monsters to kill. With a thought, the four skeleton warriors had run out in four directions. Click 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 click. As they ran, they brought with them a gust of gloomy wind so fast. With an attribute of up to 150 points of agility, the skeleton warriors running speed was very fast. In the blink of an eye, they had already run tens of meters. At this time, a skeleton warrior swung the broken sword in its hand. Successfully killed Big Ears, plus 10 experience. The Big Ears exemption, which was only level 1, was directly killed by the skeleton warrior in seconds. Lin Mashian looked at the experience. The experience had increased by 1%. Each level 1 monster could increase its experience by 1%, and killing 100 of them would upgrade it. Successfully killed Big Ears exemption, experience plus 10. Successfully killed Big Ears exemption, experience plus 10. Continuous prompts appeared, and the four skeleton warriors kept finding Big Eared rabbits to kill them. In just a few minutes, Lin Mashian's experience had already increased by 10%. This efficiency, it was too high. Lin Mo Yen had originally planned to stay in the novice copy for two days and leave after leveling up to level 8 now, it seemed like it didn't take as much as two days. Lin Mo Yen released his skills and summoned a black iron rank skeleton warrior once again. This skeleton warrior ground then joined the team looking for monsters. Lin Mashiwe then sat down and began to meditate. Half an hour later, Lin Mashiwe received his first upgrade. Name, Lin Mou. Profession, Necromancer, only. Level, 2, 1. 0%. Strength, 20. Agility, 20. Spirit, 40. Equipment, none. Summoning space, 5, 20, skeleton warriors, number, 5, comma. Talent, total increase, level 1, unique, comma. Passive skill, damage transfer. Active skills, soul flame, level 2, summon skeleton warrior, level 2. Overall increase, level 1 increased the effect of all skills by 10 times. Damage transfer, all damage taken by the sorcerer himself is taken by the summoned object. Soul flame, level 2 burns the target's soul, causing searing damage, with power depending on one's spiritual strength and skill level. Summon Skeleton Warrior, Level 2 summons a Black Iron Level Skeleton Warrior. Level up, attributes increased. The summoning space changed from 10 to 20, enough to hold 20 summons. The skill level also increased. I wonder if the attributes of a Level 2 Skeleton Warrior have changed at all. Based on the knowledge that Lin Mashian had obtained, it was only right that the attributes of the summon object should also have increased when the skill level was raised. Because of the upgrade, the mental energy was completely restored. Lin Mo Yen unleashed his skill and summoned a black iron skeleton warrior once again. This time, Lin Mashiwen noticed a difference. The spiritual energy consumed by the level 2 skill had increased, and the consumption of summoning a skeleton warrior had risen from 10 points to 15 points. The level 2 skeleton warrior, although it was still black iron, its body was noticeably three times brighter the grey color receded quite a bit. At the same time the cracks on his body were a little less. Black iron grade skeleton warrior. Strength, 250. Agility, 250. Spirit, 250. Physique, 250. 
Skills, none. Chapter 8, Spirit-Based Attacks That Ignore Defense A level 2 skeleton warrior had an increase of 100 points in all attributes from level 1. It directly went from 150 to 250. Lin Meiyu knew that the increase wasn't actually that exaggerated, it was mainly because his own talent was too powerful. Otherwise, a level 2 skeleton would be 25 in all attributes, and after rising to level 1, the increase in all attributes would be 10 points. It was considered normal for the four dimensions to be balanced and the total amount to increase by 40 points. Although it wasn't weak, it wasn't that strong. The key still lay in the talent, the unique god tier talent. This talent and the necromancer profession, what a perfect match Lin Mashian continued to use his skill to summon skeleton warriors, increasing the number of skeleton warriors to seven. The seven skeleton warriors were like seven gold metal fighters, scattered throughout the novice copies constantly killing monsters. No matter if it was a level one or a level two, or even a level three, under their ragged swords, they were all killed in seconds without exception. The attributes were too strong, even without using any skills, the skeleton warriors possessed an extremely strong attack power. With 250 points of strength attribute, it shouldn't be much worse than a level 10 warrior. A level 2 skeleton warrior in the area possessed an attack power comparable to that of a level 10, and could completely walk sideways in a novice copy. The most crucial thing was that there were still 7 in number. No, 7 was just the start. Lin Moshian would continue to summon them after his mental strength recovered. Kill level 2 gray furred cat, experience plus 20. Kill level 3 brown dog, experience plus 30. Kill level 4 Blue-Eyed Rat King, experience plus 40. Seconds, seconds all the way, there was no suspense facing at least 10 levels of attack power, these monsters of only 3 or 4 levels. Died without suspense, without pain. Lin Moshian followed the trajectory of the skeleton's actions and slowly walked forward. As the skeleton warriors ran further and further away, a map gradually formed in Lin Mojing's mind, a shaped map of the secret realm. Ha, huh, there's such a function? The places that were walked over by the skeleton warrior automatically formed a map. In addition to killing monsters, the skeleton warrior also became a fully automatic mapmaker. After only an hour of work, his experience was once again about to fill up, and he would be facing another upgrade. He even gave up on meditation, what meditation was needed for such a fast upgrade speed. Just wait for his mental energy to automatically recover to full when he upgraded the skeleton warrior slashed one by one, striking hard and without mercy. At this time, Lin Muyu saw a monster that hadn't been killed by the skeleton warriors. Level 2 Gray Furred Cat Lying in the grass, it was missed by the skeleton warrior. What a lucky guy. Lin Mashue thought in his mind as a green-colored flame burned in his palm. Soul flame. This was his only offensive skill at the moment. The cyan flame was like an instantaneous movement, instantly appearing on the body of the level 2 gray-furred cat. The level 2 gray-furred cat let out a miserable cry, its body convulsed twice, and it directly fell to the ground and died. In the face of a 10x increased attack skill, the gray-furred cat was only left to be killed in seconds. Kill level 2 Gray Cat, experience plus 20. The Gray Furred Cat died, but from the surface, it didn't have the slightest sign of being burned by the flames. Lin Mayu understood, just like the skill description said, Soul Flame attacked the target's soul. This skill belonged to the Spirit Department's attack. Once again, his heart was shocked, there was a common special thing about spirit based attacks, and that was that they ignored defense. No matter how strong your physical defense was or how high your elemental defense was, you would not be able to defend against spirit based attacks. The hidden profession is indeed powerful the only two skills that are available are extremely powerful. Even without talent bonuses, a necromancer wouldn't be weaker than any of the legendary level professions. Lin Mashian had his own judgment, it might not be comprehensive or objective, but he believed that he judged eight or nine times. A pillar of light rushed out from his body. Upgraded. All attributes had increased by 10 points again, and mental strength had increased by 20 points. The skeleton warrior skill was also upgraded to level 3. The four-dimensional attributes increased by 10 points again, and after the increase it was an increase of 100 points the four dimensions reached a staggering 350 points. Lin Mashin continued to use the summon skeleton skill and summon three skeleton warriors in a row, bringing the number of skeleton warriors in the copy to 10. With 10 skeleton warriors, it was like sweeping across the copy. Kill level 4 blue-eyed mouse king, experience plus 40. Kill level 5 blue wolf, experience plus 50. The level 5 monsters are facing the skeleton warriors. Level 5 monsters faced the skeleton warriors and were also killed in a single slash. Lin Mo Yu didn't even need to do anything, he just needed to wait for the experience to be harvested. At this rate, in at most 2 hours, another level could be raised. As for the others, it would be good to level up to 3 on the first day, and it would only get slower and slower later on. After all, Lu Yun's requirement for them was to rise to level 8 in a week. 
Level 8 would be enough to enter a higher learning institution unless you wanted to get into one of those prestigious institutions that were ranked in the top 50 in the country, then you would need to be level 9 or even level 10 to be able to do so. Outside the replica, a few principals and lords started chatting and climbing again. They gathered around a table, made tea, and talked shamelessly. I don't know how many levels this year's group of little kids will be able to ascend to on the first day. Who remembers how many levels the previous highest record was? I remember it was level 5, right, the previous Su Qianqing and last year's Lin Mohan were both level 5. Su Qianqing and Lin Mohan are both rare professions, this year's Xia Shui is also a rare profession, they should be about the same. From their first day's upgrade speed, we can basically judge the upgrade speed of the following days. If girl Xia Shui can't level up to level 5 on the first day, it'll be hard for her to take the Xia Jing Academy. Lu Yun listened to a few of them and thought in his heart, I wonder how many levels Lin Ma Shui can rise to, hidden profession, it shouldn't be bad. After level 5, the upgrade speed would slow down drastically. The first day they were talking about was actually 12 hours. A countdown began once everyone entered the copy, and they would automatically detach themselves from the copy after 12 hours. It was up to how many levels could be ascended within these 12 hours. Suddenly, a huge aura came over. Chapter 9 Faster and Faster Leveling Speed Lu Yun waved his hand towards the visitor, Xia family head, come and sit down. Xia Dongyang, Xihai city Xia family head, Xia Shui's father. There were still empty seats at the table, so Xia Dongyang sat down without any hesitation. Good day to the several principals. Only after sitting down did he greet towards the few people. Xia Dongyang had a stalwart appearance and was not angry Lu Yun poured a cup of tea for Xia Dongyang, the Xia family headmaster is here to see girl Xia Shui, right? Xia Dongyang smiled, in these few years, Xiao Shua has been taken care of thanks to Principal Lu. Lu Yun waved his hand, I didn't do anything, girl Xia Shui is very smart and this transfer was very successful. Xia Dongyang said, I heard from my family. I just returned to West Sea City today, but unfortunately I wasn't able to catch up with Xia Shui's transfer. Lu Yun knew that Xia Dongyang was very busy and didn't have much time at home. We were just discussing whether Xia Shui girl could reach level 5 at the end of today's 12-hour copy. It's not too difficult for her to take the Xiaojing Academy. Xia Dongyang said, it shouldn't be a problem, even if it's a little bit short, it doesn't matter, I can go and trust someone. Lu Yun shook his head, I suggest you don't do that. I know the character of girl Xia Shui, if you do that, she will hate you. Xia Dongyang sighed, how could he not know? Xia Dongyang changed the topic, I heard that yesterday's transfer, your school also had a bit of a hidden profession, congratulations, I wonder what profession it is? Lu Yun's face glowed, the name of the profession is called necromancer, it's a profession that has never been seen before, it can summon skeletons, I don't know if it's powerful or not. Not all hidden professions were awesome, it wasn't like trash hidden professions hadn't appeared before. Can summon skeletons? It sounded a bit eerie and evil. And the name of a necromancer didn't seem too good either. Dealing with the dead undead would inevitably make people think. Lu Yun could see Xia Dongyang's thoughts, don't worry, although that Meru kid doesn't say much, he's a good kid, and his sister even got into the Xiaojing Academy last year. If girl Xia Shui goes to the Xiaojing Academy, you might be able to entrust Lin Molan to take care of her. With Lu Yun's words, Xia Dongyang was relieved. Having been friends for many years, he knew best what Lu Yun was like. In the novice copy, Lin Molan received the message that the skeleton warrior had sent back. It has reached the limit distance and cannot continue to stay away. At this time, the farthest skeleton warrior was already 500 meters away from Lin Mojing. That skeleton warrior was standing 500 meters away, no longer advancing. Lin Moshin also learned that the skeleton warrior must currently keep a distance of 500 meters or less from himself. Seeing that several other skeleton warriors were also about to reach this distance, Lin Moyu could only order them to come back. It was impossible to be a shirker, so Lin Muyue could only pick a direction to go deeper into the duplicate. The ten skeleton warriors formed a fan to open up the road in front of them, always maintaining a distance of about 100 meters from Lin Moyuani monsters in the path were killed by the skeleton warriors in seconds. In the fourth hour of entering the copy, Lin Moshue received his third upgrade. Name, Lin Muyue. Profession, Necromancer, only. Level, 4, 0. 0%. Zero Strength, 40. Agility, 40. Spirit, 80. Equipment, non-equipment, none. Summoning space, 1040, skeleton warriors, number, 10, comma. Talent, total increase, level 1, unique, comma. Passive skill, damage transfer. Active skills, soul flame, level 4, summon skeleton warrior, level 4, comma. After upgrading, Lin Moshian continued to summon skeleton warriors. At this point, the amount of mental energy consumed to summon a skeleton warrior had reached 25 points. Three consecutive levels had been raised in four hours. As there were more and more skeleton warriors, the speed of upgrading didn't drop much, 
but instead had a tendency to speed up. Lin Mashian brought his skeleton army and officially stepped into the second half of the novice copy a large number of level 5 monsters, and level 6 monsters began to appear. However, in front of the skeleton warriors whose strength attribute was as high as 450, it was all a matter of a single slash. Kill level 5 green wolf, experience plus 50. Kill level 6 black panther, experience plus 60. For Lin Mashian, the efficiency of killing level 1 monsters and killing level 6 was the same. So the higher the level, the better, and the higher the density of monsters, the better. Three more skeleton warriors were summoned, and the entire 13 skeleton warriors ravaged the novice copy. The experience value was rapidly increasing, with more skeleton warriors, the upgrade speed went up instead of down. At this rate, it won't take an hour to upgrade again. 12 hours on the first day of the novice copy, will I be able to directly level up to level 8? It's twice as fast as I expected, after leveling up to level 8, I can go to the outskirts of West Sea City, where there are higher level monsters. Lin Meiyu had already planned her upgrade route in her heart. Going to the outskirts of West Sea needed to be approved by the school before he could go, otherwise the guards in the city wouldn't let him out. Level 8 was the minimum standard, it couldn't go any lower. Kill level 7 brown bear, experience plus 70. As Lin Mashian continued to go deeper, level 7 monsters began to appear, again a matter of killing them in one hit. Novice copies were created for novices. The monsters were of low intensity, the overall environment was simple, and the safety was much higher than in the wild. So even though Lin Mashian was practicing and brushing monsters with ease, he still didn't take it lightly. In his memories, Lin M. Ohan had once returned from the outskirts of West Sea City with a bloodstained and injured body. She told Lin M. O. Yen very seriously that a lion fighting a rabbit also uses its full strength, and that one should not take things lightly under any circumstances. Lin M. O. Yu had memorized these words in his heart. Now he did the same. Chapter 10, No One Can Upgrade Faster Than Me. Level, 4, 99. 0%. Lin Muyue looked at his stats, it was time to upgrade again. The 13 skeleton warriors were slaying all around, their experience steadily rising. Compared to the previous level, this time the upgrade was even faster, and it only took 50 minutes before and after. The number of skeleton warriors is higher, the density of monsters is higher, and the speed of killing monsters hasn't changed. This is the reason why the upgrade speed didn't decrease but increased. Lin Mashian analyzed his current situation. Now that he had arrived at the depths of the novice copy, there were level 6 and level 7 monsters everywhere. Only the highest level 8 monsters remained unseen. The density of the monsters increased here, which led to him gaining experience at a faster rate the skeleton warrior was like a tireless gold medalist fighter, slashing one by one, constantly harvesting monster lives. The only pity was that the monsters in the novice copy would not drop anything. After all, this was the novice copy, a place dedicated to acclimatizing new professions to real combat, and it was very different from the wilderness. In the novice copy, almost all of the monsters were weakened as a whole. The only level 8 monsters here were the only ones that weren't weakened, maintaining a strength comparable to that of the field monsters. When leveling up to level 8 and facing level 8 monsters, you should already have a fair amount of combat experience by then. And after level 8, you will also leave the novice copy. So the level 8 monsters were just right to do a bridging, allowing the novice professionals to experience the intensity of the field monsters in advance. In this way, when they actually went out into the wild to fight the monsters, they wouldn't be overwhelmed as the upgrade light pillar appeared again, Lin Mashian finally reached level 5. Attributes increased and skills improved. The skeleton warrior strength also increased, and all attributes increased by 100 points once again. Kill level 7 brown bear, experience plus 70. Kill level 7 brown bear, experience plus 70. The skeleton warriors didn't stop moving because of Lin Moyu's upgrades, they were still tirelessly searching for monsters and killing them in seconds with their hands. From the moment Lin Moyu entered the copy, the skeleton warriors didn't stop. Hee <laughs> hee, upgrading has gotten slower. Lin Mashian realized that after reaching level 5, the upgrade speed was greatly reduced. Originally, at level 4, killing a level 7 brown bear would gain about 0.2% experience. It was enough to upgrade by killing only 500 of them. But after reaching level 5, killing a level 7 brown bear would only bring about a 1% experience boost. It would take 1000 kills to upgrade. The upgrading speed was a full double. At this rate, it would be difficult for an ordinary professional to rise to level 12 in just a week's time. Even after leaving the copy and traveling to the outskirts of the Western Sea, there isn't enough time. The Xiaojing Academy is really hard to take, and I don't know how my sister managed to rise to level 16 last year. Lin Meiyu calculated in her mind that if she wanted to take the Xiaojing Academy, she would need to be at least level 12. If you wanted to level up to 12 in a week's time, then you would have to level up to level 8 in at least 3 days in the novice copy. After level 8, head to the outskirts of West Sea City to hunt higher level monsters. 
Only then would it be possible to rise to level 12 within a week. Thinking about it this way, last year, Lin Mohan was able to rise to level 16, which was really a very, very fast speed Lin Mohan unleashed his skills, once again draining his mental energy and increasing three skeleton warriors. A whole 16 skeleton warriors, constantly looking to kill monsters. For Lin Mou, the time spent looking for monsters was much higher than the time spent killing them. It wasn't just killing over 1,000 leveled monsters, it wasn't much to allocate to 16 skeleton warriors. At most, in an hour or so, he would be able to rise to level 6. Who let him have more fighters? Lin Mashian kept moving forward, the skeleton warriors opened the way for him in the front, identifying all the monsters hidden in the bushes one by one and killing them in seconds. After walking for a while longer, the terrain of the copy finally changed. The grassland came to an end, and a forest appeared in front of him. Lin Mou knew that this was the end of the novice copy. The level 8 monsters in the copy were hidden in the woods entering the copy has used up 6 hours and 42 minutes so far, less than 7 hours, and I'm the only one who can make it to the end of the copy, right? It had just been 7 hours since the opening of the copy, and most people were estimated to have only risen to level 3. Even Xia Shui was at most level 4, or even less than that. Lin Mou believed that his upgrade speed was faster than anyone else's. He walked towards the woods without stopping his footsteps, wanting to see how strong the level 8 monsters that hadn't been weakened were. Were they strong enough for his skeleton warrior to fight? It was also good to prepare himself for the wilderness tomorrow. The skeleton warrior ran into the forest one step ahead of Lin Muyue. The forest was ringing with clicking sounds as the skeleton warrior raced through the forest in search of monsters. No monsters? The skeleton warrior didn't find any monsters. Lin Mashian felt strange as he followed suit just the moment he walked into the forest, a branch jerked over. The branch was like a long whip and landed on Lin Mojing like lightning. The speed was so fast that Lin Mou couldn't react in time. The branch, which seemed to be powerful, did not cause any damage to Lin Mou. Lin Mou didn't even have the slightest feeling, as if there was an invisible shield outside his body, protecting him. Passive skill, damage transfer. Any damage he received would automatically be transferred to his summons. He wouldn't receive any damage until the summons died out. Truly a divine skill, not much worse than a divine talent. Chapter 11, Killing All, Coming Out. Lin Mojing could see the owner of the branch, a large tree about 3 meters tall. Lin Mojing's fingertips glowed slightly as the detection skill was released. Detection technique was a skill that everyone knew, it could obtain some basic information. Whiplash Tree Level, 8 Description, normally in a dormant state, it will attack passing lifeforms, why didn't it attack when the skeleton warrior ran past just now? The skeleton warrior wasn't a lifeform and didn't have a life breath. So the skeleton warrior didn't cause the whiplash tree to attack. And when he came in, the whiplash tree attacked him. The long whip tree continued to launch attacks on Lin Mashian. Although it wouldn't cause any damage, Lin Mashian wasn't a fool to just stand there and let you hit him. He quickly retreated tens of meters and left the whip tree's attack range. The long whip tree did not move, and after Lin Mou retreated, it stopped launching attacks. The long branches of the tree danced continuously, as if it was on guard. It really is well intentioned. Lin Mashian understood the good intentions of the copy designer. From the low-level monsters after being weakened significantly, to the level 8 monsters that were the same strength as the outside world. Another selection of level 8 monsters was made, and such a plant-based monster that could sneak attack and wouldn't move was chosen the whiplash tree possessed the trait of sneak attack, allowing novice professionals to experience the dangers of the wilderness early on. The whiplash tree couldn't move and didn't have the ability to chase and kill professionals. Once there was danger, novice professionals could back away gracefully and get out of its attack range. Moreover, the attack range of the whiplash tree was exactly the same as the attack range of several long-range professions. This also cut off the possibility of remote professions speculating. Such a design would allow the novices to fight against real level 8 monsters in a safe situation. The entire newbie copy reeked of protecting newbies and nurturing them. With as few casualties as possible, the newbies were allowed to adapt to real battles and grow. A toothy clicking sound of skeleton warriors ran back. The entire 16 skeleton warriors arched over Lin Mashian like an army Lin Mashian's thoughts moved and a skeleton warrior rushed towards the long whip tree. For a non-living organism like a skeleton warrior, the long whip tree didn't make any reaction. It wasn't until the skeleton warrior made the first move and slashed at the tree with a large knife in its hand that the whip tree began to counterattack. The huge branches of the tree were like long whips on the body of the skeleton warrior, emitting metal striking sounds. The attack speed of the whip tree was very fast, the branches danced like crazy, every second there were three or four attacks fell on the skeleton warrior. However, the attributes of the skeleton warrior were too high, up to 550 body mass, super thick blood and defense. Some tiny cracks appeared on the bones that were attacked, but then they quickly recovered. Ha! Huh? It wasn't killed in seconds. Lin Mashian was slightly surprised. 
Level 1 to 7 monsters were all the result of a second kill, but when it came to level 8 monsters, the situation changed for the first time, the skeleton warrior failed to kill its target in seconds. Is this the strength of a wild monster? Let's see how many slashes you can withstand. 1 slash, 2 slashes, 3 slashes. After 4 slashes, the long whip tree stopped all movement. Killed level 8 whip tree, experience plus 160. Seeing the reminder, the experience was a lot more than a level 7 brown bear. Lin Mayu calculated that in terms of cost effectiveness, it was more cost effective to kill a level 7 monster. After all, it was 70 points of experience for one slash. The level 8 whiplash tree required 4 slashes for only 160 points of experience. Looking higher, the cost effectiveness of a single slash actually fell. But there is also the issue of time spent looking for monsters to consider. If you waste all your time looking for monsters, it would be uneconomical to look for low level monsters instead looking at the woods ahead, densely packed with large trees. The Most of them are level 8 whip trees. As long as one was careful, the long whip trees could still be distinguished from ordinary trees. Here, there was no need to look for monsters. There were as many as hundreds of them just by eye. In this way, the efficiency increased drastically. This was simply a treasure trove of leveling for him. Even Lin Moshian was a little excited at this moment. With a thought, the skeleton warriors immediately separated and lunged towards the various forests. The knives in their hands continuously landed on the long whip trees. For knives apiece, very dry. Experience began to soar once again. While everyone else's upgrading speed decreased drastically after level 5, Lin Moshian was instead getting faster and faster. Originally, it was expected to take more than one hour to complete the upgrade. As a result, after only 50 minutes, Lin Moshua had leveled up to level 6. Outside the duplicate, the sky gradually darkened. The time had come to 7 p.m. A full 10 hours had passed since the replica entered at 9 am Luyun and a few principals, as well as Xia Dongyang still hadn't moved. They had already been drinking tea all day, and their food had been brought to them. The several principals did the same thing every year, keeping watch on the first day the students entered the novice copy. Although accidents were rare, there was no guarantee that there would be no accidents at all. Because it was a real battle, injuries were inevitable, but there had been instances where a student had died in a novice copy. Xia Dongyang didn't leave either, Xia Shui was in the replica, he as a father was equally uneasy. Having missed his daughter's transfer ceremony, he didn't want to miss her first copy again. The entrance to the duplicate suddenly radiated a brilliant light, and everyone simultaneously raised their heads towards the entrance to the duplicate. Someone has come out. The time hasn't arrived yet, it's hard to believe that there was an accident. There were two entrances and exits to the replica, one was in the deepest part of the replica, which could be seen by going through the forest guarded by level 8 monsters the other was where one entered the replica, and from here one could also exit the replica. Lin Moshian walked out from the glow. Lu Yun walked over quickly, silent words, why did you come out? Lin Moshua said softly, after killing all of them, I came out. Killed all and came out. These words made Lu Yun fail to comprehend for a moment. Lin Moshua spoke too lightly, without even a hint of expression on her face. The next second Lu Yun saw Lin Mashue's rank. Lin Mashue, Necromancer, Level 7. Chapter 12, Breaking the Highest Record in History. Lu Yun went numb with disbelief in his expression. You. Level 7? The tone of his voice was the same, and Lu Yun even suspected that he had misread the situation. Shock took over his brain, and for a moment, he couldn't react. This was something that had never happened before. Previously, the highest record was only level 5, and now Lin Muyue had directly killed the copy at level 7 inches just 10 hours. There aren't enough monsters in there, otherwise I should be able to reach level 8. Teacher Lu, I want to apply to go to the outskirts of West Sea. Lin Muyue looked like she was taking it for granted while applying to go out of the city. No one had expected that there would still be a day when the monsters in the copy would be killed off. Every time one re-entered the copy, the monsters inside would also reset. No one had ever been able to empty the entire copy of monsters within 12 hours. After all, this is a newbie copy, and those who enter it are all newbies. Skill less, battle power weak, inexperienced novice professionals ah. Especially the deepest level 8 monsters, that intensity wasn't low. They were really the same monsters as those in the wild. Lin Moshian did it, and it only took less than 10 hours. Completely breaking the norm, breaking the record. Lu Yun thought about it a lot, anyway, he just couldn't understand it, and his entire body went numb with shock mister. Lu? Seeing that Lu Yun didn't respond, Lin Mashua called out again and even reached out and waved her hand in front of his eyes. 
After a while, Lu Yin finally came back to his senses and agreed in a loud voice, Fine, fine, I agree. I'll give you the certificate of leaving the city. You can rest for a while, when your classmates come out, then I will send you back. Lin Mashua proved his power with practical actions and got the out-of-town certificate. His plan could also go smoothly. Lu Yun returned to the table and several other principals looked at him curiously. Old Lu, what happened to you just now? Why did that student come out early, is there something wrong? Yeah, he's not hurt. Why did he come out alone, where are his teammates? Lu Yun drank three cups of tea in a row and took two more deep breaths before speaking, he's Lin Muyue, he got through the novice copy and killed all the level 8 monsters. Hiss. Several principals drew in cool air. Even Xia Dong Yang, who was used to seeing big waves, revealed a shocked look at this moment. They noticed that Lin Mashian himself was already level 7. Not to mention, going from level 1 to level 7 in 10 hours, that was already a heaven-defying upgrade speed. Not to mention the fact that he was able to kill all the level 8 monsters in the copy, it was enough to show how strong Lin Mashian's battle power was. The hidden profession is really powerful. Xia Dong Yang sighed. It could only be explained this way, Lin Mou's occupation was very powerful. If we go by that, the necromancer profession should exceed the rare professions known so far, and be completely comparable to legendary level professions. I don't know how strong a legendary level occupation is, after all, none of us have seen it before but rare professions we've all seen before aren't that efficient. I just don't know if they will remain so strong after leveling up. Indeed, for example, Xiaoshua's elemental mage that was awakened this time, initially it's actually just like that, not much different from the other mage faculties. But if one can obtain the passive skill of elemental enhancement, it will be comparable to a legendary profession. Several principals were experienced people from the past. They knew that there were some professions that were initially strong, and then started to weaken when they came up. But there are also some professions that are not good at the beginning, but after they come up, they become stronger and stronger. And also depends on the skills and talents, there are also huge differences between the same profession. In hundreds of professions, there were all sorts of situations, so it was hard to make a snap judgment Lu Yun glanced at Lin Mashian who was meditating not far away and carried some expectations in his heart. At least for now Lin Mashua's necromancer profession is very powerful, and what happens in the future seems to be out of our hands. That's true, if he can get into the Xiaojing Academy, then that's something that the Xiaojing Academy should be in charge of. Xia Dongyang said, Xia Shui has been competitive since she was a child, I'm afraid she'll be hit this time. Lu Yun couldn't help but laugh out loud, it's not just this time, you're often away from home, in fact, in these few years, Lin Meiyu's grades have been pressing Xia Shui head and shoulders, and Xia Shui has already been the second for three years. Such a. Xia Dongyang had a bitter smile on his face, Xia Shui hadn't said anything to himself at all. He understood his daughter's temperament, the less he said, the more anger he pressed in his heart Lin Mashiwe was recovering his spiritual power through meditation. At this time, his number of skeleton warriors had reached 24, but the summoning space had a full 70 positions. The number of skeleton warriors only accounted for a third of it. He still needed quite a bit of time if he wanted to replenish the rest of the locations. The time came to 9 p.m. The 12-hour replica time was finally over, and the students who had gone and teleported out one by one. After 12 consecutive hours of battle, many students had fatigue on their faces. But more than that was excitement. The feeling brought about by actual combat was completely different from learning from books. Many of them were stained with blood, filling the air with a strong smell of blood. A fresh breeze blew, and one of the teachers released a skill that dispelled the bloody odor. The tutors from each school acted quickly, gathering their students and counting them see if anyone was injured and needed treatment. After a busy time, the result was quite good, everyone was intact. Most of them had risen to level 3, and the powerful few had already reached level 4. Xia Shui carried the same excitement. After a day of fighting, she was already level 5, tying the highest record for a novice copy. I definitely won't lose this time. The highest record is only level 5, I've already tied the highest record. Where did that guy go? After coming out and not seeing Lin Mashua, a pair of beautiful eyes searched around before seeing Lin Mashua, who was meditating, in the distance. When did he come out? Then her eyes rounded and she was stunned in place as if she had been electrocuted, her entire body was numb. How is it possible, how did he get to level 7? Chapter 13, Divine Summer Empire Exchange Xiao Shui Xia Dongyang's voice pulled Xia Shui back to her soul. Dad, why are you here? Xia Shui walked in front of Xia Dongyang and called out in a good-natured manner. At this moment, Xia Shui did not have a bit of a haughty look. Xia Dongyang's eyes were doting, let's go, let's go back. Xia Dongyang drove a car and did not need to go back with the school-like bus. Xia Shui followed Xia Dongyang into the car, but her eyes still couldn't stop looking at Lin Mou. She really wanted to see through Lin Mojing, really wanted to know how this guy got to level 7. Xia Dongyang noticed his daughter's eyes, are you fighting with Lin Mojing? 
Xia Shui was like a deflated ball, yeah, I lost again, this guy is so hateful. Xia Dongyang laughed, do you want dad to step in and settle it? Don't. Without waiting for Xia Dongyang to finish, Xia Shui had already decisively refused. I'll settle my own matters, I won't keep losing to this nerd. Xia Shui grunted, the battle intent in her eyes burning brightly. Xia Dongyang laughed even more happily, good, then dad doesn't care but dad has to tell you, Lin Mou came out at 10 hours, and he came out by killing all the level 8 monsters in the novice copy. Xia Shui was stunned again. Killed all the level 8 monsters. It occurred to her that she had only just gotten to the area of level 7 monsters ah, she hadn't even seen what level 8 monsters look like. She thought that she was already very powerful for being able to single-handedly take on level 7 monsters at level 5. She didn't realize that Lin Mou had killed all the level 8 monsters and came out 2 hours early. In that case, if the number of level 8 monsters had been more, maybe this guy would have risen directly to level 8. Is the gap between me and him that big? Even if Xia Shui was unconvinced, she was now slightly demoralized. Xia Dongyang said, every profession has its own special, some professions are powerful at low levels, and some professions only power up later. Winning or losing at one time is nothing, compared to him, you have an advantage. Xia Shui understood the meaning of Xia Dongyang's words. Her advantage was her family's power, enough money, enough resources. Whether it was props, equipment, skills, there was no shortage. And those like Lin Mashuev who had no money and no power, lacked money and equipment and skills and props at the back. Anyway, I won't give in, even if I'm ahead of you now, I'll surpass you in the future. Xia Shui was only disheveled for two minutes, and once again lit up her fighting spirit. Xia Dongyang was satisfied, this was what his daughter should look like. On the school bus, Gao Yang purposely sat with Xia Dongyang, I'm already level 4, awesome. Taking his sister to brush monsters together, it's very happy oh, much more fun than you brushing alone. Lin Mei Yu looked at this dusha bag, ask him where he wouldn't be happy? I'll go, I didn't notice just now, you're level 7, how did you practice? Did you clear out all the monsters in the copy? I fought my ass off to get to level 4, how did you get to level 7, are you a god? Gao Yang's voice was particularly loud and could be heard by the entire bus it was only then that all of them noticed that Lin Mou had really been level 7. At a time when everyone was around level 3 and level 4 was considered awesome, Lin Mou had actually gotten to level 7. All of a sudden, the bus came alive. Although many people were still afraid of Lin Mashiwe and the skeleton warriors he summoned. But being close to a strong person was likewise the normal psychology of many people. Some people thought of going to talk to Lin Mou and get in touch with their classmates. But Lin Mayu's silent and non-speaking appearance, coupled with the terror of the skeleton warriors, still made them a little hesitant. Quiet. Lu Yun gave a low shout, and the bus that had just gotten noisy suddenly quieted down again Gao Yang rubbed his head, I was too excited just now, boss, can you take me to practice leveling? Lin Mou said, if you have the chance, yes. Gao Yang was overjoyed, then it's a deal. The next morning, Gao Yang couldn't find Lin Mou at the school entrance. Teacher Lu, why didn't Lin Mou come? Lu Yun said, he went to the outskirts of West Sea City. Ha! Huh? Only then did Gao Yang realize that he had been tricked by Lin Mou, no wonder he had agreed so painfully yesterday. He couldn't help but let out a miserable cry, Lin Mojing, you punked me. I had turned my heart to the bright moon, but the bright moon shines in the ditch, I'm not done with you, I'm going to duel with you. Lin Mou had already arrived at the south side of West Sea City in his car. A tall city wall lay across the area, separating the living area of the human race and the monster area. Leaving the city wall would lead to the wild monster area, where the weakest monsters were level 10 compared to the monsters in the novice copies, the monsters here were much stronger. Similarly, fighting monsters here would result in more experience and various materials could be harvested. With a bit of luck, some monsters would even drop weapons and equipment. These things could be used by themselves or sold for money. There were quite a few stores opening on both sides of the streets at the entrance and exit of the city walls. There were blacksmith stores, weapon stores, jewelry stores, defense stores, and so on. The most important of them all was the Divine Summer Empire Exchange. The exchange was officially opened by the Divine Summer Empire and was located in every city in the country. In the exchange, you can buy and sell equipment, materials, and other items freely. You can sell your items directly to the exchange, or you can consign them at the exchange. In addition to buying and selling equipment, the exchange can hand over all kinds of tasks it was the first time for Lin Mou to come to the exchange, he had only seen it in books before. In the Divine Summer Empire Exchange, there were hundreds of half a man tall stone pillars erected. A magic crystal was embedded above each stone pillar, and all the functions of the exchange could be accomplished through this magic crystal. The exchange was also known as the embodiment of the highest skill of divine alchemy. Lin Mashian found a still empty spot and placed his hand on the magic crystal. Starting Authentication Authentication Successful National of the Divine Summer Empire, Lin Mou
Permission to use the Divine Summer Empire Exchange. Contribution, 0. Authority, Level 1. Chapter 14, Two Worlds Inside and Outside the City. The Divine Summer Empire Exchange is only open to Divine Summer Empire Nationals. Lin Mashua had the permission to use the exchange, only the permission level was very low, only level 1 if one wanted to have a bigger permission, they could only raise their contribution level. But that was all for the future, it had nothing to do with him for the time being. He took a cursory look at the items for sale in the exchange. Weapons, defenses, jewelry, materials, everything. But the price of each was not cheap. Lin Mashua only had a total of 100 or so gold coins on him, so he couldn't even afford the cheapest black iron grade weapons. As for those more expensive bronze grade and silver grade, just take a look at them, they didn't have a dime to do with him. After Lin Muyue had written down the value of some low-level materials, he began to check the quests again. The monster levels in the outskirts of West Sea City were centered between level 10 and 20, belonging to the low-level areas. The number of related quests wasn't too many, most of them were quests to collect materials. Unlimited recycling of green sprout grass, recycling price 50 gold coins per copy. Unlimited recovery of black furred wolf skin, recovery price 20 gold coins per copy. Unlimited recovery of beast bones, recovery price 30 gold coins per copy. Alchemists, apothecaries, blacksmiths, and some other life professions would need a lot of materials for skill training. They in turn will process the materials into useful items and then sell them to get some income from them. While skill training, the life class professionals could also level up. In this way, a good cycle was formed, and even the life class professions had a good amount of room to grow. Hmm, this quest. Kind of interesting. Raid the level 14 West Sea Mines copy and obtain the copy boss, the Goblin King's Crystal Core. Note, it requires a copy boss of nightmare level difficulty or higher to drop it. The reward given for the mission was 100,000 gold coins. To be able to offer such a price, it was obvious that this quest was difficult the West Sea Mines were in the south of West Sea City, just over 50 kilometers away. Lin Mashua had no intention of going there, a level 14 copy with a minimum level 10 to enter the copy, his current level wasn't enough. The difficulty of the copy could be categorized into normal, nightmare, and hell. How difficult the nightmare level was, Lin Mou wasn't sure. According to the description in the book, the difficulty of the nightmare level difficulty was at least several times more difficult than the normal level. Without a strong team, it was basically impossible to attack it. As for the hell level difficulty, it was even more difficult for ordinary professionals to go to. Lin Mashua left the exchange after watching the meeting and came to the city gates. Lin Mou, level 7, Necromancer? The guards at the city gate took the proof of leaving the city given by Lin Mo and confirmed Lin Mojing's information. Although it was puzzling how a school that was only level 7 would agree to the other party leaving the city one had to know that the monsters outside the city were at least level 10 to begin with. A difference of 3 levels was dangerous. But the proof of leaving the city was real, and the city gate guards quickly passed the verification. Your proof of leaving the city has come into effect, unless there are special circumstances, from now on you'll be able to freely enter and exit the major cities of my divine summer empire. There are a lot of monsters out there, pay attention to safety and be careful with everything. If you can't, run back quickly, it doesn't matter if you lose face or not, your little life is important. Especially at night, some monsters will specially pick the night for sneak attacks. The city gate guard kindly admonished Lin Mou. Lin Mou slightly saluted towards him, thank you, I'll be careful. Walking out of the city gates, a cold wind blew in his face. The sky suddenly darkened by a few minutes and the air was filled with a depressing atmosphere the outside of the city was like two worlds. This city wall is not simple. A city wall divided two worlds. Lin Moshian raised his steps forward and quickly disappeared into the wilderness. The air became more and more oppressive, and the smell of bloodlust seemed to be wafting. From time to time, the roars of beasts could be heard from the distance. Occasionally, one could still see people fighting monsters here. Basically, they were all level 10 or above professions. The city wall behind them had long since disappeared, and the line of sight was shrouded by a thin layer of mist. With a thought, a skeleton warrior walked out from the summoning space. At this moment, there were a total of 28 skeleton warriors in the summoning space, and after recovering his spiritual power through meditation last night, Lin Moshian summoned four more skeleton warriors. Lin Mo Yan looked at a monster 20 meters away, go, finish off the one in front. The skeleton warriors immediately ran over with a loud clicking sound. At the same time, Lin Moshian threw a detection spell over. Goblin Patrolman. Level, 10. Strength, 120. Agility, 50. Spirit, 50. Physique, 120. Skill, none. A level 10 goblin patrolman with a fierce face and a wolfsbane stick. This monster was strength-based, with pathetically low agility and spirit. Physique was good, indicating thick skin. 
But this kind of attribute was nothing compared to the skeleton warrior whose four dimensional attributes had all reached 750. In this place, the main monsters were the Goblin Swarm Clan. They occupied a very large area, all the way to the West Sea Mines 50 kilometers away, all belonged to the Goblin Cluster's territory. The skeleton warriors had rushed to the kobolds in the blink of an eye. The kobold noticed the skeleton warrior and attacked first, the wolf tooth rod brought a wind-breaking sound and smashed over with a whir the skeleton warrior didn't dodge and was directly hit by the wolfsbane rod, making a loud thud. The strength of the goblin patrolman was so great that even the skeleton warrior couldn't help but sway a little. But that was all, the skeleton warrior had already raised his ragged sword in his hand and slashed at it. Chapter 15, Rampage, No One Can Stop It The kobold patrolman was cut and wailed swinging his wolfsbane bat even harder to counterattack. So you smashed my stick, I slashed you. You hit me and I hit you, and you fought back and forth. The wolf tooth baton smashed on the skeleton warrior's body, apart from making it shake a few times, it was unable to cause any substantial damage. On the other hand, when the skeleton warrior's knife landed on the cobalt patrolman, it did real damage. After five slashes, the goblin patrolman let out a scream and collapsed in a pool of blood, killed level 10 goblin patrolman, experience plus 300. Acquired cobalt bones. An additional bone material appeared in Lin Mashian's storage space. Everyone would obtain a piece of storage space after transferring, and as they leveled up, the storage space would become larger. It was very convenient to store all sorts of items inside, materials, equipment, and food could all be thrown in there. Lin Muyue tried to see if he could put a skeleton warrior in there, and the result was no. After killing a goblin patrolman, Lin Mou already knew the strength of level 10 monsters. Generally speaking, there wasn't much difference between monsters of the same level. With a thought, all 28 skeleton warriors were released. Just like in the novice copy, these skeleton warriors quickly dispersed and began to look for enemies individually. The density of monsters in the wilderness area far exceeded that of the novice copies, and Lin Mashian's experience once again began to rise rapidly, faster than in the novice copies killed level 10 goblin patrolman, experience plus 300. Acquired goblin's bones. Kill level 10 terrorist gray wolf, experience plus 280. Obtain wolf skin. The reminders started to brush the screen like a pop-up screen, and Lin Moshian was a bit dazzled by it. At this rate, ascending to level 8 would take less than an hour at most. It's the right time. Lin Mou clenched his fists, and his heart was also a little excited. At this rate, it shouldn't be a problem to rise to level 15 before the big exam. As for higher, it was hard to say, depending on the change in experience after level 10. The skeleton warriors spread out and moved forward, also attracting the attention of some professionals. They thought the skeleton warriors were some kind of monster when they first saw them. It was only after using the detection technique that they realized that it was a summon it was just that this summon was too strong, killing a level 10 monster was as simple as chopping a melon and cutting a vegetable. There were already people trying to find the summon master through the skeleton warrior. Fortunately, the skeleton warrior was far away, and Lin Mashua remotely retrieved the skeleton warrior, leaving the opponent without a trace. Lin Mashian shifted direction and left the wilderness, walking into the forest. The forest terrain was complicated, the vision was even worse, and it was often sneak attack by monsters, making it even more dangerous. That was why most people didn't like going into the forest. The skeleton warriors all spread out and wandered through the forest, the complex terrain had no effect on them. Lin Mojing's mind also gradually formed a topographical map, every blade of grass and tree was clear. An hour later an upgrade light appeared on Lin Mojing. He had reached level 8 the skeleton warriors were not stopping for a moment, constantly killing one monster after another. A steady stream of experience and materials were brought to Lin Muyue. No one had ever been able to level up as easily as him. A mage's spiritual energy would run out. Knights would similarly be exhausted after a long battle. Any profession needed to rest to recover. Skeleton warriors didn't need to. As long as they were still alive and hadn't been broken up, they could act forever. No more monsters. Lin Moshian looked at the empty grove. It had only been a little over an hour, and the monsters inside had already been emptied by him. Lin Moshian had to leave the grove and walk towards a deeper place. Without realizing it, he was getting farther and farther away from West Sea City. Brushing monsters along the way was no longer limited to level 10 monsters. Level 11, 12, and even 13 monsters were also killed casually. At most, the skeleton warrior would slash a few more times. The skeleton warrior's physique was there, you can't hack me, but I can hack you to death that's how simple it is. A level 8 character with a bunch of ultra-high attribute skeleton warriors, wherever Lin Mou passed, not a single monster survived. By the afternoon, Lin Mashua's experience had reached level 9, 99. Zero, only one step away from level 10. At this time, the number of skeletons had also reached 40, like a tired and terrifying army, charging across this area, unrivaled. You can learn new skills at level 10, but it's a pity I don't have any skill scrolls. 
It seems like I can only use my natural skills to top it off first, fortunately the natural skills are powerful enough. Even if I don't have new skills, it doesn't affect upgrading. Professionals could learn new skills every 10 levels. There were three ways to learn skills, one was taught by a mentor, the second was through skill books, and the third was by utilizing skill scrolls. A hidden profession like Lin Mashian basically had no mentor to teach him moreover, he was a unique occupation, and there were even no skill books for him to learn. The only way to learn was through skill scrolls. Skill scrolls could be bought at the exchange, and the beginner skill scrolls used by level 20 or lower professions were priced at 100,000 gold coins apiece. It was very expensive. Skill scrolls could be used to randomly acquire skills in one's profession, but there was also a rather troublesome problem. The skills learned by the skill scrolls were random, and it was also possible to learn skills that had already been learned. If such an oops happens, 100,000 gold coins will have gone down the drain. Not to mention that there would be more advanced intermediate skill scrolls and advanced skill scrolls in the future, and the price would be even more astronomical. On the contrary, Lin Mou wanted to learn new skills of his profession, and this was the only way to do so. While Lin Mou was pondering, the light of the upgrade lit up once again finally reaching level 10. Chapter 16, Skill Upgrade, Bronze Skeleton, Exaggerated Improvement. Name, Lin Mou A. Profession, Necromancer, Only. Level, 10, 0. 0%. Strength, 100. Agility, 100. Spirit, 300. Physique, 100. Equipment, none. Summoning space, 40,100, skeleton warriors, number, 40, comma. Talent, total increase, level 2, unique, comma. Passive skill, damage transfer. Active skills, soul flame, level 10, summon skeleton warrior, level 10. Overall increase, level 2 increased the effect of all skills by 20 times. Damage shift, the sorcerer's own effects are increased by 20 times. Damage transfer, all damage taken by the sorcerer himself is taken by the summoned object. Soul flame, 10th level burns the target soul, causing searing damage, with power depending on one's spiritual power and skill level. Summon skeleton warrior, level 10 summons a bronze level skeleton warrior. Lin Mou looked at his attributes after upgrading, his strength and agility didn't change much, every time he upgraded he would increase by 10 points, very stable on the contrary, mental strength directly reached 300 points, a full 120 points increase. It said that there will be a big increase in attributes after level 10, I belong to the mage profession, and the biggest change is mental strength. Then he saw the changes in his skills, and his entire body became excited. The talent had once again become stronger, going from a 10x increase to a 20x increase. Even when nothing remained the same, the battle power of the skeleton warrior was going to increase by many times. Not to mention that the level of the skeleton warrior had also changed, from a black iron skeleton warrior to a bronze skeleton warrior. Lin Moshian couldn't wait to recruit a skeleton warrior. The bronze level skeleton warrior, the gray color on its body had disappeared, replaced by a greenish white color. The cracks on his body had almost completely disappeared, and even the sword in his hand was a bit brighter at least it didn't look like it was picked up from the trash. Bronze level skeleton warrior. Strength, 3000. Agility, 3000. Spirit, 3000. Physique, 3000. Skill, Berserk Strike, Level 1. Berserk Strike, Level 1 inflicts 200% of one's own strength damage on the target, cooldown, 10 minutes. It was still a 4-dimensional balanced attribute, with the base attribute reaching 150 points. After a 20-fold increase from the full increase, the full attribute reached a staggering 3000 points. With the information that Lin Moshian currently had, it was no longer possible to tell how many levels of professions this attribute was comparable to. But with this attribute, in this area, Lin Muyue could completely walk sideways. In addition a skill was added, giving the skeleton warrior an instantaneous burst ability. Is this considered a one-trick pony? Lin Moshian thought of a saying from his previous life there was no need for any complicated and magnificent skills, just one or two practical and powerful skills were enough to traverse the world. This was the case for him right now, I. E. He didn't have the magnificent and incomparable spells of a mage. Nor did he have the dazzling battle skills of a warrior. Just with these skills he had now, he dared to say that people below level 20 could not possibly be his opponent. Level 10 defeating level 20, impossible for others, wasn't difficult for him. With the attributes of the skeleton warrior, plus his passive skills, even if he stood and let a level 20 fight, it would take a long time to kill him. Lin Moshian was about to continue summoning bronze level skeleton warriors when a sound of breaking wind rang out followed by a sharp arrow flying past his eyes. Whoosh! Several more sharp arrows flew past his eyes in quick succession. One of the arrows shot at his body an invisible film appeared and blocked the sharp arrows. The passive skill was automatically activated and all the damage was transferred to the skeleton warrior, Lin Moshian was not injured. Attacked! 
Lin Mo Yu received a reminder, at the same time, a red light emerged from the skeleton warrior's eyes, and he had entered an alert state. A man in black ran out of the woods, running at a fast speed, his agility attribute was not low. Lin Mo Yu felt that it should be an assassin type profession. When she saw Lin Mo Yu, she quickly turned around and ran in a different direction towards the other side, disappearing in the blink of an eye. Two seconds after the black clothed person left, someone else chased after them. Two people, looking at the attire and dress, Lin Mou probably judged the occupation of the other party. Archer, and a mage. Needless to say, the good and bad arrows just now were shot by the archer. If it wasn't for the fact that Lin Mou had the passive skill of damage transfer, he would definitely be injured right now the two of them similarly ignored Lin Mou Yen and quickly chased forward. Lin Mou Jing's eyes flickered. The direction was wrong. The man in black had changed directions here, they had chased the wrong way and were destined to return without success. Sure enough, just a few seconds later, the two retreated back. The mage began to use his skills, and Lin Mou felt a gust of wind blowing in all directions. A few seconds later, the mage sighed, that guy is very cunning and has escaped. The archer said, it doesn't matter, he can only escape for a moment, he will always be caught. Following that, he looked at Lin Mou, little one, did a man in black pass by just now? Lin Mou didn't answer, but whispered, your arrow hit me, apologize. The archer looked at the arrow on the ground and understood, sorry. Lin Muyue waved her hand, it won't happen again. The archer had the illusion as if Lin Mashue was looking down on him from on high the mage's expression was grim, obviously upset that he was escaped by the other party. He turned his head towards the skeletal warrior beside Lin Mojing. An undead summoner. There was a hint of disgust in his eyes, and the staff in his hand was slowly raised. Red light emerged from the eyes of the skeletal warrior, already in a fighting stance. The archer suddenly pulled the mage back and whispered, don't make trouble. The mage's eyes rolled, but he finally lowered his staff, got it. Looking at the two who retreated, Lin Moshian said indifferently, count yourselves lucky. Although there was no detection spell, from the power of that arrow just now, the attack power wasn't big. These two people wouldn't be too high leveled, at most around level 20. If he was going to make a move against himself, Lin Moshian felt like he might have to kill someone. He wasn't a saintly mother, and when he was bullied over the head, he would definitely return the favor a hundredfold just now, when the mage was raising his staff, Lin Mojing had already taken all the skeleton warriors back into the summoning space. In a matter of moments they could be surrounded. Once they did it they would definitely be split up by a random sword. Chapter 17, Shield Badge. Kill level 10 Goblin Patrolman, Experience plus 300. Kill level 11 Goblin Soldier, Experience plus 350. Gain Goblin Bones. The. The hints were coming in like a brush screen, and the experience was rising rapidly. 44 bronze level skeleton soldiers were killing monsters in the forest. As his skills improved, Lin Moshian once again enjoyed the thrill of killing in seconds. These bronze level skeleton warriors killed level 10, level 11 goblin monsters in a single slash. Efficiency increased once again, and from level 10, the experience requirement for upgrading increased once again, and by almost three times. Upgrading became slower and slower based on this calculation, it would take at least 5,000 cobalt monsters to be killed before it was enough for Lin Moshian to level up. The skeleton warrior didn't know how to get tired and killed them in seconds all the way, but it was still not enough. Until darkness fell, Lin Mashiwa was still 30% short of level 11 experience. Lin Mou built a bonfire in the forest and ate the food he brought from home. He didn't plan on going back, he had limited time and couldn't waste it on the road. At the current upgrade speed, I'll almost reach level 13 tomorrow, and it's not quite clear if I'll reach level 15 the day after tomorrow. The upgrade speed will drop further after level 15, and I'll have to leave a day to rush back. By that math I'll be able to ascend to level 16 at most. How is Elder Sister in the process of upgrading at that time, it's impossible for Elder Sister's upgrade speed to exceed mine. Sister is a rare profession elf summoner, her leveling speed should be about the same as Xiaoshua. I must have overlooked something. Lin Mo Yan pondered in his memory, thinking about what he had learned from school and then combining it with Lin Mo Han's path of action at that time. Suddenly he realized something. A copy of the West Sea Mines. Could it be that sister teamed up with someone to go down the replica? And it's at least a nightmare level copy. Nightmare level copies are filled with enhanced elite monsters, there must be a lot of experience. So sister even came back injured that time and was healed. That's right, that must be it. Lin Muyue clenched her fists, feeling that her guess should be correct. We'll go and take a look tomorrow. The idea was set in his mind. The night was getting deeper and deeper, and the monsters in a 500 meter radius around him had all been cleared. The skeleton warriors hid in the darkness while he himself began to meditate. With 44 skeleton warriors protecting him and the presence of the passive skill, there was no need to worry about safety the forest at night wasn't completely quiet, occasionally there would be the sound of wolves whistling in the distance. 
There were also some rustling sounds of the wind blowing over and driving the leaves, which was somewhat eerie. The temperature where Lin Moyu was was lower than other places, and the presence of the skeleton warriors turned the night wind into a gloomy wind. In the middle of the night, a skeleton warrior suddenly issued a warning, and Lin Mojing snapped out of his meditation. The skeleton warrior realized that someone was coming towards his location. Is it a professional who came to practice? Not many people come to the forest in the middle of the night to practice leveling, is it possible that they are lost? Lin Moshue didn't move, but in his heart, he had already raised his guard. Outside, nothing should be taken lightly. The fire was the best guiding light in the night soon the visitor appeared in Lin Moyu's line of sight. It's her. Lin Mojing had seen her in the afternoon, the one who had fled in black. May I ask for food? The black-clothed person's voice was very nice. A pair of large eyes were also bright and clear in the firelight. Lin Mojing took out a piece of groundnut and handed it over. The only food he had prepared was the groundnut and some water. The man in black didn't dislike it, and after removing his mask, he ate it with a big mouthful, looking like he was really starving. Behind the mask was a very clean and delicate face, looking only 18, 9 years old, permeated with youthfulness. Lin Mo mistakenly didn't use the detection technique, using the detection technique on strangers is very impolite and will even attract hostility. See ya. Before a single word could be uttered, the entire person coughed violently. She was eating a groundnut while talking to Lin Mojing and was choking. Lin Mo took out a bottle of water and handed it over the black clothed person drank a few mouthfuls, which smoothed out her breath. Thanks. She finally cleared her words, and Lin Mo just nodded slightly, indicating that there was no need to thank her. The man in black ate the groundnut one bite at a time, Lin Mo didn't have any questions about anything, and the atmosphere fell into an eerie silence. She didn't eat fast, her movements were elegant. While eating a pair of beautiful eyes looked at Lin Mou from time to time, a shimmering light flickered in her eyes, she didn't know what she was thinking. After eating, she finally spoke, what's your name? Seeing that Lin Mou didn't answer, she continued, don't like to talk, huh? Then how about this, let's use detection techniques on each other. Lin Mou thought about it and nodded in agreement. The fingertips of the two of them simultaneously glowed with a shimmering light and used the detection technique towards each other. Lin Moiwe froze for a moment, the detection technique failed, and surprisingly, she didn't get any information the person in black suddenly laughed delicately, with a look of trickery, hee hee, is it nothing? So your name is Lin Moshien, level 10, occupation. Necromancer? I've never heard of this profession, how strange. I saw what looked like a skeleton beside you this afternoon, is that your summon? An undead type of summon, it's rare. Her words suddenly multiplied, sentence after sentence. Why aren't you talking? Don't tell me you're mute, it doesn't look like it. Lin Mou looked at her and faintly asked, why? She was like seeing a new continent, her small face filled with amazement, so you really can talk. Why? Lin Mou looked at her and asked again. Her smile remained the same, you said to ask why the detection technique didn't work, because of this. She took out a prop that looked like a badge, this is called a shielding badge, as long as you wear it, anyone whose level doesn't exceed your 10th level will be ineffective if they use detection techniques on you. She put the shielding badge away, I'll try using the detection technique on me again now. Lin Muyue nodded and threw out a detection spell. This time it succeeded. Ning Yi, level 19, Shadow Assassin. A fresh breeze blew, Ning Yi's smile instantly disappeared, and Lin Muyue also looked towards the side. Chapter 18, Skeleton Warriors can also be used as meat shields. Lin Muyue had already spotted the incoming person through the Skeleton Warrior. In addition to the archer and mage he had seen today, there was now another knight carrying a sword and shield. Three people from different directions surrounded them. Ning Yi Yi frowned tightly, and her delicate little face screwed up. It's never ending, it's just an intermediate skill scroll, it's been chasing me for a few days, and it hasn't given up yet. Ning Yi Yi stomped her foot hard and said to Lin Mou, I'm leaving, I'll find you to play again later when I have the chance. Whoosh! A sharp arrow shot from the darkness, Ning Yi Yi reacted quickly and instantly sidestepped it. The sharp arrow exploded with a bang, surprisingly transforming into two streams of light that landed on Lin Mou and Ning Yi respectively. A huge mark immediately appeared above Lin Mou and Ning Yi's heads, shining in the dark night, looking like they were topped with a bright headlight. Crap, marked arrow. Ning Yi's small face snapped white, she knew things were in trouble. Lin Moshian thought of the description of the marked arrow. It was a skill of archers that could mark a target, making it conspicuous and unable to enter stealth. Marked arrow was very effective for assassin-type professions, and could limit an assassin's stealth skills it can also be used to deal with stealthy monsters when raiding copies. After being marked by an archer and having their stealth skills limited, it would be hard to escape again. You can't escape this time. A cold laugh rang out, and the mage he had seen today walked out from the forest. On the other side, the archers were standing on the trees. 
There was also a side where the knights had arrived. The mage held his staff, and his icy gaze swept over Lin Mou and Ning Yi. I knew you guys were in cahoots. Dirty Azerat assassins, paired with evil and shadowy undead summoners, they make a good pair. A shimmering light flickered in Ning Yi's hand, and a dagger glowing with a greenish light had appeared in her hand, he has nothing to do with this matter, I'll give you guys the skill scrolls, and we'll go our separate ways. The archer on the tree laughed, if it was a day ago, it's no problem, but now, we think it's safer to kill you. The mage followed, dead people are the safest, so no one will know we have intermediate skill scrolls, saving us a lot of trouble. Ning Yi whispered, I'll hold them off for a while, you run by yourself. Lin Mou looked at her, what about you? I'm a shadow assassin, night is my home turf. I naturally have a way to get away. Lin Mou knew that Ningyi was just saying that, if Ningyi could really fight, she wouldn't have escaped today. Obviously the other party was much stronger. As a shadow assassin, he might have been able to get away before, but now that he had been hit by the archer's marked arrow, and his stealth skill was disabled, it would be difficult to get away again. The archer said in a deep voice, the night is long, don't waste time, do it. The mage raised his staff, not only are you going to die today, this little guy is going to die as well. The staff exploded with brilliant light, and a huge ball of light rose into the sky, illuminating the surrounding area as if it was daytime illumination spell. A mage's illumination spell could not only be used to illuminate, but it could also dispel the darkness and boost the mage's spell hit rate. The most crucial thing was that illumination could also restrain an assassin's stealth-type skills. This also made it even more difficult for Ning Yi. It's going to be a fight to the death. With a flash of light in her hand, a green-colored dagger had appeared in Ning Yi's hand, and her entire body tensed up. Her large eyes narrowed slightly, her gaze becoming sharp as she began to look for opportunities. The archers standing on the tree had already drawn their bows full and would shoot at any time. The knights had also removed their swords and shields and took up a charging skill stance. The mage's staff was shining. The three of them closed in, not leaving Ning Yi any chance to escape. At this time, Lin Mashian's finger lifted slightly, and a skeleton warrior appeared in front of her, Che, wasted effort. The mage revealed a hint of disdain, as well as a strong sense of disgust. Great fireball! The mage softly shouted, and a huge fireball with a diameter of one meter appeared out of thin air, shooting towards the two with a blazing flame. The great fireball was something that could only be mastered by a mage at level 20, and it was immensely powerful. Once hit, one would be injured without dying. Dodge! Ning Yi's pretty face changed as she immediately pulled Lin Mou back. The mage had instantly released another spiritual entanglement while sending out a large fireball. Ning Yi was pulling Lin Mou backward when she suddenly felt a weight on her body and her speed slowed down all of a sudden. An invisible thin line of spiritual power was extending from the staff and wrapping around the two's feet. At the same time Ning Yi was being entangled by the spiritual power, the archer made his move the bowstring vibrated with a buzz, and an arrow was shot out. The arrow sprinted halfway to the ground and turned into three in one. A trifecta! One of the archer's techniques, an arrow transformed into three, could inflict three times the attack. At this time, the knight also launched a charge, charging towards the duo at an astonishing speed. It's over. Ning Yi's face turned pale. She suddenly pushed Lin Mashian away with force, pushing him out of the attack range. Right at this moment, two skeleton warriors appeared on Ning Yi's left and right sides. The three skeleton warriors were like three shields, firmly protecting Ning Yi. The mage's great fireball landed on the skeleton warriors and exploded with a bang, bursting into a sky of fire. The archer's triple beads landed on the skeleton warrior, emitting a sound like a metallic clash. The knight also collided with the skeleton warrior at this time, the skeleton warrior did not move, but the knight was shaken out in the firelight, the skeleton warrior slowly walked out, covered in a greenish-white light, without any injuries. How is this possible? The mage couldn't believe it when he saw this scene. He had long ago checked with his control technique that Lin Mashian was only a level 10 necromancer. It was impossible for the level of the summon to exceed that of the necromancer himself, which was only level 10. With his own level 21 strength, he couldn't even kill his opponent in seconds? The archers and knights were also stunned, what kind of summon was this, it was so strong. Kaching! Kaching! Accompanied by toothsome friction sounds, a skeleton warrior was now all around. A whole 44 skeleton warriors surrounded the three of them. Chapter 19 Killing for the first time, doing it dry. Not only were the three of them stunned, Ning Yi -E was stunned as well. Staring with wide eyes and a small open mouth, she couldn't believe it that look was really a bit cute. Today, she had seen Lin Mashian's skeleton warrior. A mere level 10 skeleton warrior, with many cracks all over its body, and the weapon in its hand was also worn out. It just looked like it was unbeatable. How could it be so strong? The mage's level 20 skills couldn't even hurt it. The archer's triple beat and the knight's charge couldn't even damage it. Was this really a level 10 summon? It was a bit too strong. And the quantity. 
A ball of fire lit up in the darkness of the night as a skeleton warrior appeared silently and surrounded them. Lin Emo spoke few words as he walked back to Ning Yi's side with killing intent in his eyes. Kill. With a thought, the skeleton warriors instantly activated. The mage's face changed drastically, his staff shook, and a shield immediately appeared on his body. Energy Shroud. The mage's signature skill. The higher the mage's level, the stronger the skill, and the stronger the energy shroud became it was said that those god-level mages with shields could remain unharmed under forbidden spell strikes. Mages were less agile and could not move as fast as archers. Moreover, now that he was surrounded by skeleton warriors, there was even less room for him to dodge. The skeleton warrior's hand rose and fell, and the energy shield immediately issued a violent distortion. The mage's face changed drastically, with just one slash, his energy shield was almost broken. What attributes did these skeletons have, their attack power was surprisingly so terrifying. There was no time for him to think more, the second skeleton warrior's knife also fell. The energy shield broke in response, turning into 10,000 points of starlight and dissipating. Resist Ring of Fire The mage released a skill once again, and a huge ring of fire erupted, and several approaching skeletons were instantly pushed out by the ring of fire more than 10 meters away too late to be happy for a second, his eyes went black, and two skeletons had already leapt over his head. He was no longer given the chance to use his skills. The blade flashed, and the mage's head shot up into the sky. Before and after only two seconds, the mage was dead. The archer was also being chased by the skeleton warrior at this time, and was in a very sorry state. Witnessing the mage being killed with his own eyes, his eyes were filled with fear. He was quite a bit more agile than the mage, but he was still much worse than the skeleton warrior whose agility was as high as 3,000 points. He kept using evasion skills in an attempt to break away from the skeleton warrior's encirclement. Unfortunately, his efforts were all in vain in the end. As the skeleton warriors pressed forward, the space for him to maneuver became smaller and smaller compared to the dead mage and the dying archer, the knight's situation was much better. The knight's body was bubbling with light, like a light bulb, as he launched his charge skill over and over again to run towards the distance. This layer of light was even stronger than the mage's energy shield, protecting him firmly. Even when the skeleton warrior's knives landed on him, they were unable to damage him. It's limit defense, I didn't expect this knight to have mastered this skill. Lin Mashian thought of the knowledge of this skill. This was one of the core skills of a knight. Once activated, the defense would become extremely strong in a short period of time. It was unknown exactly how strong it was, someone had tried it, a level 20 knight casting extreme defense could withstand the attack of a level 40 mage. Although it could only withstand it for a moment, it was enough to see how strong the ultimate defense skill was knights who mastered ultimate defense and those who didn't were like two professions. However, ultimate defense wasn't a skill that was easy to learn, there was no corresponding skill book, and you could only use a skill scroll to learn it. The randomness was great. The knight ran away frantically against limit defense. A scream came from behind him, and he knew that the archer was also dead. The mage and archer died in quick succession, and he was completely terrified. How could these skeleton warriors be so terrifying? If he had known, he wouldn't have come, it wasn't worth it to lose his life for an intermediate skill scroll. Use the skill. Block him, don't let him escape. Lin Mashian gave the order. There was no way he was going to let the knight escape, since he had killed him, he would kill him cleanly. Red light emerged from the skeleton warrior's sword at the same time. Berserk Strike. Deals 200% of its own strength damage to the target the skeleton warrior, whose strength was as high as 3000 points, doubled his damage power immediately after using the skill. He can still use skills. The knight's soul was in a panic, the skeleton warrior was already scary enough, but he would even use a skill, this was going against the heavens. The large sword that flashed with red light landed on the knight's body. The white light on the knight's body suddenly dimmed a lot. Then the second hit, and the third. Limit defense lasted for one minute, and that was without being attacked. The more drastic the attack was endured, the shorter the duration of limit defense would be. As each skeleton warrior desperately came up to unleash their skills, the duration of limit defense was drastically shortening. And more skeleton warriors had surrounded up, cutting off the knight's retreat. It was desperate. After 10 seconds or so, the knight was split up by the skeleton warriors with unwillingness either don't do it, or don't be soft when you do. This was also what Lin Mo Han told Lin Mo Yu, and Lin Mo Yu did the same. All dead? Ning Yi Yi hadn't reacted until now. From the beginning to the end of the battle, it was only about 20 seconds back and forth. All three people had been killed. And the person who started it hadn't even moved a bit, just standing here. Lin Mou nodded, Ning Yi was right, they were indeed all dead. The skeleton warrior ran back, holding quite a few things. When a professional died, the things in the storage space would fall out. The skeleton warrior picked them all up. Bronze grade Cayman Staff, Spirit Plus 20, can increase the power of mage-type skills by 5%, available after level 18. 
Bronze level Cayman War Bow, agility plus 20, increases the power of bow and arrow type skills by 5%, available after level 18. Bronze level Cayman Sword, strength plus 10, constitution plus 10, increases the power of offensive skills by 5%, available after level 18. Bronze level Cayman Shield, physique plus 20, increases defensive skill effects by 5%, available after level 18. Chapter 20 New Skill, Corpse Burst. Four pieces of weaponry were neatly placed in front of them. Bronze grade weapons with a greenish white light shining on them, somewhat similar to the sheen on the skeleton warrior. Ningyi said, these are all weapons from the Carmen Orc Legion copies. Lin Mou was a bit puzzled, he hadn't heard of this copy. Seeing that Lin Mou didn't understand, Ningyi continued to explain, the Carmen Orc Legion copy is a level 20 copy outside of Shaohai City, and the three of them often swipe copies there. Lin Mou nodded. These four pieces of bronze level equipment were of little use to him, but they could be sold for some money he collected the four pieces of bronze equipment without any politeness at all, and Ningyi -E didn't say anything about it. There were still some materials left, such as wolf skins, animal bones, and green sprout grass, none of which were too many. Lin Mou also nonchalantly collected all of them. A mosquito is still meat, it can be sold for money. After collecting the weapons and equipment and materials, there was only one thing left. Elementary Skill Scroll Introduction You can obtain skills below level 20, and it is possible to obtain acquired skills. I didn't expect it to be a primary skill scroll, this scroll was worth 100,000 gold coins, it was very valuable. Lin Mou took the scroll and was considering whether to use it herself or take it to sell it for money. Ning Yi asked, I don't think you've ever used a primary skill scroll, right? Lin Mu Yue nodded, she really hadn't used it, then you can use it, although there's a probability of obtaining skills you've already learned, there's also a possibility of learning new skills oh. No, you're not thinking of selling it for money. No way, are you so short of money? Beginner skill scrolls ah, it's not like it's an advanced scroll, it's not worth a few dollars. In Ning Yi's mouth, 100,000 gold coins didn't seem like much money. Obviously her family was extraordinary. Lin Mou held the skill scroll, how do I use it? Ning Yi smiled cheekily, it's very simple, you use hold the scroll and say use it. Lin Mou didn't doubt it and held it and did as he was told. Use. The scroll didn't move. Ning Yi said, oops, that's not right, you didn't say it loud enough, you have to say use out loud to do it. Lin Mou looked at her and didn't try a second time. He hadn't used it, but it wasn't like he was stupid what the voice was too small, it was not believed at all. When he Lin Muyue guessed the method of use, directly using his spiritual power to agitate the skill scroll. Ning Yi -E was looking at Lin Mou with an expectant face, waiting for him to shout out the two words use. But Lin Moshi hadn't called out. Suddenly the skill scroll erupted with a brilliant light that enveloped Lin Mojing. Ning Yi -E let out an awe of disappointment, you found out. She wanted to tease Lin Mou, and as a result, Lin Mou found the correct way to use it. It was a failure. The skill scroll turned into a ball of light that enveloped Lin Mojing. Acquired skill, Corpse Burst. Corpse Burst, level 1, detonates a corpse, inflicting 10% of the corpse's life value to enemies within 1 meter. Having gained a new skill, the scroll did not go to waste. Corpse Burst was currently in level 1 status, meaning it was a skill that could only be mastered at level 10. Looking at the skill description again, at first glance it didn't seem to be anything out of the ordinary the range was only 1 meter, what was 1 meter enough for, it was too small. And the power is caused by the life value of the corpse. This corpse life value Lin Mo language can understand. In the eyes of the necromancer, the corpse also has life. Its life comes from the flesh and blood, from the bones, and even from the soul. Even after death, the life value within a corpse would not be less than when it was alive. Just like some strong people, their corpses did not decay for thousands of years after death, and they constantly emitted great energy. But Lin Mashian saw a different message in it. This was a group attack skill, if he couldn't rely on the skeleton warriors to slash one by one when facing thousands of enemies. That would be too slow. At this point, it only took one enemy to be killed. Then he detonated the corpse and killed the enemies within the skill range. Another enemy is blown up and another corpse is formed then he can continue to detonate corpses, one after another. As long as the mental energy was not empty, the skill would not stop. Coupled with his talent, was the range of 1 meter a problem? It had now reached 20 meters and the lethality had reached 200%. Another divine skill. As long as one's talent existed, one's skills were almost always divine skills. The scroll's light dissipated. Ning Yi -E blinked her big eyes with an expectant face, how was it how was it, did you learn any new skills? Learned. Lin Mou didn't blame Ning Yi -E for teasing herself just now. Ning Yi -E was just being playful and naughty, he was not that petty for a big man. Ning Yi -E laughed happily, your voice is very nice ah, why don't you like to talk? What a shame. Lin Mou looked at her, this woman seemed different from all those girls in her own school. 
very lively and playful. Your voice is also very nice. It was rare for Lin Mou to compliment someone. It wasn't that he didn't want to talk, he just didn't want to talk crap in front of his sister Lin Mohan, and in front of his grandmother, he didn't have a lot to say. Ning Yi looked happy and smiled cheekily, thank you for the compliment, I also know that I have a good voice. Seeing as you saved this young lady and complimented her, this is for you. Saying that, Ning Yi took out a box and shoved it directly into Lin Mou's hand. Intermediate Skill Scroll Introduction can awaken skills between level 40 and level 70, with the possibility of acquiring acquired skills. In the exchange, the price of an intermediate skill scroll could be as high as 10 million gold coins, which was 100 times that of a primary skill scroll. The price was high and precious. At least to the current Lin Ma Xian, it was a sky-high price. Ning Yi Yi had said that the person who was chasing her was also after the scroll. How can you just say you're giving it away? Chapter 21, Can You Not Be So Cheap? Why is it so cold? Ning Yi Yi said as she sat down in front of the fire, stretching out a pair of small hands to roast the fire. The people chasing after her had been taken care of, and Ning Yi Yi's entire body relaxed. Lin Mou knew that the low temperature here was because of the skeleton warriors. Immediately, he told the skeleton warriors to disperse. Ning Yi already knew that Lin Mojing didn't like to talk, so she simply talked to herself. I found a treasure chest of chance in Shaohai City, in the Cayman Orc Legion camp. As you know, this kind of treasure chest appears randomly, and it just so happened that I found it. I opened the treasure chest and obtained this intermediate skill scroll. To think that it was seen by those guys. They wanted to snatch my intermediate skill scroll, and even though this thing isn't worth much money, how can this young lady easily hand over something that she got with great difficulty? So they chased me, and I fled. Fleeing for two days, from Shaohai City to West High City, do you think they're annoying, like bedbugs? From Ning Yi's words, it could be heard that even if it was an intermediate skill scroll worth 10 million gold coins, it still wasn't in her eyes. I don't know what kind of family this is, but I can only say that she's too rich. Lin Mou looked at Ning Yi and waited for her to finish all of them before she softly said, You almost died just now. Ning Yi said, Don't worry, I can't die. I'll automatically be teleported away when I'm fatally injured. Still, thank you, if it wasn't for you just now, although I wouldn't have died, I would have definitely gotten injured. You should know that getting hurt is painful, Yi Yi is most afraid of pain. Well, Lin Mou felt that she was worrying excessively people had treasures, they couldn't die. Ning Yi stretched out her hand, the intermediate skill scrolls are all for you la, is there any food left, I'm not full yet. Lin Mou took out a few buns, the buns were the loot from earlier, there were more than 10 of them. Ning Yi shook her little head, no buns, I want groundnut. Lin Mou was dumbfounded and replaced the buns with groundnuts again. That's more like it, dead people's things this young lady doesn't want to eat. Ning Yi Yi took the groundnut and ate it beautifully. Was this groundnut so delicious? Looking at the way Ning Yi Yi was eating it, it seemed really delicious. Dumb Lin, did you come here to practice leveling? Looking at your level, you shouldn't have gone to the higher school yet. Ning Yi Yi asked as she ate. Lin Moe nodded, no. Ning Yi Yi had gotten used to Lin Moe's speaking habits, then which higher learning institution are you planning to take? Shaojing Academy Lin Moe said softly. Well, the Shaojing Academy is very good. Hearing about the Shaojing Academy, Ning Yi Yi didn't seem surprised at all. In her opinion, with Lin Muyu as strength, he would have no problem taking any academy. How could anyone easily abuse a level 20 professional at level 10 and kill three of them in one go? If even Lin Muyu couldn't get into the Shaojing Academy, then it was expected that no one would be able to get in either. Ning Yi suddenly thought of something, her eyes glowing, if you go to the Shaojing Academy, remember to challenge their Divine Summer Tower. And the rewards can be doubled if you challenge them for the first time, so work your way up and rush as many floors as you can. This will give you more points, in the Shaojing Academy, points are more useful than gold coins. There's also, there's a God Creation Academy in the Shaojing Academy, if you can, you must go in. Ning Yi seemed to know a lot about the Summer Capital Academy, talking to Lin Mou about the Summer Capital Academy in an endless stream. In her words, Lin Mou had a rough outline of the Shaojing Academy in her head. 99% of the time, it was Ning Yi talking, Lin Mou was just listening, only occasionally responding to a sentence. Ning Yi lost her voice as she spoke. Lin Mou took out a piece of clothing and gave it to Ning Yi to use as a blanket, while he himself began to meditate. The next day, the sunlight sprinkled down. Lin Mou's spiritual energy was full and he awoke from his meditation. Ning Yi was blinking her big eyes at herself. Any more ground nuts? Ning Yi smiled and stretched out her hand. Lin Mou directly took out a piece of ground nut and handed it to her. Not enough, more. Lin Mou took out another piece. Can you not be so stingy, it's just ground nuts, can't you give more? Right, right, a big man should be generous, bring it all. 
Lin Mou gave Ning Yi almost all of the two dozen or so pieces of ground nuts he had with him, and he didn't have a single piece left. There's really nothing left? Ning Yi -E still didn't believe it, she looked like she wanted to drill into Lin Mou Yan's storage space. Lin Mo nodded and said, it's really gone. Only then did Ning Yi -E let Lin Mo speak, all right, all right, I believe you. This miss is leaving, this miss is also going to level up, Lin Nerd, I'll see you later. You hurry up and practice leveling, you can take me to upgrade later. Ning Yi left dryly, taking away the ground nuts and the clothes she used as a quilt cover. Lin Mo Yu muttered to himself after Ning Yi left, I'll take you to upgrade later. After a whole night, the goblin monsters here still hadn't appeared. The time it took for the monsters to refresh was far beyond Lin Mayu's expectations. He felt that he should have killed them too quickly. A faint smell of blood permeated the forest. Three corpses were lying on the ground. Lin Muyue looked at the corpses and silently cast the skill he had just learned yesterday. Corpse burst. With a loud bang, a large area of trees were blown to pieces. Not the kind that blew down, but a real sparse 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 sparse. A large crater appeared on the ground, 20 meters in diameter the depth was also more than 10 meters. The power was very considerable. Lin Mashian realized that the damage range of the corpse explosion was 360 degrees in all directions. By the looks of it, the power of an overhead detonation might be a bit greater. He had just detonated the mage's corpse. Ordering the skeleton warrior to throw the archer's corpse into midair. He unleashed his skill on the corpse in midair. There was another loud boom, more powerful than just now, confirming his suspicions. The power would be even greater with air burst. However, there was also a drawback to corpse bursting, and that was that it was easy to accidentally injure one's own people. Neither himself nor the skeleton warrior would be injured by mistake, but it wasn't so easy to say about his teammates who were teamed up together. Chapter 22 The Divine Skill of Destroying Corpses and Destroying Traces Another loud bang came from the forest, and the knight's corpse was detonated the three people completely lost all traces of their existence, not even a bit of slag remained. It had to be said that the corpse explosion skill was also a first-class divine skill when used to destroy corpses. Lin Mou followed what he thought yesterday and headed towards the West Sea Mines. There was the goblin's lair. As they got closer and closer to the West Sea Mines, the level of the goblin community was gradually rising. Level 12 Goblin Warrior Level 13 Goblin Archers all appeared one by one. But it was useless against the skeleton warriors with extraordinary attributes. After a night of meditation, with his mental strength fully restored, Lin Moshian summoned four more skeleton warriors. At this point, the number of skeleton warriors had reached 48. As the level of the summoned skeleton warrior skill was raised to level 10, it changed from a black iron level skeleton warrior to a bronze level skeleton warrior the requirement for mental power was also getting higher. Summoning a skeleton warrior now already required 70 points of spiritual energy. Lin Moshian only had a total of 300 points of spiritual energy. It was still the same as before, only four could be summoned at a time. However, Lin Mo Yan was already very satisfied. One day, the summoning space would be full, he wasn't in a hurry. Getting closer and closer to the West Sea Mines replica, the number of people started to increase. The monsters on the road to the replica were basically cleared out. Soon Lin Mu Yue saw the entrance to the replica. A whirlpool that was similar to the novice copy, only even more enormous. The vortex of the novice copy was at most half a meter in diameter. In front of him, the entrance to this West Sea Mines copy was one meter in diameter. A bloodthirsty aura was constantly emanating from the vortex those with little guts would feel fear just by smelling this aura. Normal difficulty. Three short of one, have a nurse. Normal difficulty. There's a mage and a healer, have a knight. Mine copy elite team, nightmare difficulty. There are knights, mages, and assassins, lacking a milkmaid in control assist. Nightmare difficulty must pass team, short of knights, short of milkmaid, five short of four. There were quite a few people at the entrance of the replica who were waving flags and looking for team members. There were also quite a few people standing in front of the entrance to the replica, seemingly discussing something. Lin Moshian brought a skeleton warrior towards the entrance of the replica. The other skeleton warriors were all put away by him. Even in the summoning space, the passive skill was still effective. Lin Moshua had no worries about his safety. Click. Kaching. The skeleton warriors made bone rubbing sounds as they walked it landed on sore teeth. The soul fire was constantly pulsing in the skull, bringing with it gusts of gloomy wind, and the temperature dropped several degrees with it. The skeleton warriors looked too frightening, and Lin Mashua's arrival caused a large area of panic. Many people retreated and took the initiative to make a passage for Lin Moyen. Lin Mou came to the entrance of the replica and checked the replica information. It wasn't a real copy, not a place for newbies to practice leveling like a newbie copy. 
The mine replica was not of a high level and only had normal and nightmare difficulties, there was no hell difficulty. The normal difficulty was already filled with elite monsters, which were several times stronger than the monsters outside. The nightmare difficulty was an enhanced elite monster, and the difficulty was even higher. Normal difficulty is usually a group of three people, a meat shield, an output and a nurse the nightmare difficulty is a team of five people, need to double auxiliary double output. From this you can judge the difference in difficulty. The skeleton warrior also just stood beside Lin Mashue without moving. Finally, someone had the guts to talk to Lin Mashue, young man, are you a summoner? Lin Mashue didn't answer, ignoring it. There were detection spells falling on him and the skeleton warrior. Red light suddenly emerged from the hollow, deep-set eyes of the skeletal warrior and looked towards the person who thanked the detection spell. This action startled the man and he hid like a turtle. The detection technique returned with no success and no information was obtained. Lin Mashian was carrying the shielding badge given by Ning Yi. As long as no one was above his level 10, no one could view his information through the detection technique. Lin Mashua didn't let the skeleton warrior do it, it was just a detection spell, not so much, young man, do you want to brush copies together, we're still missing an output here. You should be a summoner, summoner's output is pretty good too, do you want to join together? We're an elite team, playing nightmare difficulty. If the equipment comes out, we'll split it equally. Everyone seemed to realize that Lin Mashue wasn't simple, and one by one, they invited him to form a team. However, Lin Mashue continued to ignore them. He chose Nightmare Difficulty after checking the copy information. Please confirm whether to choose Nightmare Difficulty. Confirmed. Lin Mashian was teleported into the copy. He entered the copy. He entered the copy alone. No way, he's going solo, too arrogant. You can't say that, what if he has the strength? It's not like no one has soloed before. That friend who just used the detection technique, tell us the information you got, how many levels, what occupation. That's right, his summon is of the immortal system, I've never seen it before. The person who used the detection technique was slightly embarrassed, didn't get any information, he should be wearing a shielding badge. In that case, let's wait and see if he comes out alive. Maybe it's just a guy who looks good but not good enough, looking scary and filthy, getting it wrong is weak. Outside the replica, many people revealed expressions of watching a good show. Every year, there were quite a few people who died in the replica because they were arrogant and swiped the replica alone. The mine copy was as its name suggested, the terrain in the copy was really like a mine. The replica was filled with a depressing atmosphere, and also carried a strong smell of blood. In front of Lin Mou was a huge iron door, opening the iron door meant officially opening the copy. Behind the iron door there was a monster over 2 meters that was hissing, it had already discovered Lin Mou as long as Lin Mou dared to open the iron door, it would be the first to rush over and tear Lin Mou apart. Chapter 23, Unenhanced Skills, Knowledge Blind Spots Across the iron door, Lin Mou threw out a detection spell. Goblin Mine Guard, Enhanced Elite Monster Level, 14 Strength, 800 Agility, 400 Spirit, 200 Physique, 1000 Skill, Dizzy Attack. Worthy of being a reinforced elite monster, its attributes were several times higher than ordinary monsters. Strength and constitution are extremely high, high offense and high defense. For a level 14 knight type profession, the physique attribute was only between 300 and 400, far worse than this reinforced elite monster in front of them. If one didn't make a group and everyone worked together, it would be difficult to beat a nightmare level copy. But these attributes were still far worse than his own skeleton warrior. Lin Mashian released the skeleton warriors from the summoning space, and in the blink of an eye, the room was already filled with skeleton warriors he then opened the door and officially started the copy journey. The goblin mine guard roared with excitement and rushed out from behind the iron door. It was greeted by the skeleton warrior's greatsword. It rested in a lanky shape and was considerably taller than the skeleton warrior. Similarly, its agility was low, and its intelligence was equally low. The skeleton warrior's greatsword landed on him, immediately causing a hideous and horrifying wound. With its attributes, even if it was one-on-one -on -one with a skeleton warrior, it would surely die. What's more, it was now facing a siege of skeleton warriors. There were at least five or six skeleton warriors slashing around it. In just two seconds, it collapsed with a miserable scream. Killed level 14 goblin mineguard, experience plus 4200. Receiving the prompt, a trace of excitement flashed through Lin Mashian's heart the experience was about ten times higher than the same level monsters in the realm. Killing one monster here was equivalent to ten monsters outside and killing monsters was only a second or two, not much slower. Leveling was naturally faster this way. Lin Mashian felt that he should be looking in the right direction and immediately issued an order. The skeleton warrior flash charged into the copy channel with a clicking sound. Like an unstoppable army, they charged all the way. 
Kill level 14 Goblin Mineguard, experience plus 4200. Acquired Bones Asterisk 5. Kill level 14 Kobold Mineguard, experience plus 4200. Acquired Fur Asterisk 6. A message appeared. The experience began to grow rapidly, and the materials continued to become more numerous. A detailed map of the replica quickly formed in Lin Moshian's mind. The mine copy was just as its name stated, a mine. There were many passages in it, leading in all directions regardless of which passage one chose, one would eventually reach the end of the replica. Generally speaking, other teams would choose one of them to advance. Unlike Lin Moshien, every passageway was filled with skeleton warriors. He didn't spare all the monsters in the corners and killed all the ones he could. After entering the copy for only five minutes, an upgrade glow appeared on Lin Moshua's body. Finally level 11. With his mental strength fully restored after upgrading, Lin Mo Yen immediately summoned four skeleton warriors to join the team. The number of skeleton warriors also reached 56. Name, Lin Mu Yue. Profession, Necromancer, only. Level, 11, 0. 0%. 0 strength, 120. Agility, 120. Spirit, 40,400. Physique, 120. Equipment, none. Summoning space, 56,110, Skeleton Warriors, number, 56, comma. Talent, total increase, level 2, unique, comma. Passive skill, damage transfer. Active skills, Soul Flame, level 10, Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 11, Corpse Burst, level 1, comma. Overall increase, level 2 increased the effect of all skills by 20 times. Damage transfer, all damage taken by the sorcerer himself is taken by the summon object. Soul Flame, level 11 burns the target's soul, causing searing damage, with power depending on one's spiritual power and skill level. Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 11 summons a bronze level skeleton warrior. Corpse Burst, level 1 detonates a corpse, dealing 10% of the corpse's life value to enemies within 1 meter. Check your attributes. After level 10, the increase in basic attributes has become greater. Strength Agility Physique used to increase by 10 points per level, but now it has become 20 points. Mental strength has increased by 100 points. As the level rises, the increase in attributes afterward will become greater and greater. Lin Moshian understood this after checking it out. The skills were raised by another wave, and the skeleton warrior's four-dimensional attributes had reached 3400. The basic attributes were raised by 20 points, which was amplified by another 20 times, and the end result was an increase of 400 points. All the changes were basically expected. The only thing that remained unchanged was the corpse burst skill that had just been acquired, which remained at level 1. Why? Lin Moshian felt puzzled as to why its soul flame and summon skeleton warrior skills had both increased. The corpse burst skill remained unchanged. He couldn't figure it out. This situation was outside of his knowledge and touched a knowledge blind spot. If Ningyi is around, maybe she'll know. Lin Mou thought of Ningyi, this cute girl who loved pranks and could talk nonstop. Knew much more knowledge than herself as well. If her words of, one could ask her. For the time being, he pressed down the doubts in his mind and continued towards the depths of the replica. There were eight passages in the mind copy, and each passage was connected to each other. It looked like a maze. However, all of these passages would eventually converge together. Lin Muyue distributed the skeleton warriors evenly in each passage, not sparing a single monster. The experience increased in large amounts, pushing his level up steadily. The efficiency was quite a bit faster than in the outside world. When he stepped out of the passage, the monsters in the passage had been completely swept away. Level, 11, 32%. Almost a third of it was completed. Before and after was just over half an hour, very efficient. Chapter 24, Mining Wolf King, Elite Leader. After passing through the labyrinthine mine tunnel, he entered the second half of the copy as far as the eye could see, there was a huge passageway that was a thousand meters long. On both sides of the passage was a room like a cell. There was a huge iron gate outside the room, and from afar it looked like a prison. There were constantly wild beast cries coming from inside, echoing in the huge passageway. In addition to the bloodthirsty scent in the air there was an additional fishy odor. A huge monster blocked the center of the road. This monster was shaped like a wolf or a dog, and its height exceeded one meter just by lying on the ground. If it stood up, the overall height could exceed three meters. Its body length was more than five meters. The detection technique fell on the monster like a breeze. Mining Wolf King, Elite Leader, Rank, 15. Strength, 2000. Agility, 2000. Spirit, 1000. Physique, 2500. Skill, Roar. 
For the first time, Lin Mashian had encountered a chieftain-level monster, and it was still an elite chieftain the four dimensional attributes were much stronger than other small monsters although they were still inferior to the skeleton warrior. Even the ringleader's attributes have already reached this level, it seems like the final copy boss's attributes will be even more powerful. But it shouldn't exceed the skeleton warrior, otherwise no one would be able to beat this copy. It was normal that a nightmare difficulty copy would be of this level. Generally speaking those who had the ability to raid a nightmare difficulty copy would definitely have their own level exceeding the copy level. An elite team of 5 people would probably have an average level of 17, 18. And the equipment couldn't be too bad, the skills couldn't be too bad. Otherwise, it was simply impossible to beat the nightmare copy there was nothing in history like Lin Mashian who had soloed a nightmare copy at level 10. Affected by the detection spell, the mine wolf king awoke from its slumber. It slowly stood up, its huge wolf body exceeding 5 meters. Lin Moshian and the skeleton warrior weren't even as tall as its legs. The fishy red wolf eyes looked towards Lin Imoyu, emitting a bloodthirsty aura. A terrifying sense of oppression swept through his entire body. Go! Lin Mojing gave the order. The 56 skeletons rushed towards the mine wolf king like lightning. The mining wolf fiercely let out a roar as its skills erupted. Intense shockwaves erupted from its mouth. The 30 or so skeleton warriors at the front were sent flying. The mine walls on both sides shook and countless rubbles fell. Lin Mashian, who was standing dozens of meters away, felt the shockwave and showed a hint of surprise on his face. This skill was a group skill, and it carried a shock flying effect it was the first time he had seen a skeleton warrior get shocked flying. The skeleton warriors were sent flying by the shock, and they fell to the ground and crashed into the rock wall, looking a bit lousy. Lin Moyu didn't have the slightest worry on his face. He could feel that the skeleton warriors were merely being sent flying. In fact, the damage received wasn't great. 3,400 points of physique wasn't a fake. The skeleton warrior's defense was already very strong. The skeleton warrior quickly got up and charged at the mine wolf king once again. The slight cracks that arose from the attack just now also quickly disappeared at this time, and in the twinkling of an eye, they had recovered. The soul flame was still flourishing. Use skill. Berserk strike. Those skeleton warriors that hadn't been shaken off had already rushed to the front of the mine wolf king, and their greatswords flashed with red light as they slashed up. Blood splattered, skin split open, and wounds were deep enough to be seen on the bone the wolf king screamed miserably. There were many skeleton warriors who leapt up high and came directly onto the mining wolf king, with red light emerging from their knives to unleash their skills. This scene resembled the image Lin Moshian had seen during his transfer. This was how the skeleton warrior had hacked the giant dragon to death alive. The Mining Wolf King wasn't as huge or as powerful as the gargoyle. The Skeleton Warrior's attack power was even higher than it, and each slash dealt sizable damage. The Mining Wolf King rolled around like mad, its huge body constantly slamming into the rocky walls of the mines in a vain attempt to throw off the Skeleton Warrior on top of it. The Skeleton Warrior's palms firmly gripped its flesh and blood, making it difficult to shake it off. The Skeleton Warriors on the ground were also in hot pursuit, and a blade landed on its legs. The large knives landed on the bones, making a metallic sound, and the wolf king screamed even more its claws slapped on the skeleton warrior, and the massive impact sent the skeleton warrior flying. The skeleton warrior was not seriously injured and ran back in the twinkling of an eye. It used its mouth to bite, but the result was chipped teeth. The skeleton warrior's physique was as high as 3400, and it was sturdy. What's the use of having a large body size, damn it or die? Lin Moshian looked at this scene and felt something in his heart. Although the huge body size brought a stronger sense of oppression and more massive power. But at the same time, it also became its weakness. As long as the defense wasn't strong enough to block the skeleton warrior's attack. Then the result could be imagined. In just a few seconds, the wolf king was already on the verge of death. Roar. Another violent roar. The mine wolf king unleashed its skill for the second time. This time it used its full strength. The shock flying effect carried by the roar skill was also utilized to the limit the shockwave swept down, finally sending all those skeleton warriors on its body flying out. Even those skeleton warriors around them were shaken away together. The skill attack power is average, but the shock flying effect is really good. Lin Moyu looked at the skeleton warriors that flew out like heavenly flowers, his face was expressionless. Looking at the skill was very strong, but in fact, the skeleton warriors didn't take much damage. As expected, those skeleton warriors rolled smoothly after falling to the ground, and then one by one, they ran back with a dragon's vigor. The mine wolf king suddenly turned around and limped towards the passageway. Escaped? Chapter 25, Second Kill Currently the strongest group attack skill. Lin Moshian was slightly stunned and was not expecting it. The leader of the duplicates would even escape. The mining wolf king escaped into the passageway, constantly roaring along the way it seemed to be responding to its cries, and wolf whistles were coming out of the passageway. 
There seemed to be something wrong with the situation. Feeling that something was wrong, Lin Moshian didn't let the skeleton warriors go after it, but instead, he let the skeleton warriors retreat to his side. Crunch! Crunch! The iron doors on both sides of the passageway were opened at the sound of its roar, and a bloodthirsty ferocious wolf stepped out from behind them. Mind Fierce Wolf! Level, 14. Strength, 600. Agility, 600. Spirit, 200. Physique, 1000. Skill, Hissing Bite. Under the detection technique, the information of these ferocious wolves was at a glance. The attributes were not very strong, weaker than the goblin mine guards in the mine tunnel. But there were too many of them, at least hundreds of them. The momentum of so many ferocious wolves running together was enough to make one scalp numb. Lin Moshian wasn't afraid although there were many mine ferocious wolves, their attributes were not strong, and his own skeleton warriors were enough to deal with them. But he also thought of a problem. How did the other teams deal with the ferocious wolves? He didn't believe that a team of just five professionals could compete with so many ferocious wolves. After looking at his surroundings and seeing the mine passage behind him, he instantly understood. The exit of the mine passageway wasn't big, and at most, it would allow one person to enter at the same time. Then as long as the knight could hold the passageway, the healing assist performed the healing. Then the mages attacked with group attack skills. At most, it would only take a bit of time to wipe out the mine fierce wolves. Lin Muyue thought well, that was what all the other teams were doing. However, there was one thing he didn't know, other teams didn't encounter this many mining wolves. There were usually just a dozen or so of them. This had something to do with the fact that he had emptied the mine passage of all monsters it was the first time Lin Muyue had come to a mine copy, so he wasn't aware of this mechanism. There was no such knowledge in the books either. But then again, even if he knew, he would have definitely cleared all the monsters. How could Lin Muyue let go of so much experience? As for the difficulty? Was there difficulty for him to speak of? From the time he entered the copy until now, he had only commanded a few times in his mind. There hadn't even been a single drop of sweat. So many mind fierce wolves were just a large amount of experience in his eyes. The skeleton warriors surrounded circle after circle, firmly protecting to silence. The mining wolves came rushing over and clashed with the skeleton warriors. The mining fierce wolves were very ferocious, constantly tearing at the skeleton warriors. Sharp claws like knives landed on the skeletal warriors. Unfortunately, their attacks were not powerful enough to cause enough damage to the skeletal warriors waiting until all the mining fierce wolves had arrived. With a thought from Lin Moshien, five of the skeletons simultaneously launched an attack towards one of the mining fierce wolves. Flesh and blood flew everywhere. The five skeletons each had a slash, and the mining wolf fell to the ground with a scream after only two seconds. Killed level 14 mining wolf, experience plus 2800. Acquired wolf skin asterisk 3. The corners of Lin Mayu's mouth pulled out a beautiful arc. A light glow lit up in the center of his palm at the same time. The corpse exploded. With a loud boom, the corpse of the mining wolf was detonated. 10% of the life value of the mining wolf is used as the damage force. The explosion range was 1 meter. It was then doubled 20 times by the talent. Within a 20 meter range centered on the corpse, all enemies would have to endure 200% of the corpse's life force. This is equivalent to these ferocious wolves taking 200% of their own life force no ferocious wolf could afford it. Seconds. Undoubtedly a second kill. Kill level 14 mining wolf, experience plus 2800. Acquired wolf skin asterisk 2. Experience plus 2800 for killing a level 14 mining wolf. Bones. Kill a level 14 wolf. Experience plus 2800. Obtained wolf skin. In an instant, hints popped up like a screen. Experience sword like a rocket launch. In the blink of an eye, the experience went from 32% to 72%. One attack, 40% experience gained. This speed, it was astonishingly fast. Lin Moshian was also secretly staggered, the corpse burst skill was too strong, so strong that it was terrifying. Not to say if it could be compared to those forbidden spells of mages. At least at this current level, this skill was invincible. At this time, the mine wolf king limped back in, and it had panic in its eyes. How was it that these men of his had died out in an instant? What was the explosion just now? With its intelligence, it couldn't figure it out it just so happened that there were several corpses of mine fierce wolves at its feet. Equal treatment, you can taste it too. Lin Moshian's gaze went cold and a shimmering light flashed in his palm. The corpses exploded. Boom boom boom. Three consecutive sounds, three corpses were detonated at the same time. Miserable screams rang out as the mine wolf king was covered in blood. Most of the places were already missing flesh and blood, only white bones remained. In some places, even the bones had been broken. Woo! 
The wolf king let out a final mournful cry. The huge body shook a few times before collapsing to the ground with a loud bang. Originally, it had already suffered serious injuries, and it simply couldn't withstand such drastic damage anymore. Kill level 15 Mining Wolf King, experience plus 15,000. Acquired Wolf King's sharp teeth. Obtained low-level monster crystal core. It's only 15,000 experience, the value for money is very low. The Mining Wolf King was so strong, and with only 15,000 experience, the cost-performance ratio was indeed low it was also equivalent to the experience value of 5 Mining Fierce Wolves. However, for a chieftain-level monster, what was sought after wasn't the experience value either, but the items it would drop. The Wolf King's sharp teeth were materials for making weapons, and their price was not low in the exchange. Monster Crystal Cores could be used to make jewelry and increase attributes, and were equally valuable. Monster Crystal Cores were also only dropped by monsters above the chieftain level and were not mandatory. This also made the price of Monster Cores high. Chapter 26, King of Kobolds, A Stunning Slash Walking through the passageway, the sickening stench of fishy odor hit his face. Lin Mou couldn't help but cover his nose. The long, thousand-meter passageway, all the iron doors had been opened, and it was empty. All the ferocious wolves had been eliminated, cleanly. A huge mining pit appeared at the end of the passage the pit was more than a thousand meters in diameter and was invisible deep into the pitch blackness. There was a passageway circling down, and there were quite a few goblin-type monsters on the passageway. They wore armor and held large swords in their hands. In groups of two, they went back and forth in the passageway on lucky patrols. Goblin Elite Warrior, Reinforced Elite Monster, comma. Level, 15. Strength, 900. Agility, 800. Spirit, 400. Physique, 900. The attributes were much worse than the leader, and none of them broke a thousand. It wasn't even in Lin Mayu's eyes. With a wave of Lin Mayu's hand, the skeleton army had rushed into the pit. In the face of the tidal wave of skeleton warriors, these reinforced elite monsters were powerless to resist. One by one, they were killed. Kill level 15 Goblin Elite Warrior, experience plus 4,500. Obtained Beast Bone Asterisk 6. A prompt kept popping up. Lin Mashian gave the order to fight freely and quickly cleared the monsters in the pit although the strength and elite monsters were very strong, they were rich in experience and had enough materials. It was considered a good quality monster. It was much more cost-effective than the ordinary monsters in the outside world. If I go to a hell-ranked copy to solo in the future, I should have more experience. If anyone knew that Lin Mashian was thinking this, they would probably want to spit in his face. Hell-level copy solo brushing, throughout the entire history of the human race, no one had ever done it. There were some bulls in history who had solo brushed nightmare level copies, and they had already been recorded in the history books. Single brushing a hell level copy, that was simply a joke. There were indeed people who had gone and tried it, and those people had all died and never returned. Lin Mushin followed the passageway all the way down, the monsters along the way had already been cleaned up when he reached the bottom of the mining pit, his experience had already reached 99%. Only one step away from upgrading. At this time, the entire copy also only had the final boss left. As long as I finish it off, I should be level 12. After entering a trip to the replica, it was just over an hour before and after, and he had leveled up by more than one level. The efficiency far exceeded expectations. This way, as long as one brushed a few rounds of nightmare level difficulty, not to mention level 16, even level 18 or 19 wouldn't be difficult. As long as the level was there, entering the Shajing Academy was a foregone conclusion. Sister, we're going to meet soon. Lin Mou remembered Lin Mohan and revealed a rare smile. The big boss of the mine replica sat in the center of the mine, a large mouth constantly gulping air. The sound of breathing was like thunder, vibrating back and forth in the empty mine every time he breathed, a hurricane could be stirred up. Lin Mou was almost blown to the point of being unsteady. This big boss had no knowledge of what was happening in the outside world. That kind of state was similar to a meditative phase. However, it was asleep. The detection spell blew over like a fresh breeze. King of Goblins, Leader Class Monster. Level, 16. Strength, 3000. Agility, 1500. Spirit, 1500. Physique, 3000. Skills of Flame Spray, Sweep, Shock Retreat Skills, Flame Spray, Sweep, Shock Retreat. The attributes weren't too much compared to the Mine Wolf King, slightly stronger in strength and physique. Lin Muyue even felt that his skeleton warrior could fight it one-on-one. -on -one. The detection spell woke it up and slowly opened its eyes to look at Lin Mojing. Then with a roar, it leapt up. In its hand, it wielded a giant greatsword and slashed towards Lin Hai's head. The large knife brought a horrifying wind pressure down on his head, and Lin Mou didn't dodge or avoid it his eyes were calm and incomparable, even with a sneer. The seemingly terrifying knife stopped abruptly when it was still 10 centimeters away from Lin Mou. 
It was as if there was an invisible force that made it difficult for the large knife to advance the slightest bit. Damage transfer. All attacks Lin Moyu received would be borne by the summon. Lin Mushian suddenly frowned. Because he sensed that the skeleton warriors were all injured. The soul flames of all the skeleton warriors jumped violently and the light on their bodies dimmed by three points. Fine cracks came out on the bones at the same time. How could this happen? Lin Moshian was taken aback and somewhat puzzled. He was rarely surprised, and even when the large sword came face to face just now he was unusually calm, not even blinking his eyes. Killing three people in a row last night was the first time he had ever killed someone, and he was equally calm in his eyes, there was no difference between killing people and killing monsters. It wasn't that he was cold-blooded. Rather, it was that his sister Lin Mohan had once told her that no matter what she encountered, she had to remain calm. In times of danger, only calmness could keep you alive. He quickly backed away while the skeleton warrior rushed in front of the goblin king while protecting him. Berserk Strike The skeleton warriors used their skills one after another, and powerful attacks landed on the king of goblins, causing huge damage. For a time, the king of kobold's skin was split open. The kobold king naturally shifted its target when it was attacked and began to attack towards the skeleton warriors. Lin Moshian retreated to the side to ponder what had just happened. The effective damage transfer was to transfer the damage he received to his own summons. All the summons took the damage equally he suddenly understood. The reason why the skeleton warrior was injured at the same time in that strike just now, and the damage was not small. It was mainly because his own attributes were too weak. A mere 120 points of constitution and weak defense. Facing the king of goblins who had 3000 points of strength, how much damage should he have received? The damage transferred over was based on himself, ignoring the skeleton warrior's defense. All of that damage was transferred to the skeleton warrior, which was why the skeleton warriors were injured in droves. If that slash had landed on the skeleton warrior, it was estimated that the injuries suffered by the skeleton warrior would have been much, much lighter. So I'm the only weakness. Looks like I'll have to pile up my physique in the future. The stronger my defense, the stronger my summon legions will be. Chapter 27, Himself is the Greatest Weakness. Lin Moshian completely understood. The skeleton legion with him at its core, its greatest weakness was itself if there was a powerful enemy that gave up tangling with the skeleton warriors and turned to constantly attack himself. Then one's own self would be equally in danger. Damage transfer wasn't everything. Since he knew the weakness, Lin Moshian would naturally find a way to compensate for it. The skin on the cobalt king's body was split open, and blood spilled like rain. It was six or seven meters tall, and now its shoulders, back, chest, and even its head were full of skeletal warriors. A bright light emerged from the cobalt king's body, violently leaping up and then landing heavily on the ground. On the roar, all the skeletal warriors on his body were shaken away. Even the skeleton warriors on the ground were shaken back. Skill, shock retreat. Then a light also emerged in the eyes of the goblin king, and his mouth opened wide, spewing out flames. The flames scorched the skeleton warriors. Lin Moyu felt that four of the skeleton warrior's life force was rapidly disappearing, and they were on the verge of dying with a movement of his heart, the four skeleton warriors were immediately taken back into the summoning space. The goblin king's flames were still spewing, making it impossible for the skeleton warriors to get close. Must interrupt his skill. A flame similarly appeared on the palm of Lin Moshian's hand. Soul flame. The flame wordlessly fell into the cobalt king's head. The goblin king instantly erupted into a terrifying scream, and his flame spray was instantly interrupted. Soul Flame ignored defense and directly inflicted spiritual damage. The attack power was determined by the skill level and the strength of the spirit power. Although Lin Moshian's spiritual power was only 400 points and his skill level was only 11, after a 20 fold increase, the attack power of Soul Flame could not be underestimated. The skeleton warriors quickly surrounded them and continued to attack desperately. Lin Moshian, on the other hand, continued to use Soul Flame to attack the King of Goblins, preventing it from using its skills normally. After a minute, the king of goblins fell to the ground with unwillingness. Killed the king of goblins, experience plus 40,000. Obtained bronze level weapon, dagger of the goblin king. Obtained bronze great defense, robe of knowledge. Obtained the cobalt king's crystal core. At the same time as the prompts appeared, an upgrade glow emerged from Lin Moshian's body in synchronization. Finally, he had reached level 12. The single brush of the nightmare level copy, before and after, was just over an hour, allowing him to level up by more than one level. The efficiency was very high. Lin Muyue checked his harvest. Goblin King's Dagger, Bronze Level, Strength plus 10, Agility plus 10, Assassin System Skill Power increased by 3%, available after level 12. Robe of Knowledge, Bronze Grade Defense, Spirit plus 10, Constitution plus 10, Shortens Mage Skill Cooldown Time by 5%, available after level 12. The dagger was useless to Limerick, and he directly put it away to, he could sell it for money when he returned. 
My profession is necromancer, it should also belong to the mage lineage profession. But my skills are different from other mage skills, there is no cooldown time, it doesn't seem to be of much use. Adding 10 points each to spirit and physique is not bad. After all, it was only level 12 equipment, the requirements couldn't be too high. Lin Mashian immediately changed into the knowledge dharma robe, and his spirit and physique increased by 10 points each. In addition to the equipment, there was also the Goblin King's Crystal Core. The Cobalt King's Crystal Core was a circle larger and more beautiful than the crystal cores of low-level monsters. It was red like a ruby, and when held in the hand, one could feel the warmth coming from it. Obviously, this crystal core was very unusual if you take the core back to the exchange, you can exchange it for 100,000 gold coins. Lin Mayu's heart was filled with a bit of surprise. The crystal core was worth more than both pieces of equipment. Spiritual power was fully restored after the upgrade. Lin Mo Yan immediately summoned four skeleton warriors. The summon skeleton warrior skill had been upgraded to level 12, and the summoning requirement had reached 110 points of mental energy. Although he now had 510 points of spiritual energy, he could still only summon four of them. The bronze skeleton warrior that had reached level 12 had all four dimensional attributes up to 3,800 points, and the number had also reached 60. It was completely free to come and go in this copy. With a good mood, Lin Moshian walked into the exit of the copy. Lin Moxie appeared abruptly at the entrance of the replica. His appearance immediately drew the attention of everyone. The key to attracting attention was the skeleton warrior he had brought with him the skeleton warrior was too special. With its cold and evil-looking aura and horrifying appearance, the timid people unconsciously turned their heads and didn't dare to look at it. He came out ah. I didn't expect him to come out alive. It's hard to believe that he really swiped a single copy. There are only a handful of people who can swipe a single copy, I think this kid is not yet dry. No, look at the clothes he's wearing, they look like knowledge robes. Really, it's really a knowledge robe. Unbelievable ah, the big brother who can single brush a copy is right in front of my eyes. Lin Moshian didn't care about other people's comments. The replica entered a cooldown time, requiring 12 hours before he could enter again. Having had a trip to the replica, he was no longer interested in brushing wild monsters. The experience was too low, killing 10 or so was not as good as killing one in a copy. There was also the need to look for monsters everywhere, it was too troublesome with a 12-hour cooldown, it was just the right time to meditate to recover his mental strength and also summarize what he had gained from this copy trip. Lin Muyue silently walked to the side and found an unoccupied place to sit down. A skeleton warrior stood faithfully by his side, guarding him. This trip to the replica had an unusual significance for him. The most important thing was that it made him understand where his weaknesses were. It also understood the uses of the skills. Corpse Burst was a peerless group attack divine skill if used properly. Soul Flame could interrupt the enemy's skills, and the spirit attack that ignored defense was so powerful that even nightmare level bosses would have trouble withstanding it. Lin Muyue summarized his experience and sorted out the gains and losses. Chapter 28, Dynasty Guild, Goblin King Ring Lin Muyue sat in meditation, the skeleton warrior guarding his side. There were over a hundred people at the entrance of the duplicate, none of them dared to approach Lin Mojing it was mainly because Lin Mojing's skeleton warrior was too intimidating. It made people feel scared just by looking at it. This was good, no one came to disturb. Lin Mojing just waited for the cooldown time to pass and he could enter the copy again after 12 hours. Spiritual energy gradually recovered in meditation. When the next time he entered the copy, he could summon four skeleton warriors again. As night fell, Lin Moshian ended his meditation, and his mental strength had almost recovered. Piles and piles of bonfires were built at the entrance of the replica, and many people gathered around the bonfire to roast meat. The aroma of meat filled the air, and the flavor was even more intense after sprinkling it with spices. These people often mixed in the wilderness, each and every one of them were very experienced and very well prepared. Unlike Lin Mou, who only brought some groundnuts with him when he went out as her stomach protested, Lin Mou wanted to take out the groundnuts to eat. Finding that the groundnuts were gone, she realized that they had all been given to Ning Yi. Thinking of Ning Yi's mischievous and cute appearance, Lin Mo Yan couldn't help but reveal a small smile at the corner of her mouth. Instead, he took out a bun and ate it one bite at a time. Bro, want to come over and eat some together? Someone waves towards Lin Mou, they were roasting unknown meat, the meat was very fragrant. It was a young man in his 20s. Looking at his dress, he should be an auxiliary. Lin Mou shook her head slightly and politely declined his good intentions. He didn't insist either, and ate the roasted meat on his own. I say Wangy, what are you calling him for? That's it, this is a weirdo, he hasn't said a word since he got here. And that immortal summoner by his side is a bit scary. The young man named Wangy had a different opinion, I think he's normal, he just doesn't like to talk. And look at him, even though he doesn't speak, he has never gone to provoke others. 
I think that he's actually not as difficult to get along with as you guys think. Wangi cut also a large piece of roasted meat on a plate and walked over to Lin Emoyu, brothers, have a piece of meat, how can you just eat buns? Lin Emoyu looked at him and didn't say anything. Wangi piled on a kind smile, put the plate in front of Lin Emoyu and left. Under the detection technique, there was no problem with the roasted meat. Lin Emoyu slowly picked up the roasted meat and took a bite. The roasted meat tasted good and smelled good. Not far away, Wang Yi also held up a piece of meat and Lin Emoyu, with a sunny smile on his face. At this moment, Lin Emoyu felt that his smile was a bit similar to Gao Yang. After filling his stomach Lin Emoyu once again entered a meditative state. With the skeleton warrior by his side, he didn't have to worry about safety the 12-hour copy cooldown finally passed and Lin Mojing's mental strength was fully restored. This time, I should be able to level up to 13. He got up and saw that the entrance to the duplicate was filled with people. There were two groups of people who seemed to be facing each other. A group of people stood at the entrance to the replica, completely blocking off the entire entrance to the replica from people. They wore uniform clothing and held fine weapons in their hands, looking like an army. The ones confronting them were the people who were originally outside the replica. Although they were outnumbered, they looked scattered and couldn't compare to the other side in terms of aura. Your dynasty guild is too overbearing. On what grounds do you not let us enter the copy? That's right, on what grounds, the copies aren't yours. It's not like us entering the copy will affect you guys. Many people protested. A mage with a staff stepped out of the dynasty guild, our young president is completing a quest in the replica, none of you are allowed to enter the replica until his quest is complete. On what grounds? Your dynasty guild is too overbearing. The professionals protested, but no one dared to make a move. The main reason was the dynasty guild was too strong and they didn't dare to mess with it. Wang Yi was also among the protesting crowd, his sunny smile disappeared and was replaced by exasperation. Lin Moyu walked over and came to Wang Yi's side, what's wrong? Wang Yi saw Lin Moyu and didn't expect Lin Moyu to speak. Surprised, Wang Yi whispered, the dynasty guild's young president wants to do a quest in the copy and won't let us in. Lin Moyu had a question in her eyes. What kind of quest required blocking off copies? Wangi also saw Lin Moyu's doubts, it's like this, they need the crystal core of the Goblin King, this crystal core doesn't have a high drop rate, there's only a chance of it dropping from nightmare level copies, and it only drops once in 100 days. You should have seen this quest in the exchange as well, this quest was actually released by the Dynasty Guild. But no one has been able to complete this quest. It's ridiculous to say that the Goblin King's crystal core is not comparable to an ordinary crystal core, it's worth at least 300,000 gold coins, and they want to acquire it for 100,000, so who would sell it to them? Today is just after 100 days from the last drop, and this time Dynasty Guild took matters into their own hands. Surprisingly, it was such a coincidence. The Goblin King's crystal core in his own storage space was as dazzling as a ruby. This time, the Dynasty Guild was bound to return without any success. Originally, Lin Moyu still wanted to sell the Goblin King's crystal core for 100,000 gold coins when he went back in a couple days now that he heard Wangi say it, it was obvious that the Goblin King's crystal core was not simple. What is it for? Lin Emoyu asked in a low voice. The Goblin King's crystal core can be processed into a Goblin King ring by an alchemist. The Goblin King ring adds 10 to all attributes, raises all skills by one level, can be used at level 15, and is known as the strongest jewelry under level 40. Such strong attributes were indeed impressive. Especially with all skills boosted by one level, it was simply a godlike existence for novice professionals. Wangi continued, it's said that the Dynasty Guild's young president is going to take the Xiaojing Academy, so he's aiming for this equipment. There's no shortage of alchemists in the Dynasty Guild, and the other materials have been prepared perfectly, what's missing now is the Goblin King's crystal core. Knowing the cause and effect, Lin Moyu slightly smiled and walked towards the entrance of the replica he didn't care about the Dynasty Guild, anyway, it wouldn't do to hinder his leveling. Chapter 29, Don't Get Out of the Way, Die. Hey, what are you going for? Come back quickly, Dynasty Guild can't be messed with. Come back quickly, you'll die. Wangi was very nervous and wanted to pull Lin Moyu back. Lin Moyu ignored it and walked over obstinately. The people who were still protesting suddenly stopped, and one by one, they all looked at Lin Moyue. Lin Moyu led a skeleton towards the copy, the skeleton making a clicking sound as it walked. What are you doing? The mage at the head of Dynasty Guild stared at Lin Mojing with grim eyes. Behind him, a dozen or so people from Dynasty Guild looked towards Lin Moshin at the same time. These people were all above level 20, and each of them had an extraordinary aura. There were knights, warriors, mages, archers, and assistants. A complete combat team was formed and they were all well equipped, from weapons to defenses to jewelry, clear bronze level equipment. It was because of this reason that although there were many protesters, no one dared to actually do anything. The level was inferior, the team was inferior, the equipment was inferior, and the skills were inferior. 
If your fists were inferior, you could only protest with your mouth. Lin Mashian walked to the mage and stopped, faintly saying, get out of the way. The dynasty guild's mage looked like he had heard the funniest joke, young man, are you drunk, quickly go home. Lin Mou continued, don't stop me from entering the copy, or I'll kill you. Lin Mashua spoke seriously. He really wasn't joking. Now that he was going to enter the copy to practice, it was about him getting into the Xiaojing Academy, if anyone dared to stop him, he would really kill someone. The mage popped out a detection spell that landed on Lin Moshian. Then he revealed a sneer, Lin Moshua, just a level 12 little guy dares to talk nonsense here, didn't your adult teach you to speak properly? Necromancer, I haven't seen this profession before, is it a new profession? A summoner of the undead system, it's quite interesting. Seeing as you and I are the same mage, spare you this time, get lost. The opponent's level exceeded Lin Moshian's by 10 levels, and the shielding badge didn't work. As soon as his words came out, everyone in the room knew Lin Muyue's level. Surprisingly, he was only level 12. A level 12 could single brush a copy. Nope. He might not have even been level 12 before. Some people realized that Lin Muyue's profession could be very powerful. Lin Moshian similarly used a detection spell. Courtesy. The mage wasn't wearing a shielding badge, and Lin Mashiwe saw the other party's occupation as well. Zhao Ji, level 25, mage. It wasn't like an elemental mage like Xia Shui, it was just the most common mage, a medium professional. Although his level had reached level 25, he was not placed in Lin Mojing's eyes. Zhao Ji wore a cold smile, and behind him, the dynasty guild crowd also revealed sneers. Level 12 little guy, his hair hasn't even grown, go home and drink milk. This is not the place for you to come, beware of losing your little life. Just fight the wild monsters, the copies don't have you for now. Behind Lin Mashua, the people who were still protesting earlier all said to Lin Mashua, young man, come back quickly, dynasty guild is unreasonable, they will really kill people. Wang Yi shouted, brother, come back, we'll enter the copy when they're gone. Lin Mou didn't pay attention to the voices from all sides, his voice gradually turned cold, for the last time, get out of the way or die. Zhao Ji felt a coldness from Lin Mou's words and actually involuntarily shivered. Lin Mayu's eyes made him feel chilled, what kind of eyes were these? It was as if in Lin Mayu's eyes, he was not a human being, but a monster but the next second he reacted, brat, you're looking for death, if you dare to take another step forward, I'll kill you. Lin Mou looked at Zhao Ji, the corner of his mouth moved slightly. Kill. A single word was lightly spat out. The skeleton warrior rushed out like lightning, appearing in front of the mage in the blink of an eye, raising his hand and slashing. Zhao Ji carried a tease while a light blue energy shield appeared on his body. A level 12 little guy, even if I stand and let you fight, you won't be able to break my energy shield. The skeleton warrior's blade landed on the energy shield, and the energy shield instantly deformed violently, almost reaching the edge of shattering. This time, Zhao Ji's face immediately changed. What kind of summon was this, the attack was surprisingly so great. His own energy shield could withstand at least 5 attacks from warriors of the same level. But in front of the skeleton warrior, it was going to break in the second hit at most skill. Lin Mashian's heart moved, and the skeleton warrior's blade suddenly erupted with eye-catching red light. Berserk Strike Zhao Ji was scared out of his wits, who would have thought that this summon would even use a skill. He felt the threat of death, not only would the energy shield break under the skill, he would also die. Resist Ring of Fire Zhao Ji instantly released his skill, and the Ring of Fire erupted, instantly pushing the skeleton warrior out a few meters. The skeleton warrior's skill was also interrupted. What are you looking at, do it! Zhao Ji felt like he had taken a trip from the gates of hell, his face turned white and he shouted sternly. A knight responded by launching his charge skill, raising his shield high and instantly rushing out a dozen meters to crash heavily into the skeleton warrior. Boom! In the midst of the screams, the knight was sent flying. The skeleton warrior did not move at all in terms of strength, the skeleton warrior was victorious. Unless it was a skill like ring of fire resistance with a mandatory flying shock, it was all about who had more power. The skeleton warrior charged up once again, and he faithfully carried out Lin Mashian's order to kill Zhao Ji. Zhao Ji quickly backed up and called out as he reinforced his shield, kill the summoner. The best way to deal with a summoner was not to kill the summoner, but to kill the summoner himself. As long as the summoner died, the summoned object would naturally disappear. Bang! The two archers released their arrows at the same time. The sharp arrows turned into three in the air, turning into streams of light and shooting down Lin Mashian. Be careful! Quickly dodge! Someone from the back shouted. Lin Mou, however, didn't dodge, didn't even change his expression. Chapter 30, How Come There Are So Many? A black vortex appeared in front of his body, and two skeleton warriors appeared at the same time, one on the left and one on the right just in time to block the incoming arrows the arrows landed on the skeleton warriors' bodies, emitting metal striking sounds, and did not cause any damage. 
Then the two skeleton warriors pounce straight towards the two archers. Surprisingly, there is more than one summon. Zhao Ji's face changed again, becoming extremely ugly. He didn't expect Lin Maxian to have more than one summoner. However, there were some summoners for whom it was normal to have more than one summon. There was a summoner in their union that possessed four summons. Block it for me. Zhao Ji shouted, and immediately, a knight warrior came over and blocked in front of him, blocking the skeleton warrior for him. Without any danger to his life, Zhao Ji raised his staff high and pointed it at Lin Maxian, rapidly reciting an incantation under his breath it was better to kill a summoner than a summoner. Fire Snake Wild Dance Two seconds later, a fire snake flew out of his staff and came straight at Lin Mojing. Oh no, this is a skill that can only be learned by a level 20 mage, and it's also a very rare skill. Claimed to be the strongest attack skill before a mage's second turn, this time, Brother Lin Mashue is going to be in trouble. It's said that less than a third of mages can master this skill. Some people behind him were worried for Lin Mojing. Lin Mojing still didn't make any movements, and the whirlpool appeared in front of him once again. This time, a whole 20 skeleton warriors came out at the same time. 20 soul flames jumped in the dark night. The fire snakes danced wildly and landed on them, exploding with a loud bang, blasting out brilliant flames. Amidst the flames, the 20 skeleton warriors rushed out in unison and pounced towards the dynasty guild crowd. Jaoji's face became incredibly ugly, how could there be so many? Just now, the appearance of three skeleton warriors was enough to surprise him, but he didn't expect 20 to appear at once this time. This number had already exceeded their numbers. Form up, line up, and meet the battle. Zhao Ji was very experienced and didn't panic because of this. Dynasty Guild was worthy of being a guild that had been through a long time of battle and had a lot of experience. The professionals inside had all been baptized by a large number of battles and possessed extremely excellent coordination. They quickly assembled. The knights were at the front, the warriors, archers, and mages were at the center for output, and at the end were the aides. In Zhao Ji's eyes, although these summons were strong, his own team was more complete. Killing the skeleton warriors would only take some time. The team of a dozen people shrunk into a baldo auxiliary quickly added status to everyone. Strength strengthening, agility strengthening, spirit strengthening. Speed excitation, energy shield, berserker's soul. As long as there were statuses that could be added, not a single one was left out. Before and after only 30 seconds, all the statuses were added. From this, it also reflected their excellent coordination. Confidence reappeared on Zhao Ji's face. Although they were now surrounded by skeleton warriors, it wasn't like they hadn't encountered such a situation before. He firmly believed that the one who laughed in the end would inevitably be himself. At this time, Lin Mashua raised his hand and lowered his head towards Wangi and the others behind him, you guys, back off. At this point in time, no one dared to disobey his words. Who would have thought that he alone could fight off a dozen or so dynasty guilds men? The crowd immediately backed up, and in the blink of an eye, they were already tens of meters away Zhao Ji saw this and had doubts in his heart, but didn't think much about it. At that moment, he suddenly saw flames flashing before his eyes, followed by a tragic scream from an archer. The archer's life force dropped drastically, and he was instantly on the verge of death. Immediately afterward, a healing spell landed on the archer, quickly pulling him back from the line of death. Lin Moshian had used soul flame and failed to kill the archer in seconds. The opponent's nurse reacted quickly and directly healed the archer. Zhao Ji broke out into a cold sweat as he thought about Lin Mou's occupation. Lin Moshiwe wasn't just a summoner, but a necromancer. In addition to being a summoner, he was a mage. Attention nurse, heal quickly, the opponent has spell attack abilities. Zhao Ji commanded loudly, causing everyone in the team to become even more nervous. Who would have thought that a dozen of them would be surrounded and killed by one person focus on attacking one person? Lin Moshian looked towards the outermost knight topping the skeleton warrior. This knight was also suffering at this time, he had to withstand the attacks of more than 10 skeleton warriors at the same time. The pressure he was under was even greater than resisting a nightmare level copy boss. Although there were constantly healing spells falling on him, he still felt an incomparable pain, thinking that he would hang at any moment. As Lin Moshian commanded, more knives fell on him. Then a flame appeared above his head. Out of the instinct of life, the knight began his extreme defense at the first moment. A shimmering light flickered on his body, and the pressure was suddenly much less. However, the soul flame ignored his defense and directly attacked his soul. Even with limit defense, he still screamed out in misery. Fortunately, the nurse reacted quickly and threw a healing spell on him under the skeleton warrior's continuous attacks, the light of ultimate defense was fading fast. The limit defense that had originally lasted at least 40 seconds or more had ended up only lasting 20 seconds. The instant the limit defense disappeared, Lin Moshian gave a new order. Use a skill. At the same time, he used soul flame again. The soul flame exerted its effect, causing the knight to scream miserably. A dozen berserk strikes landed on this knight at the same time. 
Even the nurse couldn't heal in time, and the knight was killed in seconds in an instant. The gap in the team was opened and Zhao Ji's face changed drastically, escape. Lin Maxian shook his head, it was too late. A skeleton warrior threw the knight's corpse into midair. The corpse exploded. There was a loud boom. The knight's corpse was detonated. Detonating in the air had the greatest power. With the knight as the center and a range of 20 meters, it inflicted 200% of the knight's life force on all enemies of all the professions, the knight's life force was one of the best. Using his life as the baseline damage and doubling it, how powerful it was. Zhao Ji only heard a boom and there was no more then. All of them were killed in seconds. The corpses exploded like thunder in the sky, destroying everything. Only a dozen or so blasted and tattered corpses were left on the ground. None of the dynasty guild centaurs survived. Large swathes of items were scattered on the ground. Lin Mou didn't even look at them and collected them all. Chapter 31, Destroying Bodies, This Place May Be Dangerous. Boom. 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 A corpse was thrown up into the air. The sound of explosions went on and on. Lin Mou detonated all the corpses. A true destruction of corpses. Only after doing all this did Lin Mou enter the copy. The group of scattered people who had protested earlier finally dared to lean over. When the corpses burst, the terrifying energy was like knives scraping their entire body boy, they're all dead. There really isn't anyone left. Not only did they leave no one behind, they didn't even leave any corpses. A true destruction of bodies, really ruthless people. This time, it's the Dynasty Guild. The Dynasty Guild won't let it go. What do we do? Wangy suddenly stepped forward and said, everyone, with Dynasty Guild's character, they definitely won't let it go. If we're caught by them, whether we say anything or not, the next step will be a death sentence. I have a suggestion, why don't we all retreat now? Leave West Sea City, leave Jiangning Province, and stay away from Dynasty Guild's sphere of influence. There's more than one place where we can practice leveling anyway, and the Dynasty Guild isn't a god, it won't necessarily be able to find us. His proposal was immediately accepted by everyone. As he had said, the Dynasty Guild was not a good bird. As long as we were caught by them, no matter if we talked or didn't talk, the end would be pretty much the same Wangi clasped his fists, I'll leave first, see you all again sometime. See you again with destiny. With his incitement, everyone retreated, and in the blink of an eye the entrance to the replica became empty. The firelight went out, and only a black vortex was left slowly rotating at the entrance of the western sea mine's replica, emitting a faint whirring sound. Moonlight rained over this area again. Half an hour later, several people teleported out of the replica. Prince Hao had a slight disappointment on his face. This trip to the replica still failed to obtain the Goblin King's crystal core. The next time he entered the copy, it would take 12 hours. But he still had a chance, there were still a few days before the big exam, he could enter the copy at least four more times. Huh, why is there no one there? Where did Zhao Ji and the others go? And where did so many stragglers go again? Something doesn't seem right. Zhao Ji disappeared, and all the scattered people disappeared as well, what the hell happened? The few people who accompanied Prince Hao down the copy revealed panic. They were all only level 17 and had far less experience than Zhao Ji and the others. At this moment, they could only use Prince Hao as their backbone, after all, he was the Dynasty Guild's young president. But Prince Hao was also confused, his entire face covered in question marks. After considering for half a day before he opened his mouth, release a flare, if Zhao Ji is nearby, he will inevitably respond when he sees it. A flare rose into the air and exploded in the air, forming a huge ball of light. It could be seen clearly in a 10-mile radius. There was no response until the flare was completely extinguished, indicating that Zhao Ji and the others should not be here. Prince Hao realized that Zhao Ji and the others must have encountered something during the time he was in the copy otherwise, it was impossible to leave. Zhao Ji would be killed? With Zhao Ji and the others' strength, they were a crushing existence in this area. He wouldn't think in that direction either. Even if they were to be killed, they would definitely leave traces behind. But there was nothing in front of him. It's not just that Zhao Ji isn't here, the others have also left. Something must have happened here, it might be dangerous. Let's leave first and go back to see if we can contact Zhao Ji. The atmosphere here was too weird, so Prince Hao decided it was better to leave first. Lin Muyue was alone in the copy, with 64 skeleton warriors rampaging all the way. The fighting method was exactly the same as earlier, and the experience soared. This time, it was more efficient than last time, and after only an hour Lin Muyue had already arrived at the end of the copy. The 64 skeleton warriors surrounded up together and blasted the king of goblins iron pounding sounds rang out into a mass. Lin Maxiang had previous experience. Whenever the king of goblins was about to unleash a skill, he used soul flame to interrupt. Soul flame was almost instantaneous, a few points faster than the king of goblins skills. 
In just 30 seconds before and after, the grand boss of the hallowed nightmare level replica collapsed to the ground and died in an incomparable suffocation. Killed King of Goblins, experience plus 40,000. Obtained bronze level weapon, Goblin King's magic book. Obtained low level monster crystal core. As expected, this time, instead of dropping the Goblin King's crystallized core, it turned into a low level monster crystallized core. The Goblin King's crystal core would only drop once in 100 days, which only emphasized its preciousness. Lin Meiyu felt that when he arrived at the Xiaojing Academy, he might be able to find an alchemist to make the Goblin King's crystal core into the Goblin King's ring. This kind of boss jewelry was very useful no matter what profession or level. Lin Moi checked the attributes of the Goblin King's grimoire. Goblin King's Grimoire, Bronze Grade, Spirit plus 10, Physique plus 10, Mage System Skill Power Increase by 3%, available after level 12. Looking at the attributes, it wasn't quite right, but it was just about usable. Holding the book, it seemed a bit interesting as well. The attribute of a 3% increase in the power of Mage System skills was somewhat useful for Soul Flame and Corpse Burst, but not for Skeleton Warrior. Skeleton Warrior doesn't seem to belong to the Law Again Mage System skills. The glow of the upgrade on his body hadn't completely disappeared. Lin Moshian rose to level 13 while killing the Goblin King. The experience requirements are starting to increase. I shouldn't be able to rise to level 14 next time I copy. To get to level 15, we still need to go down 3 more times. Based on the time, I can still go down 5 more copies at most, and I'll only rise to level 16 at best. It's a bit worse than expected, level 16 to take the Shajing Academy should be enough. Lin Muyua exited the copy. The outside of the copy was silent and unusually quiet. All gone? Lin Muyue pondered for a moment and basically understood the cause and effect. Leaving was probably the best option for this group of casuals. Looking around with his eyes, he didn't linger either. He quickly disappeared into the darkness and vanished. Chapter 32, Has Your Brain Been Eaten by a Mad Dog? The warm sun rose into the sky, and the earth ushered in the next day. Finally another team arrived in front of the replica door. Huh, why is there no one today? It used to be bustling. Strange, where did all the people go? This team expressed their disbelief, but didn't think much of it. They chose normal difficulty and entered the copy. Then one after another, more people came over, and the entrance to the copy became lively once again. After the copy's cooldown time ended, Lin Moshian came back again and entered the copy. What a weirdo. This one is so cold, not a single word. The summon beside him is so cool, even though it's a bit scary, it's really cool. What's the point of being cool, people don't even care about us. I saw him go in alone, it seems like he's going solo. It's Lin Mashiue. Xiaoshue saw Lin Mashiue enter the copy alone from afar. The skeleton warrior beside Lin Mojing was too conspicuous. She knew clearly that only Lin Mashiue had such a summon in the whole world. Necromancer was a uniqueness profession, there wouldn't be a second one. Xiaoshue's gaze was complicated, he's going to single brush. Tightly biting her lips. She had just level 10 today and came straight to the copy although she was only level 10, with her rare profession, Elemental Mage, it was still easy to find a team. The West Sea Mines copy, a mere level 14 copy, was not really that difficult. This was especially true for the normal difficulty. However, it was still not easy to single brush. Unexpectedly, Lin Mashiue was able to solo brush it, and once again walked in front of her. Defiance flashed in Xiaoshue's eyes, I won't lose to you, we'll see. Soon she also found a team and entered the copy. Lin Moshian pushed his way through the nightmare level copies. After upgrading yesterday, the skeleton warriors had reached 68. Later, after 12 hours of meditation, her mental strength had completely recovered. Lin Moshian summoned another four kulasas for the warriors after entering the copy. Now there were a whole 72 skeleton warriors forming a huge legion. Efficiency was even higher than before. Wherever the skeleton warriors went, not an inch of grass would grow coupled with the fact that Lin Moshian was already very familiar with the copy, the advancement speed was even faster. After only 45 minutes, Lin Moshian met his old friend. Don't sleep, wake up. The goblin king awoke on the skeleton warrior's greatsword. By the time it stood up, it had lost most of its life force. Fire came out of its mouth, and then soul flame descended, interrupting its skills. In just 30 seconds before and after, the goblin king once again suffocated and collapsed. Killed the Goblin King, experience plus 40,000. Obtained bronze level weapon, Goblin King's Longbow. Acquired low level monster core. Cobalt King's Longbow, bronze level, strength plus 10, agility plus 10, bow skill power increased by 3%, available after level 12. The drops were the same as always, Lin Moshian just glanced at them and put them away in his storage space. The Goblin King's eyes held resignation and depression. 
Those eyes, as if they knew Lin Moshin, don't be depressed, I won't come back a few more times. You're just going to get killed anyway, it's the same by whoever you kill isn't it? And being killed by me is a bit faster and less torturous. Actually, I don't want to kill you either, but it can't be helped, I have to upgrade too. Lin Mojing whispered to the Goblin King, not caring if the Goblin King could understand. It wasn't too far off from what Lin Mou expected, this time, he really didn't finish upgrading. It was still 20% short of level 14. The next time he came, he would be able to upgrade. Lin Mou left the copy and then quickly moved away, not lingering here in the copy. In the afternoon, a group of Dynasty Guild people arrived in front of the replica. Young President Wang Jihao wasn't there, and the people who had teamed up with him yesterday to go down the duplicate were also absent. Dynasty Guild wasn't here to go down the copy this time, but to investigate what happened yesterday Zhao Ji Bird was nowhere to be found, along with the dozen or so people he brought with him. The casuals who were present at the time also disappeared one by one, as if they had vaporized. This time, the Dynasty Guild's people were restrained and didn't do anything excessive. Even asking people was polite. After some inquiries, the answers they got were all unknown. Because everyone present had just arrived today, they didn't know anything about what happened yesterday. They couldn't get any results even after investigating for half a day. In the end, they could only retreat. Somehow, the news of the Dynasty Guild blocking the copies spread out, causing many people to strongly protest. The Professionals Association sent a warning to Dynasty Guild today. If they did this again, the consequences that awaited them would be severe. The duplicates were the resources of all mankind, not something that one of their guilds could blockade at will let alone a day or two, not even an hour. At the Dynasty Guild headquarters, President Wang Wei pointed at Wang Jihao and chopped his head off. Has your brain been eaten by a mad dog? How did you come up with the blockade copy thing? Do you think our Dynasty Guild can cover the sky with one hand? Do you think the Divine Summer Empire and the Professionals Association are just for show? If you want to die, go do it yourself, don't drag the Dynasty Guild down with you. Don't go anywhere these days, just stay in the guild. You're leveled up enough anyway, so wait for the big exam at ease. Wang Wei scolded Wang Jihao. Wang Jihao lowered his head without saying a word and held his tongue for half a day before asking, what about Zhao Ji and the others? Someone has already been sent to look into it, so don't worry about this. To be able to make so many people disappear at once, its strength is not something you can manage. Wang Wei waved his hand and told him to go down. Anyway, Wang Jihao was already level 16, and it was completely enough to take the Xiaojing Academy. Even if he was confined for the past few days and couldn't upgrade, it wouldn't have a big impact. Chapter 33, Drag Monsters, Group Kill, Second Boss During the night, Lin Muyue entered the copy for the fourth time. This time, the skeleton warriors had increased to 76. After the first three passes, he already knew this copy like the back of his hand. After entering the copy, a brand new idea popped up in his mind. It's possible to try it out. If it works, it can be used in other copies in the future. Thinking of it, all the skeleton warriors rushed into the mine tunnel like a tidal wave. A large number of monsters in the mine tunnel were attracted by the skeleton warriors, but the skeleton warriors didn't engage them and instead ran towards the depths of the replica without stopping for a moment thus, a peculiar scene was formed in the copy. A large number of skeleton warriors were running in front, followed by a large number of goblin monsters. Behind the goblin monsters, there was also a Lin Moshian. Lin Moshian was also running, following the group with a smile on her face. After the skeleton warrior reached the bronze level, the limit distance between the skeleton warrior and him had increased to 1,000 meters. He only needed to stay within the range of 1,000 meters. With nearly 100 monsters in the mine tunnel, he ran all the way to the Mine Wolf King place. The arrival of the skeleton warrior also woke up the Mine Wolf King. The Mine Wolf King began to attack the skeleton warriors, but the skeleton warriors didn't pay any attention to it. After waiting for all the monsters behind them to chase over under Lin Moshian's command, the range of the skeleton warrior's activities became smaller and smaller. The range of the monsters was also getting smaller and smaller, and these monsters were gathered together. At this time, Lin Mayu's figure had already appeared at the mouth of the mine tunnel. The skeleton warriors suddenly attacked, directly killing one of the goblin mine guards in seconds. The corpse was then thrown up high. The corpse exploded. Lin Moshian, who had been waiting for a long time, unleashed his skill and detonated the corpse. There was a loud boom. The entire mine shook as countless rubble fell from the rock walls. The cobalt mine guards fell in pieces. At Lin Marin's place, various hints began to brush the screen once again. The prompts were overwhelming, and Lin Murray didn't have time to look at them. A large number of new corpses had already spawned, and he kept casting corpse burst, using it ten times in a row. Ten times with a huge boom, the earth of the replica was hardened and chipped off a layer the mining wolf king didn't escape back into the passageway this time, and died directly in the middle of the corpse explosion. 
At this time, the iron door in the passageway was opened, and a large number of mining fierce wolves ran out. Only then did Lin Mou realize that there was no need for the mining wolf king to run back and call out, these gates would also open automatically. Go on, pull all of them into the mine pit. Lin Mou gave an order and the skeleton warriors once again ran towards the mining pit. What was in the pit? Aside from some goblin monsters, it would only be the king of goblins. The skeleton warriors dragged hundreds of mining fierce wolves and ran in without a second thought, with Lin Moshian following behind. At this moment, the light from his upgrades was rising from his body. The wave of group bombing monsters just now had brought him to level 14. And right now, it had only been 5 minutes since he had entered the copy this kind of speed, it was too fast, so fast that it was unimaginable. The skeleton warriors ran all the way down the passage of the pit, attracting all the monsters that were in the pit as well. By the time they arrived at the bottom of the mine, there were already over 200 monsters following the group. Goblin-type monsters, mining ferocious wolves, huddled together. The Goblin King gradually awoke, his eyes filled with doubt. What's going on here? I'm here again. Lin Moshian had also stepped down. The skeleton warrior stopped running and started to counterattack. Berserk strike. Red lit up on the large sword and swung the skill. Accompanied by a scream, a mine fierce wolf was instantly bodied. The body flew up and exploded in the air. The body exploded. Boom. Boom. The roar continued, almost collapsing the mine. The experience value sword. Dazzling alerts. A large number of material items entered the backpack. The king of goblins that had just awakened and hadn't even stood up yet it collapsed to the ground and a dozen consecutive corpse burst attacks. This time, it was even more miserable than the previous times, but it also died a much drier death. Even if there was pain, it was only a matter of seconds. Looking at the goblin king who was full of unwillingness, Lin Moshian sighed softly. I'm not coming back for three more times. The implication was that you would die three more times. You're used to dying anyway, someone comes to kill you every day. Kill the king of goblins, experience plus 40,000. Obtained bronze level weapon, goblin king's staff. Obtained low level monster crystal core. The Goblin King Staff, Bronze Grade, Spirit plus 10, Physique plus 10, 3% increase in the power of Mage System skills, available after level 12. Looking at his experience, level 14 60%. Next time I come in, I'll be level 15. After reaching level 15, the experience requirement would be raised again. At least lift off 2 to 3 times counting the time, I can come in up to 3 more times, and I should be able to reach level 16 without any surprises. But the specifics will also depend on the experience requirements after level 15. At this time, the usual bustle had returned outside the copy. There were a little less people than before, and there was also a change in the batch. Lin Mou didn't even see a single familiar face when he glanced around. He had heard from other people's conversations that Dynasty Guild had come. Obviously, the Dynasty Guild hadn't gotten any useful information. Lin Mojing didn't stay away this time, but found a secluded place to meditate. The number of skeleton warriors had increased by four more, and the number had reached 76. Each skeleton warrior's four-dimensional attributes were as high as 4600, which was even higher than the nightmare-level copy boss Goblin King. The only drawback was that the skills weren't powerful enough. It wasn't like the King of Goblins that had a super high killing power skill like Flame Spray Lin Moshin, who was meditating, suddenly received a message from the skeleton warrior. Someone was approaching. Chapter 34, Why Can You Ignore the Cooldown Time? How many levels are you? Hearing a familiar voice, he opened his eyes to see Xiaoshui. Xiaoshui's delicate face carried a touch of dust, and there was still a surge of elemental aura on her body. It was obvious that she had just gone through a battle, and she had just come out of her copy. She stared at Lin Mojing, her face full of defiance. Lin Moyu's voice was calm, level 14. What? Xiaoshui let out a strange cry, how could you be so fast? She had teamed up with someone and brushed the normal difficulty West Sea Mines copy twice in a row, rising from level 10 to level 11. Two consecutive copies had exhausted her. Even if Lin Mou could single brush the copies, it was impossible to upgrade so fast. Xiaoshui couldn't have thought that Lin Mou Yen was brushing nightmare difficulty no matter what Lin Mou Yen didn't continue to answer Xiaoshui. You love to believe it or not. With Xiaoshui's understanding of Lin Mou Yue, she knew that Lin Mou Yue wouldn't be bullshitting. Since he said that he was level 14, then he was definitely level 14. The defiance in Xiaoshui's eyes grew stronger. The higher the level, the slower the upgrade. On the first day of the novice copy, he himself was level 5 and Lin Mou was level 7. There was a difference of two levels. It was only logical that they should have closed the distance by now. Why was it that he was only level 11 while Lin Mou was level 14, but instead, he had widened the distance? Xia Shui hummed, I won't admit defeat. Saying this she turned around and left. 
Lin Moyu looked at her, not knowing what to say. Over the past few years, she had always pressed Xia Xue head and shoulders. Before the transfer, she had always been the first in all subjects, and Xia Xue had been the second for 10,000 years after the transfer, his own level went all the way up, once again leaving Xia Xue behind. Lin Moyu also understood that Xia Xue's heart was always unconvinced and wanted to compete with herself. Whether it was before or after the transfer, it was always like this. But he himself had never given her a chance. Suddenly he saw Xia Xue enter the copy with a few people. Strange, didn't she just come out? How come she can go in again so quickly? How come the copy doesn't have a cooldown? Lin Moshian had seen the unthinkable. He had tried both normal difficulty and nightmare difficulty, and the copies had cooldown times. And both were universal. After he swiped the nightmare difficulty, he wouldn't be able to enter the normal difficulty for 12 hours as well. But how could Xia Shui get in again so quickly? Lin Muyue was pretty sure that Xia Shui had just come out of the copy not long ago the battle aura on her body was still present and hadn't completely faded. And there was still the aura of the Goblin King. That couldn't fool anyone. Lin Mojing had the skeleton warrior observe while he meditated. Two hours later, Xia Shui's figure reappeared at the entrance of the duplicate. She had finished swiping a copy. After coming out of the copy, Xia Shui didn't forget to turn her head to look at Lin Mou Lin Mojing saw exhaustion in her expression. It was the kind of overdraft caused by continuous fighting. Then in just 10 minutes, Xia Shui found another team and entered the copy once again. Lin Mojing realized that before she entered the copy, she seemed to have used a prop. At that time, there was a shimmering light flowing from her body. Lin Mojing guessed that it was this prop that caused Xia Shui to ignore the copy cooldown time. If you have the chance, you can ask about it. Lin Mo Yen thought in his mind and re-entered the meditative state mental power gradually recovered. As his level got higher and higher, the mental strength attribute came to the fore. Right now, his base spiritual power was already as high as 700, far exceeding other attributes. This was also the characteristic of the mage lineage profession, with extremely high spiritual power. In exchange, the other attributes were extremely poor. There was no balance to speak of. Every profession had its own characteristics, which Lin Moshian chose to accept. Several hours later, the sound of slightly heavy footsteps rang in his ears. Xia Shui walked over to sit next to Lin Mojing with a body full of fatigue. Even if there was no cooldown restriction, it was impossible for her to continuously brush copies. The body couldn't take it. I'm exhausted. Xia Shui paralyzed on the ground without any image. She wasn't scared at all of the skeleton warriors beside Lin Mou. Lin Mojing was her classmate anyways, there was nothing to be afraid of worrying about after resting for a while and smoothing out her breath, Xia Shui regained a little bit of spirit, this young lady is already level 12, she'll catch up with you soon. Level 12, if a group rushes a normal copy, it would take at least 3 to 4 times to level up. It was hard to catch up with him. Lin Mou looked at Xia Shui who had exhaustion written all over her, aren't you tired? Xia Shui hummed, tired, how not, this young lady doesn't want to move a single finger right now. Why? Xia Shui had a look of displeasure, why? You still have the face to ask me why, after being suppressed by you for so many years, this young lady must surpass you. Just because of this? Lin Mou didn't expect the resentment in Xia Shui's heart to be so heavy, she should have known that she would put a water in the water during a certain exam, so that she could also take the first place. Xia Shui looked at the sky, of course it's more than that I am going to take the Xiaojing Academy, aren't you also going to take the Xiaojing Academy, so you should understand. If you want to take the Xiaojing Academy, you need to be at least level 14, insurance point level 15, and the safest level 16. There are still two days left, Lin Mou thinks that Xia Shui will reach level 14 at most, and it's hard to get to level 15. Unless. Lin Mou whispered, you should go brush the nightmare level copies, that way you can upgrade faster. Are you kidding me, elite teams are not that easy to find. Those elite teams want level 16, 17 professionals, I'm only level 12, no one wants me. Xia Shui blankly glanced at Lin Mou, as if to say, do you understand or not? Looking at the elite team that waved the flag at the door of the replica to ask for people, in addition to having requirements for leveling professions, they also had requirements for equipment. Unless you are a milkmaid aide, the requirements can be appropriately lowered output class professions like Xia Shui, the requirements are instead the highest. Seeing that Lin Mou didn't say anything, Xia Shui said to herself, that's why I said, this young lady is better off brushing the normal level copies a few more times, level 14 shouldn't be a problem, and it's possible to put in a little effort for level 15. Lin Mou listened to her words and finally opened her mouth to inquire, why can you ignore the cooldown time? Chapter 35, I'll take you to brush your copy, you don't have to do anything. Xia Shui revealed an expression of a surprised baby, I can't believe you don't know. Then she suddenly laughed chirpily, surprisingly you don't know, so there's something you don't know. Lin Mou didn't say anything, he just quietly looked at Xia Shui. Was it that funny? 
It wasn't like he was an encyclopedia, there were more things he didn't know. Xiaoxue seemed to have found the funny spot, with a bad smile, say something nice and I'll tell you. Lin Mou turned her head and closed her eyes. If you don't want to say it, don't say it, let him say something nice, it's impossible. Seeing Lin Mou like this, Xiaoxue instantly lost interest. What a nerd, can't even make a joke. People say that mages have the most flexible and jumpy minds, which is so dull like you. I really suspect that you are a fake mage. People will tell you, that's because I used a cooling amulet. Lin Mashian pondered over the information on cooling amulets in his memory and realized that there was no knowledge on the subject. Didn't even know what a talisman was. It wasn't learned in school. Xiaoxue said, the cooling talisman can offset the copy cooldown time, allowing you to enter the copy repeatedly. Saying this, Xiaoxue took out a palm-sized piece and handed it to Lin Mou, this is it. The talisman looked like a jewel, with a fascinating light shining on its surface, and the talisman was engraved with all sorts of unintelligible arcane runes a shimmering light flooded his fingertips. Under the detection technique, Lin Moshian obtained the scroll information. Elementary Cooling Talisman Usage, 7, 10 Introduction can offset the cooldown time of a copy, only effective for copies below level 20. Surprisingly, there was such a thing. Lin Mashiwa felt that she was really lonely. Xiaoxue said, this is the talisman I use to continuously enter copies, now you understand. If he had this thing, he could repeatedly brush the copies and his level could rise quickly. Lin Mou whispered, this thing, is it expensive? Xiaoxue said, I don't know, dad gave it to me to use. But it should be quite expensive, at that time, looking at my dad's appearance, it seems a little heartbroken. Xiaoxue's family lineage was very good, and her family's conditions were very favorable. The Shihai Xia family, in the entire Jiangning province, was ranked something that even he would find expensive was obviously worth a lot. After analyzing it, Lin Mou lost the idea of getting a talisman. Xiaoxue said, there are still two days left, and I'm going to use up all seven copy reset opportunities. Combined with my own cooldowns, I'll have to swipe at least nine more replicas so I'm guaranteed to level up to fifteen. Oh my god, this young lady will die of exhaustion. Xiaoxue had a sad look on her face, and looked like she had regained a few moments of what she should look like at this age. It was no longer so much of a high and mighty young lady look. Lin Mou thought for a moment, I can take you to brush copies and guarantee that you can rise to level 15, and you don't have to do anything. Xiaoxue's eyes lit up, how could he have forgotten that he still had a guy beside him who could single copy? If he followed Lin Mou to brush copies together, he wouldn't have to do it himself. Moreover, two people teaming up would have more experience than three people not having to be tired and having more experience, it was a heavily good thing. The only problem was that the resulting level wouldn't be able to catch up with this guy. But even if he didn't brush after him, could he catch up? Xiaoxue was not sure. After considering it, Xiaoxue made a decision. If you can't catch up with the level for the time being, then you can't catch up with him, but first make sure that you can enter the Xiaojing Academy. Anyway, the career path is just starting now, the future is still far away, sooner or later one day we'll be able to catch up. Okay, I promise you. You take me to brush copies and I'll share the talisman with you to use together. Lin Meiyu knew that Xiaoxue would definitely agree, as long as she wasn't too stupid, she wouldn't refuse. This way, he himself could also brush the copies a few more times. Although the experience was much less each time, but with more times, the harvest was actually greater instead this was a win-win result. Xiaoxue said, then don't waste time, let's enter the copy together. Lin Mashian didn't move, in two more hours, my cooldown will be over. There were still two hours left, using up a talisman reset opportunity wasn't worth it. Xiaoxue wasn't stupid, this kind of thing counted clearly, well then, just wait for two hours, this young lady will sleep first, call me when she's ready. Said she fell back to sleep, not a moment had fallen asleep. Sleeping so unguarded in the wilderness, it was very dangerous. However, Xiaoxue slept at ease because there was Lin Mou beside her. Regardless of how unconvincing Lin Mou was, she knew Lin Maya's character very well and was completely at ease. Xiaoxue curled up her body and slept soundly, with a smile at the corner of her mouth. After Lin Mou gave the skeleton the guardian command, he himself continued to meditate, recovering his spiritual power two hours later, Lin Mojing's copy cooldown ended. Get up! Lin Mashue woke up Xiaoxue. Xiaoxue's eyes were sleepy, so soon. Xiaoxue got up and stretched, revealing her slim belly button. At this moment, she let loose to show off her beautiful figure. Xiaoxue was tall, with a height of 1 meter 7, and her body was even more concave and convex. It looked shorter than Lin Mou, who was 1 meter 8, just a little bit. The two stood side by side, like a match made in heaven. Only the skeleton warrior next to them was a bit of a scene stealer. After sleeping for two hours, Xiaoxue's spirit had recovered quite a bit, and most of her fatigue had receded. The two of them formed a team, with Lin Mou as the captain, and together they came to the entrance of the replica. 
Xiaoshui used the primary cooling amulet to make her copy's cooldown time disappear. A shimmering light flowed through her body as Xiaoshui nodded her head towards Lin and Moyen, all right, go in. Lin Moshian opened his copy and then selected the nightmare level difficulty. Xiaoshui's face changed drastically, did you choose the wrong one? Before the words fell, the two had already disappeared in front of the door of the copy. Chapter 36 What is called efficiency, this is called efficiency. The heavy and depressing atmosphere made Xiaoshua breathless. Looking at the terrifying monsters walking back and forth behind the large iron gate, her slender legs were a little weak. Under the detection technique, the attributes of the reinforced elite monster were unobstructed. Whether it was their attributes or appearance, they were simply worlds apart from the monsters in the normal level copies. Xiaoshua looked at Lin Mojue in horror, this is nightmare level difficulty, did you choose the wrong one? Lin Mou was oblivious, I didn't choose wrong. I'm not sure if I've made a mistake. It's hard to believe that this guy still wants to rely on the two of them to brush the nightmare level copy just by looking at the monster's horrifying attributes, Xiaoshua's teeth chattered a little. You're crazy, we'll die. Xiaoshua called out. Lin Mou didn't respond to her words and didn't bother with Xiaoshua's mood at this moment. In a moment, you run after me. What? Run what? Xiaoshui couldn't react for a moment. That terrifying reinforced elite monster had already set its sights on her. Xiaoshui felt the fear of death. If she wasn't afraid of being laughed at by Lin Mashue, she would want to run away from the copy right now. A large number of skeleton warriors appeared in the room. Lin Mojing summoned new skeleton warriors while releasing them. In the blink of an eye, 80 skeleton warriors had filled up half of the room. Then under Xiaoshui's horrified gaze, Lin Mashiwa opened the replica door. The skeleton warriors were like legions of soldiers marching out, madly rushing towards the mine tunnel this kind of thing, Lin Mou had already done it with familiarity. The reinforced elite monsters behind the iron gate chased after the skeleton warriors and disappeared in a flash. Follow me. Lin Mashiwa began to run. Xiaoshui looked dumbfounded, what was this? A copy could still be played this way? Hurry up, you won't be afraid. Lin Mashiwa's voice came from within the passageway. Xiaoshui stomped her foot, this young lady won't be afraid and won't lose to you. Defiance welled up in her heart as she quickly caught up with Lin Mashiwa. A massive scale of monsters advanced through the replica. The skeleton warriors ran at the front, and at the back was a large number of reinforced elite monsters. At the very back were Lin Mojing and Xiaoshui. Xiaoshui asked as she ran, what the hell are you doing? Lin Mou responded indifferently, brushing the books. Answering as a matter of course, Xiaoshui was speechless running through the long mine tunnel, he saw the mine wolf king leader. The nightmare level mining wolf king was more than a full circle larger than the normal level copy of the mining wolf king. Xiaoshui didn't even need to use her detection spell to know that this guy was super scary. At this moment, the skeleton warrior ran up to it. The mine wolf king kept launching attacks on the skeleton warrior, and the skeleton warrior just continued to run and didn't fight back. Why aren't you fighting back? Xiaoshua was surprised at the skeleton warrior's endurance, and at the same time, she was also struck with wonder. Lin Moshian commanded the skeleton warrior, it's getting close. When all the monsters behind them caught up, a few skeleton warriors suddenly launched their skills at the same time. Instantly killing a reinforced elite monster in seconds. The corpse of that reinforced elite monster was then thrown up into midair. At the same time, Lin Moshian raised his hand the corpse exploded. Air burst. There was a loud boom, and the terrifying commotion startled Xiaoshui. Experience grew at a rapid pace, and various hints swarmed around. Almost in the blink of an eye, Xiaoshui's experience rose by 30%. Xiaoshui was dumbfounded, it was still possible to brush a copy like this? What kind of operation was this? Boom! Boom! There were several more loud bangs in succession. The mine wolf king that was incomparably terrifying in her eyes collapsed to the ground with a mournful cry. Dead! Killed so easily? She still remembered that the three of them had encountered the Mine Wolf King in normal level difficulty, and one by one, they had assigned tasks. All sorts of tactics, all sorts of fighting styles, arranged properly before they dared to make a move. It took more than 20 minutes of fighting before and after to very painstakingly finish it off. Now in front of Lin Moshien, it was simply a second kill. Xiaoshua's entire body went numb she realized that this wasn't a normal level difficulty, but a nightmare level difficulty copy. For the same ringleader, nightmare level was several times harder than normal level. But in front of Lin Moshien, he was just killed in seconds. A tingling sensation rose from the soles of her feet to the top of her head, and Xiaoshui's entire body was trembling as if she had been electrocuted. This was playing a copy? This was simply strolling through her own backyard, okay. Lin Mou didn't notice her appearance and waved his hand, let's go. The skeleton warrior had already run into the passageway, towards the bottom of the pit. 
Xia Shui then woke up and hurriedly followed. You, are all solo nightmare level copies? With difficulty, he asked this question. If she hadn't seen it with her own eyes, there was no way Xia Shui would have believed it. Not to mention who would believe that someone could solo brush a nightmare class copy at a dozen levels. Throughout history, no one had ever done it Lin Mou had a calm face, yes. Xia Shui continued to ask, from level 10? That's right. An affirmative answer was received from Lin Mashue. Xia Shui finally understood why Lin Muyue could upgrade so quickly. When she had just left the novice copy, it was estimated that Lin Mashue had already entered the mine copy to solo. And it was still nightmare level difficulty. If it wasn't limited by the copy cooldown time, it was estimated that it was possible for Lin Moyen to reach level 20 by now. This efficiency, too fast. From entering the copy to now, before and after only 10 minutes or so, already to see the final boss. Whereas before, when she teamed up with others to brush the normal level difficulty, it would take at least more than an hour to fight here. The huge king of goblins carried a powerful sense of oppression. Then the skeleton warriors rushed up with a whole bunch of monsters, fierce wolves like hornets. With a dozen deafening sounds, everything returned to tranquility the light of upgrading appeared on Lin Mashian's body. Chapter 37, What a Weirdo and Kind of Cute Experiencing such a scene for the second time, even the final boss was killed in seconds. Xiaoxue's entire body had become completely numb. She even wondered if the King of Goblins was Lin Maya's own son, giving away experience for nothing. Seeing the upgrade glow on Lin Mou, she exclaimed, You upgraded again? Level 15? Lin Mou gave a hum, indeed he was level 15. Xiaoxue had a bitter little face, she was still 30% experience short of level 13. This time the gap with Lin Mouyue widened again. It was really unconvincing. Killed the King of Goblins, experience plus 25,000. Obtained bronze level weapon, Cobalt King's Long Sword. Acquired low level monster, Crystal Core. Seeing the prompt message, Xiaoxue sighed, too bad it's not a mace. You want a mace? Lin Mashian asked. Xiaoxue hummed, yeah, the Goblin King's staff, the best weapon a mage can have before level 20. Although I can also go to the exchange to buy it, but that would require asking dad for money, and I don't want to ask him for money. Suddenly a black shadow flew towards him, Xia Shui instinctively reached out to catch it. Goblin King's staff. Wasn't this the staff she wanted? Here you go. Lin Ma Shue said indifferently. A staff was just a staff, it was nothing. Xia Shui froze on the spot and said, thank you. Then she looked puzzled, why don't you use it yourself? Lin Mou took out the Goblin King's magic book, I'm using this. Both the spellbook and the staff were mage system weapons, but most mages chose the staff. After all, in addition to being powerful, a staff could sometimes block and perform simple physical attacks. Grimoire didn't have this kind of function. Comparatively speaking, the staff was more practical. This was the experience summarized by everyone, Xia Shui did not understand, but a staff is more practical than a magic book. Lin Meiyu shook her head, I don't like wands. This reason left Xia Shui with no way to refute it. Surprisingly, it was because of this reason. Thinking about it, it was. Moreover, from start to finish, she hadn't seen Lin Muyue take out a magic book at all. Maybe the magic book is so little bonus that he can't even look at it. Lin Mashue didn't know Xia Shui's inner thoughts, he was checking the attribute changes of his upgrade. Name, Lin Mou. Profession, Necromancer, only. Level, 15, 8. 0%. Strength, 200. Agility, 200. Spirit, 800, plus 20. Physique, 200, plus 20. Physique, 200, plus 20. Equipment, Goblin King's Grimoire, Robe of Knowledge, Gear, Goblin King's Grimoire, Robe of Knowledge. Summoning Space, 84,150, Skeleton Warriors, Number, 84, Comma. Talent, Total Increase, Level 2, Unique, Comma. Passive Skill, Damage Transfer. Active skills, Soul Flame, level 15, Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 15, Corpse Burst, level 1, comma. Overall increase, level 2 increased the effect of all skills by 20 times. Damage transfer, all damage taken by the sorcerer himself is taken by the summon object. Soul Flame, level 15 burns the target's soul, causing searing damage, with power depending on one's spiritual power and skill level. Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 15 summons a bronze level Skeleton Warrior. Corpse Burst, level 1 detonates a corpse, dealing 10% of the corpse's life value damage to enemies within 1 meter. Having finally risen to level 15, the certainty of entering the Shajing Academy was much greater it would be best if he could reach level 16, if he really couldn't, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. After reaching level 15, the experience boost slowed down once again. Originally, Lin Muyue expected that he would be able to boost his experience to around 12%, but it turned out to be only 8%. 
Although there were two people teaming up, and Xiaoshui shared some of the experience. But it was indeed very much slower. Lin Mojing did some calculations in his mind. Xiaoshui's primary cooling talisman would still allow the two of them to brush three rounds of copies in a row. At his speed, three rounds of copies would be half an hour. There would then be two more natural cooldowns. It wasn't like there were still five more copies to brush. Of course the last two times would definitely have to bring Xiaoshui as well. Since he brought it in the beginning and didn't bring it later, this kind of thing Lin Moshian couldn't do brushing five times in a duo should be enough to level up to level 16 by myself. Looking at the king of goblins that fell to the ground, Lin Mouyu said indifferently, sorry ah, I might have to kill you five more times. Seeing that Lin Mojing was actually talking to the goblin king, Xiaoshui felt surprised. How do you talk to a boss, it doesn't understand. Lin Mouyu said softly, I just wanted to say it, it doesn't matter if he can understand it. Xiaoshui was even more strange, then why did you say that? Lin Mouyu did not answer Xiaoshui's question. For some reason, Xiaoshui thought of the image of Lin Mouyu just talking to boss about being embarrassed, and suddenly felt that Lin Mouyu had a few cute moments. Just ask who would be so serious about saying sorry to the boss. The copy is not to be used to brush well. Boss is not to be used to kill well. Those high-level copies of the boss, although to be killed countless times, but the same, there are countless professionals died in their hands there is nothing to be embarrassed about. What a weirdo, and kind of cute. Xiaoshua suddenly burst out laughing. Lin Mouyu gave her a weird look, go out, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Chapter 38, if you can, get a provincial champion. Leaving the copy, Xiaoshua directly used the primary cooling amulet. After only 10 seconds or so, the two once again entered the nightmare level West Sea Mines copy. The second time they came in, Xiaoshua was like a different person. The entire person was in a state of excitement as she ran after Lin Moshien. The excitement that overflowed on her face made Lin Moyen feel a bit odd. As for being so excited? It wasn't just pulling a wave of monsters and blowing up a wave of monsters. It's only a beginner's copy, not so much. His odd look was also captured by Xia Xue. Xia Xue's missy temper followed suit, what are you looking at, haven't seen a beautiful woman before. Lin Moyu had seen it, and had seen it for years. It had to be said that it was indeed quite beautiful. Comparing Xia Xue with Ning Yi, the two of them have their own unique style, and it is difficult to distinguish between them. A petite and lovely. A tall and arrogant. Each is special. But Lin Mouyu had no feelings about it. Ning Yi was her friend, and Xia Xue was her classmate. Ten minutes later, a hallowed nightmare class boss, the king of the goblins once again fell in front of Lin Mouyu. That unwilling eyes, suffocating death. Lin Mouyu softly said, there are still four more times. The two of them swiped the copy four times in a row, before and after, in less than an hour. Xia Xue eliminated the number of times the talisman had been used cleanly. The talisman became dull. It became no different from an ordinary stone. Only if one looked very carefully, one could still vaguely see some runes inside Xia Xue put away the cooling amulet, the amulet has to go back to recharge. The cooling amulet was not a disposable item. It needed to be recharged after the number of times it was used was exhausted. However, according to Xia Xue, the process of recharging was complicated. It required a high-level alchemist to complete it. As for how advanced it had to be, she didn't know. After brushing the copy four times in a row, Xia Xue's level had reached level 14 with 20% experience. With two more swipes, she would definitely be able to reach level 15. And Lin Mouyu was still at level 15 at this point, with 85% experience. After level 15, two people teaming up to brush a copy would only increase their experience by 26%. The efficiency was indeed several times slower. There was still a day and a half before the big exam, which was still enough time for them to brush two copies. Xiaoshua had an excited look on her face, if I can get to level 15 before the big exam, I'll be able to take the Xiaojing Academy, it's a sure thing. Lin nerd, aren't you about to upgrade as well? Lin Mou nodded, soon. Xiaoshua temporarily lost her mind to compare with Lin Mou, by the time you're level 16 and I'm level 15, if two of us in West Sea City can get into the Shaojing Academy this year, I guess Principal Lu can wake up laughing in his dreams. Having a student get into Shaojing Academy was a great honor for all high school principals. It was common knowledge how difficult it was to get into the Shaojing Academy. Only a heavenly pride could enter the Summer Capital Academy. Only by entering the Summer Capital Academy could one be called a top heavenly pride. The Xiaojing Academy only recruited 1,000 people every year, 1,000 people in the entire Divine Xia Empire. Moreover, many of these places were occupied by the big families of some big cities. It was difficult for people from small cities to compete with the geniuses of these big families last year, when Lin Mohan entered the Xiaojing Academy, Lu Yun celebrated for it for several days. 
Some years ago, Su Qianqing entered the Summer Capital Academy and achieved the name of a genius, which was still on Lu Yun's lips. In short, being able to enter the Summer Capital Academy was a matter of supreme honor. The two of them found a place to sit on the ground. The cooling talisman was exhausted, so they could only wait for the copy's cooldown to end. Xia Xue said, Lin Nerd, do you want to try to impact the top student? Lin Muyue turned his head to look at him, provincial scholar? Aha! Xia Xue said, if you can become the provincial top scholar, you'll be able to gain many points. In the Xiaojing Academy, points are very useful. The most crucial thing is that you have the chance to join the Creation Academy. Lin Mou thought of Ningyi saying that points were more useful than gold coins in the Xiaojing Academy and Ningyi had also mentioned the Creation God Academy. Do you know about the God Creation Academy? Lin Mashiwe hoped to get some information about the Creation God Academy from Xia Xue. Ningyi just mentioned it and didn't go into detail. He also said something about how he would naturally know when he arrived at the Xiaojing Academy. Xiaoxue curled her legs, I'm not very clear on the specifics, I just heard my dad mention it. The Creation Academy should be one of the most powerful academies in our Divine Summer Empire. The Xiaojing Academy accepts all the Heaven's Pride elites, then the ones in the Creation God Academy are the tip-top characters among the Heaven's Pride. Dad said that the Creation God Academy is hard to get into, saying that the odds are that I won't have a chance. But I think you have a chance, so you can go and give it a try. I heard that in the past, Senior Su Qianqing entered the God Creation Academy and was the only one in our West Sea city. Xia Xue looked at Lin Mo Yan with eye-catching light in her gaze, she truly felt that Lin Mo Yan had a chance. Lin Mo Yu brought her to brush the nightmare copies in an unprecedented way. It completely refreshed her perception. She was no longer able to take what she had learned and compare it to Lin Mo Yu's profession. If there's a chance, I'll give it a try. Lin Mo Yu whispered, he was bound to go to the Xiaojing Academy, his sister Lin Mo Yun was there. If there was a chance, the Creation Academy he would also try it out. Xiaoxue suddenly brightened her eyes and pointed at the entrance of the copy and said, Isn't that Gao Yang? It was indeed Gao Yang, he was at the entrance of the replica, as if he was looking for the team. Xiaoxue threw a detection spell over and smiled cheekily, I can't see that this stupid big guy is already level 11. It's just a pity that he's a knight, it's not good to find a team. Painting a copy required a knight, and it required a certain level of knight. A level 11 knight couldn't carry the monsters in a copy at all. Even a normal level copy would require at least a level 13 knight. As expected, Gao Yang looked around and couldn't find a team and was filled with disappointment. Lin Mou spoke, bring him along. Xia Xue smiled cheekily, I don't have a problem. Chapter 39 Gao Yang's bitchy, unwilling, and shamelessness in one. Xia Xue called Gao Yang over. Gao Yang's eyes rolled fast, revealing a meaningful smile. You too. Xia Xue said in a cold voice, shut your stinking mouth or this lady will tear you apart. Xia Xue's condescension was notorious. It was only when she was with the two of them that she would be a little more restrained. After all, Lin Mou was even colder, if she was any more condescending, then the two wouldn't need to talk. At this moment, facing Gao Yang, her missy's temper was visible Gao Yang was startled and rubbed his head, just kidding, just kidding, don't take it seriously. Xia Xue said, don't look for a team, wait for the two of us to finish our cooldowns and take you to brush the books. You'll have no problem getting to level 12 before the big exam. Gao Yang let out an excited roar, really, the two of you are really my great benefactors. You guys don't know, the academy I want to go to, level 12 is the only way to be sure of getting in. What good people. Gao Yang's expression was extremely exaggerated. Xia Xue frowned, if you're like this again, I won't bring you. Gao Yang immediately surrendered, instantly becoming serious, don't worry, Miss Xia, I will definitely be honest. I won't go south when you point east, I won't go east when you point north. What nonsense, shut up. Xia Xue grunted, and a ball of fire appeared on the palm of her hand. If Gao Yang dared to come back with another sentence, she would definitely smash this fireball on his face. Gao Yang even had the sense to shut up, little man obeys the order, I just don't know how long it will take for the two of you to cool down. Xia Xue counted the time, there are still ten hours. Ten hours was a bit long, but Gao Yang was clear that he wouldn't necessarily be able to find the team in ten hours. Okay, you two have a good rest in chat, I'll go brush some wild monsters. Go silent words, I'm optimistic about you. Take down Xia Xue sooner or later. After saying that, he scattered his legs and ran away. Xia Xue was so angry that she stomped her foot, and a fireball was directly thrown out. With a boom, the fireball exploded behind Gao Yang's ass and a little spark splashed him. Ah! Oh. Gao Yang was scalded to the point of wailing, covering his butt and running away in the blink of an eye. Xia Xue huffed and stomped her feet, this guy, his mouth is too cheap, he owes it. Lin Mou deeply shared her feelings, but she also had to admit that Gao Yang was a good person when everyone else was alienating themselves, only Gao Yang took the initiative to come over and talk to himself. 
Even if his own responses were rare, Gao Yang was never disgusted. Lin Mou believed that her feelings were not wrong. Gao Yang was a sincere tease. After 10 hours, Gao Yang joined the team. Lin Mojing was the captain and entered the nightmare level copy. Once he entered the copy, Gao Yang was the first to be paralyzed with fear. Oi oi oi. Miss Xia, Boss Lin, how do you guys enter nightmare difficulty? Xia Shui grunted, cut the crap, just follow behind, it's not like you need to fight monsters. Ah? Uh? Gao Yang revealed puzzlement, panic, fear and all sorts of other looks. Xia Shui felt if she was like this when she first came in. At that time, it seemed like he was scared enough. For the sake of his life, Gao Yang followed Xia Shui closely, not daring to take a step away. This is a nightmare level difficulty ah, his little life was in the same monster swing a little and hang 10 minutes later, Gao Yang looked at the dead boss, still could not close his mouth. This. This. This is dead? Xia Shui looked at him, can you close your mouth, the hala is flowing down. Gao Yang wiped the corners of his mouth, and suddenly hugged Lin Meiyu's thighs all of a sudden, boss, boss Lin, will you take me with you when you swipe a copy in the future, I'll come and be a pendant for you. Xia Shui was helpless, why are you so spineless, you're a knight, can you be a little chivalrous? Gao Yang shouted, what is the use of chivalry, there is the boss in, but also want a knight what to do. Xia Shui really couldn't do anything about her, so she simply came to a blind eye. Lin Mojing's body flashed with a faint white light. He had already finished upgrading. Level 16 already had a full grasp of entering the Xiaojing Academy. With another brush of duplicates, Xia Shui could also reach level 15, and there was likewise a greater certainty of entering the Xiaojing Academy as for Gao Yang, his goal was the Jiangning Academy in this province. It was also a good institution of higher learning, and the requirements were quite a bit lower than the Xiaojing Academy. A level 12 knight was already qualified enough. The sun was setting in the west, pulling out long shadows on everything. On the south city wall of West Sea City. Several principals stood together, looking at the wild area outside the city wall. It's about time for the kids to come back. Tomorrow is the day of the big exam, and they have all been told that they must return today. I wonder what the results of the big test will be tomorrow. Most of them should be fine, it's just the difference between a good and bad school. Old Lu, those two geniuses from your school, I heard that they are both targeting the Xiaojing Academy. Lu Yun looked into the distance without blinking, yes, both Meru and Xia Shui want to take the Xiaojing Academy. The Xiaojing Academy has the most intense competition, and by the standards of previous years, it's only at level 15 that you have a greater certainty, and only at level 16 that you can be sure of everything. Difficult. There's still hope at level 15, but there are very few at level 16. Our West Sea City, beside Su Qianqing, it was last year's Lin Mohan who reached level 16, right? I wonder if there is any hope for these two little guys this year. Lu Yun nodded, trust them. The two of them, Lin Mo Yan and Xia Shui, one was Lin Mo Han's younger brother, and the other was the Xia family's daughter. Lu Yun felt that both of them might be able to perform miracles. Finally, someone appeared in sight. A principal said, it's from our third middle school. Under the detection technique, the level of the person who came was at a glance. Su Jin, level 12, sword fighter. That principal was satisfied, level 12, enough to get into a better institution of higher learning Su Jin was also a somewhat famous figure in the third middle school, known as one of the geniuses. My second middle school student Wan Ming has also returned. Wan Ming, level 13, Eagle Eye Bowman. One by one, the students returned, while the principals kept using detection spells on the city walls. This time of the year was actually a big pre-exam competition for all the principals. Face Contest Chapter 40, Teleporting the Provincial City, the Great Examination begins the students returned one by one, while the principals won and lost against each other. At least so far, no one could really gain the upper hand. The returning students were basically concentrated in the 10th to 13th grades. There wasn't even a single 14th grade student. How come none of Xia Shui, Lin Meiyu, and Gao Yang have returned? As the sky became darker and darker, Lu Yun became a little anxious. His face also became serious logically, all three of them should have returned. Could something have happened? Finally, before the night completely fell, Lu Yun saw three silhouettes. Here they come, finally back. A smile immediately appeared on Lu Yun's face. The result didn't matter, as long as they came back safely. Detection spells flew out along with the clear wind. Gao Yang, level 12, sword and shield knight. Xia Shui, level 15, elemental mage. One by one, the principals revealed their astonished faces. It really did it, Xia Shui had really reached level 15. At least 80% of them would be sure to get into the Summer Capital Academy. No, I should say that as long as her performance is not bad in the big exam, she will definitely be able to get in. The last one, Lin Mu Yue. The principals were all second turn level 40 or above professionals, their levels far exceeding Lin Ma Xue's. 
so the shielding badge was ineffective for them. Lin Mashue, level 16, Necromancer. Hiss. One by one, the principles drew cold air Lin Muyue had really reached level 16, one level higher than Xiaoshue. This speed was too fast. They must be swiping copies. The sword and shield in your Gao Yang's hand and the staff in Xiaoshue's hand are both weapons of the Goblin King. But the weapon drop rate is very low, it's not easy to gather the corresponding weaponry. Maybe they got lucky. When Lin Mashue and the others walked back to the city wall, Luyan said, you guys go into the city and wait in the car, so when everyone is gathered, we'll send them back to the school together. All three of them heard Lu Yun's words, only Gao Yang responded in a high voice, Yes Lord Headmaster. Lu Yun laughed straight, he was in a good mood. He had won the competition for this return in front of all the principals. And this time, there might be Lin Muyue and Xia Shui who could both be admitted to the Xiaojing Academy, which would be a great honor for West Sea City and for the first middle school as the principal, he was honored. When the group of students all came back, Lu Yun also arrived at the car with them. Actually, for the students to come back safely is the greatest relief for the teacher. Everyone take a good rest tonight and gather at the school early tomorrow morning, we will head to the examination center. The examination point for the big exam was not at the school, nor was it in West Sea City. Instead, it was in the provincial city of Jianghai City. West Sea City and Jianghai City were just one word apart. West Sea City was only a medium-sized city in Jiangning province that wasn't too eye-catching. Jianghai City is the provincial capital. Belong to the real large city. Every year the examination will be held in the city of Jianghai. At that time, the examiner from the Divine Summer Empire would conduct the exam in a unified manner this night, Lin Moshian continued his meditation. He proceeded according to his own thoughts and didn't put the grand examination in particular in his mind. He was confident that he would definitely enter the Summer Capital Academy. If there was a chance, the provincial scholar would also have to go for it. There hadn't been much of a quest for this before. He just wanted to simply enter the Summer Capital Academy. But after hearing Ning Yi and Xia Xue's words, he had a hint of interest in the Creation Academy. Early the next morning, Lin Moshian awoke on time. His mental strength was fully restored, and his entire body was in peak condition. A whole 100 skeleton warriors were staying quietly in the summoning space, waiting for his call at any time. Each bronze level skeleton warrior, after a 20 fold increase, had a four dimensional attribute of up to 5000. There was also his own soul flame, Corpse Burst, two major skills that made Lin Moshian comfortable and confident. Arriving at the school playground, many students had already arrived. Gao Yang waved his hand vigorously towards Lin Moiwe, Boss Lin. Lin Moyan walked over and nodded slightly towards Gao Yang as a greeting. Although Lin Moyu was first time and time again, because of his personality, he wasn't very popular among his classmates. Even more so, because of his profession as a necromancer, he made his classmates a little afraid of him. After a few moments, Xia Shui also arrived. Xiaoshui's popularity was much stronger than Lin Meiyu's, and the students crowded around Xiaoshui. Xiaoshui, however, came to Lin Meiyu's side uncharacteristically, are you sure? Lin Meiyu slightly forehead, as an answer. Xiaoshui spread a smile, then we'll see you at the Xiaojing Academy. Good. Lin Meiyu said softly as well. Lu Yun walked over after everyone had arrived, this is the teleportation stone for the examination point, everyone has one. In a moment, everyone can either crush the teleportation stone or use their spiritual power to stimulate it. The teleportation stone will take everyone to the examination center. I'll end with one last nag, the first thing everyone should ensure during the exam is their safety. Safety first. Alright, let's start teleporting now. One by one, the students activated the teleportation stone and along with a stream of light, the entire group disappeared. After everyone had left, Lu Yun also activated his teleportation stone and headed to the examination point located in Jianhai City. The examination center was extremely empty, like a giant square. Candidates from more than a dozen cities, large and small, in Jiangning province had all teleported over one after another. With over a dozen cities, the number of people taking this exam was in the thousands. The light of teleportation never stopped the candidates from West Sea City were all spread out in the same area. After a full half hour, the light of teleportation finally stopped. Under the gaze of several thousand pairs of eyes, a tall tower descended from the sky. The trial tower opens. A majestic voice resounded throughout the entire square. The doors on the first floor of the tower slowly opened with a roar. Please listen carefully to the rules of the test for all candidates. No vocalizations, no questions, violators will be directly disqualified from the exam. Chapter 41 The first level of the examination, seconds. No questions allowed, what if I didn't understand? There were a few whispers. At this time, the trial tower suddenly shot out a few rays of light that landed on these few people. These few people instantly disappeared. 
Then that majestic voice said, violation of the rules, disqualified from the grand examination. Wow! Thousands of candidates' faces changed drastically, and they covered their mouths the rules were surprisingly strict to this extent. Just a faintly inaudible mutter was not even allowed. The entire arena was unusually quiet at this moment, a pin drop could be heard. Even breathing became cautious. After so many years of preparation, it would be too unworthy if they were eliminated at the threshold. Lin Mashue remembered that Lu Yun had repeatedly told them before. When it came to the grand examination, one must follow the rules of the grand examination. The rules of the grand examination were very strict, and they were absolutely not allowed to be violated, not even by a hair's breadth. He was naturally able to do so, and his eyes looked towards Gao Yang. He was afraid that this fellow Gao Yang wouldn't be able to do it. Not letting him speak was probably harder than killing him. As expected, Gao Yang was covering his mouth with force. He was also afraid that he didn't manage to keep his mouth shut, this guy is still a bit self-aware. Lin Mou laughed a little in her heart and didn't need to worry about Gao Yang. The majestic voice appeared again. The trial tower arranges different exam scenarios for different occupations. Auxiliary professions will have non-combat scenarios. Main battle class professions on the other hand will arrange main battle class scenarios. After passing the basic exam, each profession will be given the right to choose the difficulty. Different scores for different difficulties will earn different points. Points are the results of your exams, but also points that you can bring to the higher academy in the future. In the Academy of Higher Learning, points are more useful than gold coins. Lastly, let's talk about the rules of the exam, the equipment you carry with you can all be used normally. Other than that, no props can be used, and once discovered, the qualification for the exam will be directly cancelled. After entering the trial tower, your storage space will be blocked. The majestic voice spoke the rules of the exam in detail. As long as one had a normal IQ, there was generally no such thing as not being able to understand. The few people who had just started muttering were really talking too much and were asking for it. Now, all candidates, line up to enter the tower. Everyone lined up in order to enter the trial tower. The order was very good, and everyone was very disciplined. Even the various second-generation ancestors who were usually the great young masters and young ladies at home did not dare to mess around at this time. The grand examination was the most important examination in the Divine Summer Empire every year. Not only was it conducted in Jiangning province, but it would also be synchronized across all the major provinces in the country. The number of people taking the exam on this day would exceed 100,000 people the top management of the empire would also keep an eye on this exam, and anyone who dared to mess around during the exam would be committing suicide. Prince Hao was also in the crowd. As the young president of the dynasty guild, he was usually arrogant and bossy, when would he ever queue up honestly? But on this day, he didn't dare to mess around in the slightest. Lin Moshian followed the line and entered the tower. He had already taken off his shielding badge before setting off. As he entered the tower, a light shone on him, and then he was transported to an independent space. It was just as he had guessed, the trial tower was just like a copy, those who entered would all be sent to a different space. On the top floor of the trial tower stood several middle-aged men with majestic expressions and thick auras. Several people were wearing the costumes of auxiliary, warrior, and mage respectively, in all professions. None of them were below level 70 they were the examiners in charge of this grand examination in Jiangning province. Lin Muyue, level 16, necromancer? A picture of Lin Muyue appeared in front of them. This is the new occupation reported by the first middle school of Shihai City. It's been a while since I've seen a new occupation, the last time a new occupation appeared was over 30 years ago, right? Yes, more than 30 years ago a new occupation named Elf Emissary appeared, belonging to the control class main battle occupation, designated as a rare class now. Necromancer, from the information reported by the first middle school, it should be a summoning class mage. Let's see how strong this new profession is, I hope it won't disappoint us. It shouldn't be bad, at least it won't be weaker than a rare class occupation, otherwise it wouldn't be possible to rise to level 16. Let's follow the rules for rare class mages for now, and keep good records. After a few people discussed it, they determined the way Lin Mashua would take this exam a monster appeared in front of Lin Mojing. This monster had a wolf's head but wore a mage robe. It was even holding a staff in its hand. This was a mage monster. It just didn't know how strong it was. There was a curtain of light between Lin Mojing and this mage monster. The detection technique couldn't pass through this light curtain. Lin Mojing was unable to learn the information of this mage monster for the time being. Exam quest, kill the wolf orc mage. No more information was given. A countdown appeared on the light screen. Lin Moshian was also ready. A skeleton warrior appeared at his side. 3. 2. 1. The moment the light curtain disappeared, the skeleton warrior rushed towards the wolf orc mage. While Lin Moshian's soul flame was one step faster. 
It landed on top of the wolf orc mage's head almost at the same time as the light curtain disappeared. The wolf orc mage collapsed directly to the ground with a miserable scream dead? Lin Moshian was speechless for a while, this intensity was too low. At this moment, on the top floor of the high tower, several examiners revealed shocked colors. What kind of skill is this? Spike, how can it spike? Are there any problems with the data? Is the setting wrong? The settings are correct, it's set according to the rare class professions, and the monster level is two levels higher than the professions. Different levels of different main battle class professions face different monsters. Rare professionals had to face monsters that were two levels above themselves. Advanced professionals faced monsters that were one level above themselves. All other professions were monsters of the same level as themselves. Mages against mage monsters, warriors against warrior monsters. The types were also the same. Although all of them were able to battle and win, a second kill like Lin Moshian's was by no means unique. Chapter 42 0. 1 Seconds of Heavenly Achievement. Among the tests, what was actually tested was the professional's combat skills. Although the grades were a bit higher, none of them would be a problem for a qualified professional. This kind of setting had been used for many years without any problems. Usually a battle that was as short as 10 seconds and as long as half a minute was conducted. From this, one could also see the combat ability of the professional. But there was a problem with Lin Mou. Killed in seconds, how could this still show combat skills? What to do? An examiner asked the question. The crowd turned their gazes to the middle-aged man in mage robes. He was the one who made the exams for the mage class. But now he couldn't decide what to do, the effect that should have been achieved wasn't achieved, it was a headache. At that moment, an old man appeared in the room. Lord Ning, what brings you here? Several examiners immediately saluted the visitor. Ning Xianfeng said in a deep voice, I heard that there's a new professional this year, so I came to take a look. A picture of Lin Muyue appeared in the light screen, and Ning Xianfeng looked at it, looks like a nice young man. The several examiners immediately spoke about what had just happened. After listening, Ning Xianfeng said in a deep voice, you all want to know just how strong this new profession of necromancer is. It's impossible to measure its strength according to the rare profession settings. Then set it at the strength of a legendary professional and conduct a second exam on him. An examiner objected, but that wouldn't be fair to him, and how would the points be counted? Ning Xianfeng laughed. It's not like this situation hasn't happened before. There have been times when professionals have killed monsters in seconds. This time, it will be a special case. First, he will be recognized as the first place winner of this exam, and he will be given 100 points for the first place. For the second exam, if he manages to pass, give him an additional 1,000 points. The 10,000 points can come from me personally. The examiners hurriedly said, You're joking, Lord Ning, how can I let you pay out the points for this? That's right, we have the points, so we'll do as you say and add a second exam. Lin Moshian waited for a moment before a light screen appeared in front of him once again. On the opposite side of the light screen a monster appeared once again. The monster's appearance was exactly the same as before, only its aura was even more powerful. Candidates are invited to take the second exam and kill the monster in front of them. There was a second exam, Lin Moshian didn't find it strange thinking that the rules could be rules could be just like that. He didn't realize in the slightest that he was being treated differently. The moment the light curtain disappeared, Soul Flame was unleashed. The mage monster in front of him instantly screamed and died. It was the same as just now. Another second kill. The crowd of examiners were surprised by the second wave. Still nothing was visible. With the strength of a legendary level profession, the monster had already exceeded professional level 4. The mage monster that Lin Moshian had just killed in seconds had attributes that were set according to a level 20 monster. As a result, it was still killed in seconds. This skill. The future is too strong. Could it be that he has some powerful equipment on him? He's only level 16, there's no such thing as powerful equipment, it's just pure skill that's strong. What to do? Do we still have to continue testing? The crowd turned their gazes towards Ning Xuanfeng ever since his arrival, he was the one who made the call here. Ning Xianfeng shook his head, no need, let's proceed with the second round of tests. At this point, everyone had already finished the first round of exams. A majestic voice echoed in their ears. Main battle class candidates, the first round of exams is over. 
The number of people who took the exam is 632, and the number of qualified people is 522. Now announce the results. The rankings of the results appeared before everyone's eyes. Lin Meiyu, 0. 1 seconds, points, 100. Zua Mei, 3. 2 seconds, points, 70. Xia Shue, 5. 2 seconds, points, 40. Lin Muyue was clearly in first place. It took only 0. 1 seconds. In second place was a professional named Zua Mei, with a time of 3. 2 seconds. Xia Shue was in third place, with a time of 5. 2 seconds. The young president of Dynasty Guild, Prince Hao, was in fourth place, with a time of 5. 5 seconds The points earned by the top three were 100, 70, and 40 respectively, and from the fourth place onwards, all of them were 10 points. When Prince Hao saw the time of this ranking, his entire body flared up in anger. How could I not even make it into the top three? The first place should be me. Zero. One seconds, what a joke, it must be a mistake. This achievement is going against the heavens. Prince Hao wasn't the only one who had such thoughts, many people were incredulous after seeing Lin Mashue's results. Xiaoshua looked at the rankings, Lin Nerd is so powerful, I won't admit defeat. Gao Yang's face was an exaggerated expression, the boss deserves to be the boss, it's too good to be true. Lin Mou unconsciously touched his nose, isn't he going a little too far? What he didn't expect was that this round of exams, which didn't seem to be difficult, had eliminated more than 100 people. The majestic voice sounded again. The second round of exams for the main combat class occupation is about to begin, and candidates can choose the difficulty on their own. Attention, casualties may occur during the second round of exams, so please act according to the candidate's abilities. If you encounter danger during the exam, you may yell out to give up and your exam will be terminated. The results will be based on the results at the time of giving up. Once again, the requirements of the second round of exams were stated. The second round of exams was divided into three difficulties, normal, nightmare, and hell, just like the copies. The points gained from killing monsters in different difficulties were different. Normal difficulty could get 1 point for killing a monster, nightmare difficulty was 3 points, and hell difficulty was 5 points. The time is standardized at 30 minutes. The second round of the exam was compared to 30 minutes, who killed more monsters. Chapter 43, Lin Moyu's side is too boring. Prince Ha chose the hell difficulty without even thinking about it in his opinion, killing 1 monster in hell difficulty would take 5 monsters in normal difficulty instead. Besides, he had extreme confidence in his battle prowess. First place kid, even if you win the first round, you won't be able to beat me in the second round. Prince Hao held a giant battle sword in his hand, which was precisely his professional weapon. Hey, someone picked hell difficulty. Prince Hao, level 16, berserker. Not bad, berserkers are considered strong in the rare professions. Berserker's sustained combat ability is good, it should achieve good results in this round. Xiaoshui thought about it, and she chose normal difficulty. Elemental mages were not good at close combat, nor were they good at soloing high-intensity monsters without a meat shield. So she chose normal difficulty, intending to win with volume. As the third-place winner of the first round, Xiaoshui was equally concerned by all the examiners in front of them, there was also the same real-time screen of Xiaoshui. When Xiaoshui chose normal difficulty, they also revealed heartfelt smiles. Xiaoshui, level 15, elemental mage. A very smart choice. Although elemental mages have good explosive power, if they can't kill the monsters before they get close, it would be troublesome. This is especially true when the level is low and the skills are incomplete. The second place in the first round of testing, Zuame chose the hell difficulty. Zuame, level 16, stalker. The examiners paid equal attention to Zuame's choice. She also gave a corresponding critique after she made her choice. As a rare profession of the assassin class, the stalker possesses superb close combat abilities. So whether she chooses Nightmare or Hell, it's a good choice. Indeed, it's also a good seedling. I wonder what difficulty Lin Mashian's necromancer will choose this time. Now that the few people worth paying attention to had already made their choices, only Lin Moyue was left. Lin Mou had his own judgment after listening to the rules of the exam. For this round of exams, the real test should be everyone's ability to sustain combat. A battle that lasts for 30 minutes is not a small amount of pressure for any profession. However, I'm the exception. An arc of a smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Lin Moshian made a choice. I'll choose the hell difficulty. In fact, for him, the harder the difficulty, the better. No matter which skill he had, the power was top-notch. So the higher the difficulty, the higher the unit points, the better it was for him. One of the examiners laughed, sure enough, you chose the hellish difficulty. He was both a mage and a summoner. There's no fear of monsters getting close when there's a summoner around. 
Moreover, his skills are very powerful, and with the summons, he can completely score well in Hell difficulty. In fact, those summoners who came to the exam in the past basically chose the Hell difficulty as well, right? Let's wait and see. Outside the examination room, throughout Jiangning province, the principals of all the major high schools gathered together. Old Lu, you're going to get rich this time. Tisk, zero. One seconds, this kind of achievement hasn't been seen in how many years? You're in the top three, you're in two of them, you can't even think about not getting rich. Your first middle school is going to make a big splash this time. If Lin Muyue can get a provincial first prize winner back, you're going to be in heaven, old Lu. Lu Yun's face was red and his entire body was very excited. He also didn't expect that Lin Mou could achieve such a good result. It was so exciting that he couldn't speak for a moment and his whole body was trembling. All the candidates had finished choosing, and as the countdown ended, the second round of exams began a light cluster appeared in front of all of Lin Mou. The light mass rotated in the air, looking like the entrance and exit of a replica. Then, a monster clad in armor stepped out of the light mass and let out a roar. With a thought, the skeleton warriors around Lin Ma Xian had already greeted it. Slashing his head, he slashed at the monster. At the same time, Lin Mou's detection spell landed on the monster. Wolfwork Warrior, Elite. Level, 13. Strength, 500. Agility, 300. Spirit, 150. Physique, 400. This attribute. Very weak. It was much weaker than the West Sea Mines replica, the nightmare level monsters. Lin Neyu immediately figured it out. After all, this was an exam to accommodate most people. If the monsters were too strong, what awaited was mass elimination. That way the exam would lose its proper meaning. The purpose of the exam was not to eliminate the candidates, but to select the best geniuses from them the skeleton warrior's knife had landed on the wolf wolfman. The skin was split open. With just one slash, the wolf werewolf was already on the verge of death. The wolf werewolf was just about to counterattack when the second knife fell. The wolf werewolf died miserably. Two knives. Lin Mou looked in his eyes, and with the point of his finger, he summoned another skeleton warrior. The two skeleton warriors stood guard in front of the light mass on the left and right, waiting for the monster to appear. Five seconds later, the second wolf werewolf appeared. The two skeleton warriors then raised their hands, and the wolf werewolf died directly. It's a bit too easy. After a few rounds he had understood that for every monster killed, a second one would appear after five seconds. This round of examination was looking at the continuous combat ability of each profession. The examiners had looked dumbfounded how is Lin Muyu's summon so strong? It's stronger than any summoner's summons we've ever seen. And there are two of them. This profession. Awesome. The skills themselves can be strong, and the summons are also this powerful. This profession was going to be heavenly. Lin Muyu's side was too boring, two skeleton warriors guarding the light cluster, the monsters died as soon as they came out and couldn't live for more than zero. Five seconds. The examiners no longer wanted to look at it and turned to the other professions. Xiaoshua held her staff and cast skills. The normal difficulty she chose, the monsters were not strong. Basically, two skills could kill one. She constantly adjusted the strength of her skills and tried her best to minimize her mental energy consumption. Although it was also slightly monotonous, it was much stronger than Lin Mashiwe's side. Chapter 44 Excessive Ah, People Fight for Their Lives and You Eat Groundnuts Xiaoshua's performance was unanimously recognized by all the examiners Prince Hao waved his two-handed greatsword and decapitated the wolf head of the wolf wolfman in front of him. There was bloodlust on his face, and the corners of his mouth were even more arrogant. Berserk warrior, the person was just like his name. When he fought, his sanity diminished and he was very wild. This was on the basis of not being berserk yet, once berserked, one might completely lose one's mind. Fighting with all one's might in the beginning, I'm afraid that the efficiency will be drastically reduced later on. Doesn't know how to distribute physical energy, this point needs to be strengthened. Compared to Xia Shui, he's going to be almost as good. What the examiners valued more wasn't how many you killed, but the ability to adapt to combat. One looked at how one could last through 30 minutes in one piece. The second was to see how much the difference in battle power was between the beginning of the battle and the end of the battle really big battles tend to last for a while, and if you go up there and go all out, then there might not be any more. Making a comparison between Prince Hao and Xia Shui, there was already an answer in his heart after the exam. Xia Shui was clearly better. Zhuo Mei, like Prince Hao, also chose the Hell difficulty. Compared to Prince Hao's wide open fighting style, Zhuo Mei utilized the dexterity of the stalker profession to the limit. She had a flexible stance, constantly flowing back and forth, like a ghost, playing the wolverine in the palm of her hand. Moreover, each movement was very crisp, without a trace of redundancy, without wasting any physical strength. 
The dagger in her hand was fast and accurate, and every time she struck, she was able to inflict considerable damage on the monster. And she would use her skills when applicable, controlling the wolf orc warrior and even interrupting its skills utilizing the skills she currently had to a high level. Zua Mei's performance was also recognized by the examiners. After a round of watching, the several examiners already had an understanding of the candidates. There was also a standard for judging in their hearts. Then back to Lin Mayu's side. The examiners were speechless for a while. This kid. It's a bit excessive. I also think that it is indeed a bit excessive. This guy even puts food in his pockets, what is this brain thinking? Is the ground nut so delicious? Watching him eat it makes me a little hungry. Lin Mou was eating the ground nut slowly and methodically in one bite. The ground nut was taken out and placed in his pocket before entering the exam room. He couldn't use the storage space during the exam, what if he got hungry? Now that the skeleton warrior was seconding the monsters, he had nothing to do, so he naturally ate the ground nut eating during a big exam, first ever. Write this down and let him go down in history later. I think this exam is too easy for him, should we make it more difficult? The examiner was so angry that his teeth itched, while others were exhausted from the exam, Lin Mou was so relaxed. On the contrary, this score was still far ahead. No need, no matter what, the exam has to be fair. Ning Xianfeng hadn't said a word since this exam started. However, from his eyes, he could tell that he was full of interest in Lin Mou. This little guy, he's a bit interesting. During the 30 minutes, there were constantly people giving up and people getting injured and quitting. Constant combat was a severe test of every professional's endurance. This wasn't like a copy, where one could still take a break when tired of fighting. Lin Mashiwe was the only one who had no problem even dozing off. With time out of balance finally, 30 minutes passed and all the monsters disappeared en masse. It's finally over. If it doesn't end I won't be able to hold on. So scary, I'm not even this tired from going down the copy. Most people sat paralyzed on the ground, panting heavily. The short 30 minutes had nearly exhausted their physical energy. Xiaoshua's face was also slightly pale at this time. For 30 minutes, she did her best to regulate her skills and save as much as she could. Mental energy was also almost exhausted. The storage space was blocked during the grand examination, and no additional medication could be used to restore mental energy. It was indeed difficult. It's finally over. I killed more than 200 of them, right, that's more than 200 points. Prince Ha was completely paralyzed on the ground at this point. He had killed to the back, and his efficiency was nowhere near as good as it was at the beginning. The large amount of physical energy consumed, and the skills going into cooldown, all led to a sharp decrease in his battle power old me has killed more than 50 of them, right? This hell level difficulty, it's not easy. Of all the people, Lin Moshian was the only one in the best state. It was as if he had watched the show through these 30 minutes. This round of exams is over. A total of 522 candidates participated in this round of exams, of which 278 candidates lost their eligibility to continue due to injury or voluntary abandonment. The remaining 244 candidates are qualified to enter the next round of exams, of course, you can also choose to give up. The next round of exams will be more difficult and intense, perhaps life-threatening, so please choose carefully. Everyone was prompted at the same time, and could choose to give up on this, or continue with the exam. To continue, the next exam was even more difficult, and would even be life-threatening. If they gave up on this, they were unwilling all of a sudden, many people were caught in a dilemma. The examiners each revealed a bad smile. How many people will choose to give up this time? According to previous years, at least a third of them will choose to give up. This year's pass rate is about the same as last year's, almost 60% have been eliminated so far. The total number of main combat class professionals who had taken the exam was 632 and there were still 244 left. Looks like they're all having a hard time deciding, give them another push and help them make a decision. At this time the majestic voice sounded again. Even if you give up the exam now, your grades are all good enough to enter the higher learning institute. Now I'll give you all 60 seconds to consider, if you don't make a choice after 60 seconds, the default is to continue. These words were like the last straw that crushed the camel, completely shattering many people's psychological defenses. I choose to give up. I quit. It can't continue, it's going to kill me if I continue. Many students chose to give up. Likewise there were more who chose to continue. Having come this far, what a pity not to continue. Chapter 45, he's messing up like this, does he still let others play? Of the 244 candidates who managed to pass the second round, another 60 or so of them chose to withdraw the most. In the end, only 180 people were left who decided to continue with the exam. Although they chose to withdraw, being able to pass the second round of the grand examination had already proven their strength. 
There wasn't any problem entering an ordinary higher learning institution. And the remaining people were all aiming for those top-ranked higher learning institutions. The following is the announcement of the rankings of the results after the second round. 1. Lin Mei, total points, 1605. 2. Zhuo Mei, total points, 470. 3. Xia Shui, 270 points. 4. Prince Hao, 265 points. Prince Hao's entire body jumped up and shouted, This is impossible. How can he be so high? 30 minutes, at a frequency of 1 in 5 seconds, there were at most 12 monsters a minute. Hell difficulty, 5 points per monster, a maximum of 60 points a minute. The 30 minute limit was 1,800 points. You also have to take out the time spent fighting monsters and other factors. Generally speaking, you can only get 200 to 400 points. Like Zhuo Mei who could get 400 points and killed 80 monsters, it was already considered very good. But for someone like Lin Meiyu, 1505 points. It meant that he had killed 301 monsters. To kill 10 per minute, he was just a little bit short of the limit of 12. At this moment, everyone had a thought in their mind, is this guy a demon? Prince Hao even felt that Lin Mashiwe had cheated, but he didn't dare to say it at all. If he said this, he would offend the entire top echelon of the Divine Summer Empire. Who dared to cheat in the great exam, it didn't exist. No one had ever dared to try, it was simply a death wish the entire grand exam was under full monitoring, cheating was impossible. Outside the examination room, Lu Yun's entire body jumped. An old face was even redder than it was a moment ago. Excited heart, trembling hands. The cup in his hand shook incessantly, spilling water outside. Old Lu, this student of yours, is a bit perverted. Indeed, very perverted. Lu Yun hated to curse back, you're the ones who are perverted, the whole family is perverted. He was now so curious to know just how Lin Mashiwe did it. In his memory, this achievement had never been achieved by anyone. Back then, Su Qianqing, who was amazingly talented, had only gotten 700 points in the second round. Last year's Lin Mohan was only 650 points. Lin Mo Yan's score was higher than both of them combined. The trial tower shot out a ray of light falling on the candidates who chose to continue. Being illuminated by the light, exhaustion disappeared and mental strength was restored in the blink of an eye, the state was fully restored. The following is the third round of exams. This round of exams has the same three levels of difficulty. You will be facing an alpha level monster. Normal level difficulty, 100 points. Nightmare difficulty, 300 points. Hell level difficulty, 500 points. The rules were similar to last time. Last time, the test was the ability to sustain combat. This time, the test was an individual's extreme combat ability. An alpha-level monster requires you to fight in single combat. Without assistance, it was no small challenge for every professional. Lin Mashiwe was the first to make a choice this time. I'll go with the Inferno class. The examiner saw Lin Muyue's choice and started discussing it once again. Unsurprisingly, this kid really chose the Hell difficulty. With the strength of his skills as well as the strength of his summons, the top spot this time will definitely remain his. Looks like the state of Jiangning province this time is him. It's not easy to say, there are two more rounds behind us, especially the fifth. They had presided over many big exams and had seen many people turn the tables against the wind. Although Lin Mashiwe's performance was strong so far, it wasn't completely certain that he would win the provincial top prize. The gap between Prince Hao and Lin Mashiwe had reached more than 1,300 points. He had originally come here for the provincial scholar, but in the end, he couldn't even make it into the top three. The first place is mine, there are still two rounds behind me, I won't lose. Don't let me run into you when the big exam is over, or I'll make you look good. Prince Hao said viciously and similarly chose hell difficulty. Xia Shui, Zhuo Mei similarly chose hell difficulty. There was only one monster to deal with. Xia Shui's elemental mage, and Zhuo Mei's stalker, both had extreme explosive power and weren't worried after everyone had finished choosing, the examiner announced the start of the fourth round of the exam. A monster of enormous size appeared before everyone's eyes. It was still a monster with a wolf's head, belonging to the Wolf War Clan. The monster held a sword in each hand, a dual sword type monster like the sword fighters among the professionals. Wolf War Captain, Leader. Level, 15. Strength, 1000. Agility, 800. Spirit, 500. Physique, 1000. Skill, Chaotic Wind Slash. Looking at the data, Lin Moshian felt that there were some names that didn't live up to their names. It was said to be a hell level difficulty, but it was actually greatly weakened. Probably because of the exam, it was far from the difficulty of a hell level copy. It was only a shade stronger than the reinforced elite monster guarding the door in the nightmare level West Sea Mines copy. 
It was far from a true alpha level monster Lin Mou could understand the Empire's approach, if they really released a hell level monster, not to mention the ringleader, even a small monster was not something an ordinary professional could deal with. This was the big test, it was to choose living talents, not dead ones. Lin Maxian gave the order after the battle started, bored out of his mind. The two skeleton warriors quickly rushed up and burst out their skills at the same time. Berserk strike. Two thuds. The wolf orc captain didn't even utter a single word and directly fell to the ground dead. Seconds. Seconds again. The examiners were once again numb. Again, seconds again. The summoner actually still uses skills. And this skill's power isn't small. Lin Mushian over and over again, it's too much. If he's messing around like this, does he still let others play? Chapter 46, The Best Way to Deal with the Summoner Himself Even the alpha-level monsters were killed by Lin Mojing in seconds Lin Mashiwa's strength had already been recognized by the few examiners present. Although the monsters they had arranged were all weakened. But they weren't existences that could be killed in seconds. Didn't you see how hard the others were fighting? Xiaoshua dodged the attacks of the wolf orc head while continuously releasing skills to return fire. Wang Zihao was directly fighting hard, and his knives saw blood. The berserker's belligerent attribute was played to the fullest. Only Zua Mei was a bit better, roaming around the monster and performing various controls. Looking at the professionals who chose other difficulties, were any of them like Lin Maxian? Directly letting two skeleton warriors go up, clicking twice and ending the battle. Lin Maxiue didn't even move a bit from start to finish. I think, he can solo those low-level copies. More than that, he's qualified to solo copies below level 20, even on nightmare difficulty. I don't think that's all he's got, we didn't measure his true battle power. Let's wait for the fifth round of testing, if he wants to take the provincial scholarship, or even the national scholarship, he has to choose the fifth round. We might be able to tell by then. The examiners discussed and discussed with each other, the contents of the test were all set by the higher echelons of the empire, and they didn't have the power to make changes. The only one present who had that power was Ning Xianfeng, who had come from behind. He spoke when he arrived, and never moved again behind him, only watching with interest. The few examiners also noticed that most of his attention was on Lin Moyue. It seemed that he was very interested in Lin Mou. The third round of tests ended very quickly, before and after only 10 minutes. People like Xia Xue, Zua Mei, and Prince Hao all managed to kill their opponents and get their 500 points and handsome succeeded and some failed. Another portion of the candidates were eliminated miserably, losing their qualifications to continue to the next round of exams. They either gave up on their own, or were forcibly terminated from the exam after they were injured and lost their battle power. Although these people were eliminated, their results were already quite good, and they could enter a decent institution of higher learning. There were only 120 people who could successfully pass the third round. The following is the announcement of the rankings of the results after the third round. 1. Lin Mei, total points, 2105. 2. Zua Mei, total points, 970. 3. Xia Xue, 770 points. 4. Prince Hao, 765 points. 67, Gao Yang, 302 points. Lin Mou saw Gao Yang's name in the rankings. Coming in at 67 was considered a good result. Being able to hold out until now, Gao Yang wanted to enter the Jiangning Academy at the same time, Lin understood Gao Yang. This guy is equally arrogant in his bones. Having gotten this far, he definitely wouldn't give up easily. Needless to say, the fourth round would definitely have his share. Prince Hao was still ranked fourth, and in the third round just now, he knew there was no way to catch up. The fourth round is about to start, my chance is coming. Both hands gripped his battle sword tightly, and his eyes flashed with a bearish battle intent. The examiner's voice sounded once again. The fourth round of exams will take place next. The difficulty of the fourth round of exams will continue to increase, and the danger will increase accordingly. Now you can choose to continue, or give up. With your current grades, it is no longer a problem to enter the top 100 ranked academies in the empire. This time, no one chose to give up. There were no cowards who could persevere to this point white light shone down, landing on everyone. Everyone recovered to their peak state. Fatigue was gone, attributes were complete, and skill cooldowns were all gone. In that case, I respect your choices. The rules for the fourth round of exams are as follows. Each of you will face 10 batches of monster attacks. The number of monsters in each batch is 10, totaling 100 monsters. The interval between the appearance of each batch of monsters is 1 minute. Regardless of whether you have eliminated the previous batch of monsters or not, after one minute, the next batch of monsters will appear. The last batch of monsters will be led by an alpha-level monster. Kill them all to pass the test. Each monster will earn 10 points. If you can pass all of them, the final points for this round will be doubled, totaling 2,000 points. 
After saying the rules, a light screen rose in front of everyone. The first 10 monsters had appeared behind the light screen the monsters were just normal monsters, level 13 wolf orcs. Nine of the 10 monsters were warrior type monsters, and there was a mage type standing at the end. The warrior was cooperating with the mage, so the difficulty had risen drastically. Lin Muyue calculated in his mind that the difficulty had risen more than just a little bit. If the ability to clear monsters was not enough, one would be surrounded by more and more monsters, ultimately leading to failure. He already understood that this round tested the ability to clear monsters quickly. From basic battle power, to stamina, to single combat ability, to the ability to quickly clear monsters. From there, it covered the strengths and weaknesses of each profession. This grand exam was truly painstaking. Several examiners were already smiling. One by one, they stared at Lin Mashian. Let's see how you'll deal with it this time. The best way to deal with a summoner is not to destroy the summoner, but to destroy the summoner himself. I think Lin Mashian might have his hands full. But his summons are strong enough that completing this round shouldn't be a problem. Ning Xianfeng, who had never said anything, opened his golden mouth at this moment, I think that it's hard to beat him in this round of tests. Everyone looked at Ning Xianfeng with slight surprise. Ning Xuanfeng's words carried seven points of certainty, and he seemed to be very sure of himself. Although some of the examiners felt that it wasn't certain, the status gap was there, and they didn't refute it. Anyway, the facts would soon prove who was right and who was wrong. Chapter 47, Powering Up the Holy Swordsman, Turning on Berserk Mode The fourth round of tests officially began. A third skeleton warrior appeared in front of Lin Mou. The three skeletons rushed towards the level 9, level 13 monster, one slash at a time. Seconds, no suspense. Lin Mayu's palm flashed with fire, and a flame landed on top of the head of the mage monster at the very back again, it was a second kill. From the start of the test, it was less than three seconds. It was almost the work of a single breath. Nine wolf orc warriors and one wolf orc mage had already been killed. This. How does this kid still have a third summon? This little bastard, why didn't he release it in the beginning and only released it now? Brat, what does he like to hide so much? That's right, the stronger you are, the happier we are. Ning Xianfeng revealed an expression that said it all. Lin Mou unconsciously skimmed his lips, this was the so-called big test, it was too unchallenging. It wasn't as exciting as the first time he entered the West Sea Mines copy. There wasn't a single surprise. It made him sleepy now. Unconsciously, he pulled out another piece of groundnut and slowly ate it. No more no more, watching this kid is not interesting at all. That's it, might as well watch someone else. Lin Mayu's piece, once the monster came out, it was resolved in at most three seconds before and after, it really wasn't interesting. Watching others was much more interesting. Xia Shui kept retreating, stepping out of fire path under her feet. The wolf werewolf stepped on the flames as it chased after Xia Shui, constantly taking attacks. Path of Flames this was a skill that could only be mastered by a mage at level 10, and once it was used, flame damage would form wherever it passed. It was very effective when used here. Group attacks were a mage's strong point. Although her level wasn't high enough, Xia Shui already had two group attack skills at this point. The other was Ice Rain, which possessed a slowing effect. With the two working together, Xia Shui quickly cleared the Wolf Orc Warriors. Comparatively speaking, Zuan Mei had a much harder time. The stalker had strong explosive power, rich combat skills, and possessed many control type skills. Regardless of performing assassinations and fighting one on one, it was an excellent profession. The disadvantage was that they weren't good at group combat and didn't have group attack skills. Therefore, Zua Mei was a bit weak here and could only clean up one by one. Prince Hao still maintained his wide open fighting style. A huge two handed sword danced with a whirring sound. No matter which one, the fight was very interesting. Only Lin Mashian's side was extremely boring. None of the examiners wanted to look at him. There was too much time spent gawking than fighting monsters. No need to look, he'll get first place again in the fourth round. Let's just see if he dares to participate in the fifth round. Even though he's far ahead in points now, if he doesn't participate in the fifth round, he'll be caught up. In the fourth round of exams, monsters appeared in batches of 10 per batch at one minute intervals. Those who moved slowly were already starting to have to face more and more monsters. When three minutes had passed, there were already people who had given up on this test there were too many monsters, leaving them surrounded. One by one, they were teleported outside the trial tower. Being eliminated in the fourth was not humiliating, and there was a bit of honor. All of them belonged to the geniuses, and it was not a problem to enter the top 100 higher learning institutions in the empire. The eliminated people each had a fortunate color on their faces, there were too many monsters, it was too scary. Too scary, I thought I was going to be eaten. So many monsters, how can I kill them in time? I don't know how many people can pass this round of exams. I thought I was good enough, there are people outside of people. 
Then again, that Lin MOU is also too powerful, I guess it's hard to beat him this time. Gao Yang reached his limit after holding out until the fifth batch of monsters appeared and had no choice but to give up. He had just come out when he heard someone talking about Lin MOU, having already held back for half a day he finally couldn't help but say, Lin MOU is my boss, of course he's awesome. Brother's name? Well said, surname Gao Yang, from West Sea First Middle School. Gao Yang said loudly. So it's brother Gao, brother tell us how powerful Lin MOU is. Gao Yang laughed, well said, well said, I'll talk to you guys. He began to gush, and when it came to Lin Mashue leading him to finish painting the nightmare level copy in 10 minutes, several people revealed a look of disbelief. How was this possible? No one believed it, they all thought that Gao Yang was talking big. Gao Yang didn't care if they believed it or not, he just said it himself. It was fine for him to say cool, this half day was really suffocating. As more and more people were eliminated, there were fewer and fewer images in the control room at the top of the trial tower. In the end there were only five people left. Lin Muyue, Xia Xue, Zuimei, Prince Hao, and a Feng Xiao, Feng Xiao, level 15, holy swordsman. Several examiners were looking at Feng Xiao at this moment. Feng Xiao wielded the long sword in his hand and kept wandering in the encirclement of monsters. His stance was as flexible as Zuimei's. Although each attack didn't look powerful, but the accumulation of small amounts became a lot, and the Woshan beastmen fell to the ground one by one without realizing it. This one called Feng Xiao, now he's finally starting to power up. I told you, holy swordsman is obviously a rare profession, how come this guy's performance was not obvious at the beginning, it turns out that he's waiting here. He should be from a sword cultivation family, the Feng family. So he knows the rules of the grand examination and knows that the last two rounds are the key to raising points. That's why he didn't start to make an effort until now. The Feng family had participated in the rule making of the grand examination, so naturally they are familiar with it. Hee <laughs> hee, Prince Hao has finally given up on going berserk. He's not stupid, he's counting the time, it's most appropriate to turn on the berserking now. The seventh batch of monsters appeared. Prince Hao roared and turned on the berserking skill. Berserking, duration 5 minutes, strength increased by 500%, constitution increased by 500%, agility decreased by 200%. After the berserking effect wears off, it will enter a weakened state for 30 minutes. After berserking, Prince Hao's attack power would increase by several times. However, it could only last for 5 minutes, so he waited until the 7th batch of monsters appeared before turning on berserking. 5 minutes, that was enough. At this time, there were still some 30 monsters on the field, and with the 7th batch, the number reached over 40. In berserk mode, Prince Hal began to frantically sweep the monsters. Each sweep of the sword could take away 2 or 3 monsters he began to clear the field in a hurry. Chapter 48, Conquest Space, The Real Battlefield after Lin Mashian waited for one minute, the last batch of monsters finally refreshed. This time, the mage monster was gone, replaced by a leader-level monster. For Lin Mou, there was no difference. The skeleton warrior rushed up and smashed it, and then it was completely quiet. For Lin Mojing, the fourth round of exams ended there. Now it was time to wait for the others. After waiting for ten minutes, the fourth round of exams finally ended altogether. The fourth round of exams is over. 120 people participated in the fourth round of exams, with five final passers. Wow! The examiner's voice spread across the entire field, whether it was inside or outside the tower, everyone heard it. Only five people were left out of the 120 people. It meant that these five people were truly heavenly prides, enough to squeeze into the top higher learning institutions. At the same time, the rankings of the five were distributed, the following is the announcement of the rankings after the second round. 1. Lin Mei, total points, 3605. 2. Zuimei, total points, 2470. 3. Xia Shue, 2270 points. 4. Prince Hao, 2265 points. 5. Feng Xiao, 2200 points. Lin Mashue was still far ahead. Light shone on the five, and all statuses were restored in full. Prince Hao had originally fallen into a weak state after berserking, under the light, the weak state disappeared and the berserking skill could be used again. Everything is as expected. The fifth round, that's when the winners and losers will truly be divided. Prince Hao held his greatsword with a smile on his face. Xia Shui exhaled a long breath, top five now, there shouldn't be any problem getting into the Xiaojing Academy. Zomei's gaze was solemn, Summer Capital Academy, I'm coming. Without exception, all five people's goal was the Summer Capital Academy. The examiner's voice sounded again. I know you all want to take the Xiaojing Academy. But the Summer Capital Academy is not that good. Don't think that you can rest on your laurels just because you've achieved the top 5, there's still the final round of exams, and if you don't perform well enough, you'll be eliminated just the same. If you want to enter the Xiaojing Academy, take the points and talk. 
As long as you can get 10,000 points, I guarantee you'll get in. Listen well to the fifth round of examination rules below. All five people pricked up their ears and listened carefully. The fifth round of tests had its own name. It was called the Conquest Space. They would each be sent into a special space. All kinds of monsters would be spawned inside. There would be warrior type, mage type, archer type, and knight type. As long as they could think of all types of monsters, they would all appear inside. And the number is very large, the first batch will be more than a hundred. Later on, there will be enhanced types, elite types, enhanced elite types, ringleaders, and even BOSCS the faster you kill, the more monsters breed, and the faster the rate of enhancement. This requires that everyone needs to regulate their attack and kill rhythm. It was not the case that the faster you killed, the better. The most crucial thing was the point changes. The changes in the conquest space could be divided into five stages, and the points were different for each stage. In the first stage, the monster level was 15, and killing one gained 50 points. In the second stage, the monster level was 16, and killing one gained 100 points. Every time the monster leveled up by one, the points would be doubled. At the fifth stage, when the monster level reached 19, killing one would gain 800 points. This was still just ordinary small monsters, there were also enhanced monsters, elite monsters, leaders, and bosses that had even more points. Looking at it this way, if Lin Muyue lost in this round of testing, his previous leading edge would no longer exist looking at it seemed a bit unfair. All the previous efforts would be wasted. But Lin Muyue figured out that for the truly strong, the fifth round was where they played. The function of the grand examination was to select geniuses, geniuses who could carry the load for the human race. As the countdown ended, the fifth round of the grand examination officially began. The only five remaining people were simultaneously summoned into the conquest space. And in the control room at the top of the tower, the images about the five people also disappeared at the same time. Several examiners revealed a look of disappointment, alas, this broken rule, even we can't watch it. That's right, the fifth round of exams is the most exciting part of the exams, and we're not allowed to see it. With our permissions, we can only see the changes in points and thus make judgments. Lord Ning, can you watch? Several examiners looked at Ning Xianfeng at the same time, anticipation in their gazes they were truly itching to see how Lin Maxian would perform in the fifth round, especially. Ning Xianfeng swept his gaze across, his voice flat, can't watch. The examiners immediately revealed shocked looks, even you can't look at it. Then who would need to be able to view it? Ning Xianfeng nodded, in the empire, there are no more than 10 people who have the power to view the video of the fifth round of the grand examination. The examiners were even more astonished. No more than 10 people, what kind of big shots were those, they didn't even dare to think about it. Ning Xianfeng continued, anyway, you guys remember that this isn't something you should be prying into. I'm in a good mood today, so I'm just talking to you guys more. Got it, got it. Don't worry, we definitely won't pry. The examiners weren't fools and all realized that things were definitely not simple but right now, if they were lent the guts, they wouldn't dare to pry. There were no more than 10 people with this power in the entire Divine Summer Empire. Just hearing about it was scary enough. The conquest space was very wide, a huge plain. The earth was pitch black and reeked of blood. There were countless rocks, some of which were several meters high. Such an environment gave the profession's room to meander. Lin Moshian's nose twitched slightly, the smell of blood is very strong and full of death, this place has experienced an unimaginably great battle. As a necromancer, Lin Moshiwe was particularly sensitive to dead air. Whether it was a copy of the West Sea Mines or the previous round of exams. There was no dead chi present in it. Now this area was different. It was truly haunted by dead chi. A real life and death battle had occurred here, and it was on a large scale. Blood had drenched the earth, coloring it a dark brown, and the smell of blood lingered for years, is this to let us feel the battlefield in advance? Footsteps sounded and a group of monsters appeared in sight. Chapter 49, What the Hell Did Lin Muyue Do? It was at least 50 to 60 meters away. The group of monsters had already discovered Lin Muyue. The monsters let out roars at the same time and rushed towards Lin Muyue. Ten monsters, not a large number. Lin Muyue looked in his eyes, and his detection spell had already flown out. Feline Orc Warrior. Level, 15. There was no more information. No attributes, no skills. This was the first time the detection technique had returned so little. Lin Maxian saw that the Feline Orc Warriors all had a long tail trailing behind them. Every Feline Orc Warrior was as tall as a giant lizard. Giant lizards that could walk upright. The roar resounded through the battle space, attracting the attention of the other Feline Orcs. At once, several teams of feline orcs appeared in Lin Moshian's line of sight if it was any other professional, they would have run into a wave with the nearest feline orcs. Fully exploding their skills to exterminate a few of them, retreating when they formed an encirclement and engaging in a roundabout battle. 
once caught in the encirclement, the result was predictable. However, this method of battle was suitable for others, but not for Lin Moshien. The three skeleton warriors standing by his side came out in response and rushed towards the feline orcs. The knives rose and fell, and the few feline orcs at the front were instantly injured. Taking a knife, the feline orcs were on the verge of death, but not positively dead. There was still a bit of life force left. Ha! Huh? It didn't take a second. This a tribute. The skeleton warrior didn't take a second to kill the Philim orc, causing Lin Moshien to be slightly surprised. The feline orc's physical attributes weren't low. Their attacks landed on the skeleton warriors and didn't cause much damage to the skeleton warriors it meant that their strength wasn't strong. This was a monster lineage that was strong in physique but weak in strength. Lin Moshien had a judgment. One slash wasn't enough, then two. A feline orc screamed miserably and fell to the ground, dead. Lin Mojing's points also changed in an instant. It changed from 3605 to 3655 points. The control room couldn't see the screen of the fifth round of testing, but it could see the score change. Lin Mashiwa made his move. Killed the first one, very fast. Then the score jumped again, directly changing from 3655 to 4105. This change startled the examiners. One of them looked at each other in disbelief, not knowing what had happened. How could it suddenly increase so much? The skeleton warrior killed a feline orc warrior, and Lin Mashian followed suit by using corpse burst. With a loud bang, the group of feline orcs was completely wiped out. The ten feline orcs added 500 points to Lin Mojing then Lin Mou did not act again, but waited for the remaining feline orcs to arrive. Since they would rush over, why would he go to so much trouble to find them? There were still nine corpses here, so when they came over, just directly cast corpse explosion. But the next second, Lin Moshian was surprised to find that the corpses were gone. It was as if the corpses had sunk into the dark earth and disappeared. The corpse existed for a very short period of time, before and after only 10 seconds. I can't believe this is happening. It seems that the plan has to be slightly changed. Looking at the team of feline orcs running over in all directions, Lin Moshian released several more skeleton warriors. A total of nine skeleton warriors were released, one assigned to each team. The skeleton warriors took the initiative to meet down with a clicking sound and then ran with the team of feline orcs. It was like dragging the monsters, gradually gathering them together two minutes later, the pulling of monsters was complete. Nearly a hundred feline orcs had converged together. The skeleton warriors struck at the same time, instantly killing a feline orc in seconds. The roar was instantly loud. Lin Moshian had almost used corpse burst seven or eight times in just three seconds. The dark earth shook more than once. All the feline orc warriors were slaughtered. Lin Mashiwa's points also reached 8,605 points in an instant. The control room of the trial tower was once again bustling with activity. What exactly did Lin Mashiwa do? Why did his points increase so much all of a sudden? God knows, it's not like we can see what happened in the conquest space. But Lin Mashian was 3,605 points before, and now he's 8,605 points, an increase of exactly 5,000 points. One can only say that the first 100 monsters have been exterminated by him. As for how they were exterminated, I don't know. The examiners looked at each other you looked at me, I looked at you. Then looking at the scores of the others, they really couldn't figure it out. After all, Lin Mashiwe was just a level 16 little guy, how strong could his skills be? Destroying 100 monsters in one go was unbelievable when you thought about it. Like the elemental mages who were good at swarming monsters, Xiaoshue's points were going up by 50, 100. It's not like Lin Mashiwe's 5,000 points in a few minutes. Who would believe it? Ning Xianfeng was much more calm than the examiners, but his eyelids were also jumping. Even his insights made it hard to imagine how exactly Lin Mo Yan had done it. What on earth did this kid do? What kind of profession is a necromancer anyway? Where exactly are his limits? Question mark after question mark arose in Ning Xuanfeng's mind. At this moment, he was also very curious about what was happening in the conquest space. It was a pity that he didn't have enough authority or the power to view it. He could only analyze and judge through the changes in points in the conquest space, the corpses only existed for 10 seconds before disappearing without a trace. Lin Moshian quietly waited for the second batch of monsters to appear. This time, it shouldn't be like the fourth round of testing, where you have to wait for a minute. Just as the thought fell, a sense of crisis arose. The air was red, and dozens of fireballs with a diameter of up to 1 meter slammed down like meteorites. Chapter 50 Stage 2 Elevated Difficulty Lin Moyu's heart was shaken, the skeleton warriors formed a shield-type defense line like a stack Luohan, protecting Lin Moyu firmly. Fireballs like meteorites smashed down on the skeleton warriors, exploding sparks all over the sky, gorgeous. Lin Moyu was very clear about his weakness. 
His own physique was too poor, and if he endured a powerful attack, a massive amount of damage would be transferred to the skeleton warrior. This would cause the skeleton warrior to suffer to great damage if the skeleton warrior blocked for himself, the result would be completely different. With the skeleton warrior's powerful physique and super high defense, he could almost ignore this amount of damage. Lin Mou stood behind the skeleton warrior and his eyes saw the orc team that had appeared in front of him. A group of feline orc mages could wave their wands and unleash a rain of fire attacks. A large number of feline orc warriors were swinging their weapons and charging over. These monsters appeared noiselessly without the slightest bit of warning. The corners of Lin Moshian's mouth pulled out arcs. Who cares how they appeared, it's good that we don't have to wait for a refresh. The mage monsters kept releasing their skills in the back, and the roiling fire rain didn't stop. In order to ensure his safety, Lin Mou let ten skeletons form a shield to block the mage attack. At the same time, he released another ten skeletons to meet the orc warrior's skill. Commanding in his mind, the skeleton warrior's hands suddenly lit up with red light. Berserk Strike With the skeleton warrior's strength attribute of up to 5,000, and then using the skill, the attack power doubled. The feline orc warriors were killed in seconds. Lin Moshian's palm glowed. There was a loud roar. The explosion of corpses spread crazily. The feline orc warriors fell like cutting rice. In just a few seconds, the hundreds of feline orc warriors who had rushed over were already dead less. The ten skeleton warriors pounced on the filin orc mage like lightning. The 5,000 points of agility brought about amazing speed. With the huge difference in attributes, the skeleton warriors had already appeared as stumps in Lin Moshian's eyes. In the blink of an eye, the skeleton warrior had already crossed dozens of meters to appear in front of the filin orc mage. His hand rose up and slashed, killing him in a second. The feline orc mage's physique was not as good as the warrior's, and he happened to be killed by the skeleton warrior with a single slash the rain of fire disappeared and everything was calm once again. Lin Maya's place was peaceful, and several examiners in the control room of the trial tower were still wide-eyed. Lin Maya's points only stopped for 10 seconds before soaring like a rocket once again. 14,605 points, in less than 10 seconds, the points had increased by 6,000 points at once. This meant that another 120 monsters had been killed by Lin Mojing. Twice before and after, it already spoke for itself. This guy has group attack skills. This profession is going to go against the heavens. Single skills are already perverse enough, group attack skills are just as perverse. Not only are the skills powerful, the summons are equally powerful. I think this profession has already surpassed the legendary level and can be comparable to those few professions. We can't say that for now, after all, the level is still low now, we have to look at the future. Being strong at a low level didn't mean that it would be equally strong at a high level. Not being good at a low level didn't mean it would be equally good at a high level. There were even some professions that were consistently not good until they acquired a certain divine skill to begin with and became irreplaceable. There's a kind of profession that's not very useful in normal times. But once war broke out, it was a godlike existence. All of his skills were legionary group skills. With the existence of such a professional in a legion, the combat power of the entire legion could be doubled. Lin Mashue didn't know what the examiners were thinking. At this moment, he heard a roar. The entire earth shook several times, as if it was an earthquake. The corpses disappeared in the shaking as if they had been swallowed by the earth. Invisible gases grew from the earth, and the air became bloodier, even taking on a corpse stench it made people want to vomit. The color of the sky became even more dusky and gloomy. The atmosphere was so oppressive that one could not breathe. Second stage. Lin Mo looked at the sky. He seemed to be comfortable with this kind of aura and didn't have any aversion to it. Perhaps his profession had something to do with it. The scent of death didn't make him feel uncomfortable. The only thing he didn't like was the increasingly heavy stench. The earth shaking gradually stopped, and Lin Moshian had the skeleton warriors surround themselves, keeping a vigilant eye on the surroundings. A few seconds later, there were footsteps. Coming. Lin Moshua said secretly in his mind. A large number of monsters suddenly appeared in the surroundings. The monsters appeared from all directions, forming a squad in groups of five monsters. Feline Orc Fighter. Level, 16. Feline Orc Bowman. Rank, 16. Each squad was in a 3 to 2 ratio, with three fighters paired with two archers gladiators and archers, both level 16. There were at least 40 squads scattered around. From afar, it looked like Lin Moshian was surrounded by them. After entering the second stage, not only had the level of the monsters increased by one level, the number had also doubled. Lin Mou wasn't worried about this. To him, level 16 monsters were just that. Even if he didn't use corpse burst, with just 20 skeleton warriors, it would take some time to hack all of these guys to death. He was thinking about another issue at the moment. Judging by the difficulty, it would be hard for other professions to break through the second stage. 
Even if we could break through, it would still take a lot of time. The difficulty of the first stage wasn't considered high in Lin Mashian's eyes. With a little effort, most professions would be able to break through. The second stage was much harder, just increasing the level by one and doubling the monsters, two changes, were enough to increase the difficulty by several times plus the appearance of archers, who were known as the natural enemies of mages. This change would discourage most mage class professionals. Chapter 51, Dark Evil Mantle, Demon's Head Lin Mashian thought correctly. In the history of the great examination of the Divine Summer Empire, there were very few candidates who could pass the second stage. The fifth round of the Conquering Empyrean examination was also the last round of the examination. There were a total of five stages in conquest space. The current highest record was passing the third stage. This record was also set over a hundred years ago. No one had broken this record since then. The examiners from Jiangning province were also speculating whether Lin Mashian could break the record. I think there's a chance. Although I don't know what kind of skills this guy has, I can tell from the previous results that his skills are perverse. The examiner no longer wanted to use powerful to describe it, but instead just called it perverted. I suspect that he awakened his talent. No matter how strong a profession is, there is still a limit, it can't be as strong as this. If he really awakened his talent, that's a great thing. That's right, if a talent can be awakened just after a career change, maybe a new talent can be awakened during the second career change. You're overthinking it, gifted professionals are already very rare, and dual gifted people are even more rare. Who knows? The examiners got sidetracked as they chatted. But everyone blinked at the point changes. Lin Mayu's point changes were the most dramatic, either staying the same or rocketing. Lin Mashue repeated his old trick of having the skeleton warriors out in force to attract the attention of the feline orcs. The method of fighting against the orcs didn't care how novel it was, the most important thing was practicality the skeleton warriors attracted firepower, pulled the monsters together, created corpses, and then used corpse burst for group kills. This kind of fighting method Lin Mashian was already familiar with, and the efficiency was amazingly high. Soon, the skeleton warriors that scattered in all directions had attracted all the feline beastmen as far as the eye could see. Then they began to run around the feline orc archers. Lin Mashian waited for the monsters to gather about as much as they could and gave an attack command to the skeleton warriors. As the skill was used, the level 16 feline orc bowman was instantly killed in seconds. Then a series of corpses exploded, and in the blink of an eye, the surroundings once again returned to calm. The points instantly increased by 20,000, reaching 34,605 points. In the second stage, each monster could bring 100 points to Lin Mashian. 200 monsters was 20,000 points though examiners were already not surprised. This guy has entered the second stage. The monsters in the second stage just increased by one level, it won't affect him. This is simply going to give away points, if I didn't have the authority, I would really like to raise the difficulty. That's right, get dozens of bosses for him to kill, that would be fun. Looking at Lin Mayu's more than 30,000 points, and then looking at a few others, the gap was just too big. Up until now, the one in second place was Xia Shui. As an elemental mage, Xia Shui had good group offensive skills. She was the second fastest at clearing monsters besides Lin Mou. At this point, the points had reached more than 7,000. The hundred monsters in the first round had been pretty much killed by her. After Xia Shui was clearly Feng Xiao. This holy swordsman came up later and his points had also reached 6,000. From this, it could be seen that the Holy Swordsman was also a profession that dealt well with group attacks Zuomei and Prince Hao were a bit worse. Zuomei carried out attacks one after another, and although it was stable, it wasn't very efficient. Prince Hao was more direct, directly fighting the monsters. As for the berserking skill, now was not the time. Neither of the two increased their points quickly, and by now they were only 5,000 out. But they both had confidence in themselves. Completing the first stage, breaking 10,000 points was not a problem as long as the points could break 10,000. Grade, occupation, and grades, each of them met the requirements. Getting into the Summer Capital Academy was the nail in the coffin. The great examination of the Divine Summer Empire was nationwide, conducted on a provincial basis. It was conducted on the same day, at the same time, and the progress between provinces was similar. Almost all of the provincial grand examinations had now begun their fifth round of exams one by one, the trial towers had opened up their conquest spaces. As long as one was able to enter them, none of them were geniuses. This was also the most talented batch of all the candidates in the Divine Summer Empire this year. In the eyes of the higher-ups of the Divine Summer Empire, these candidates were the future of the Divine Summer Empire. Every year, a group of strong people could always be born from them, sending fresh blood to the Divine Xia Empire. In the capital of the Divine Summer Punjabi Kingdom, the illustrious Xiajing City. A huge tower floated in midair. Countless people in Xiajing City looked up to the sky, and no matter which corner they were in, they could clearly see this tower. 
This tower did not normally appear, and when it did, it was the day that the Divine Summer Empire was in the test. This one was the trial tower proper. The trial towers that were conducting the great exams in each provincial city were all its incarnations there were a total of three divine towers in the Divine Summer Empire. The trial tower was one of them. Another was the Divine Summer Tower located in the Xiaojing Academy. The third one was known as the Demon Extermination Tower, which was always on the front lines and basically would not appear in the eyes of the nation. Suddenly the sky turned dark and the temperature dropped drastically. Darkness descended in an instant, and a pitch-black evil aura came through the air, rushing towards the trial tower at an astonishing speed. Bold. A deafening voice resounded throughout the city. A large virtual hand appeared in the air, wanting to block the pitch-black evil aura. TSK, you can't block it. A sinister laugh resounded from the pitch-black evil mango, while black light flourished. A huge demonic head appeared in the blackness. The head was born with double horns and sharp teeth, exactly like the image of demons described in books the dual horns emitted ear-piercing zipping sounds and erupted black light that shot towards the illusory giant hand. The black light collided with the giant hand without any sound, and at the same time, it was annihilated and invisible. At this time in the air appeared a giant eye, the eye shot out golden light, straight to the pitch black evil mango and go. The black evil mango suddenly split into two, one of which collided with the golden light. The other speed steeply accelerated by tens of times and instantly rushed into the trial tower. You seek death. Giant hands once again appeared in the air, firmly pinching the demon head. The demonic head let out a tisk tsk grim laugh, this is just a diversion, kill it as you wish. But the little one's in your trial tower. TSK. With a bang, the demon head was crushed. Chapter 52, Abyssal Power Invasion, Trusting the White God. Three figures appeared next to the trial tower proper they were magnificent and stood in the void. Simply standing there was as if they were through the heavens. I didn't expect those scumbags from the abyss to come and sneak in. All of them are unseemly things. What now? One of them made contact with the trial tower probing the tower's interior. The abyssal mongrels have sneaked in. They're targeting those candidates in the conquest space. The space within the tower has been stirred up, and the power of the abyss has infested the rules. The earth within the tower was originally taken from the abyssal essence earth, which is in their favor, and I need time to set things right. How long will it take? One hour. At this moment, in the tower's conquest space, the students were struggling to kill monsters. Suddenly, all the monsters disappeared en masse. Immediately afterward, heaven and earth shifted. The atmosphere instantly became more oppressive silky black chi emerged from the earth. How could it return? What happened? How did the monster suddenly disappear? Lin Mashian gathered the skeleton warriors at the first opportunity and protected himself. Protecting oneself was the first choice when the situation was unknown. Lin nerd. With a familiar voice, Lin Mojing saw Xia Shui. Seeing other people in the conquest space, Lin Mashua looked a little surprised. Not only was he surprised, Xia Shui also felt surprised. The skeleton warrior made a passage for Xia Shui to enter. Xia Shui asked, Do you know what happened? Lin Mou shook her head, indicating that she didn't know. Xia Shui said, Just now, I was killing monsters and suddenly the monsters disappeared. I wonder what happened. Xia Shui was a bit surprised at first, but know how so far, with Lin Mou Yue around, it didn't seem so scary. Lin Ma Shue was too calm, and similarly passed this aura on to Xia Shui. Immediately afterward, a ray of light lit up in the pitch black conquest space one candidate after another appeared in the conquest space. The number of people was more than 100. Apart from the five of them from Jiangning province, candidates from other provinces had also arrived. Children. A voice suddenly rang out. I am by Yi Yuan. Wow. Everyone in the conquest space stared in shock. White God, it's actually White God. I can actually hear the White God's voice. Bai Yi Yuan was a top-tier powerhouse in the Divine Summer Empire and was honored as the White God. The moment his voice appeared, it immediately caused a violent reaction in the conquest space. The White God's voice didn't just resonate in the conquest space, it spread throughout every examination hall. Ning Xuanfeng's face changed slightly. Why has the White God appeared, has something happened? Bai Yi Yuan's voice resounded once more. Demons from the Abyssal World have invaded the conquest space. We are repairing the rules of the conquest space, it will take about an hour. The target that the demons of the abyssal world are targeting is you guys. So in the next hour, you should protect yourselves. We don't know what methods the demons of the abyssal world will use against you. I believe that as long as we are united, the invading forces of the abyss will be unable to do anything to you. I, the people of Divine Summer, do not fear battle or death. His words carried an extremely strong rendering power and resonated strongly. 
No fear of war, no fear of death. No fear of war, no fear of death. No fear of battle, no fear of death. The candidates were all young people, each one vigorous. At this time, their emotions were brought up, and they all shouted loudly. Xiaoxue couldn't help but want to yell a couple of lines as well, but when she saw the still silent Lin Mou, she gave up with her hand raised halfway although Lin Mou didn't follow the shouts, he was only 18 years old, and he was even more of a Xinxia person. There was inevitably excitement in his eyes. He wouldn't roar, but he wouldn't be soft-handed when he killed the abyssal demon in a moment. The candidates began to gather. The education they received since childhood had told them that the abyss was a very scary place. There were countless monsters in there, countless demons, countless sublocals, and countless equipment. It's said that the abyss is so terrifying that the weakest monsters in there are level 70, and they're still elite monsters. Xia Shui whispered. She had heard about the horror of the abyss from Xia Donyang and had some fear in her heart. Lin Mojing had only seen the abyss from books, but the books were only a passing reference. In other words, he knew nothing about the abyss I believe in the white god. Lin Mou said indifferently. Since Bai Yuan had said that as long as they were united they could fight against the invading power of the abyss. Here Lin Mou caught the key point in Bai Yuan's words. It wasn't the abyss that they had to fight against. Rather, it was the invading force of the abyss. Thinking that this force wouldn't be too strong, they were able to fight it. Otherwise, if they really came in an abyssal monster, a level 70 elite monster would be enough to kill everyone here in seconds. Xia Shui was also. In the outside world, Ning Xuanfeng's gaze sank slightly, surprisingly, this would happen. He was much calmer than the several examiners, who were all a bit flustered. How could this happen? I didn't expect something like this to happen, the abyss is deliberately rushing towards the grand examination. No, they are targeting those geniuses participating in the fifth round of tests. If they don't handle it well this time, they'll come every year in the future. This is to break the roots of our divine summer empire. Those who were able to enter the conquest space were all geniuses, the future of the divine summer empire. This move by the abyss was indeed very sinister. All shot up. Ning Xianfeng suddenly spoke, causing the examiners to shut their mouths one by one. Ning Xuanfeng's gaze swept over like a sword, tell the people outside not to panic and to trust the white god. You guys too, trust the white god. The examiners each carried respect, trust the white god. The white god's status was exalted, and no one within Divine Xia believed in his words. Soon, the outside world quieted down. Everyone chose to believe in the white god. At the same time, they also prayed for the candidates in the conquest space. The aura in the conquest space grew more and more condensed. A scarlet blood moon appeared in the sky at some point. It's the abyssal blood moon. Someone exclaimed the power of the abyss is starting to move. Everyone get ready. Chapter 53, Finally, Someone Comes to Die. Moonlight sprinkled the earth like snow. The smell of blood in the air became even more intense. Within a few short minutes of the white god speaking, all the candidates had already prepared for battle. There were no support class professions here, only main battle class professions. The candidates lined up in battle formations. The knights were at the front, followed by the mages and the archers. The knights followed their beliefs. If they wanted to kill their teammates, they stepped over their own corpses. TSK, 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 TSK. It's a pity you're all going to die. One hour is enough to kill all of you. It's just a pity that I can't bring your corpses back, the blood and flesh of the youngsters' clans, it's the most delicious law. Ha 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 ha. The grim voice accompanied by the blood colored moonlight was chilling a trace of disgust flashed across Lin Mayu's expression. This kind of guy who stole chickens and dogs was the most despised. Xiaoxue was so frightened that her little face turned white and she moved a little closer towards Lin Mojing's side again. It seemed that Lin Mou could bring her some sense of security. It wasn't just Xiaoxue, many people were frightened, and one's face didn't look good. Coming! Someone yelled out. A huge figure appeared under the moonlight. The detection spell flew over at the first opportunity and rolled up a clear wind. Feline Orc Warrior, Abyssal Infestation, comma. Rank, 19. Someone suddenly shouted, I remembered, there is a level restriction in the conquest space, the highest is level 19. With this shout from him, someone else also remembered this. Right, why did I forget, the highest level of the conquest space is 19, it can't go any higher. Just now I was startled, it's true that it's only level 19. Then what's there to be afraid of, there are so many of us. Before he finished his words, he suddenly shut up, unable to finish the following words again. After that huge figure, another and another figure appeared, out of sight, there were at least a hundred of them. All level 19 monsters, all infested with the abyss. Each monster was as tall as three meters and emitted a terrifying aura. They came towards the candidates en masse, and the earth was trampled and shook. 
Under the moonlight, the monsters looked hideous. The tails were covered with densely packed barbs. After being infested by the power of the abyss, the appearance of the feline orc warriors had changed drastically. It had become even more terrifying. Powerful pressure came overwhelmingly. After all, the candidates were only 18 years old and hadn't experienced a real battlefield. When had they seen so many terrifying monsters? One by one, they were so frightened that their legs went weak most of the courage they had just lost. Xia Shui was also pale and unconsciously grabbed Lin Maya's clothes, what to do? Lin Maya's gaze was solemn, looking at the body type, it's not an ordinary monster. At least it's a reinforced elite monster. It's troublesome, but it can still be dealt with. It was rare for him to say so much, as if he wanted to reassure Xia Shui. But his words did not make Xia Shui able to feel at ease in the slightest, but instead, she became more afraid. They're all reinforced elite monsters, isn't that the same as the monsters of nightmare level copies? Suddenly, the corner of Lin Maxian's mouth pulled out a faint arc. Infested by the power of the abyss and mutated, wouldn't that be experience? Lin Maxian thought of a possibility. If it was really as he thought, wouldn't these monsters be able to move him up a level? The huge-bodied monsters were approaching, not running, but closing in a little bit it was as if it was trying to tease the crowd, not in a hurry to kill them all. The grim voice from the abyssal demon reappeared. Scared? Fearful? These monsters have been strengthened by my power, each of them is equivalent to a strengthened elite monster O. The number isn't much, just 100. The white god said that you can defeat them by uniting together. Now look, is it really possible? Hey, there's more than 100 of you, so it's just one for each of you. Should we fight one on one or in a group? Should we have a match like you guys? How about a hundred matches, winner lives, loser dies? Ha 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 ha. The demonic voice struck the crowd's ventilation once again. The monster was closing in, but these candidates were retreating. The group was instantly pulled out of two levels. Prince House face was pale at this moment, and his legs trembled as he followed along in the retreat. Holy Swordsman Fengxiu held his sword, and although his face did not look good, he did not take a step back Mei was the same, holding her dagger, already prepared to fight to the death. There were also quite a few other candidates like Fengxiu's Mei, posing for battle. Lin Mashu swept a glance at them and he moved. Ka Ching! Blah blah blah! The skeleton warrior rushed at the front, while Lin Mou followed behind. Xia Shui had an anxious look on her face, what are you doing, come back? What are you going to do? It's like this every time, not saying anything. Xiaoshui stumped her foot and also followed. At this time, Lin Mouyu suddenly drank in a low voice, go back. Xiaoshui paused for a moment, I don't want to. As you wish. Lin Mouyu didn't say anything else, just follow if you want to, it doesn't affect anything anyway. Lin Mojing's sudden movement attracted the attention of many people. What is this person going to do? He actually rushed up. So many skeletons, are these his summons? Is this person a summoner? Does anyone recognize him? A probe spell fell on Lin Mashue, Lin Mashue, level 16, Necromancer. Necromancer, what profession is that? Never heard of it. I don't know, never heard of this profession. It's hard to believe it's some new profession. What should we do? Should we go together? Only a dozen people followed Lin Mashian and rushed over. Feng Xiao and Zuan Mei were among them. Holding the will to die. Even if they had to die in battle, they had to die in battle like warriors. Divine summer people, not afraid to fight, not afraid to die. The abyssal demon laughed coldly, hey, finally, someone has come to die. Not small in courage, worthy of praise. Courage can be good, really a little reluctant to kill you, or you come to the abyss as this demon king's slave. Chapter 54, It's Impossible for This Profession to Exist Lin Mashian ignored the abyssal demon's words. He suddenly stopped when he came 50 meters from the monster, did you figure it out? The door of the abyss is always open for you. The abyssal demon's voice sounded once again. Lin Mashian also had a light smile in his eyes at this time. The limit distance of the corpse burst was 100 meters, and 50 meters was the middle distance. That is, it was safe and enough. Xiaoshui came to Lin Mayu's side, she knew that Lin Mouyu definitely had his own ideas and didn't ask much. Why don't you get on? Why did it stop? Feng Xiao, Zuomei and the others also rushed over, their faces puzzled. Here, it's okay. Lin Mei Yu whispered, her finger pointing forward. Wow! All the skeleton warriors appeared at the same time. A whole 100 skeleton warriors, like an army. So many. He actually has so many summons. This profession looks so powerful. After the skeleton warriors appeared, one by one, they rushed towards the feline orc warriors like lightning. So fast. Zuomei's eyes snapped shut. 
She was a stalker, known for her agility attribute, and her full force explosive speed was very fast but at this moment, she realized that her speed was far inferior to the skeleton warrior. Hey, there are so many summons. It's still an undead type of summon. These bones can be taken back for the watchdogs to eat. The skeleton warrior had arrived in front of the feline orc in the blink of an eye. Skill. Lin Mashian's heart moved, and the large swords in the hands of the skeleton warriors simultaneously emitted a dazzling red light. A dozen or so skeleton warriors simultaneously used their skills on a feline orc. A streak of red light fell, and the feline orc was immediately seriously injured. The attacks of the skeleton warriors were more powerful than expected. The Philom orcs had been infiltrated by the power of the abyss and had become extremely powerful. It was surprising that they hadn't died under such circumstances. The huge battle blades in their hands landed on the skeleton warriors one after another Lin Mashian could feel the skeleton warriors being injured one after another. But the injuries weren't serious. From the damage the skeleton warriors had received, they probably judged the attributes of their opponent. Strength should be around 3000. Physique should be over 3500. The higher the physique, the better. After the skeleton warriors finished using their skills, the knives in their hands didn't stop and continued to fall on the feline orcs. A dozen or so skeleton warriors ignored the attacks and surrounded a feline orc with all their might. A few seconds later, the feline orc fell to the ground with a miserable scream. Killed level 19 feline orc warrior, experience plus 8000. Sure enough, there was experience. Lin Mashian realized that his judgment was correct. It was just that the experience was slightly less, but something was better than nothing. A light glowed in his palm. Boom! The sudden explosion startled them then they saw an unbelievable scene. The seemingly powerful feline orc warriors fell like wheat. Boom! Boom! Explosion after explosion, each one taking away a dozen or so feline orcs. After more than ten earth-shattering explosions, the feline orcs had died out. Lin Mashian looked at his experience and was still a little bit short of upgrading. This is killing them all? No way, so simple? What kind of skill is this, it's too powerful. The amount of damage dealt by corpse explosion was calculated based on the corpse's life force. The stronger the corpse's life force, the more powerful the explosion would be. So for Lin Mashian, as long as he could create the first corpse, then enemies of the same type would only suffer death. Everyone looked dumbfounded. One by one, they were trembling with excitement. Saved, saved. This brother is too strong, necromancer, this profession is too powerful. I'm sure this brother can become a god-level strong talent in the future. Prince Hao said naively, how can he be so powerful, how can he be so powerful? His profession is too strong, why isn't my awakened profession this one, it's not fair. His words went unheeded, everyone was still in shock right now, it was hard to regain their senses for a while. This scene was so fantastical that it was hard to believe. What had happened was beyond the crowd's cognizance. Not only did the candidates not believe it, even the abyssal demon did not believe it. The abyssal demon's voice sounded once again, impossible, this is impossible. You have angered this demon king, this demon king will kill you and eat your flesh. Amidst the screams, the scarlet moonlight violently erupted in brilliant light. Another batch of monsters appeared from all directions. This time, the monsters spread out wide, charging towards the various occupiers as soon as they appeared. Their targets were the occupiers. The occupiers immediately panicked and began to run fortunately, the conquest space was large enough for them to have enough room to meander. Now, let's see what you'll do. You're all going to die, all of you. The abyssal demon's voice was much weaker than before. There was a limited amount of abyssal power that could enter the conquest space, and using some of it up meant less. Lin Mashian looked up at the red moon. There was a dark shadow on the red moon. So you're here. Calculating the distance, it was about 200 meters away. Lin Mojing gave an order at the same time in his mind. Several skeletons suddenly lifted up the corpse of a feline orc and threw it towards the red moon with a violent force. Then a skeleton hugged Lin Mou, and a skeleton warrior threw them up. The feline orc's corpse flew towards red moon like a sharp arrow, with Lin Mashua following closely behind. You. What are you doing? You madman. The abyssal demon suddenly panicked, his voice starting to tremble. Lin Mashian didn't say anything, just stared coldly with killing intent in his eyes the corpse of the feline orc was close to the black shadow on the red moon, and Lin Mashian directly detonated it. There was a loud boom. The abyssal demon let out a miserable scream. The black shadow was hit by the explosion, but it didn't die. This king will kill you, kill you. The voice became extremely weak and screamed madly and chaotically. Not dead yet. Lin Mashian's palm bloat again. Soul flames. Ignoring defense miles, it directly inflicted damage to the soul. A flame appeared above the black shadow, which once again let out a miserable scream. 
What kind of skill is this, why can it cauterize the soul? What kind of profession are you, it's impossible for this kind of profession to exist, impossible. Without uttering a single word, Lin Mashian added another timely soul flame as he descended. The black shadow had already become extremely weak although it was still screaming. Chapter 55, Skill Upgrade, This King Remembers You Xiaojing City, outside the trial tower proper Meng Anwen was the master of the trial tower, and he was working hard to repair the rules of the conquest space. Several people looked at the trial tower with worried faces. The longer the time dragged on, the more dangerous it would be for the candidates in the conquest space. Suddenly Meng Anwen let out a soft eep. Bai Yi Yuan asked in a deep voice, what's wrong? Meng Anwen said, the interference from the abyssal forces has weakened substantially. Bai Yi Yuan's face turned very ugly in an instant, it's hard to believe that all the candidates inside are dead. Meng Anwen sensed carefully, no, I can sense quite a bit of life breath inside, the breath of our human race. The abyssal demon consciousness body's aura has become weak, he's injured. The abyssal demon consciousness body entered the conquest space and used the power of the abyss to disrupt the rules of the conquest space. It blocked the conquest space and disguise in that situation, who could injure him? By those candidates who were only level 15 or 16? Bai Yi Yuan didn't believe it at all. In his imagination, the range of the conquest space was large, and if the candidates could make good use of it, they might be able to hold out for an hour until they could make a rescue. But trying to kill the other party back was impossible. Even if the other party was just a piece of consciousness, it was impossible. In the conquest space, a large number of feline orcs abandoned their goal and began to rush towards Lin Moshian. The black shadow on the blood moon roared. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to eat your flesh and drink your blood. He already regarded Lin Mou as a thorn in his side. He even forgot about today's mission and lost his mind, only wanting to kill Lin Moshian. A large number of feline orcs infested with the power of the abyss rushed towards Lin Moshiwei. The skeleton warriors quickly formed a battle line to block them how high were the attributes of the skeleton warriors, as high as 5004 dimensions, far beyond their class. Even if they were infested with the power of the abyss and their attributes reached the level of a reinforced elite monster, they were still far inferior to the skeleton warriors. Moreover, Lin Moshian commanded the skeleton warriors to kill them point blank. A dozen skeleton warriors surrounded one at the same time. Only a few seconds before and after, another fey orc warrior was killed. Boom! The sound of explosions rose again. Corpse explosion was considered a divine technique, and Lin Moshian used it again and again. Suddenly, Lin Moshian noticed that the corpse burst skill had changed. Corpse burst, level 2, detonates a corpse, inflicting 15% of the corpse's life value on enemies within 2 meters. After acquiring the skill, the corpse burst that had never changed. At this moment it was unexpectedly upgraded. The range had changed from 1 meter to 2 meters, and the damage had changed from 10% of the life value to 15% it seemed like a very small change. In conjunction with the overall increase in talent. 40 meter range, 300% damage power of the corpse's life value. With only a 1 level increase, the skill had actually skyrocketed. It seems that using skills repeatedly and skilling them up can raise the skill level. Apart from the natural skills obtained by transferring, should all the skills obtained by utilizing skill scrolls afterward be leveled up in such a way? This is very similar to life type, auxiliary type skills. The roar continued, and after the range was expanded, corpse burst became even more useful. In the blink of an eye, there was no longer a single standing feline orc around Lin Moshian. Even the black shadows on the blood moon were silent. The corners of Lin Moshiwa's mouth brought out a hint of a smile. He was glowing. A faint white light enveloped his entire body. He had upgraded. Lin Mojing's upgrade attracted the attention of many people they realized that there was experience in killing these monsters infested with the power of the abyss. He actually used this kind of monster to practice leveling. So, he's capable of soloing a nightmare level copy. This guy is too powerful. Lin Moshien, which province is genius. Luckily there's him, or else we'd be dead. Many people whispered, and quite a few looked at Lin Mojing with admiration in their eyes. Lin Mojing looked up, the blood moon was still there, the black shadow was still there. Looks like he can't leave. With a thought, this time, a whole five feline orc corpses were thrown up. Immediately afterward, the skeleton warrior once again hugged Lin Moshian and leapt up. The black shadow in the blood moon seemed to realize that it was in big trouble. Surprisingly, it didn't roar, but instead let out a grim laugh. Your name is Lin Mou. This king remembers you. When you come to the abyss, this king will treat you well. Lin Mou smiled faintly and didn't say anything. The corpse flew to the blood moon. The corpse exploded. In a violent explosion, the black shadow let out a final scream and was blown out. The blood moon shattered like a lens and dissipated into the air. The conquest space returned to normal with it. Outside the trial tower. 
Meng Anwen once again showed surprise, the abyssal consciousness was annihilated. The conquest space has returned to normal. The children are safe and sound, no casualties. Bai Yuan similarly revealed a hard-to-believe expression, the development of things was completely different from what he had expected. At a realm like his, there weren't many things that could surprise him anymore. Can we go back? Bai Yuan wanted to know what exactly happened in the conquest space. Meng Anwen said, it can. Bai Yuan said in a deep voice, well, there's no rush on this matter. Send the children back first, just in case. Good. In the conquest space, the blood moon dissipated and the earth was returning to normal. Xiaoshui asked in a low voice, Dumlin, is everything all right? At this moment, she still had palpitations in her heart and her face was slightly pale. What happened earlier was too scary, if it wasn't for Lin Mou, she estimated that she would have already died. Lin Mou nodded, it's okay. Although there were no comforting words, this answer was enough to put Xiaoshui's mind at ease. In the conquest space, the candidates were also in shock at this time. Just now, when the feline orcs were chasing them, they were also fleeing, and they were simply incapable of fighting against them. Luckily, there was Lin Mashien. The white god's voice sounded once again. Candidates, the abyssal power has disappeared and the conquest space has returned to normal. You will be sent back to your original examination center, and the results will be announced later. Chapter 56, Without Any Suspicion, The Provincial Top Scholar Lin Mashua appeared at the entrance of the trial tower Xiaoshua, Zwamei, Prince Hao, and the four Fengshu appeared with her. The entrance to the trial tower had already closed. The main battle class grand exam is over, all candidates please rest in place and wait for the final points evaluation. The examiner's voice resounded throughout the room. No one left, the final results would be announced soon after the grand examination ended, and it was the same every year. The examiners waited with bated breath. For the main battle class professions, the results consisted of two parts. One was the points. The second was the evaluation. Some of the top institutions of higher learning not only had requirements for professions, ranks, and points, but also for evaluations. The higher the ranking of the academy, the higher the requirements. For example, the Xiaojing Academy's requirements for the main battle class occupation was basically a rank of 15 or more and over 10,000 points the evaluation should be at least excellent. The rest of the top 20 schools, level points to be relatively loose, but the evaluation should also be excellent. If you want to take the top schools, evaluation is very important. If the goal was just an ordinary institution of higher learning, then the evaluation wasn't so important. It was enough to just have the points to meet the standard. For candidates who did not enter the conquest space, the evaluations were given by the provincial examiners. For those who entered the conquest space, the evaluations were given by the higher echelons of the Divine Summer Empire. For the Divine Summer Empire, the candidates who could enter the conquest space were all geniuses and needed further attention. In the middle of Xiajing City, Meng Anwen, Bai Yuan, and several other top powerhouses of the Divine Xia Empire were retracing the events in the conquest space. The various performances from the time Lin Muyue and the other candidates entered the conquest space were all in their eyes. This year was a bit special again. Because of the invasion of the abyssal forces, the conquest space had experienced a huge change. They paid even more attention to this. In the flashbacks, Lin Mashian entered their line of sight. So it was him who saved the day, marvelous. Necromancer, I've heard this profession before, it's a brand new profession that appeared in Jiangning Province, West Sea City, the first middle school. That's right, I originally wanted to pay special attention to him in this big exam, I didn't expect him to be this strong. Not only is his occupation strong, he's bound to have awakened his talent and it's also very powerful. His occupation has completely surpassed those at his level, and this kid's heart is too good. Calm, decisive and killing, and his occupation is strong enough, this child already possesses the conditions to become a top powerhouse. Sentence after sentence of overflowing praise flew out of their mouths, all landing on Lin Mou. Lin Mou's performance was too eye-catching. At a time when they were worried about casualties, it was Lin Mou Yen who saved the day all by himself. He alone completely destroyed the Abyss's plans. Compared to Lin Mou, the others paled in comparison. There were even no bright spots to be found. There were only a dozen or so people who could still say that they were courageous. This year's evaluation is a bit hard to give. What's so hard about it, those who ran away are all softies. This kind of people, when they go to war in the future, they will only be deserters, they can't be counted on. Words can't be said like that, after all, they're still just teenagers. Lin Mou is definitely excellent, let's discuss it together with the others. A few top powerhouses decided the future of all the candidates. If they were to change before, these candidates' people were all heavenly prides. The first prize winners from each province were all rare geniuses. But this year, because of Lin Mashua's presence, the performance of these people was a bit unbearable. People than people have to die. Goods are better than goods. 
Lin Moyu was like a dazzling star, completely overshadowing the existence of the others. In eager anticipation, the final results were finally announced. A huge curtain of light flashed in the air. 1. Lin Moyu, points, 34,605, evaluation, excellent. Lin Moyu's name was clearly ranked first. Wow! The entire audience was in an uproar. Lu Yun's entire body jumped up, his old face on the verge of a brain hemorrhage from excitement. Number 1, top student, top student ah. Lu Yun's fingers trembled with excitement. His own student had gotten the provincial first prize in Jiangying province to Lu Yun, it was a great honor. Old Lu, congratulations. Old Lu has really had a bullseye this time, a provincial scholar is enough to blow for 10 years. Not only that, it's enough for 20 years. In the past, there was Su Qianqing, last year, there was Lin Mohan, and this year, there's a provincial scholar. West Si First Middle School is now completely famous. Xiaoshua smiled and gave Lin Moyen a congratulatory speech, Lin Nerd, you really got the provincial top scholar. At this moment, it was rare that Xiaoshua didn't look unconvinced in her eyes, and it was also rare that she didn't want to fight with Lin Moyu. Lin Moyu smiled faintly, thank you. At the beginning of the fifth round of tests, Lin Moyu already knew that the provincial first prize was his. The results were indeed not unexpected. When the results were announced, there was still a small excitement in his heart. Xiaoshua looked at Lin Moyu in amazement, you can actually smile. You're quite pretty when you smile, how come you never smile normally? This look of hers was like she had discovered a new continent. The second place results also came out. Second, Xiaoshua, points, 7600, evaluation, excellent. With Lin Moyu in front of her, Xiaoshua's results didn't cause much of a stir. Xiaoshua was similarly rated as excellent. Lu Yun was once again thrilled. Several principals around him cast envious gazes. Not only was the top student Lu Yun's, even the second place was Lu Yun's. This was too envious and jealous. Third, Feng Xiao, points, 6700, evaluation, excellent. Fourth, Zhuo Mei, points, 6325, evaluation, excellent. Fifth, Prince Hao, points, 6300, evaluation, poor. Prince Hao's face changed drastically, his evaluation was actually poor. Once this evaluation came out, he had no chance with the Summer Capital Academy at all. Not to mention the Xiaojing Academy, none of the top 20 higher education institutions in the Divine Xia Empire would want him why. Why do you give me a bad grade? This isn't fair, you guys aren't fair. Prince Hao finally couldn't help himself and roared angrily. Suddenly a light fell on Prince Hao and he instantly disappeared. Prince Hao violated the rules of the examination hall, expulsion. Chapter 57, Imperial Scholar, White God Comes to the Door A poor evaluation of the trial cut off Prince Hao's possibility of going to the top higher academies. Now that he was expelled again, not to mention the top institutions, even the top 100 institutions of higher learning wouldn't want him. Even if his family had connections, even if he was in the dynasty guild, there was no way he could compete with the higher education institutions. Prince Hao's future was predictable. The best outcome was to go to an ordinary higher learning institution. The rankings were announced one by one. Aside from Lin Muyo and Xia Xue, the overall results of the Shihai City First Middle School were quite okay. Gaoyan was in 61st place, which was considered medium. The others were slightly worse, but they were also able to enter the academy. After the results were announced, the examiner's voice sounded again. Combat class occupation, this year's Jiangning province, provincial scholar, Lin Moyu. The examiner solemnly announced that Lin Muyue had become the provincial top scholar of this grand examination, once again drawing a clamor. Then came the thunderous applause. Everyone was congratulating Lin Muyue. It wasn't easy to become a provincial scholar. Moreover, Lin Moyu's points were still crushing to win first place. Of the five people who entered the battle space together, the points of the other four together were not as much as his. The advantage was too obvious. Amidst the applause, the examiner's voice rang out again. An order has come from the empire that Lin Mashiwa has become this year's grand examination, the national top student. Wow! Lu Yun jumped up again, a ball of fire rushing out of his head. He was too excited, so excited that his head was on fire. National. National top scholar. Silent words as the national top student. Really, I can't have heard wrong. For a while, he couldn't even speak, Lu Yun simply didn't believe his ears. Old Lu, are you all right? Don't get too excited ah, take care of your body. It's true, Lin Muyue is really the national top scholar. You heard right, this time, you can brag for the rest of your life. Your first middle school can also change its name to scholarly high school, to have a national scholar, you've really picked up a treasure. Each of them was both envious and jealous. The flame on Lu Yun's head stayed on for a long time, as excited and surging as his mood. 
Outside the trial tower, the applause was like thunder. National Top Scholar Ah, our Jiangning province has a national top scholar. Heavens, how many years has it been since our Jiangning province had a national top scholar? Lin Mou is too powerful to become a national scholar. Lin Mou remained bland and calm. When he got the provincial scholar, he had already realized that the national scholar might also fall on his head. As expected. Xia Shui was surprised, you've become the national top scholar, why aren't you happy? Happy. Lin Mou said faintly. Xia Shui bristled, happy don't even know how to smile. Lin Mou still calm me, I laughed in my heart. Nerd is a nerd. Xia Shui hummed, but still, congratulations, scholar Lin. Zuomei and Feng Xiao joined hands. Lin Meiyu, congratulations. Zuomei had a slightly smaller figure and a slightly cooler voice. The temperament displayed was very much in line with her profession. Feng Xiao reached out his hand, thank you this time, if it wasn't for you, we would have been in big trouble. Zuomei followed suit and thanked him Lin Mou shook his hand, it should be. Feng Xiao asked, you're supposed to be taking the Xiaojing Academy, right? Lin Mou nodded her head. Well then, I'll see you at the Xiaojing Academy, I'll treat you to dinner then. Aha! Lin Mou faintly answered. Lin Mou was too cold, even colder than Zuomei, and the atmosphere was instantly awkward. Xia Shui hurriedly laughed, this guy doesn't like to talk, I've been his classmate for three years and we haven't even added up more than ten sentences. Lin Mou shook her head, sixteen sentences. Puffing. Feng Xiao and Zuomei both couldn't help but laugh out loud. This Lin Mou guy seemed to be quite funny except for not being talkative. The big exam ended and teleported back to school. Lu Yun didn't come back with them. The grand exam for the auxiliary profession was still continuing, and he had to accompany it. Lin Meiyu returned home and rested well. Enrollment could take place tomorrow. He was aiming for the Xiaojing Academy, and as the top student in the country, he was bound to get in if even he couldn't get in, then it was even more impossible for others to think about it. Silently, he summoned four skeleton warriors and then put them into the summoning space. The number of skeleton warriors in the summoning space had reached 104. Previously in the conquest space, when they fought against the feline orc warriors, the skeleton warriors were all injured to varying degrees. In the summoning space, their injuries quickly recovered. Knock knock knock. The sound of knocking on the door pulled Lin Moshin back from his meditative state. The flames above Lu Yun's head finally went out. But the excited euphoria on his face hadn't faded yet. This old man, who was already over 60 years old, had never had a day as excited as today. Why did you come over? It was already late at night. Late at night, Lu Yun suddenly came over, there must be something going on. It wasn't just Lu Yun who had come, there was also a person that Lin Mou didn't recognize when Lin Mou saw this person, his entire body sweated. The person who came carried a terrifying aura that made it a little difficult for him to breathe. It seemed like he was going to suffocate in the next second. Lin Mashua didn't sit back and wait for death, the skeleton warrior instantly appeared in front of him, protecting himself. Very good reaction. It was impossible to see the other party's appearance, but Lin Mou recognized the other party's voice. The spirit that had just been tightened instantly relaxed. Lin Mou respectfully bowed towards the visitor, greetings, Lord White God. Bai Yi Yuan put away his aura and revealed his figure from the darkness, how did you know it was me? Lin Mou also put away her skeletal warrior, I recognize your voice. Ha! Bai Yi Yuan laughed out, he was satisfied with Lin Mojing's answer. He had seen Lin Mashuet in the conquest space flashback. Now that he was face to face, Bai Yi Yuan was even more satisfied with him Lin Mou was calm and collected. The instinctive responses that were made all made him score full marks. Very good, very good. I came here this time to talk to you about the Xiaojing Academy. Chapter 58, Reward for the Scholar, Invitation to the Trials. I didn't expect the white god to personally come to my door. Lin Muyu A poured water for the two of them. White boiled water. Lu Yun explained, Your Excellency don't mind. Merville's sister went to the Xiaojing Academy last year and otherwise lives alone. Bai Yi Yuan's gaze swept across the room. The furnishings of the home were very simple. Many places were a bit worn out. It could be imagined that the family's living environment was not rich, and could even be said to be poor. It was very rare for a genius like Lin Mou to appear in such a family. The white god smiled, Lin Mou's sister is also at the Xiaojing Academy? Lu Yun immediately interjected, Lin Mo Han, who was admitted to the Summer Capital Academy last year. Bai Yuan's status was too high and did not recognize Lin Mohan. But today, he had already memorized Lin Mohan in his heart and could get to know her if he had the chance. It's really rare for both siblings to enter the Xiaojing Academy. Bai Yi Yuan praised under his breath, his gaze looking towards Lin Mouyan. On the way here, he had already heard Lu Yun introduce Lin Mouyu and knew that Lin Mouyu spoke very little. 
he knew that Lin Muyue was quiet and reticent. Now that he took a look at it, it was really like that. In his heart, he thought that perhaps it was this kind of character that allowed him to have a calmness that exceeded that of his peers. Can you release your summons for me to see? For by Yi Yuan's request, Lin Mashian naturally wouldn't refuse, nor would he dare to. The skeleton warrior appeared in the room without a sound by Yi Yuan glanced at it and said strangely, four-dimensional attribute 250, it just looks mediocre. But in the conquest space, how did you do it? At by Yi Yuan's realm level, there was no longer a need to deliberately use detection techniques. Many skills had already been incorporated into the bones. Hearing by Yi Yuan's words, Lin Mashian suddenly understood something. That was that one's own talent additions were not visible to others. What others saw was only the basic attributes of the skeleton warrior. Whereas what the skeleton warrior ultimately functioned on was its own talent added attributes. Bai Yuan continued to ask, What talent have you awakened? Lu Yun showed surprise on his face, silence, you really awakened a talent? Lin Mo Yu said softly, My talent is increase, increasing all skills. Bai Yuan revealed a look of determination, indeed, it's obvious from your performance in the conquest space. Bai Yuan didn't continue to pursue the question instead, he changed the topic, I came here this time for two things. One is to give you a reward, originally this reward was to wait until after I came to the academy, but since I'm here, I'll bring it along. The second is to take you to the academy, there will be a trial the day after tomorrow, and I want you to participate. Bai Yi Yuan opened the door and explained his intentions. Lin Mo Yu asked, what kind of trial? Bai Yi Yuan said, it's a trial within our Xiaojing Academy. The participants are all internal students of our Xiaojing Academy, the specific information can only be told to you after you agree to participate. Lin Emo language sensed something unusual. By first saying that he was expected to participate, it also meant that this trial was not mandatory for him to participate. The decision to participate or not was up to him. The second thing was the trial staff. The trial personnel were the insiders of the Xiaojing Academy. He knew very little about the Summer Capital Academy and did not know the meaning of insiders this, coupled with the secrecy surrounding the content of the trial, meant that the content of the trial was not ordinary. Lin Mashian pondered the meaning of the white myth. Caution was a state that had to be maintained at all times. Regardless of anything, caution was always present and calmly analyzed. Bai Yi Yuan revealed a satisfied smile, you're cautious, that's good. I can't reveal too much about the content of the trial, what I can tell you is that this trial is a rare opportunity. Originally, you weren't qualified to participate, it was my private person who gave you this opportunity. After hearing the words of the white god, Lin Mou immediately had a decision, I'll participate. Bai Yuan had said so, if he still didn't participate, he would be not giving face to Bai Yuan. Lin Mou wasn't a fool, he wouldn't do such things that offended people. Since that's the case, then I'll give you the reward first next. As the national top scholar, you have quite a few rewards. Bai Yuan's hand flickered with light and several things appeared. Lin Mayu's eyes narrowed, there was one thing in here that he recognized, skill scrolls. The first reward, is your 100,000 points. This is the point reward for the national top scholar, it doesn't conflict with the points you gained in the grand exam. Lin Muyue had earned 34,605 points in the grand exam, and the national top scholar was rewarded with an additional 100,000 points. In this way, Lin Muyue directly possessed more than 130,000 points. This amount of points was already quite a lot, and many of the older students in the Shajing Academy didn't necessarily have as many as him. Bai Yuan handed a card to Lin Mojing, all your points are inside. You should have heard that points are more useful than gold coins in the Shajing Academy. That's also true, you'll understand the specifics when you arrive at the Shajing Academy. The second prize is still your National Scholar Reward. A primary skill scroll, and an intermediate skill scroll. The third prize is an additional reward for you based on your performance in the conquest space. One entry qualification to the Divine Summer Tower. Regarding the specific information about the Divine Summer Tower, you will naturally know about it when you arrive at the Xiaojing Academy, so I won't bother with more words. However, I can tell you that the entry qualification for the Divine Summer Tower is very precious, especially for the first time, so before you go, be prepared. It was naturally very important for Bai Yi Yuan to even urge this. I know. Chapter 59, First Time at the Xiaojing Academy, Different Atmosphere. Lin Mou simply packed up. The talisman flew out and transformed into a teleportation array. The two of them, Lin Mou and Bai Yuan, stepped into the teleportation array and left in a brilliant light the last bit of light disappeared and the hut was shrouded in darkness again. Lu Yun sighed and silently left, closing the door of the house. The streets were very quiet late at night. No one could know that this hut, which seemed to be in a state of disrepair, had produced two students from the Xiaojing Academy two years in a row. One of them was even a national top student. Lu Yan's eyes were filled with hope as he looked in the direction of Xiaojing. Cheer up, child. 
the words were full of kindness and hope. Lin Mashue felt like she had teleported for a long time, unlike the morning teleportation stone, which arrived in the twinkling of an eye. The Divine Summer Empire was huge and vast, one of the several powerful countries among the human race. The Xiajing Academy was thousands of kilometers away from Shihai City. Even with teleportation, it would take a bit of time. Broken streams of light passed by from before his eyes countless magical images could be seen. It was all fragments and light. Lin Mou had a feeling of being top-heavy, feeling that time and space were misplaced at this moment. It was very uncomfortable. However, he didn't react in any way, only his face was slightly pale. After ten seconds or so, his feet stepped on the ground again. All discomfort disappeared into nothingness at this moment. Very good tolerance. By a Yuan's evaluation of Lin Mayu in his heart rose a few more points. There was a qualitative difference between Xiajing City and Shihai City late at night. As the capital of the Divine Summer Empire, Xiajing City was still brightly lit even in the dead of night. The moonlight became a supporting role. Xiajing Academy. The tens of meters high and hundreds of meters wide giant gate came into sight. Magnificent, exquisite, sturdy, and powerful. This was Lin Mashian's first feeling. In an instant, he felt small. Just a single portal had such a regal aura that shocked him Lin Mou even felt danger from it. Deadly danger. By Yi Yuan said, this gateway is both a portal and a weapon. Even if a top powerhouse wants to break in, they'll have to pay a price. Patting Lin Mayu's shoulder, let's go. As they drew closer, Lin Mou felt an aura fall on him. It was a bit like a detection technique, but not exactly the same. His identity was verified and the gate opened without a sound. The Xiajing schoolhouse at night was not as silent as expected. Walking through the schoolhouse, Lin Mashian could feel burst after burst of energy fluctuations. The energy fluctuations came from various locations in the schoolhouse. This is the students practicing their skills. Bai Yi Yuan casually explained. He looked majestic, but he was completely patient with Lin Mou. Lin Mou asked, do all the skills need to be practiced? Bai Yi Yuan explained, besides the profession's natural skills, some special skills. Most of the skills have to be improved through practicing. This answer was pretty much the same as Lin Muyue's own guess. Skills needed to be practiced and used constantly in order to become powerful. Lin Mou asked a second question, is it enough to use it more often? Bai Yi Yuan smiled, it's hard to say, every skill is different, some skills are useless just by practicing. This knowledge will be understood after you actually enroll in school. Teachers will teach it all in detail. Skill knowledge was a complete and systematic discipline that could not be made clear in a few words. Lin Mashiwei understood this. Bai Yuan had already made it clear, and he didn't continue to pursue it. The energy fluctuations didn't stop. Wave after wave, and it never stopped. From time to time, rays of light illuminated the night sky. All working very hard. Lin Mashian thought in his heart. Just from the first sight, the Xiajing Academy had left a deep impression on Lin Muyue. The students here all worked very hard practicing their skills late at night. Thinking about his own skills again. It didn't seem too convenient to practice. The Xiajing Academy was unexpectedly large. The two walked for a long time before reaching their destination. This is the residential area. You'll be staying here today, someone will talk to you about the specific details. You remember one thing, the vast majority of things can be traded in the Xiajing Academy. But it has to be based on mutual voluntariness, there's no forced buying or selling. A man was already waiting, and ran over quickly upon seeing Bai Yi Yuan. Greetings, Lord White God. The man bowed respectfully towards Bai Yi Yuan. The White God, in the Divine Summer Empire, had an extremely high status and was respected by countless people. Even though Lin Mou didn't say anything verbally, he had the same respect for Bai Yi Yuan in his heart. Bai Yi Yuan nodded, he'll be in your hands, I'll leave first. Have a good rest, there will come to take you tomorrow. Bai Yi Yuan was very busy, it was impossible for him to do everything himself. This time, being able to personally come over to pick up Lin Muyue was already considered a great honor. How many people in the entire Divine Summer Empire could enjoy this kind of treatment? Lin Muyue's expression was calm, and her tone was equally flat, good. A simple word, Bai Yi Yuan didn't say anything, but it startled the man next to him. Who dared to speak to Bai Yi Yuan so coldly? He had never seen it before. Unexpectedly, Bai Yi Yuan just nodded and then turned away, turning his eyes into the darkness. Lin Mou was brought by Bai Yi Yuan, and that person didn't dare to be slow. He asked politely, you are Lin Mou, right? Lin Mou nodded, yes. The tone was still flat. That person was a bit uncomfortable, feeling that Lin Mou was too cold. But he didn't dare to say anything more. Where do you want to stay? We have multiple options here. 
The Xiaojing Academy was not only a large academy, the living area also covered an extremely large area there were multiple choices. Four-person, double, single dormitory. Detached villas. Villa with a cultivation field. The prices of the different housing vary tremendously. Chapter 60, Points Should Be Spent on the Edge of the Knife. Lin Mou really understood that points were better than gold coins. The four-person dormitory was the cheapest, 500 points a month. For a two-person dormitory, it was 1,000 points per month. A single-person dormitory would cost 2,000 points a month. As for those detached houses, the points required per month are tens of thousands. If you don't have points, you can also pay with gold coins. Then you have to add two more zeros at the end. A four-person dormitory would require 50,000 gold coins per month, and a single-person dormitory would even require 200,000 gold coins. It really wasn't cheap. Lin Mou only had a few hundred gold coins on him right now. Each point could be exchanged for 100 gold coins but gold coins couldn't be exchanged for points. If they were found, they would be severely punished. Bai Yuan had said that in the Xiaojing Academy, most things could be traded. Gold coins exchanged for points belonged to a small portion. On top of that there were quite a few resources that could only be purchased with points. In this way, points became the most important hard currency in the academy. Where gold coins could be used, points would never be used. Points were saved wherever they could be saved. Under the man's detailed narration, Lin Mou already knew a lot. His name was Jiang Tao, a student who had been admitted to the Xiaojing Academy the year before. He was now working as an administrator in the living area, responsible for the management of some small things, and at the same time earning some points. From what he said, he could hear that points were not easy to earn. Probably because of Bai Yi Yuan's relationship, Zhang Tao was especially polite to Lin Mou student Lin, I know that you've just finished the big exam and should have quite a few points in. But I still want to advise you to save your points if you can, there are too many places to use them later. Lin Mou probably understood that he should save his points. But he didn't have any gold coins for one thing, and he didn't want to live with anyone. I want a single dormitory. Zhang Tao looked at Lin Mojing, are you sure? Lin Mou nodded her head. Jiang Tao sighed, alas, really rich and capricious. If you don't know how to economize now, you'll regret it when you know how hard it is to earn points. He sighed as if he was a person who had come through with a story. Leading Lin Mou into the living area, he walked into Building 8 and went straight up to the second floor. Building 8 is all single dormitories. The second floor except for 206, 208, and 209 are already occupied, the rest are all unoccupied, you pick them yourself. Lin Mou looked over the rows and pointed to the nearest one, just this one. Room 201. Give me your identity card, I'll do a registration. The identity card had to be used in person, even if it was lost, it was useless if someone else picked it up. Zhang Tao took a machine and swiped the identity card, then Lin Muyue did the fingerprint confirmation. With a beep, the points were deducted. Zhang Tao's eyes instantly rounded and let out a strange cry. How do you have so many points? The machine was displaying Lin Mojing's points balance. After deducting 1,000 points, there were still 133,605 points left. More than 130,000 points scared Jiang Tao. Lin Mashiue said, the reward given. Jiang Tao looked at Lin Mashiue as if he was looking at a god of wealth, no wonder you're living in a single dormitory, so you have so many points. I've earned less than 10,000 points in total since I entered the academy, not even a fraction of what you have. What a rich man. Alright, from now on, Building 8, Room 201 is your dormitory. No one can come in without your permission. No one else can rent this dormitory until you return the rent. Get some rest, find me if you need anything. Lin Mo Yan nodded and suddenly asked, Senior, have you ever heard of Lin Mo Han? Zhang Tao thought for a moment and shook his head, never heard of it. Your name is Lin Mo Yan, Lin Mo Han is your relative, right? There are too many people in the Xiaojing Academy, it's normal that you haven't heard of it, you can go to the faculty office tomorrow and ask. Jiang Tao crackled and said a whole lot more, before leaving, he suddenly added, by the way, tomorrow you remember to go buy a communicator, otherwise it will be very inconvenient. Closing the door of the dormitory, the ears finally cleared. The single dormitory, not too big, was simply decorated in clean Lin Muyue sat on the bed and began to meditate, recovering her spiritual power. Early the next morning, someone knocked on the dormitory door. Lin Mou opened the door, his eyes flooded with surprise, and at the same time with surprise. Ning Yi Yi, who hadn't been seen in days, stood playfully at the door, what's wrong, don't recognize me. Lin Mou smiled slightly, recognize. Ning Yi Yi smiled cheekily, go go go, I'll take you to breakfast, then I'll take you to familiarize yourself with the Xiaojing Academy. There was a schoolhouse cafeteria right next to the living area, and early in the morning, there were quite a few people who came to dine. Ning Yi Yi quickly took a bunch of food. 
there were quite a few quantities. Ning Yi, this girl's appetite was as usual. When it was time to pay, Lin Mou took out her identity card, I'll do it. Ning Yi smiled cheekily and didn't stop. With a drop, five points were deducted. Ning Yi was surprised, you actually paid with points? It's possible to pay with gold coins here, ah, where you can use gold coins, you definitely don't need points. Lin Mou said softly, I don't have any gold coins. Ning Yi slapped her head, if you don't have any gold coins, just say so, this lady has plenty of gold coins. Don't waste your points, they're hard to earn. Lin Mou smiled, it's fine. Ning Yi was glad, fortunately, it's only 5 points. Anyway, you remember, in the future, where you can use gold coins, definitely don't use points. Points should be spent on the blade. Lin Mou accepted with a false heart. There was time to go to the exchange and sell all the materials and weapons that he had recently acquired. At least they could be exchanged for some gold coins. Thinking of this, a gemstone appeared in Lin Mo Yan's hand. Chapter 61, Blank Information, Where the Hell is Sister? The Cobalt King's crystal core was like a perfect ruby. Dazzling and charming. Lin Mo Yu handed it to Ning Yi, for you. Wow, it's beautiful. Ning Yi could tell at a glance that this crystal core was unusual. A burst of warmth came into her hand, dispelling the cold. The detection spell brought up a clear breeze. This is the Goblin King's crystal core? Ning Yi's beautiful eyes glowed with surprise. Lin Mou nodded. Ning Yi held the ruby-like crystal core and looked at it left and right, her eyes filled with fondness. Do you know its value, ah? Lin Mou shook her head, not very sure. Initially, he knew about it from the exchange, when the quest it was worth 100,000 gold coins. Later, Wang Yi told him that it was worth at least 500,000 gold coins. However, Lin Mou felt that it might be more than half a million. Otherwise, the Dynasty Guild's young president wouldn't be so gung-ho. Although the provenance was only a low-level copy, the nightmare difficulty of a low-level copy wasn't something that just anyone could brush. Ning Yi was in a good mood and carefully said, this is the core item of the Goblin King's ring, oh, boss jewelry, ah, worth tens of millions of dollars. This item, if taken to trade, the price should be around 10 million. 10 million, Lin Mei was slightly staggered, he didn't expect it to be worth so much. Wang Yi didn't seem to know much about it either, surprisingly saying that it was worth at least 500,000, two zeros missing ah. Dynasty Guild was even more unkind, wanting 100,000 to obtain it was simply cheating those who didn't understand. 10 million is indeed very expensive for ordinary people. But to Ning Yi, it shouldn't be anything. After all, the same intermediate skill scroll that was worth 10 million could be given away when she said so. Ning Yi liked the Goblin King's crystal core and nonchalantly accepted it, thanks. Lin Mou smiled slightly. It was good to accept it. After eating, Ning Yi brought Lin Mou to familiarize herself with the Xiaojing schoolhouse. In the Xiaojing schoolhouse, there was the Imperial Exchange and also the schoolhouse exchange inside the Imperial Exchange, you could trade with gold coins. The academic exchange was owned by the Xiaojing Academy, and all that was used to trade inside were points. There were some things that could not be purchased in the Imperial Exchange. In addition to the exchange, there were dozens of skill training grounds in the Summer Capital Academy, which were located in various locations in the Academy. Using the skill training grounds was not free, it cost points. The Xiaojing Library, which was claimed to be comparable to the Imperial Library, contained a large number of information books. In addition to some of the books that could be viewed for free, some of the more advanced materials also required points. All in all, without points it was difficult to move an inch in the academy, and it only guaranteed that you wouldn't starve to death. Under Ning Yi's introduction, Lin Mo Yan began to familiarize himself with the academy in the registrar's office, Lin Mo Yu went through the final enrollment procedures. Actually, Bai Yuan had already helped him with most of his formalities. Also because of Bai Yuan's relationship, the teachers in the academic affairs office were very polite to Lin Mou. In the faculty office, Lin Mou asked for information about Lin Mohan. After inquiring, there was indeed an enrollment record for Lin Mohan. But now the information about her was all blank. When she came out of the registrar's office, Lin Mayu's eyes had a clear look of worry in them. Ning Yi comforted, Lin Mohan is your family member, right? Sister. Lin Mou whispered. He didn't understand why Lin Mohan's information was blank. There was an enrollment record, which meant that Lin Mohan had indeed entered the Xiaojing Academy. Ning Yi said, actually, it's normal for things like blank information. Lin Mo Yan looked over, hoping to get an answer from Ning Yi, it's possible that she went on special missions issued by the Academy, and some of them needed to be kept secret, during which time she wouldn't be able to inquire about the information. It's also possible that she's already left the Academy, and by that I don't mean dropped out, but joined an Academy that the Academy belongs to. There are quite a few academies belonging to the academy, they seem to belong to the academy but are actually relatively independent. 
For example, the most famous one is the Creation Academy, in addition to that there's also the Divine Dragon Academy, the Flying Sky Academy, and so on. There are more than a dozen academies like this, and if one joins them, that information will be just as blank. So you don't need to worry. Your sister probably just joined one of the academies. Listening to Ning Yi's explanation, Lin Moshian was slightly relieved. He had already arrived at the Xiaojing Academy, although he hadn't been able to find Lin Mohan at first glance but since he was already here, he could always find it. He remembered that the last time Lin Mohan had contacted himself had been three months ago. In these three months, there had been no news from her. Perhaps she really was on some mission. All right, all right, don't worry, it'll be fine. Ning Yi Yi wore a smile and comforted Lin Mou. The smile was as warm as sunlight, and it infected Lin Mou as well. Thanks. Ning Yi Yi smiled cheekily, thanks for what? Let's go, it's time to get down to business. In addition to bringing you to familiarize yourself with the academy today, I have a mission in mind. In a small half day, they had only walked the public area of the academy. The academy was very large, and the public area accounted for less than a tenth of the academy. There were also many academies in the academy that people who weren't from the academy couldn't even enter. Subterranean Dragon Academy There were quite a few people inside who seemed to be discussing something. Ning Yi walked in with Lin Mou. Ease back. A tall woman saw Ning Yi and immediately greeted her. Ning Yi smiled cheekily, Sister Peach, I've brought someone with me. The woman looked towards Lin Mou, this is the one Lord White God said? It's him. Ning Yi naturally pulled Sister Peach and introduced, Lin Mou, this year's national top student. Sister Peach, our captain. Sister Peach introduced herself graciously, Hello, my name is Jiang Tao Tao, level 23, elf knight. Lin Meiyu softly said, Lin Meiyu, level 17, necromancer. Chapter 62 Dogs Bite People, People Can't Bite Dogs Zhang Tao Tao's expression did not change. But the rest of the few people showed some surprise on their faces. Only level 17, what a joke. Even if you want to bring someone, you can't just find a cat or dog. With some condescension and arrogance in his voice, a man holding a staff walked into the courtyard Ning Yi revealed a displeased look, Ling Jin, watch what you say, Mervalus is a national scholar. Ling Jin let out a snort, national scholar only, compared to us, national scholar is nothing. It's not like we haven't seen those previous national top scholars before, each and every one of them are trash like anything. He was so arrogant that he didn't put Lin Mou in his eyes at all, much less the national top scholar. At the same time, the people in the courtyard were also showing pride one by one. It was as if what Ling Jin said was the truth. The national scholar was really not in their eyes. Ling Jin, you talk like a fart, dead stinky. Ning Yi Yi directly disliked him. Ling Jin snorted coldly ignoring Ning Yi Yi and instead raised his head condescendingly, your name is Lin Mou right, I know you were introduced in by Lord White God. Don't think you can do whatever you want just because you're related to Lord White God. In our subterranean dragon team, it's all about strength. This trial, it's fine to bring an extra one of you, but please shut up and don't talk, and it's best if you don't make a sound either, and don't drag us down, or I'll be the first to be rude to you. Lin Mou was a bit speechless, feeling that this guy was a bit too condescending. It wasn't that he hadn't seen arrogant people before, Xia Shui was arrogant enough, the eldest miss of the Xia family. But also not like this guy. Brainwashed? Lin Mou suddenly spoke. Ling Jin's face changed, what did you say? The staff in his hand immediately sprouted red flames, and huge energy fluctuations swept out. Ning Yi took a step to block in front of Lin Mou, Ling Jin, you dare to make a move. Zhang Tao Tao also walked over to block in front of Ling Jin at this time, Ling Jin, stop. Looking at Zhang Tao Tao, Ling Jin gradually gathered his aura, and the flames on his staff then went out Sister Peach, I'll give you face. With that, he glared fiercely at Lin Mouyue and stepped aside to stop talking. However, his resentment towards Lin Mouyue was obvious. Zhang Tao Tao turned towards Lin Mouyue and said, We'll set off at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning and gather here. The specifics of the trial won't be told until tomorrow. Lin Mouyue nodded, got it. Let's go, let's go buy some things and make some preparations. Ning Yaila left with Lin Mouyue. Zhang Tao Tao saw the two leave inside lightly, Ling Jin, I know you have a grudge. But personal grievances can't affect the trial, and he was introduced in by Lord White God, so you have to pay attention. Ling Jin did not have the good sense to say, I have my measure, I'm just a bit angry, even if you want to bring someone in, you should bring someone useful. What is the profession of a necromancer, have you heard of it? Zhang Tao Tao shook his head and said, he is a national top student, although the national top student is nothing to us, but to be able to become a top student is bound to have something special. Someone from the side interjected, necromancer seems to be a new profession that just appeared this year, and it's rumored that it's still a unique profession. Ling Jin still wore disdain, basically, a new profession appears every few years, and most of them turn out to be trash. 
Ning Yaila led Lin Meiyu to the exchange, saying as she walked, don't fight with that guy, that's just a crazy person, it's not worth it. Lin Emoyu said softly, dogs bite people, people can't bite dogs. Ha ha. Ning Yi Yi was amused, not realizing that Lin Emoyu had such a side. The two came to the Imperial Exchange. Lin Emoyu quickly sold all the items he had gotten in the West Sea Mines copy. He didn't choose to consign them. Giving the materials to the recycling quest in the exchange. sold the weapons and equipment obtained directly to the exchange. There were black iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum, diamond, and on top of that there were legends, myths. Bronze was just an entry-level weapon, suitable for level 10 to 20 professionals, and wasn't worth much. Basically, each weapon cost around $10,000. After Lin Mashua emptied his storage space, he exchanged it for 230,000 gold coins. It wasn't much, but it was enough for him to use for a while. Ning Yi Yi said, we're going to the trial tomorrow, so buy some red and blue pills. The red and blue pills she was talking about were actually healing potions and magic potions. Healing potions could be used to treat injuries, and because the potion in the bottle was red, it was called a red potion by the professionals. The same was true for the magic potion, named for the blue color of the potion, which was used to restore mental power. The two potions could be said to be the most used consumables by the professionals. Elementary life potion can be used to heal injuries, applicable up to level 20, cool down one hour. Elementary Spirit Potion can be used to restore mental energy, applicable up to level 20, cooldown time 1 hour. Both potions were priced at 1,000 gold coins. Following Ning Yi's advice, Lin Mou bought 10 bottles of each. It cost 20,000 gold coins. Lin Mou Yen used another 200,000 gold coins to buy two beginner skill scrolls. There were only 10,000 gold coins left again. It was really like spending money like water. Then the two of them went to the Academy Exchange and used 100 points to buy a communicator. The shape of the communicator was like a watch, it was very convenient to wear on the hand, and was a necessity for every student. The two added their friends so that they could talk and contact each other at any time. Ning Yi shook her small hand, revealing her white, snow-like skin, in the future, I'll be able to harass you anytime, anywhere. Lin Mou looked at Ning Yi like a butterfly and revealed a smile chapter 63, new skill, curse department. According to Ning Yi Yi, originally, there was another participant in this trial who was Ling Jin's younger brother. But because of the white god's meddling, Ling Jin's brother's place was taken by him. That was why Ling Jin was so disgusted to see him. Ning Yi Yi didn't know the specifics of the trial. But she knew that this trial was very important and had specific requirements for the level. It couldn't be too high or too low. Everything would have to wait until tomorrow to be known. Lin Moe didn't take Ling Jin to heart. In his eyes Ling Jin was just a clown, not worth mentioning. He wasn't arrogant, he was confident. He was confident that he wouldn't be weaker than any professional under level 30. The small dormitory was as bright as day. An elementary skill scroll was activated. The light mass wrapped around Lin Mashian. After a few minutes, the light mass disappeared. Lin Mashian sighed there was no new skill mastered. Using a skill scroll wouldn't necessarily awaken a skill 100%. Even if a skill was awakened, it wouldn't necessarily be a new skill, it would most likely be an old skill that had already been mastered. In short, no new skills were mastered. This was a very normal thing. With more and more skills mastered. Wanting to awaken and learn new skills, the usage of skill scrolls would also increase drastically. Primary skill scrolls were only 100,000 gold coins apiece, which wasn't that expensive, even if you used 100 of them, it was only 10 million. But intermediate skill scrolls needed 10 million apiece, and if used in large quantities, the price would be beautiful. Lin Meiyu had two primary skill scrolls, one didn't work, he used the second one. The light mass appeared again, wrapping around Lin Mojing. Gradually, Lin Mou felt his body heat up, and a strange aura emerged from his body. This feeling he had experienced before. There was a slight joy in his heart a new skill. This skill role was not wasted. Acquired skill, slow speed curse. Slow Speed Curse, level 1 curses the enemy within a range of 5 meters, causing the enemy's speed to decrease by 5% for 1 minute. Through the talent increase. The curse range changed from 5 meters to 100 meters, and the slow speed effect soared from 5% to 100%. Reducing speed by 100%, 
which included attack speed and action speed. In this way, it almost weakened the enemy's attack power by more than double. And it lasted for up to 20 minutes. A divine skill, another divine skill. Lin Moshian studied the slow speed curse. My skills can be categorized into summoning, attacking, and curse systems, I don't know if there will be another system added. Curse system skills, which drastically weaken the enemy, not only increase safety drastically, but also increase one's attack power in disguise. No matter which system, it's all very powerful. After studying the skills, he consumed his spiritual energy to summon four skeleton warriors, then drank a bottle of primary spiritual potion spiritual energy began to recover rapidly. The effects of the potion disappeared only after 100 points of spiritual energy had been recovered in 10 minutes. Knowing the effects of the potion, Lin Moshian began to enter a meditative state. 100 points of spiritual energy, 1 hour to drink a bottle. For his up to 1000 points of mental energy, it was only 1 in 10. If he relied solely on the potion to recover, it would take 10 hours. The overall math wasn't much faster than meditation. If he used meditation with the potion, Lin Mayu did some math and actually didn't increase his efficiency by much. Interrupting meditation time and time again to drink a potion would greatly affect the effect of meditation. Not to mention the trouble, the loss would outweigh the gain. The communicator emitted pleasant music, pulling Lin Mojing back from his meditative state. The ringtone was set by Ning Yi e Ning Yi e was also the only one in Lin Mojing's communicator. Get up, the sun is shining. As soon as he connected, Ning Yi's quirky voice came through. I'm downstairs, come down and have breakfast together, we're leaving afterward. Good. Ning Yi bought a whole bunch of food. I don't know how long it's going to take this time, so I need to prepare more food. Otherwise, like last time, it almost didn't starve this young lady to death. Luckily there's your ground nut. Lin Mou was dumbfounded. Obviously there were buns that she didn't eat, favoring ground nut. Lin Mu Yue silently followed behind and paid. Having spent 10,000 gold coins, the food bought was enough for the two to eat for a month. Luckily, the storage space wasn't small and could still fit. The Xiaojing Academy's consumption was really high, spending money like running water. 10,000 gold coins, if placed in West Sea City was enough for Lin Mou to eat for several years. Several people in the Subterranean Dragon Academy, Jiang Tao Tao, were already waiting not only Jiang Tao Tao and the others, there were quite a few people in the academy, each forming a team. Ning Yaila walked over to Lin Mou with Lin Mou in tow. Jiang Tao Tao looked at the time and said seriously, after teleporting over in a moment, don't wander off. It wasn't her first time conducting the trial, and she clearly had experience. Ling Jin stared at Lin Mojing in disgust, kid, don't drag your feet. Ning Yi snorted coldly, just don't drag your feet. Jiang Tao Tao had a headache for a while, no matter what conflicts or ideas you have, put them after the trial. The importance of this trial should be clear to all of you. Now everyone introduce your professions. As the captain, at this time, she had to make the team unite as one. Even if it was only superficial unity, it had to be done. Otherwise this trial might as well be abandoned. Duan Gao, level 20, Seer. Niao Yu, level 20, Elf Elder. Prophet and Elf Elder were both support class professions, and they were both rare level support class professions. Prophets mainly increased various statuses, and if a team had a high level prophet and that prophet had enough full skills, the team's battle power could at least double. The Elf Elder belonged to the nurse type profession, specializing in healing, while also being able to simply control monsters. Under Jiang Tao Tao's gaze, Ling Jin reluctantly said, Ling Jin, level 21, Warlock. Like elemental mages, warlocks also belonged to the mage lineage of professions, and were likewise rare professions. There were overlaps and differences in skills between the two sides. Ning Yi Yi, level 19, Shadow Assassin. Lin Mei Yu, level 17, Necromancer. Zhang Tao Tao, level 23, Elven Knight. Zhang Tao Tao's gaze swept over the crowd, I'll say it again, for this trial, there must be unity. Whoever dares to drag their feet in the trial, don't blame me for being rude. Zhang Tao Tao looked serious, and even Ling Jin perked up his ears at this point. Ning Yi Yi laughed, don't worry, Sister Peach, we definitely won't affect the trial. A giant teleportation array suddenly appeared in the air. Subterranean Dragon Academy, start the trial teleportation. Chapter 64, Trial Mission, Mermaid's Tear. The shadow of a giant tower appeared in the air. The giant tower reached through the sky. It's the Divine Summer Tower. Ning Yi Yi whispered. Lin Mou also had a few shocks in his heart at this time. He hadn't seen the Divine Summer Pagoda since he entered the Xiaojing Academy. He didn't expect the Divine Summer Tower to surface in the air. The tip of the tower shot out 10,000 feet of light, enveloping the Subterranean Dragon Academy. The students in the Subterranean Dragon Academy were simultaneously teleported to the trial site. 
It was a teleportation that lasted for more than 10 seconds, and from the time of the teleportation, one could tell that the trial site was far away from the Shajing Academy the sound of the sea tide was heard in his ears. West Sea City was by the sea, and Lin Mou was too familiar with the sound of the waves to hear it wrong. The trial site was by the sea. Both feet stepped on the ground again. The line of sight was quickly restored and blinding sunlight poured down. Lin Mou had the illusion that he seemed to be back at the seaside of West Sea City. Ning Yi's small face was a little pale, her small hand tightly grasping Lin Mouyan's arm. Her small mouth was pouting, full of unhappiness, dizzy, long-distance teleportation is really hard. Zhang Tao Tao said, get used to it after teleporting a few more times, it's all like this in the beginning. She was slightly surprised when she glanced at Lin Mou, who surprisingly didn't show the slightest sign of discomfort. It's hard to believe that he often rides the teleportation array? A thought popped up in her heart, while her contempt for Lin Mojing was also tightened up quite a bit Lin Ma Xian observed the situation around them. They were located on a sea island. Not far behind them was the coastline. 507 the sandy beach that they stepped on under their feet. The waves of the sea came one after another. Not far in front of them, there was a curtain of light. The light curtain shrouded almost the entire sea island. They were outside the light curtain. Through the light curtain, one could see that there seemed to be quite a few monsters inside the sea island. There was a stone floating in front of everyone, and the stone was shining. It's a quest stone. Zhang Tao Tao had experience and immediately reached out to hold her quest in her hand. Lin Mou also reached out and held his own quest stone. The moment he received the quest stone, he understood what this trial quest was. The island that he was currently on was known as Mermaid Island. The island was filled with a large number of sea monsters. In the center of Mermaid Island, there was a replica. The Mermaid Tears replica. Their trial quest was to enter Mermaid Island, kill the center of Mermaid Island, and enter the Mermaid Copy. Kill the final boss in the copy and obtain the Mermaid Tear from the boss. There were three key points to the entire trial mission. One is that the average level of the team entering Mermaid Island is a maximum of level 20. It was the average level, not individual levels. The team could only consist of a maximum of six people. Because they needed to face the boss, it was naturally better for the knights to have a higher level. In this way, it was necessary to bring someone with a low level to balance the levels. It was also because Lin Mashiwa had taken Ling Jin's brother's place, which led to Ling Jin's resentment. The second point was that the mermaid's tear would only drop in nightmare level difficulty copies therefore, the team's overall battle power couldn't be too bad, or they wouldn't be able to beat it at all. The third point was that the mermaid's tear would only drop three of them. Only the top three teams that beat the replica would be able to obtain the mermaid's tears. Lin Meiyu didn't understand why it was kept secret, in the end, it's just making a copy. Can it be that there's something special about the mermaid tears? Zhang Tao Tao had already finished reading the quest and said in a deep voice, I didn't expect this trial quest to be Mermaid Island. Zhang Tao Tao had experienced many trial missions and was experienced, so she definitely knew more than them. Mermaid replicas, only three mermaid tears will drop each year. Mermaid tears can be used to create an extremely special equipment that is very useful. The location of Mermaid Island is not within our Divine Summer Empire territory. So every year, those who come to Mermaid Island will be other countries besides our Divine Sia Empire. This time, all of us from the Subterranean Dragon Academy are going out, there are a total of 10 teams, and we are team number 2. Not only do we have to compete with our classmates from the Subterranean Dragon Academy, we also have to compete with professionals from other countries. Zhang Tao Tao told the whole situation. Ning Yi asked, what then? What if we go up against them and have to kill someone? As she spoke she unconsciously looked at Lin Ma Xian, who had literally killed people. Hearing that they were going to kill someone, several people became visibly nervous, only Lin Mou was indifferent. Zhang Tao Tao shook her head, not usually. When something like this happened before, it was just guarding the door of the replica and not letting it in, it's rare that they would actually kill someone. Hearing Zhang Tao Tao say this, the crowd was relieved. Zhang Tao Tao continued, but we can't take it lightly, it's not like the deaths haven't happened before. All right, let's prepare to enter Mermaid Island. Duan Gao, add status. Duan Gao responded and immediately began to cast his skills. An aura instantly appeared on the crowd. Strength reinforcement. Agility reinforcement. Defense reinforcement. Magic power excitation. One by one, the attributes of all the people increased tremendously under the enchantment of the statuses. Lin Muyue felt these statuses. The four major attributes of strength, agility, constitution, and spirit all increased by 30%. Mage skill power increased by 20%. All the statuses lasted for an hour. With the Prophet statuses, the battle power of the crowd increased drastically. Prophet was indeed a powerful supporting profession, especially indispensable in high difficulty copies with the presence of a Prophet, the team's combat power could be increased by several times. 
However, compared to Lin Mashian's god-level talent, the prophet's increase was too weak. If the prophet's status is enchanted on a skeleton warrior, what effect will it have? Lin Mashiwe's mind moved, and a skeleton warrior instantly appeared beside him. A gloomy wind arose for no apparent reason, and the temperature dropped a few degrees. The sudden appearance of the skeleton warrior startled a few people. The skeleton warrior was carrying a ghastly wind, its soul fire jumped, and it was holding a large, chilling sword in its hand. From time to time, it made oozing friction sounds. Duan Gao, who was adding status to the crowd, was so scared that his hands shivered and even his skill stopped. Nia Yu let out a scream and shrunk behind Zhang Tao Tao in a flash. Holy shit! Immortal Summoner! Zhang Tao Tao wasn't exactly calm, Lin Moyu, is this your summon? Lin Moyue looked at Duan Gao, trouble giving it a status set as well. Okay, okay. Duan Gao froze for two seconds before coming back to his senses, trying to calm himself down as he continued to add statuses to the crowd. The beach sand glow continued to light up as each team added statuses. As they looked around, they were all rare occupations. Occupations that were rare in other cities blossomed here. Lin Mashue already knew what the insiders of the Xiaojing Academy meant by the White God. These people had shown their talent early on and had grown up learning from a young age in the Xiaojing schoolhouse before transferring in the Xiaojing schoolhouse. It could be said that they were professionals that had been trained by the Summer King Academy. Basically, everyone was a rare profession, and everyone received the best education and enjoyed excellent resources. Far superior to the professionals in the cities. Like Ning Yi, who was the same age as Lin Mou, had already reached level 19 and knew more than Lin Mou. Zhang Tao Tao was also just a year older than Ning Yi and Lin Mou, and had already reached level 23. Ha! Huh? Duan Gao revealed surprise, my skills, there's no way to enchant it. The aura of status dissipated as soon as it appeared on the skeleton warrior. He tried several more times and it was the same. Lin Mashian wasn't disappointed. Perhaps it was because his talent was so strong that low-level skills like Duan Gao were directly covered by his talent. Can't even add status, what a waste. Ling Jin snorted coldly, speaking with disdain. Lin Meiyu looked towards him, her gaze icy cold. It wasn't like Lin Mashian didn't have a temper after being provoked three times. Red light emerged from the eyes of the skeleton warrior, and he similarly turned his head to look at Ling Jin, his soul fire constantly pulsing, and a gloomy wind gusting. Ling Jin was instantly creeped out, unconsciously taking a step back, the staff in his hand simultaneously emitting fire Zhang Tao Tao reacted extremely quickly, immediately blocking between the two, to fight back, first complete the trial. Lin Meiyu nodded and withdrew her gaze. Ling Jin took a deep breath and tried to restrain himself. When the skeleton warrior looked over just now, he really felt that his life was in danger. As a boom sounded in the air, the trial began. Zhang Tao Tao immediately said, Enter the island. Several people formed a team and were seen as a whole by the light screen. The average level was exactly 20, in line with the rules. The crowd only felt that they had passed through a curtain of water and had entered Mermaid Island. Chapter 65, The Last Time The air inside the island was filled with water vapor. Every breath could smell the thick fishy odor. The humidity was extremely heavy, and the entire person was like soaking in water. The entire person was uncomfortable, what an uncomfortable place, stinky and fishy. Ning Yi covered her nose, she disliked the smell of this place. There was a mountain peak in the center of the island that stood out. The mermaid replica was on top of the peak. A huge waterfall could be seen from a long way away, sloping up, from the peak. Above the peak, the entrance to the mermaid replica was spinning like an underwater whirlpool. Zhang Tao's gaze looked towards the peak to determine the direction. The space inside the island was larger than expected, and after passing through the water curtain, everyone spread out. The crowd that was still densely packed was now out of sight. Move fast, our target is the mermaid copy. Try not to attack the monsters that you can do without. Zhang Tao Tao said in a deep voice. She took the lead and ran forward. Several people immediately followed. There were pools of water all over the place, and one could see that there were quite a few monsters in the pools of water. These monsters were half human and half fish with scales on their bodies. It wasn't as pretty and cute as the mermaids in the story. The sharp teeth that were exposed were very sharp and flashed with a cold light in the sunlight. There was no need to doubt that their teeth were enough to bite through steel. A not-so-big passageway was formed between the water pool and the water pool, and the team, like a line, quickly passed through the passageway. Wow! Amidst the sound of water, a mermaid monster suddenly shot out of the water pool and rushed straight over. Zhang Tao Tao reacted extremely quickly and directly launched his skill. Provoke! The knight's signature skill. The mermaid monster acted as if it had been greatly insulted. It violently turned its head around and charged towards Zhang Tao Tao, with red light coming out of its eyes, looking like it had lost its mind. Lin Moyu's detection technique fell on the mermaid in synchronization, mermaid soldier. Level, 19. 
Strength, 300. Agility, 150. Spirit, 200. Physique, 320. Skills, none. Looking at the attributes, it met the standards of a level 19 monster. It wasn't powerful and had no skills. Such a wild monster couldn't hold them back at all. Charge. Jiang Tao Tao didn't wait for the mermaid monster to arrive, and had already raised her shield to meet it. With the charge skill, she instantly crossed a distance of more than 10 meters and crashed into the mermaid monster. With a bang, the mermaid monster was sent flying several meters and landed on the ground. At this time, a fireball flew out and accurately landed on the mermaid monster. With a boom, the mermaid monster was instantly enveloped in flames. But it didn't die there, struggling a bit and charging towards Zhang Tao Tao again. Shadows flashed behind it, and Ning Yi had already arrived by its side at some point. The dagger stabbed out with a shimmering life fatal strike. The skill was activated, and the dagger stabbed right into the mermaid monster's undershirt. The scales shattered, and the mermaid monster fell to the ground with a scream. At that moment, another ice arrow shot out and landed on the mermaid monster. The mermaid monster's entire body was sealed in ice, and it completely lost its movement. Killed level 19 mermaid soldier, experience plus 1500. Zhang Tao Tao obtained fish scale asterisk 1. Lin Mo Yu received a prompt that the mermaid monster had been killed. Because of the six-person group, the experience gained wasn't high. Zhang Tao Tao was the team leader, and all the items dropped would be obtained by her. This was a trial and not to practice leveling, so Lin Mo Yu didn't care. After quickly resolving the mermaid monsters, the party continued on. Along the way, they encountered several more waves of monsters Yu. The closer they got to the mountain peak, the more monsters there were. The level was also gradually increasing level 21 monsters had already appeared behind them, and it took a bit of effort to eliminate them. After exterminating a level 21 monster, Zhang Tao Tao looked towards the mountain peak. At the current speed, it will take at least 3 more hours to reach the center of the island. Going up the mountain will also take time. We're too slow. Next, if we run into monsters, Miao Yu, you're in charge of controlling them, don't fight them if you can. Let's speed up and head to the replica. Zhang Tao Tao decided to stop paying attention to the monsters and speed up the team's advancement. Niao Yu nodded, okay. The team sped up their advancement. When they encountered monsters again, Niao Yu directly used her skills to control them. Wind Binding In the skill, the wind element gently pointed, like a shackle trapping the monster. It lasted for a minute, and by the time a minute had passed, they would have long since run out of sight. In this way, the team's advancement speed was greatly accelerated after only 20 minutes, the foot of the mountain could already be seen. Just as Zhang Tao Tao judged, they were lagging behind. At this time, there were already other teams that had reached the foot of the mountain, quite a bit ahead of them. The waterfall fell from the top of the mountain, and there was only one road that could go up the mountain, and it was not spacious. In the waterfall, on the road, there were a large number of mermaid monsters standing. Especially at the foot of the mountain, the waterfall rushed down and densely packed water pools appeared at the foot of the mountain. The water pools connected to each other, forming a curved road. There were mermaid monsters everywhere and it was difficult to avoid them at all. At this time, a team had already arrived at the foot of the mountain and was clearing the monsters at the foot of the mountain, preparing to go up the mountain. Zhang Tao Tao gritted her teeth, if we charge straight up, is there any certainty? Niao Xu shook his head, there are too many, I can't control them. And these monsters are all level 22, their level is higher than mine, there's a chance that my skills will fail. When the monster level was higher than Niao Yu, there was a possibility of the skill failing. It had already failed several times halfway through the journey, but at that time, there was only one monster, and when the control failed, it was simply eliminated. But here, there were too many monsters. Densely packed like an army camp. Zhang Tao Tao frowned. If they were cleared all along the road, it would take at least an hour, and then they would be completely behind. But if they charged directly, without Niao Yu's control, it would be difficult to rush through. Even if they got it wrong, they would be surrounded by mermaid monsters and the team would be in danger. For a while, Zhang Tao Tao was in a dilemma. Lin Mo Yu looked at the road ahead, he had already searched for the nearest road I'll do it. Lin Mo Jing suddenly spoke. Ling Jin sneered almost instinctively, you come? What can you, a level 17 guy, do? All along the way, Lin Ma Xiue hadn't even made a move, just followed behind. Aside from Ning Yi, no one knew what he was capable of. Ning Yi e grunted, surname Ling, shut the hell up. Begging for flowers. Zhang Tao Tao glared at Ling Jin, signaling him to keep quiet. Zhang Tao Tao then asked towards Lin Mou, what are you going to do? Lin Mou said, use the skeleton warrior to draw away the mermaid monster. Zhang Tao Tao's eyes lit up before she remembered that Lin Mou's profession was a necromancer. Although he didn't understand what exactly a necromancer's profession was and what skills he had. 
but it was a fact that he had summons. Using summons to lure away mermaid monsters was not a bad method. This also made Zhang Tao Tao notice that the teams that had rushed to the foot of the mountain also had summoners among them it was estimated that they were also utilizing summons to lure away the mermaid monsters. Zhang Tao Tao said, over to you. Everyone else get ready, while the monsters are being lured away, let's rush over. Lin Mashian's heart moved, and the skeleton warrior ran over with a unique clicking sound. So fast. Zhang Tao Tao's eyes snapped shut. The speed of the skeleton warrior far exceeded her expectations. In the blink of an eye, it had already run over a distance of several dozen meters and appeared in front of a group of mermaid monsters. Zero. The mermaid monsters let out sharp cries and immediately charged towards the skeleton warrior. The skeleton warrior didn't bother with them and turned around to run. Running to another waterhole, he pulled out all the mermaid monsters in the waterhole. Then ran to another waterhole. In the blink of an eye, the skeleton warrior was already followed by a dozen mermaid monsters behind him the skeleton warrior dragged a group of monsters, running further and further away. The passageway in front of them was cleared, Zhang Tao Tao gave a low shout, go! The team quickly advanced. The skeleton warriors ran ahead to clear the way, taking away all the monsters along the road. The team advanced very smoothly. After only a few minutes, they had rushed to the foot of the mountain. By this time, the monsters behind the skeleton warriors were already upwards of a hundred. Under Lin Mashian's control, the skeleton warrior ran further and further away. Suddenly, the skeleton warrior disappeared. Lin Mojing took it back into the summoning space. The mermaid monsters lost their target all of a sudden, and one was filled with doubt. Zhang Tao Tao let out a long sigh of relief, good job. Ning Yi smiled cheekily, that was awesome. Duan Gao and Miao Yu also looked appreciatively at Lin Mashua, thanks to him this time Ling Jin said in a cold voice, why didn't you do this when you first started? Otherwise, we would have reached the mountain long ago. Lin Mou turned his head and looked at him as if he was looking at an idiot. Wasn't this bastard a mage? A mage's brain should be very good ah. Why did this guy look a bit stupid? Ning Yi coldly snorted, Ling Jin, shut your stinking mouth, less farting here, if you have the ability, you can go on by yourself. Lin Mayu's eyes looked at him coldly and silently, last time. Ling Jin was full of disdain, it's not just relying on a summon. Zhang Tao Tao interrupted Ling Jin at this time, enough, shut up. Ling Jin had targeted Lin Mou three or four times. Lin Mou rarely spoke, and every time, it was Ling Jin who started the trouble. Anyone who was human knew who had the problem. A scream suddenly came from the top of the mountain. The crowd looked up and saw a large number of mermaid monsters rushing down the mountain and the few teams that had gone up the mountain earlier were retreating down the mountain in a hurry Joe. Chapter 66, Either He Goes, Or I Go. Zhang Tao Tao's complexion changed drastically, retreat quickly. The team immediately retreated away from the foot of the mountain. Hundreds of mermaid monsters rushed down from the top of the mountain, completely blocking the path up the mountain. Someone has lured the mermaid monsters over on purpose. Lin Mou saw that one person was running in front of the group of monsters, and he was the one who drew the mermaid monsters over. This person was wearing a different costume than them, not someone from the Shajing Academy or the Divine Summer Empire. Zhang Tao Tao also saw it, it's someone from the Cherry Blossom Kingdom. This person should be a profession unique to the Cherry Blossom country, a Yin Yang master. The person's clothes were embroidered with a Cherry Blossom pattern Lin Mou hadn't heard of the profession of Yin Yang master. Ning Yi said in a deep voice, I've heard that this profession is very shady. Zhang Tao Tao said, it's indeed a bit, and there are especially many devious tricks. The Yin Yang master took out two talismans and threw them directly out, one on the left and one on the right. The talismans exploded in the air, and two huge shadows immediately appeared in the air. As soon as the shadows appeared, they rushed down from the air to the foot of the mountain. Like skeleton warriors, they attracted all the monsters in the water pool at the foot of the mountain. Those subterranean Dragon Academy students who were retreating were quickly surrounded by monsters. They kept releasing their skills in an attempt to rush out. There were simply too many monsters, and most of them were unable to break out. Seeing that they were unable to break out, white light emerged from one's body and teleported away the quest stone that everyone obtained before entering the island also served the purpose of a teleportation stone. It could be utilized to escape from here when there was danger. However, once they teleported away, this trial mission would also end in failure. Ning Yi said, this is a Yin Yang master's god skill, which is said to be able to summon ancient gods. Miao Yu asked in a low voice, why would he do that? Zhang Tao Tao said, he is trying to stop us from going up the mountain. The foot of the mountain was now filled with monsters, adding up to at least 200 of them. There were also monsters on the mountain path, which was also more than 100. The entire 300 plus monsters had completely blocked the path up the mountain. It would take at least a few hours to clear past them. 
The Yin Yang master sat on the style god and floated in the air, laughing loudly, you guys just stay here, the copy belongs to my great Sakura kingdom. After saying that, the style god flew away with him, and in the twinkling of an eye had disappeared. Despicable. Yin Yang master is a legendary profession, it seems that this time, Sakura kingdom has made a bloody effort. By the time we've cleared all the monsters here, the yellow flowers will be cold. And our team is already in disarray, so many people have quit the trial. This is fine, we'll just reorganize when we get to the copy place. The problem now is how to get up there. Why don't someone make a sacrifice and pull the monsters away from here? Come on, you think we're also level 40 second turn professions, you don't know how dangerous it is to pull the monsters. It's not like this is a dozen or twenty, this is hundreds of monsters. Let the summoner go. Do you think summoners are omnipotent, less monsters can still be pulled, hundreds of monsters, are you kidding? Zhang Tao Tao looked at Lin Moyu, can it work? Lin Moyu nodded her head, a skeleton warrior had already run over. Huh, a skeleton? An undead summon. Whose summon is this? What's it going over for? It's going to pull monsters, it's running so fast. The appearance of the skeleton warrior immediately attracted the attention of the monsters. A large number of mermaid monsters let out screams to chase after the skeleton warrior. In a flash, the mermaid monsters surrounding it were reduced by a third. Zhang Tao Tao sighed, unfortunately, there are still so many. Click, click. Another skeleton warrior ran past. Two. Zhang Tao Tao's eyes lit up, not realizing that Lin Moyu had a second skeleton warrior. There was hope. The second skeleton warrior pulled away another batch of monsters as it did. The monsters at the foot of the mountain were basically empty, and now the monsters on the mountain path were left even if these monsters were still there, clearing them up was much faster than just now. Good job. Brother did a great job. This brother is a cow, when the trial is over, I'll treat you to a drink. I'll bring you when we go down to the copies in the future. Everyone complimented Lin Ma Xian. Ning Yi smiled very brightly, praising Lin Moyu as if he was happier than praising himself. Only Ling Jin's face was blue, feeling like he had eaten rat droppings. At this time, the third skeleton also appeared. Surprisingly, there's still a third one. Steady this time. Everyone shouted excitedly. Prepare to go up the mountain. Lin Moyu spoke softly. Zhang Tao Tao was ready, prepare. The third skeleton rushed up and pulled down the group of monsters on the mountain path as well. Zhang Tao Tao seized the moment and quickly charged up the mountain. The other teams also immediately followed when they saw this actually, Lin Ma Xin didn't need to be so troublesome, he could have used corpse burst and cleared these monsters instantly. It was just because of Ling Jin's existence. Lin Moyu didn't want to let this guy take advantage of him. Now that they were in a group, if they used corpse burst, the experience would all have to be shared equally. On what grounds? Provoking himself three or four times, Lin Moyu wasn't this stupid even if he had a good temper. If they were anywhere else, it was estimated that Ling Jin would already be dead without a body. The crowd ran towards the mountain as fast as they could. A few hundred meters high, it only took a few minutes to run to the top of the mountain. The entrance to the replica was seen. At the other end of the hilltop, there was also a group of people who happened to be running up. Enter the replica, don't let them get ahead of us. The subterranean dragon academy people shouted. Jiang Tao Tao also quickly rushed towards the replica entrance, huh? How did they come up? Can it be that they can fly too? The Yin master who had just sat on the style god and stood in the void had a strange expression on his face. He had clearly pulled so many monsters to block the path. It would take at least several hours to clear these monsters. By then, the Sakura country's team would have long since finished their copies and patted their asses and fled. He didn't expect Subterranean Dragon Academy to make it to the mountain so quickly, exceeding his expectations. Both sides rushed up the mountain together and after looking at each other, they simultaneously rushed towards the entrance of the replica. Whoosh! Whoosh! Sharp arrows exploded in the air and fell like rain. Be careful, it's a rain of arrows from archers. The archers in the Sakura kingdom suddenly attacked, casting skills. The mages put up their shields. Knights unfolded their protection skills. Two skeletons appeared in front of Lin Ma Xian, blocking himself and Ning Yi dare to do it, beat the hell out of him. Hit hard, don't give me face. The archers and mages on Subterranean Academy's side also unleashed their skills. For a time, arrows flew across the room and spells exploded indiscriminately. Although they were all just level 20 or so professionals, their skills were still quite splendid. The nurse stood at the very back and kept healing, and the assistants quickly replenished their status. A pillar of healing light shot up into the sky. The knights joined the battle group, charging and attacking each other. There was no prior preparation for this encounter, and there was no formation to speak of. The scene became extremely chaotic. 
The difference in strength between the two sides wasn't that big, and neither side could do anything about it. According to Lin Mou, the Divine Summer Empire side should be stronger. The ones that came out of the Subterranean Dragon Academy were all elites amongst the professionals whether it was skills, equipment, they were all very powerful. The ones that could come from the Sakura Kingdom were obviously also elites, but they were still inferior to the Divine Summer Empire. The only problem was that the Inyang Master had just pulled the monsters, causing the Divine Summer Empire side of the team to become incomplete, and their combat power to drop drastically. This was what caused the battle to go scorched and it was hard to tell the winner from the loser. Both sides fought fiercely, with neither side able to gain ownership of the copy. The mage's spirit power was depleted and they started taking spirit potions. The skills of the archers and knights also went into cooldown. The battle between the two sides was no longer as fierce as before. Slowly, each retreated and entered a truce. Lin Moshian never made a move. His skills were too powerful. He was afraid that if the skeleton warrior went up and slashed, the other party would hang then with a corpse burst, the other side was expected to have few left alive. Zhang Tao Tao had said that the two sides had been competing for a long time, it was just that they rarely killed anyone. The seemingly fierce battle just now had only resulted in a few injuries in the end. Moreover, under the treatment of the nurse, the injuries recovered quickly and were not life-threatening. The first encounter was uneventful, both sides were wary of each other, no one dared to relax. The duplicate was right in front of them, and the mermaid's tear was an item that both sides were aiming to win. Our team is too messed up, we need to reorganize. As long as we can reorganize our team, we'll definitely be able to crush them. At the bottom of the mountain quite a few people left, the team was in disarray and it was a disadvantage to fight. We're short of a long-range output here, mage, archer, whatever, come on, anything not over level 22. We're short of a milkmaid here, a milkmaid under level 21, come on. We need a mage. Anything below level 23. There were many teams that lacked output, followed by a lack of milkmaids. When they were surrounded by monsters just now, many mages had quit the trial. And there was a requirement for level. The average level could not exceed level 20 like entering the mermaid copy. Ling Jin suddenly spoke, Captain, I'm going to another team. Why? Zhang Tao Tao was slightly surprised, she didn't expect Ling Jin to say that. Ling Jin pointed at Lin Mou, either he goes or I go. Not only was Zhang Tao Tao surprised, but Duan Gao and Miao also showed surprise. I didn't expect Ling Jin to use this as a threat. He also picked now, having arrived at the door of the replica. Duan Gao said in a deep voice, Ling Jin, you're going a bit overboard. Miao Yu also said, that's right, if it wasn't for Lin Meiyu leading away the monsters just now, we wouldn't have been able to get on. Ling Jin couldn't care less, that's his business, I don't care. Anyway, just one sentence, either he goes or I go. Ning Yi sneered, Ling Jin, you're really a dog. Ling Jin ignored Ning Yi, Captain, you choose. Chapter 67, never mind the state, hurry up and keep up. Zhang Tao Tao looked at Lin Mou and then at Ling Jin. She was displeased with Ling Jun's approach. But lacking an output, playing the nightmare copy was basically hopeless. The trial would be impossible to complete. Now that every team was looking for mages, Ling Jin was in demand. That was why Ling Jin chose this time to make a mistake. It put Zhang Tao Tao in a difficult position. With less Lin Ma Xian, the team's average level would be super. But it wasn't hard to find a low level, at least it was easier than finding a mage. Ning Yi wanted to say something, but Lin Moshian gently pulled her back, signaling her not to speak she knew what Ning Yi was going to say. If he was asked to leave the group, Ning Yi would definitely leave as well. Lin Mou didn't say anything and quietly watched. Now it was up to Zhang Tao Tao to choose. After some mental struggle, Zhang Tao Tao made a decision. Her gaze fell on Ling Jin, Ling Jin, you quit the group. Ling Jin had a confident look on his face at this moment, he felt that Zhang Tao Tao would definitely choose himself. Unexpectedly, what he waited for was this answer. What? He thought he had heard wrong, Captain, if I withdraw from the group, your trial will be ruined. Could it be that you don't want to enter the Creation 14 Divine Academy? Zhang Tao Tao said in a deep voice, I want to enter, but you've forgotten my profession. Zhang Tao Tao's profession, Elf Knight. Knights had their own beliefs. Everyone had to thank Lin Mashiwa for being able to come here. Now letting Lin Mojing withdraw from the group, she couldn't do it Ling Jin revealed a cold smile, in that case, don't regret it. He withdrew from the group. There was a shortage of mages everywhere right now, and it wasn't hard for him to find a team. Lin Mou slowly got up at this time, let's go into the copy. Hmm. Zhang Tao Tao froze for a moment. It wasn't like Lin Mou didn't know what the situation was now. Both sides had already called a truce, and no one could get close to the copy. Lin Mou got up, and Ning Yi followed suit. Ning Yi smiled cheekily and said, Sister Peach, let's enter the copy. Zhang Tao Tao asked, how do we enter? 
Lin Mou had already walked away from the copy, follow me. Ning Yi bounced and followed. She seemed to have blind confidence in Lin Moiwei. If Lin Mojing said he could enter the copy, then he could definitely do it. Duan Gao and Miao Yu were both a bit hesitant, not knowing what to do. Zhang Tao Tao thought to herself, big deal, back off. With her around, at least there wouldn't be any danger the other party probably wouldn't dare to kill anyone. Go. As the captain, her words worked. Duan Gao and Miao Yu both followed along. Zhang Tao Tao took two steps in front of Lin Mashiwei and held her shield tightly in her hand. It was obvious that she was nervous. The five people's sudden approach to the replica immediately caused the Cherry Blossom Nation to react. Go back, no one is allowed to approach the copy. Divine Summer people, get back. The Sakura Nation people shouted loudly, their bows and arrows strung and their staffs raised. As long as they dared to approach the replica, they would inevitably be met with a heavy blow. Lin Mashiwei ignored them and continued to walk towards the replica. Zhang Tao Tao had already raised her heart to the extreme. Duan Gao and Miao Yu were also extremely nervous. Only Ning Yi was full of concern, don't be nervous la, it's fine it's fine. Brother, what are you going to do? Come back quickly, something will happen. Let's go too, protect brother. They all knew Lin Mashua, just now if it wasn't for Lin Mashua's skeleton, none of them would have been able to get here. Although they didn't know what Lin Mashua was going to do, most of them still chose to protect Lin Mashua. Ling Jin sneered, idiot, going to find death? When the Sakura nation saw that Lin Mashue ignored the warning, their skills were instantly unleashed. Arrows, spells, all kinds of attacks came blasting in from all over the place. Zhang Tao Tao raised her shield at the first opportunity. Lin Mojing's finger pointed forward. Swish! Twenty skeleton warriors immediately appeared around him. The twenty skeleton warriors formed a shield, firmly protecting the five people and blocking all the attacks. Zhang Tao Tao froze. Everyone was stunned. I'll go, there are so many. How can there be so many, what kind of profession is this? These skeletons are so hard, they don't feel a thing when attacked. Looking quite broken, how can they be so sturdy? Letting the Sakura nation attack, the skeletons didn't move at all. Enter the copy, nightmare difficulty. Lin Mou had a calm face, ignoring the various attacks from the Cherry Blossom nation. Zhang Tao Tao was infected by Lin Mou's calmness. Instinctively choosing to believe. Following Lin Mou's words, she chose the copy. The five people disappeared in front of the entrance of the copy, along with the skeleton warrior. They went in. Five people entered the copy. It should be nightmare difficulty. Nonsense, what's the point of normal difficulty, it must be nightmare difficulty. I don't know if it can be made. Regardless of whether it will work or not, we can't let the trash from Sakura country enter the copy anyway. Right, can't let Sakura nation's trash enter the copy. As soon as Lin Mashue entered, the two sides outside the field resumed their standoff no one was to enter the copy. In the mermaid copy, Zhang Tao Tao was finally relieved, it really came in. Ning Yi smiled cheekily, I told you, just trust Lin Mou, don't worry. Zhang Tao Tao said, but even though we're in, we don't have any output, how can we play a copy? Although Ning Yi was an assassin class profession, she was only level 19, her output was completely insufficient. She, a knight, was also lacking in output when it came to ensuring safety. It was fine for them to play normal difficulty, nightmare difficulty, it was very, very hard. Ning Yi said, don't worry, there's silent words. Him? But he's only level 17. Ning Yi smiled, his skeletons are awesome. It was indeed powerful, at least it was hard and ran fast. As things stood, one could only believe Ning Yi's words. Zhang Tao Tao said, alright then, I hope the skeleton output is enough and I'll block the monsters as much as possible Miao Yu, heal me in time, as well as control the field. Miaoyu patted her small chest, don't worry, Sister Peach. Duan Gao started adding statuses while at this moment, Lin Mashian was already walking forward. The skeleton warrior couldn't add status anyway, so let's not waste time. Monsters soon appeared ahead. A two-meter tall mermaid appeared on the path of necessity. The detection spell flew out. Mermaid Elite Warrior, Reinforced Elite Monster 523. Level, 21. Strength, 2000. Agility, 1200. Spirit, 800. Physique, 2200. Skill, Scream. With a thought, the skeleton warriors swarmed up. The few skeletons that rushed at the front made a berserk strike at the same time. There were several thumps. The mermaid elite warriors fell to the ground with miserable screams. Kill level 21 mermaid elite warrior, experience plus 10,000. Acquired fish skin asterisk 10. Duan Gao was still adding status and was startled by the prompt that suddenly popped up what had just happened? How did you suddenly gain experience? 
Jiang Taodao also stared at Lin Maxian with wide eyes and a face full of disbelief. This was a monster in a nightmare copy, a reinforced elite monster. Even if it was a perfectly configured stage, it would still take a minute or two to fight it. But what was this just now, a few skeletons went up, then bang 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 a few times. The monster died, in near seconds. Lin Maxian's skeletons weren't just hard, they weren't just fast runners, their attack power was also frighteningly large. That's a knockout? It's almost as good as a second kill. Zhang Tao Tao mumbled, not reacting for a moment. Ning Yi's clothes took it for granted, I told you la, silent whisper skeletons are very powerful. Saying that, she quickly followed. Duan Gao called out, status, the status hasn't been added yet. Forget about the status, quickly follow. Zhang Tao Tao called out and quickly chased after him. Chapter 68, pushing all the way across, cover your ears. Twenty skeleton warriors pushed all the way across in front. They didn't care what kind of reinforced elite monster you were, and went up to kill them indiscriminately. Basically, none of the monsters could last more than five seconds. There aren't many monsters in this copy. The monsters in the copy were scattered and few, and the experience grew slowly. It wasn't as cool as pulling a batch of monsters and just having a corpse burst. He also didn't put more skeleton warriors out, not that it would increase efficiency. Zhang Tao Tao had never thought that making a copy could be this easy. Every time she played a copy, she was the one who was the most tired. The knight had to be at the front and pay attention to every attack of the monsters. To be able to firmly attract the monster's hatred, but also to protect her teammates whereas now, she just had to follow behind and didn't have to do anything. Necromancer, this profession is a bit powerful. Silently thinking in her heart. Duan Gao and Miao Yu beside her also had the same thought. After entering the replica, it was a winding passageway, as if they were in a cave. The dampness in the replica was heavier than outside, and besides the smell of fish there was also an additional smell of decay. Ning Yi had been covering her nose ever since she entered the replica. After walking in the passageway for quite a while, she finally came to the end. A huge cave appeared in front of them. Jumping down from the end of the passageway, it was over 50 meters high. A giant python was coiled in the center of the cave. The python was at least 30 meters tall and more than a meter in diameter. Pitch black scales covered its body like armor, reflecting a metallic luster. The arrival of Lin Mou and the others had already attracted the attention of the python, and a pair of huge eyes were looking towards them as long as they dared to jump, they were bound to receive a powerful attack from the python. The detection spell flew out. Mermaid Queen's Pet Snake, Elite Leader. Level, 23. Strength, 3600. Agility, 5500. Spirit, 3000. Physique, 5000. Skills, Whip, Death Entanglement, Venom Skills, Whip, Death Entanglement, Venom Skills. Such a large python was called the Mermaid Queen's Pet Snake. The name was slightly amusing. The giant python was the monster with the highest attributes Lin Maxian had ever seen. It was much higher than the King of Goblins. It was already very close to the Skeleton Warrior, and even surpassed the Skeleton Warrior in the agility attribute. Zhang Tao Tao did not hesitate, I'll take the top monster. Lin Mou shook his head, no need. Several of them didn't move, the skeleton warrior had already rushed down. Lin Mou still didn't move more skeleton warriors in his opinion, 20 skeleton warriors were more than enough. The skeleton warriors leapt up one after another and pounced on the giant python. The giant python rushed up into the sky and thumped several skeleton warriors. Skill, whip. The python's tail drew up and swept away several more skeleton warriors. Of the 20 skeleton warriors, half of them were knocked away in the first wave of exchanges. The python's reaction was surprisingly flexible. The remaining skeleton warriors didn't manage to land on it. The giant python swam rapidly through the cavern, a huge tail constantly whipping the skeleton warriors away. The attacks of the skeleton warriors could only land on it in small amounts, and they didn't even have time to utilize their skills. It looked like the skeleton warriors were passive, but in fact, they didn't suffer too many injuries. After all, the 5400 physique attribute was here, and the defense wasn't low. Zhang Tao Tao looked a little anxious, it's too flexible, what should we do? Lin Mou whispered, it's fine. The palm of her hand emitted a shimmering light and gently pointed towards the python. Skill, slow speed curse. A layer of red light snapped out of the cave, and there was a soft buzzing sound that everyone heard. It was as if something terrible had descended. A red shackle pattern appeared above the python's head. In an instant, the python's speed slowed down. It slowed down by a whole double. This time, the skeletal warrior easily captured the giant python. The greatsword in his hand fell frantically, ruthlessly slashing at the python's scales. Then the skill exploded, bringing even more damage to the giant python. Blood splattered and the scales crumbled. The giant python screamed miserably. 
This is a curse? Zhang Tao Tao could see the red pattern on top of the python's head at a glance. Lin Mou nodded, yes. Necromancers, not just summoners, but mages. The giant python lost its speed advantage and could only engage in physical combat with the skeletal warrior skill, death entanglement. The skill was unleashed, and the python's body wrapped around several skeleton warriors. The skeleton warriors were violently squeezed and made clicking sounds. It was numbing to hear. However, the skeleton warriors were too sturdy, and although the sound sounded frightening, nothing really happened. Moreover, the entangled skeleton warrior, the knife in his hand didn't stop slashing at all. It was still falling on the python. The python couldn't stand it and let go of the skeleton warrior, spraying venom. The cave instantly became stinky, making people want to vomit. The skeleton warriors were dipped in the venom, and Lin Moshin sensed that they were a little injured, but it still wasn't much serious. Four-dimensional attributes balanced, no pain, no terror, the skeleton warriors were near perfect. The python had used all sorts of methods, but there was still nothing it could do to the skeleton warrior moreover, it was cursed, and even its most excellent speed was excellent. After two minutes of entanglement, the python collapsed to the ground. There was unwillingness in his eyes. Killed level 23 mermaid queen's pet snake, experience plus 50,000. Obtained silver grade defense, snake skin armor. Obtained intermediate level monster crystals. The corners of Zhang Taodao's mouth twitched slightly, somewhat incredulous, it's that good? All right. Lin Mou said with a leap, landing firmly on the ground after lending her strength at the edge of the cave. Zhang Taotao's few people were still dazed, not able to react for a moment. Ning Yi smiled brightly, the more powerful Lin Mou was, the happier she was. Don't be dumbfounded, let's go. Saying this, she leapt and landed lightly, just like a butterfly. It was much more elegant than Lin Mou. Zhang Taotao several people finally came back to their senses and jumped down passing through the cave, and azure blue color came into view. In front of them was an opulent palace. The Mermaid Queen's Palace. All the fishy smell disappeared without a trace here. Instead, there was an ethereal fragrance here. The entire environment was greatly changed, clean and tidy. From where they stood to the entrance of the palace, a team of guards was patrolling. Each guard consisted of three mermaid soldiers. They wore armor and held tritons in their hands, looking formidable. No one used the detection technique, and the moment they did, they would attract their attention. None of these soldier-looking mermaid monsters were far away, and if they weren't careful, they'd pull in a whole bunch of them. One, two, three. Boy, there are 60 patrols in total, a whole 180 mermaid monsters. Ning Yi counted and spat out her tongue, the number was a bit scary. Zhang Taodao added, and by the looks of it, all of them are reinforced elite monsters. It was difficult to deal with one such monster, and dealing with three at the same time was almost the limit. According to Zhang Taotao's experience, one would pick the three monsters in the corner and pull them over a little to clear them out. Gradually clearing them over. It might be time-consuming and laborious, but it was safer this way. Ning Yi -E looked at Lin Mou. There are so many monsters, what should we do? Lin Mou's heart was happy to see so many monsters. Monsters, the more the better. Simple. The words fell twenty skeleton warriors had rushed out. The sudden appearance of the skeleton warriors immediately attracted the attention of the mermaid soldiers. A team of soldiers chased towards the skeleton warriors. Pulling monsters? Was he trying to lure so many monsters away? This was not out of place. While the skeleton warriors were attracting attention, Lin Moshian's detection spell had already followed them, mermaid elite sergeant, reinforced elite monster, comma. Level, 22. Strength, 2200. Agility, 1400. Spirit, 1000. Physique, 2400. Skill, Stun Sweep. After seeing the attributes of the Mermaid Elite Sergeant, his heart was clear. Soon, all 180 Mermaid Elite Sergeants were pulled together by the Skeleton Warrior. The Skeleton Warrior then ran straight towards where Lin Moshian was, bringing the monsters back with him in the process. Zhang Tao Tao's hair exploded, what was Lin Mou doing? The Skeleton Warrior stopped 60 meters away from Lin Mou and violently turned around to explode his skills. The mermaid elite soldiers also erupted their skills at the same time. The tridents in their hands swept over with light. Skill, Berserk Strike. Skill, Stun Sweep. The two skills collided, and the light from the skill shot up into the sky, brilliant as fireworks. The attributes of the skeleton warriors were too high, especially the skeleton warriors that burst out with their skills, their attributes exceeded the mermaid elite sergeants by several times under the collision of skills, the skeleton warriors were victorious. A mermaid elite sergeant fell to the ground in response. Cover your ears. Lin Moshian said to Ning Yi. Oh. Ning Yi hurriedly covered her ears. 
Before Jiang Taotao and the others could understand what was happening, there was a loud boom that shook them so much that they almost didn't fall over. This was followed by several more loud booms. Skill, corpse burst. After several consecutive thunder-like sounds, everything returned to calm. Jiang Taotao's few people had already been numbed by the screen-swiping experience prompts. This. My god, what the hell happened? How could this happen, how did he do it? Alter. What kind of skill is this, Big Bang? How is it so powerful? All the fish elite sergeants, none of them survived. Harvesting a large amount of experience and materials this was the first time Jiang Taotao and the others felt the charm of the experience brush. Several people looked unusually excited. The Mermaid Queen's palace gate also rumbled open amidst the explosions. Chapter 69, Completing the Trial, Never Grouping Afterward The doors of the Mermaid Queen's palace opened. A strange aura swept out. An azure light enveloped the space. Along with the light, there was also the Mermaid Queen. Noble, elegant, and beautiful. Although she didn't belong to the human race, it didn't hinder the appreciation of beauty. So beautiful. A layer of water mist covered Ning Yi's eyes, her pupils losing focus. Surprisingly, she unconsciously walked towards the Mermaid Queen. Lin Mou pulled her back with one hand. It wasn't just Ningyi, Zhang Taotao was also affected. Lin Mou, Miao Yu, and Duan Gao remained normal. Miao Yu exclaimed, It's a mesmerizing technique. Saying that, she quickly released her skill and several rays of light fell on the crowd skill, awake. Ningyi awoke with a start, What happened to me? Zhang Taotao also shuddered, her pupils regaining focus, What happened? Miao Yu looked at the Mermaid Queen, she comes with a mesmerizing technique, both you and Yi Yi were affected. I dispelled the mesmerization spell with my wakefulness skill. Lin Muyue, Duan Gao, and Miao Yu had relatively high mental strength, so the Mermaid Queen's self contained mesmerizing spell didn't affect them. Ning Yi was a bit frightened afterward, so scary. Zhang Tao Tao took a deep breath, after all, it's a boss, it's normal to possess some special abilities. She had experienced many kinds of copies, and although the low level was not high, some bosses did possess special skills. It made people unable to defend themselves. She almost fell for it this time as well. The mermaid queen looked at the slain mermaid elite sergeant and her gaze fell on the skeleton warrior suddenly, she let out a scream. The scream of the mermaid queen, who looked beautiful, was incomparably shrill. Several people covered their ears with difficulty. The mermaid queen's scream set off layers of waves, and wild winds rolled over. The many corpses on the ground 540 were immediately blown apart and fell in all directions. Lin Mayu's gaze tightened slightly, originally he had wanted to wait for the mermaid queen to come over and then directly use corpse burst. He didn't expect it to take the first step in blowing away the corpses. The skeleton warrior charged up against the gale. Facing the mermaid queen who was at least 5 meters tall, the skeleton warriors looked so small. It looked like the skeleton warriors were unbeatable, but the fierce wind brought up by the mermaid queen could not blow down the skeleton warriors. As the skeleton warriors moved out, the detection spells followed them, mermaid queen, chief monster. Level, 24. Strength, 5000. Agility, 6000. Spirit, 5000. Physique, 6000. Skills, Terror Screen, Giant Wave Wave, Queen's Cry. The Mermaid Queen's attributes were extremely high, surpassing the Skeleton Warrior in agility and physique. The Strength and Spirit attributes were also quite close to the Skeleton Warrior. After all, it was a level 24 replica boss, a chieftain level monster. The Skeleton Warrior was only level 17, and there was a full 7 levels difference between the two sides. Zhang Tao Tao looked at the Mermaid Queen's attributes and was equally shocked. Her throat swallowed saliva, compared to other copies, the attributes of the Mermaid Fish King are higher. If we follow the normal method of fighting, if we want to destroy it, it will take at least an hour. The normal fighting method Zhang Tao Tao was talking about was in the case of a team with full output. A team of six, one knight, two assistants, and three outputs this could slowly grind the copy boss to death. But now. She was completely unable to estimate what would happen next. Lin Mayu's existence completely broke her inherent knowledge. Between professions, could the gap between professions really be this big? She couldn't fathom it. Twenty skeleton warriors were surrounding the Mermaid Queen and launching a fierce attack. The Mermaid Queen held a huge trident in her hand and swept it continuously. Each time the skeleton warriors would be knocked back, and then later get back up to continue their attack. Lin Mou could feel the skeleton warriors getting injured in droves from the Mermaid Queen's attacks. The Mermaid Queen's strength attribute of up to 5000 was already enough to cause damage to the skeleton warriors. Moreover, the Mermaid Queen had a physique attribute of up to 6000, and the damage that the skeleton warriors inflicted on it was drastically reduced. The skeleton warriors besieging the Mermaid Queen had the illusion of a wolf pack besieging a lion on this basis, it was hard to say whether 20 skeleton warriors could take down the Mermaid Queen. 
under a few rounds of attacks, the bones on a few of the skeleton warriors broke. The movements also began to slow down and change. Zhang Tao Tao noticed this, Duan Gao, add status to us and be ready to fight. She planned to top off the skeletal warriors when they couldn't hold on any longer. Lin Yu said softly, no need. A shimmering light glowed on her palm. A giant red net fell in the air. Skill, slow speed curse. The mermaid queen's head was enveloped in red shackles, slowing her speed down by a factor of two. The combat power was drastically weakened. It sensed the curse, its body glowed, and its mouth screamed once again. Skill, giant wave wave. Azure light illuminated the space as a monstrous wave swept through, instantly dispersing all of the skeleton warriors. As the giant wave rose up into the sky, it swept the skeleton warriors up into the sky again the skeleton warriors continued to rotate in the giant wave, being torn apart by the massive force. In the midst of the giant wave, a few of the skeleton warriors were badly injured. Bones were breaking one after another. Lin Moshian put them away at the first opportunity. Zhang Tao Tao held her sword and shield tightly in her hand, she felt that it was time for her to go up after a while. The skill ended, the giant wave disappeared, and the skeleton warrior fell from the air. At this time, Lin Moshian pointed his finger. The cloudy wind whistled, and in front of him was a black mass. He released all 88 remaining skeleton warriors. As soon as they appeared, the skeleton warriors rushed towards the mermaid queen like lightning. Surprisingly, there are so many. How can there be so many summons? It's too scary. Several people realized that Lin Moshian hadn't released all of the summons at all. What was released was only a portion of it Zhang Tao Tao even thought that if Lin Moyu was willing, was it those mermaid monsters that were blocking the way up the mountain, he could easily eliminate them. Just a few times of those big explosions would be enough. Nearly a hundred skeleton warriors launched a siege on the mermaid queen. In the blink of an eye, the skeleton warriors had already crawled all over the mermaid queen's body. One by one, they unleashed their skills and kept landing on the mermaid queen. The mermaid queen's skin was cracked and she screamed miserably. The triton in her hand danced crazily, and her entire body was jumping around. Under the influence of the slow curse, its speed had doubled, and it simply couldn't shake off the skeleton warriors. Suddenly, there were cries drilling into its ears. Skill, Queen's Cry. The mermaid queen used the skill. At the sound of crying, Zhang Tao Tao and Ning Yi were affected at the same time. The pupils lost focus once again. Miao Yu hurriedly used the awake skill but this time, the sobering skill didn't work. No, my level is too low, the sobering skill can't cancel out the boss's skill. Lin Moshian whispered, it's fine. As long as he wasn't affected, then he was fine. He pulled Ning Yi Yi to prevent her from going over, while Miao Yu pulled Zhang Tao Tao. Lin Moyu's spirit was high enough and wasn't affected. The skeleton warriors were even less affected. They had no feelings, no pain, no fear. Compassion was even more impossible. The skeleton warrior's great sword did not stop for a second. The queen's skill was ineffective and once again used her trident to attack. As its skill ended, Ning Yi and Zhang Tao Tao recovered. Both of them had fear on their faces. This skill was too terrifying, and the two had no resistance at all. The azure light erupted once more, and a giant wave rolled in. The giant wave rolled up some of the skeleton warriors, but there was still a part of them that clung onto the mermaid queen without letting go. The other hand held the twin swords and continued to attack. This time, the effect of the giant wave wasn't really good. The battle lasted for a full three minutes. The mermaid queen finally collapsed to the ground with a final mournful cry. Strike mermaid queen, experience plus 80,000. Acquired silver grade weapon, mermaid queen's long sword. Silver level weapon, queen mermaid staff. Obtained mermaid's tears asterisk 1. Mermaid queen's long sword, silver grade, strength plus 50, physique plus 50, warrior skill power increased by 10%, available after level 20. Mermaid Queen Staff, Silver Grade, Spirit plus 50, Physique plus 50, 10% increase in power of Mage System skills, available after level 20. Seeing the hint, Zhang Tao Tao clenched her fists in excitement in addition to the Mermaid's Tier, two Silver Grade weapons had been obtained. The attributes were much better than the Bronze Level weapons. A 10% bonus to skill power would greatly increase the combat power of each profession. Ning Yi Yi jumped up happily, yay, the trial quest is complete. We're one step closer to the Creation God Academy. Zhang Tao Tao laughed, as long as we complete a few more trial quests and level up a bit, we'll definitely be able to enter the Divine Creation Academy. This time it's thanks to Lin Mashue, if it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have finished the trials. Niao Yu also whispered, yeah. The worst is that guy Lingjin. Don't mention this guy, this kind of person, never group in the future. Zhang Tao Tao gritted her teeth, she despised people like Lingjin the most. Lin Mei Yu counted the time. From the time they entered the copy, about half an hour had passed. There might still be a standoff outside the copy. 
Even if another team entered the copy, they probably wouldn't fight that fast. E, do you have a cooldown talisman? Ning Yi's beautiful eyes flickered, and she instantly understood Lin Mashian's thoughts. Smiling cheekily, she said, of course I do. Chapter 70, How They Went In Again, Taking You Flying Outside of the replica, the two sides were still facing each other. In the half an hour that had just passed, another conflict had erupted between the two sides neither one was able to take advantage of the situation. At this time, they were each about 50 meters away from the replica, and neither of them could get close. Once they got close, they would incur a thunder-thunder strike. Suddenly, five silhouettes appeared at the entrance of the replica. Also appearing were ten skeleton warriors. Lin Mayu's few people left the replica under the protection of the skeleton warriors. They came out. So fast, it's only been half an hour. I guess they couldn't beat them and quit. Hee <laughs> hee, these skeletons look pretty hard, I guess they are just hard enough to be used as meat shields. Skeleton warriors were just harder and more numerous in their eyes, nothing else. The Sakura Nation people sneered one by one. They definitely wouldn't think that Lin Ma Xian had come out of beating the copy. Just half an hour was definitely not enough. Even if it was a perfectly configured team, without an hour or two, they wouldn't be able to beat a nightmare-level difficulty copy the Divine Summer Empire side had a different reaction, they were relieved to see that Lin Mashua's few people came out safely. As long as they came back safely. Brother, come back soon. It doesn't matter if the copy fails, it's good to be alive. As long as we live, there will be plenty of opportunities in the future. Ling Jin laughed coldly, luck is good, surprisingly you can still come out alive. Zhang Tao Tao scanned both sides and realized that there were no less people. It meant that no one had entered the copy at all. You guys be careful. Ning Yi smiled happily, don't worry, there's Mo Yu here, nothing will happen. Well, I'll wait for you outside. Duan Gao and Miao Yu also said, cheer up. The three of them retreated back to the Divine Summer Empire's team after saying that. The two of them, Ning Yi and Lin Mo Yu, formed a team. In full view of everyone, Ning Yi took out her cooldown talisman and activated it. Amidst the shimmering light, the copy's cooldown time returned to zero the two entered the replica again. Why are they going in again? What's this about? Two people entering a copy. Even if it's normal difficulty, two people aren't enough. Primary cooling amulet, this woman actually has such a high-level item, it seems like her identity is not simple. This is a good thing that is hard to buy even with money. Primary cooling amulets were easily unobtainable. Lin Mashian had looked for it in both the Imperial Exchange and the School Exchange, and neither of the two exchanges had it. This thing was obviously somewhat precious. He had only seen it in Xia Xue's hands. Just now, he had only asked tentatively, but he hadn't expected Ning Yi to actually have it. Like Xia Xue, it was a primary cooling talisman that could be used ten times. After the ten times are used up, it has to be replenished with energy. In Ning Yi's hands, there were still five chances left to use it if she was with Jiang Tao Tao, she would only be able to use it for one more round. If Ning Yi and Lin Mei Yu were the two of them, then they could do two more rounds. After discussing the matter, in the end, Lin Mu Yue and Ning Yi would be the two to brush their copies. Anyway, it was the same if Jiang Tao Tao, Duan Gao, and Miao Yu were there or not. As long as Lin Mo Yu was there, it was enough. After entering the copy, Ning Yi's small face smiled brightly, as if even the stench in the copy wasn't so unpleasant anymore. You promised to bring me upgrades, I didn't expect it to come true so soon. Lin Mo Yu smiled, if you promise, you have to do it. Ning Yi smiled even more brightly, then you have to bring it in the future as well, but you're not allowed to bring it once and then stop. Good. Lin Mei Yu answered. The ten skeleton warriors had already answered and ran forward along the passage. After having one experience, Lin Mashian didn't waste any more time fighting them one by one he directly dragged the few monsters in the passage and ran. The skeleton warriors were in the front, and the mermaid elite warriors were in the back, advancing all the way along the passage. After five minutes, the skeleton warrior dragged the thirty or so mermaid elite warriors to the end of the passageway and came to the cave of the mermaid queen's pet snake. The skeleton warrior leapt down. The monsters behind them followed suit and jumped down. After they all jumped down, Lin Mashian and Ning Yi appeared at the end of the passage. The python, who was an elite leader, was frantically chasing the skeleton warrior along with the elite warriors. Skill, slow speed curse. With a flash of red light, shackle patterns appeared above the heads of all the monsters. The speed slowed down instantly. At this time, the skeleton warriors turned to counterattack at the same time. A dozen or so skeleton warriors launched their attacks at an elite warrior in unison the unlucky mermaid elite warrior was killed in seconds almost instantly. Skill, corpse burst. Boom! Explosions rang out suddenly. The cavern shook violently and countless pieces of debris fell. All the mermaid elite warriors were killed in seconds almost instantly. 
Kill level 21 Mermaid Elite Warrior, experience plus 25,000. Obtain Fish Skin Asterisk 6. Kill level 21 Mermaid Elite Warrior, experience plus 25,000. Obtain Fish Skin Asterisk 10. A series of prompts appeared, more than 30 Mermaid Elite Warriors, bringing more than 700,000 experience to each of the two. The experience quickly rose upwards for a while. The python hadn't reacted to what was happening. It had suffered a considerable amount of injuries as the corpses burst into flames. Lin Mashian continuously unleashed his skills, almost invoking ten consecutive corpse bursts within three seconds. The giant python collapsed to the ground with a miserable scream. Killed level 23 Mermaid Queen's Pet Snake, experience plus 125,000. Obtained Silver Level Defense, Snake Skin Light Armor. Obtained Intermediate Monster Crystals. The last time I killed here, clearing the monsters one by one all the way here, it took more than half an entire hour. This time, it was a mere five minutes. The speed was several times faster. Amazing. Ning Yi's eyes narrowed into a beautiful crescent moon. Lin Mou looked slightly dumbfounded before she whispered, let's go. The two jumped into the cave and continued on. They soon arrived outside the Mermaid Queen's palace. A large number of elite mermaid soldiers were patrolling outside the palace. The skeletal warriors quickly ran over. Soon, amidst the sound of several consecutive violent explosions, the two reaped another large amount of experience and materials. White light emerged from Ning Yi's body. He he, I've upgraded. Finally level 20. Ning Yi stretched her lazy back and let out a sigh. When Lin Mou first met Ning Yi, Ning Yi was already level 19 at that time, Lin Mou was only level 10. These days had passed, and Ning Yi was still only level 19. Lin Mou knew how slack this girl was in practicing leveling. She was probably the type that didn't move on her own if she could. Azure light fell, and the Mermaid Queen's palace opened again. The beautiful and noble Mermaid Queen walked out from the palace. Having had the experience of the last time, Ning Yi whooshed and burrowed behind Lin Mou. I won't always be mesmerized by her if I don't look at her. With Lin Mojing as a shield, it was true that she wasn't mesmerized. The Mermaid Queen let out a scream of rage when she saw that her sergeant had died out. This time Lin Mashian had experience and was prepared. The skeleton warriors were carrying the corpses of the mermaid race's elite sergeants and retreating. Zero. The corpses were not swept away by the airwaves brought up by the scream. When the screams disappeared, the skeletal warriors ran back with the corpses limerick struck at the same time. Skill, slow speed curse. Under the scarlet shackles, the mermaid queen's speed slowed down. The skeleton warrior ran back to the skeleton queen carrying a dozen corpses. Skill, corpse burst. An old-fashioned, nothing new, but very effective method of fighting. What's more, this copy did have something that could be utilized by Lin Mashian. Who let her have so many reinforced elite monsters in front of the palace. For the monsters that died in the copy, the bodies existed for a limited time. It was only about two minutes before and after. On the contrary, the Mermaid Queen had rushed out in such a short period of time. If she had come out later, Lin Mashian wouldn't have been able to utilize the corpses. The attack power of Corpse Burst was based on the corpse's life force. After the talent increase, the damage became 300% of the corpse's life force. A full three times the damage. As a copy boss, the Mermaid Queen's life force was only 20 or 30 times that of a reinforced elite monster in a series of explosions, the Mermaid Queen fell to the ground with a mournful cry. There wasn't even a chance for her to use her skills, it was almost a second kill. Kill Mermaid Queen, experience plus 200,000. Acquired Silver Grade Weapon, Mermaid Queen's Dagger. Obtain Silver Grade Weapon, Mermaid Queen's Spellbook. Obtain Mermaid's Tier Asterisk 1. Mermaid Queen's Dagger, Silver Grade, Agility plus 50, Physique plus 50, Assassin's Skill Power increased by 10%, available after level 20. Mermaid Queen's Grimoire, Silver Grade, Spirit plus 100, Mage Department Skill Power increased by 10%, available after level 20. At this point, entering the copy was less than 10 minutes. The speed was ridiculously fast. The efficiency was terrifyingly high. Ning Yi clapped her hands excitedly from the side, quickly, quickly, let's do it again. Get all three mermaid tears. Geo. Chapter 71, Killing Style Gods in Seconds, Scaring Away Sakura Nation. The two of them exited the copy Ning Yi immediately used the cooling amulet. A few seconds later, the two entered the copy again. What are they doing? Why did they just enter the copy and come out? Coming out and then going back in. That's not how a cooling amulet is used, it's too wasteful. Is it hard to believe that this is being rich and capricious? The people from both sides who were still facing each other outside the copy looked dumbfounded. They didn't understand what Lin Mou and Ning Yi were up to. 
Even if they were to break their heads, they wouldn't be able to understand that the two of them were brushing the nightmare level difficulty mermaid copy. And they finished it in just 10 minutes. Only the three of them, Jiang Tao Tao, knew the true situation. The three looked at each other with shock in their eyes. Of course they knew clearly that Lin Mou was fully capable of solo brushing the mermaid copy but it was unimaginable that it was 10 minutes to brush it. Even if they were to wander around the copy for a while, it would almost take this speed. Lin Mou brushed through the copy as he had done, once again taking Ning Yi with him. Yay, this time it took 8 minutes and 58 seconds, more than 30 seconds faster than last time. Ning Yi looked at the time on the communicator and was actually counting down. Lin Mou was dumbfounded, this girl was really funny. Other people treated the trial as a mission, Ning Yi seemed to be treating the trial as a game. The two of them didn't enter the copy again after leaving this time, but returned to the Divine Summer Empire team. The number of times for the cooling talisman has run out, right? What a waste. Why don't you go back in, have the guts to go back in? The Cherry Blossom Country people shouted over there, one with disdain. There was more jealousy in their eyes, itching to snatch the cooling talisman from Ning Yi's hand Lin Mou and Ning Yi came back and teamed up with the three of them again with Jiang Tao Tao. Jiang Tao Tao asked, got it? Lin Mo Yen handed over the mermaid's tear to Jiang Tao Tao. They were a group in this trial, Jiang Tao Tao was the team leader, and the final handover of the task would have to be completed by her. At this time, someone suddenly pointed at the copy and called out, the copy has disappeared. This sound was like thunder from the ground, and everyone looked at the sound. The vortex at the entrance of the replica completely disappeared after shaking a few times. How did the replica disappear? That's impossible, unless all three mermaid tears were obtained by someone, the replica would disappear. Just now, did that person go in three times? Can it be that he got the mermaid's tear? They swiped through the nightmare level difficulty, could that be possible? Regardless of whether it was possible or not, the fact was right in front of them the duplicate had really disappeared. It was impossible to obtain the mermaid tears again. Let's go! Lin Moshian said softly. The mermaid's tear had already arrived, there was no need to stay here. Can't let them go. The mermaid's tear must have been obtained by them, they must be made to hand it over. Snatch it back. Hand over the mermaid's tear or you won't be able to leave. The people of the Sakura country were enraged, and everyone pressed forward. The Divine Summer Empire side was also wondering, and someone asked, Jiang Tao Tao, the mermaid's tear was really obtained by you guys? Jiang Tao Tao did not deny it, the mermaid's tear is indeed in my hands. Hiss. The crowd sucked in a breath of cold air. This meant that they had really brushed through the copy just now. Especially the two times in the back, only two people had gotten through the copy how had this been done? Almost everyone had doubts in their eyes. Ling Jin screamed in his heart, this is impossible, it's impossible for them to brush through the copies. But no matter how doubtful it was, in the face of the Sakura Nation's tight push. Divine Summer Empire, Xiaojing Academy, Subterranean Dragon Academy. The crowd was extremely united. Immediately forming a battle formation. Roll back. How dare the people of the tiny Sakura nation spread their wildness in front of my divine summer empire. Want to rob the mermaid's tear, no way. A boom suddenly resounded in the air. The wind blew and two huge style gods appeared in the air. That Yang master finally stopped hiding to reveal his form at this time. He sat on the gods, his body permeated with a powerful aura. Simply from the aura, the other party's level was very high, estimated to be no lower than level 30. His occupation was the unique Yin and Yang master of Sakura country, a legend level occupation and possessed a powerful style god. Not good to deal with. Zhang Tao Tao was slightly nervous and raised her eyebrows, this person is at least level 30. However, it suddenly occurred to her that as powerful as the mermaid queen, she wouldn't last more than two or three minutes in Lin Maxian's hands. No matter how strong this Yin Yang master was, he couldn't single brush a nightmare level mermaid copy, right? Those skeletons of Lin Mojing, each one of them was so powerful. Thinking of this, Zhang Tao Tao relaxed again. The Yin Yang master stared at Zhang Tao Tao, hand over the mermaid's tear or you won't be able to leave. The two style gods turned their heads towards Zhang Tao Tao's at the same time. There was a grimness in their gazes. Before Zhang Tao Tao could speak, Lin Mo Yu had already made her move. Fire flashed in her palm. Skill, soul flame. A flame appeared above the head of one of the style gods the flame drilled into the style god's body in the blink of an eye. Ah! The god let out an earth-shattering scream. The wind was whistling, the screams were mournful, and the style god was twisted and deformed. The Yin Yang master's face changed and he immediately used his skills in an attempt to stabilize the style god. At the same time, he coldly looked at Lin Moshian, looking for death. Another terrifying style god appeared in the air. This style god was more than three meters tall, wearing armor, with a snake head and body, and holding a giant axe. 
As soon as it appeared, it flew towards Lin Moyu. Do it! A melee began once again. The subterranean Dragon Academy side poured a large number of attacks onto the giant axe-style god. The result was like a clay ox entering the sea, not causing any damage to it at all. The crowd realized that this style god was strong. The Undertaker sneered, with your attacks, at most you can only tickle my giant axe god. Five skeleton warriors appeared beside Lin Ma Xian. At the same time, they leapt high into the air and took on the giant axe god that flew down. Skill, Berserk Strike. The large sword in the hands of the skeleton warriors flashed with red light. The skill was swung out, with a strength attribute of up to 5,400, the original attack power was terrifyingly strong. Skill once again increased by double the attack. Bang 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 several times. This seemingly powerful god was instantly decimated. It turned into a puff of green smoke and dissipated into the air. So weak? Lin Mashian was slightly stunned. The seemingly powerful style god was unexpectedly weak. The others also froze. It was clear that their attacks were useless. But Lin Mojing's skeleton had decapitated the other party's style god in two or three strikes. Was it really that the style god was too weak? Or was the skeleton too strong? The style god was destroyed, and the Yin Yang master who was the owner of the style god also suffered a heavy blow his face turned pale and he violently sprayed out a large mouthful of blood. At this time, the firelight in Lin Muyue's hand flashed again. The style god that was screaming miserably suffered another heavy blow. Two skeleton warriors had already appeared by its side without a sound, and their hands rose up to slash. This style god was also killed in seconds. The Yin Yang master screamed again. He hurriedly drove his seated style god to fly high and away from Lin Moshian. The eyes he looked at Lin Mojing were filled with resentment and fear. Everyone was startled by this scene. Both sides that were in the midst of chaos stopped. One by one, they looked at Lin Moshua with fear on their faces. How can his skeleton be so powerful? That's a style god, it was just so easily decimated. What kind of skeleton is this? What occupation is he? How many levels are there? One by one, doubts appeared the Sakura nation doubted Lin Mashiwe's occupation and level. Lin Mashiwe had brought a shielding badge, so they couldn't see Lin Mashiwe's occupation and level. However, the Yang masters high in the air knew that Lin Moiwe was only level 17 and his occupation was necromancer. To be this powerful at only level 17, one could only say that this occupation was terrifyingly strong. Moreover, Lin Mashiwe had inevitably awakened a talent. It was a gifted professional. The necromancer felt that he had to bring this information back, there was a powerful professional in the Divine Summer Empire. Thinking of this, he left in his style god without looking back. Losing two style gods in a row, his heart was dripping blood. Ten skeleton warriors walked out side by side and stood in the field. A greenish white light emanated from their bodies, and the large swords in their hands shone with a cold light soul flames were constantly jumping, and ghastly winds were gusting. Just by looking at them, they could scare away some timid people. Facing the skeleton warrior, no one from Sakura Nation dared to make a move. Even the Yin Yang master was easily beaten away, how could they block it? Retreat? Or fight? This was a dilemma. The skeleton warrior suddenly moved, carrying a scuffling sound towards the Sakura Nation people. The large sword in his hand swung with a chill. The skeleton warrior advanced, and the Sakura Nation people couldn't stop retreating. Their aura was getting weaker and weaker. Once the aura collapsed, there was no need to fight. The pressure from the skeleton warriors was too massive. With the first person running away screaming, the Sakura Nation team completely collapsed. Chapter 72, Even Chicken Soup Needs to Be a Bit Original The Divine Summer Empire's team returned with a smile on their faces those guys from the Cherry Blossom Kingdom are too funny to be scared away. It's really too funny to see them shitting their pants. So many professionals, to be scared off by a few skeletons, what a waste. People can even brush nightmare level copies, if they really fight for their lives, those people from Sakura country aren't just giving away food. Of course we have to run away, if we don't, we won't be able to survive. As many people spoke, their gazes turned to Lin Moshien. Lin Mou, who was always silent, appeared extremely mysterious in their eyes. Many people whispered and speculated about Lin Moshien's origin. Where did this come from? It can't be someone from a top academy. Unlike, what would someone from a top academy come to our place for? What's more, the people from those top academies are grasping for time to practice and play high-level copies, how could they have the time to come to the trial? It's really strange, where did this great god come from? He seems to rarely speak. The man is ruthless and doesn't talk much, the means he used to kill the style god just now was overwhelming. On the way back, everyone was relaxed. Although they didn't complete the trial mission, today's experience made him feel satisfied. Knocking the Sakura nation away, that alone was comforting enough. 
As for the trial mission, it was instead secondary. Lingjin was the only one with displeasure in his gaze. From time to time, he looked at Lin Mashue with hatred and at the same time, regret. If he hadn't forced Jiang Tao Tao at that time, he would have had a share of the people who completed trial 14 this time. But now. We're not done. Hatred surged in Ling Jin's heart. The group left the light screen and returned to the point of issuance at this time, Jiang Tao Tao took out the quest stone and mermaid's tear, hand in the quest. The task stone and mermaid's tear slowly rose into the air. The shadow of the divine summer tower appeared in the air at the same time. A ray of light shot out from the tower and landed on Jiang Tao Tao's quest stone and mermaid's tear. A few seconds later, a majestic voice came out of the air. The trial mission is over, start returning. The divine summer tower's shadow shone brightly, illuminating everyone. Everyone was quickly teleported back. After a dozen seconds or so, they had returned to the subterranean dragon academy. Back. The trial is over. Phew, fortunately all of them came back alive. Nonsense, it's not that easy to get into trouble. Every year, there are at least a hundred or so trials in each academy, when have you ever heard of a dead person? Low-level trials don't kill people, but the top colleges, with level 30 or above professionals, kill a lot of people every year. Nonsense, that's for sure. To them, our trials are just playing house and fooling around. Subterranean Dragon Academy was very lively, everyone kept talking about this trial. The one who talked about it the most was still Lin Mou. If it wasn't for Lin Mou this time, it was estimated that they would still have to face off with the people from the Sakura Kingdom. In the end, it was hard to say if they would be able to snatch the copy from the other side. After all, the other party had a not so low ranking young master. Ning Yi's small face turned pale again, the long distance teleportation making her very uncomfortable. In the future, we must find a close place for the trial. Too far away for this young lady to go. Ning Yi slumped on the table, breathless as a dead fish. Jiang Tao Tao wore a smile on her face, and she relaxed when she came back. Thank you. This trial is very important to me. She sincerely thanked Lin Mou. Lin Mou shook her head, indicating that there was no need to thank her. Ning Yi finally came back to her senses, Sister Peach doesn't need to be polite with Mou, although Mou doesn't say much, he's very nice. Ning Yi actually hadn't spent much time with Lin Mou. But it was just so strange, Ning Yi just completely trusted Lin Mou. Silence. A low shout came from the air. Everyone looked up. Only to see a person standing in the void. Feet on the void, level 70, third turn professional. Lin Mashian's heart stood in awe. After a professional reached level 70 and completed the third turn, they could step on the void and have the ability to fly. This was true for any professional. Even if you were a life class professional. Of course, there were some individual professionals who had the ability to fly early on. For example, Inyang masters, who could borrow their gods to fly. That was a different story. This is our dean, Dean Hongshan. Ning Yi Yi whispered in Lin Ma Yu's ear. Lin Mo Yu nodded slightly, admiration in her gaze. Any professional who could complete the third turn was worthy of admiration. In the textbooks of high school, it was once said that the third turn was extremely difficult. There were less than 1% of professionals who could complete the third turn. Such a character was naturally worthy of admiration. As for characters like the White God, they were even more rare. The country couldn't even produce a few. Dean Hongshan swept his gaze over the crowd, satisfied. This trial has ended, the process of the trial, the results, are being analyzed. The final results will be sent to your communicators later. You should keep in mind that the most important thing about the trial is not the results, but the process. Enjoying the process, eliminating fear, and retaining the belief of certain victory is the purpose of the trial. Being able to complete the trial without casualties and return safely is more important than anything else. It is rumored that you encountered Sakura Nation's professionals during this trial. We will analyze the specifics. Those who perform well will naturally have a chance to enter the top academies. Have a good rest now. Dean Hongshan turned to leave after he finished speaking. Ning Yi let out a long exhale, time and time again, it's the same old thing every time, can't you be a little bit new? Zhang Tao Tao smiled, as if coaxing a child, just listen to it, it's also considered encouragement. Ning Yi hummed, no need for encouragement, every time you take the top colleges to tempt people, what's the big deal? Zhang Tao Tao laughed even more happily, to you it's no big deal, to us it's different. Ning Yi -E didn't say anything anymore, she knew that Zhang Tao Tao wanted to enter the top academy very much. Also in the Xiaojing Academy, ordinary trainees, trainees of the various academies, trainees of the top academies, there was a big difference among them whether it was ordinary trainees or trainees from various academies, they all took pride in joining the top academies. Zhang Tao Tao divided up the copy harvest this time. Lin Mashian also took out what he had obtained in the back. 
although he and Ning Yi were the two who swiped the copies in the last two rounds. However, he insisted that we were all on the same team and the harvest had to be shared equally. After dividing the dirt, Ning Yi and Lin Mojing headed to the Imperial Exchange together. Lin Mou had no use for these things and planned to sell them for gold coins. Ning Yi didn't care about money even more, and she even shoved her share all over to Lin Mojing. The reason was that she didn't have room in her storage space. That's a hell of a reason to believe. The storage space wasn't small, so how could there be no room for it? Lin Mou didn't reject her good intentions and accepted them all after this time, the relationship between the two seemed to have changed somewhat again, and there was no need to count on some things. At the Imperial Exchange, sold all the useless silver equipment. This time, a silver level mermaid queen dagger came out from the copy. Lin Mou originally wanted to give the dagger to Ning Yi. However, Ning Yi took out a better dagger and waved it in front of Lin Mou. It was the same silver rank, with stronger attributes. Black iron level corresponded to levels below 10. Bronze was equipment used between levels 10-20. After level 20 it could be replaced with stronger silver level equipment. The same silver equipment, the best and the worst silver equipment, the difference in attributes is not small. Human 553 Fish Queen is a level 24 boss, and the copy level is only a level 20 copy. The silver level weapons it dropped could only be considered average in terms of attributes. The only benefit was that the Mermaid Queen's weapons had a more beautiful appearance silver level weapons were priced at 50,000 to 200,000 in the Imperial Exchange. The Mermaid Queen's weapon was basically priced right around $70,000. Lin Moshian sold the two Mermaid Queen's weapons, and with the materials he obtained this time, he exchanged them for 180,000 gold coins. Don't you need weapons? Ning Yi -E saw that Lin Mou was empty-handed. Originally, there was also a magic book, but Lin Moi was too troublesome and sold it anyway. Lin Mojing shook his head, it's useless to me. His profession was a necromancer, although it also carried the word mage, no matter if it was a staff or a magic book, the skill bonus attributes in it were ineffective for him. Lin Moshian thought that perhaps his profession had its own specialized equipment. That small amount of spirit bonus really wasn't very useful. Ning Yi let out an O, oh, you need to save up more money and then buy more primary skill scrolls. Before the second turn, you need to learn all of your beginner's profession skills. Lin Mou listened carefully, he didn't know this knowledge, Ning Yi knew it better than him. Ning Yi incarnated as teacher Ning and taught him earnestly. If you haven't learned all the primary skills, you'll only be able to use intermediate skill scrolls when you turn 2. By that time, if you awaken another primary skill, it would be a waste of the intermediate skill scroll. Listening to Ning Yi, Lin Mou understood. Intermediate skill scrolls could similarly awaken primary skills. The price difference between the two was a hundred times, so if one used an intermediate skill scroll and awakened a primary skill, it would be a real injustice. The communicator in Lin Mayu's hand suddenly rang. After connecting, a majestic voice came from the communicator. Lin Mou, come to the faculty office. Chapter 73, All Expected Director Cho of the Academic Affairs Office of the Academy stood respectfully at the side on the seat that originally belonged to him, Bai Yuan sat there with a big grin. Lin Mou arrived and was slightly surprised to see Bai Yuan. But there was no particular expression. Greetings, White God, meet Director Chiu. Bai Yuan smiled and waved towards Lin Mojing, I watched the images of this trial, you performed very well. Calling himself over just for this? Lin Mou said softly, just did what needed to be done. This trial was for the mermaid's tear, and Lin Mou didn't know what the mermaid's tear was actually used for even now. But since the academy had arranged it in such a way, the mermaid's tears were definitely useful. Bai Yuan's smile grew even more, not being arrogant in victory and not being discouraged in defeat, this was the best mentality to become a top powerhouse. Do you know the usefulness of the mermaid's tears? Lin Mou shook her head, not really sure Bai Yuan smiled, actually, not many in this trial know the role of the mermaid's tears. After all, there's too much of a difference in level, and most people won't be able to use it. The mermaid's tear relates to the success rate of awakening the talent during the second turn. Lin Moshian was slightly surprised in his heart. There was a chance to awaken a talent during the second turn, but this chance was too slim. Those who could awaken their talent were one in a million. He originally thought that it was just a matter of luck, but he didn't realize that there were props that could increase this probability. Although he was slightly surprised in his heart, on the surface Lin Mou still didn't show much, even his eyes didn't change. Bai Yuan failed to see the emotions that should be in Lin Mojing's eyes, instead he was a little disappointed. Of course, there are more props that can help awaken talent than just the mermaid's tear, only the mermaid's tear is relatively easy to obtain. Originally, we projected the location of the time when the mermaid island appeared, but we didn't expect the Sakura kingdom to project it as well, and that's what caused this trial to almost fail. Luckily, you were there, so this time you took great credit. In the Divine Summer Empire, one must be punished for having had, 
and one must be rewarded for having merited. I'll try my best to satisfy you if you have any rewards you want. By a Yuan said a whole lot, the last sentence was the key. Lin Mou thought for a moment, can you help me find someone? By a Yuan smiled, I knew you would mention this, didn't you come to the faculty office to check it out? Your sister Lin Mohan joined the academy last year, and joined the Creation God Academy at the beginning of this year, so you can only find her blank profile in the academy. All of the students who joined the Creation God Academy have blank profiles. Lin Mou was finally a bit shocked this time, sister joined the God Creation Academy? He knew how difficult it was to enter the Creation God Academy, as the top academy in the academy, its difficulty in joining was also ridiculously high Jiang Tada's ultimate dream was to join the God Creation Academy. Ning Yi had also told him that it was possible that he must join the God Creation Academy. The God Creation Academy always had a layer of mystery in his mind. He didn't expect his sister to go in first. Lin Mou realized that there was a problem. His own sister had entered the academy for less than half a year, so how could she join the God Creation Academy? One had to know that people like Zheng Tao Tao who were trained by the insiders of the academy had not been able to join the God Creation Academy. Bai Ye Yuan said, Lin Mohan did join the Creation God Academy, and according to the rules, I can't reveal to you what happened in the Creation God Academy. So if you have any questions, you can only join the Creation God Academy yourself and then ask your sister yourself. You probably won't be able to see your sister before you join the God Creation Academy. Lin Mou asked without hesitation, what do I have to do to join the God Creation Academy? Bai Ye Yuan had already prepared for this and operated on his own communicator a few times, and then Lin Mou's communicator prompted the receipt of some information. All right, I've already sent you the conditions for joining the God Creation Academy, you can take a look for yourself when you're free. About your sister, it was originally meant to be told to you, and doesn't count as your reward, you can mention another one. Lin Mou thought about it, I want a cooling talisman. Director Cho revealed an expression that said it all. Bai Yuan slapped the table and laughed out loud, Old Cho, I'm not wrong. Director Chiu laughed out loud, Your Excellency is truly as good as God at anticipating things, you hit them all. Both of Lin Muyu's requests were within Bai Yuan's expectations. Bai Yuan looked at Lin Muyue with a teasing smile, Do you know how high the value of a cooling talisman is? Even a primary cooling talisman is not something that can be bought casually. Lin Muyu nodded her head. It was true that it couldn't be bought, it wasn't even available in the academy exchange. Bai Yuan said, Things are one size fits all. You did very well in the grand exam and took the national first prize, the rewards that should be given have already been given to you, this matter is clear for us. You have merit in this trial mission, but this alone is not enough to exchange for a primary cooling amulet. I have a mission here, if you complete it, I'll help you go get a primary cooling amulet. Lin Mo Yan's eyes lit up, good. Having a primary cooling amulet was much more convenient for Lin Moshian. He could repeat the brush in a short period of time, and his upgrade speed could be greatly increased. Bai Yuan said, you should first level up to level 20 before you can go on this mission. As for how to upgrade, you can ask Director Chiu, he's an expert in this area. Alright, when you reach level 20, you can contact me again. Now Lin Mou had Bai Yuan's contact information in his communicator. He could contact Bai Yuan when he reached level 20. Get the cooling amulet, join the Creation Academy, and find his sister. Lin Mou set goals for himself. After Bai Yuan left, Director Cho finally sat back in the seat that belonged to him. With a smile on his face, he looked at Lin Mou. From Bai Yuan's attitude just now, he could tell that Bai Yuan thought highly of the young man in front of him. He knew too well what Bai Yuan was like normally, and over the years, he had never seen Bai Yuan be so pleasant to anyone even the gang of top geniuses in the Divine Creation Academy hadn't been scolded by Bai Yuan. Bai Yuan's attitude towards Lin Mou had completely surpassed the other students. If he didn't know Lin Mayu's identity, he would have to wonder if Lin Mou could be Bai Yuan's illegitimate son. Director Chiu smiled and said. There are many ways to upgrade, but the fastest way is definitely to single brush a copy. It's just that single brush copies are so difficult and dangerous that the average person will at best brush the normal difficulty, and probably won't even fight the final boss because they can't beat it. In addition to single brush copies, there are also elite monster zones where you can find the wild, and there are quite a few such places. But those places also have a lot of people, and they often generate arguments over territory. There's also looking for those field bosses, field bosses can provide a lot of experience, more experience than copy bosses, and they can also obtain good equipment. But the wild boss is contracted by the major guilds, and those who don't know about it don't even know the refresh time. Director Chiu had said a variety of methods, and except for the method of brushing copies at the very beginning, which was a bit more reliable, all of the later methods were unreliable. These directions were only suitable for ordinary professionals and not for Lin Mou. Lin Mou understood this in her heart, but she was still very patient and kept listening. Although it wasn't useful to himself, it was still a point of knowledge. 
maybe one day it would be used. For example, Director Chiu mentioned the public oddity zones between countries, which was something Lin Mou hadn't heard of before. Director Chiu talked for 10 minutes without stopping. When he finally saw that Lin Mou didn't have any reaction, he finally became sullen Lord White God is really right, your words are really few. I've lost, I won't joke with you anymore. Give me your identity card and I'll do the paperwork for you. Lin Mou handed over his identity card, and Director Chiu quickly gave him the formalities, while also handing Lin Mou a somewhat special looking teleportation stone. This is a teleportation stone for the replica hall. Within the boundaries of the academy, you can use it to teleport into the academy's duplicate hall. If you want to brush up on your copies, go there. By the way, this teleportation stone, worth 1000 points, has already been deducted from your points card. In the academy, everything was a trade offense. If you want something, you have to pay the corresponding price. Either labor, or points, or gold coins. There was no such thing as pie in the sky. After leaving the academic affairs office, Lin Mou first thought of contacting Ning Yi having promised to bring her upgrades, naturally she couldn't go back on her word. The communicator vibrated and received a message from Ning Yi. Something came up, leaving for a few days, come back in contact. Chapter 74, Vice Temple, Spending Small Sums to Do Big Things Ning Yi was away on something. Perhaps she had gone to do some mission again. The first time I saw Ning Yi, she was also doing a quest. Lin Mou didn't think it was that strange. In the Xiaojing Academy, everyone was busy and nothing was really empty. In a few days, all the new students who had been admitted to the Xiaojing Academy this year would arrive. At that time, classes would be held uniformly in the Academy and it would become even busier. Lin Mou didn't rush to activate the teleportation stone, but instead checked up on the information Bai Yuan had sent him. Requirements for entering the Creation Academy Level over 30 With just the first point of requirements, Lin Mou was unconsciously shocked in his heart. Sister over level 30? So fast. From the information revealed by Bai Yuan, Lin Mo Han had joined the God Creation Academy just three or four months after entering the academy. In other words, in just three or four months, Lin Mo Han had risen from level 16 to level 30. This speed was somewhat astonishingly fast. Normally, it would take about a year to go from level 20 to 30. Unless Lin Mo Han was also able to solo nightmare level copies like him. But such people were few and far between. Lin Mo Yen couldn't figure out how Lin Mohan was able to carry out his upgrades. He could only ask Lin Mohan when he saw him. After reading the leveling requirements, Lin Mo Yen continued to look at the second requirement. Pass the level 30 copy, Abyssal Front, Difficulty Requirement Hell Level. This one seemed a bit difficult. Hell Level difficulty was again much harder than Nightmare Level. To pass through a Hell Level difficulty copy, there were all-encompassing requirements for professions, psychology, techniques, equipment, and skills ordinary teams wouldn't even think of passing. Only extremely elite teams could pass. When I'm level 30, try to see if I can solo. Lin Mashian thought, he hadn't even thought about forming a 553 team. How could forming a team be as painful as solo brushing? Third requirement, contribution points of 1000. Contribution points were not points. Only by completing the task set by the academy, or doing something favorable to the academy, could one obtain contribution points. Like this Mermaid Island trial, he would be able to obtain some contribution points. As for how many he could obtain, it was currently unknown. Contribution points were necessary to enter the top academies, which was why Jiang Tao Tao said that the trial was important to her. If she wanted to join the top academies, she had to obtain enough contribution points. The requirements were merely three, which was not saying much but none of them were simple. After writing them down, Lin Mashian activated the teleportation stone. A burst of clamor came from his ears, appearing unusually lively. A copy of the buried bone land, normal difficulty, lacking mages around level 25, preferably proficient in fire skills. Blood fight orc legion copy, nightmare difficulty, lacking nurse, level 22 to 25 are available, requires proficiency in healing, full set of bronze equipment from. Black Knight Tower, Nightmare Difficulty, come to a level 30 or above Knight, requires silver equipment full set, master teammate shelter skill. Lin Mou looked at the environment that was like a food market and looked a little less adapted. The duplicate hall, that is, was inside the academy, but could not be reached by ordinary methods. Only after passing the audit of the academic affairs office and determining that they had the qualifications to enter, and then paying 1000 points to purchase a special teleportation stone, would they be qualified to come in originally, Lin Mou thought that the replica hall should be solemn and sacred. But now at a glance, it was like a food market. A large number of trainees were soliciting players here, sitting on the ground one by one, holding up signs and writing requirements. At the same time also from time to time yell on two sentences. The appearance, and the various copies of the doorway is not much different. 
Lin Mou even doubted that this was really a replica hall? Was it possible that he had come to the wrong place? The line of sight crossed over these people and saw a huge hall. This was the replica hall, right? Lin Mou raised his leg and walked in. All the noisy sounds disappeared the moment he stepped into the duplicate hall. There were also people talking in the duplicate hall, only that they all lowered their voices at the same time, there was also a strange sound that surrounded his ears in the hall of replicas. A single copy entrance shaped like a whirlpool was distributed in all corners of the hall. The sound was transmitted from these replica entrances. According to the differences in each copy, the sound transmitted was also different. There were hundreds of replica entrances like this, and the various sounds intertwined together to form a very peculiar sound. There was a crystal ball at the entrance of each replica. The crystal ball explained the name of the replica, the level requirements, the entry rules, the cooldown time, and a series of other information. When he was in West Sea First High School, Lin Mashua knew that the Imperial level held a large amount of replica resources. Unexpectedly, the Xiaojing Academy unexpectedly also held a large amount of replica resources. In this world, there were countless copies it seemed reasonable for the No. One school of the Divine Summer Empire to hold a layer of replica resources. After all, an existence like the White God was similarly from the Xiaojing school. More accurately, a large portion of the top powerhouses in the Divine Summer Empire came from the Xiaojing Academy. Above the entrance vortex of each copy, there was a curtain of light hanging down. The light curtain contained a record of this copy. Lin Mou observed that only the top three were recorded in the light screen, and only the highest difficulty was recorded. If this copy had held difficulty, then only the top three in held difficulty would be recorded. If there was only nightmare difficulty, then it would be the top three in nightmare difficulty. It included the time of clearance, the names of the team members. Each team member's level, occupation, and other information. This would also serve as a reference. Other teams could copy their homework if they wanted to rate a copy after other people's teams have rated time and time again, they have already found a very good configuration. If you could find a better one and set a new record, then of course it would be better. Setting it up this way has the meaning of a competitive race. It would make the teams want to go for first place. It was a great honor to appear on the replica rankings. Classmate. A soft voice suddenly came from behind Lin Mou. Lin Mou turned her head to look, a female cadet in her early twenties was standing behind her. She took a deep breath and gathered her courage, Hello classmate, this is your first time in the duplicate hall, right? Lin Mashue nodded. She continued, My name is Xu Han, I can introduce you to everything in the replica hall. There was no such thing as a free lunch, and pies wouldn't fall from the sky. Especially in the Xiaojing Academy, one had to give something to get something. Lin Mou asked, How much? Xu Han immediately said, 100 points is enough. It could be seen that she was a little nervous. Perhaps it was the first time doing this kind of thing. 100 points. It didn't sound like a lot. But points were not good to earn. Actually, 100 points wasn't that little. Lin Mou did not respond for a while. Seeing that Lin Mou didn't agree, Xu Han hurriedly said again, 70 points is also fine. Just 100. Lin Mo Yen traded 100 points to Xu Han. After receiving the points, Xu Han let out a long sigh of relief and revealed a sweet smile, thank you classmate. The main function of the replica hall is to lead to the various replicas. In the entire replica hall, there are two replicas below level 20, 18 replicas from level 20 to 30, and 20 replicas from level 30 to 40. The rest are all level 40 to 70 replicas, and there are 52 of them. On top of that there are two large replicas and one mega replica. The total is 95 replicas. Large replicas were replicas with more than 40 people, and mega replicas were also known as 100 player replicas. Lin Mou asked, What about the level 70 or above replicas? Xu Han shook his head, Level 70 plus copies are not here. Lin Mou probably understood, it was estimated that level 70 and above replicas were all managed by the academy in a unified manner. It wouldn't be placed in the replica hall for people to come and go as they please. That kind of copy was a very important resource. The materials and equipment that appeared inside were very useful. Xu Han continued to talk about the various functions in the replica hall. For Lin Moshien, although it was just some information, even without Xu Han, he would have been able to figure it out sooner or later. But having someone to explain it would save him a lot of time. The cost was merely 100 points. He still had more than 130,000 points now, and 100 points was just a fraction of that. Every copy has a corresponding clearance record. If one can set a new record, one will be rewarded. The entry conditions of the replicas are also different, most of the replicas require that the basic level is up to standard, but some replicas will require an average level. There are also some special replicas that require the highest or lowest level in the team. There were many kinds of copies with different requirements. 
Lin Mou asked, is there any kind of replica that doesn't have level requirements? Shu Han shook his head, there used to be, but then people died in it, it was too dangerous. The academy then set a level requirement, less than the level won't allow entry. There are still quite a few replicas without level requirements in the wild. There was an essential difference between entering a replica through the replica hall and a replica in the wild, the security was completely different. Inside, one could exit the replica at any time, and once there was danger, one could choose to leave. The safety was greatly increased unless one was killed in seconds, it was not easy to die. In other words, the money wasn't spent in vain. From the level setting of the replica, the ranking competition. Lin Maxian saw that the academy was thinking about cultivating students. From low-level copies all the way to high-level copies, and it worked hard to ensure the safety of the trainees. The trainees who were able to enter the Xiaojing Academy were all talented, and losing one was enough for the academy to be heartbroken for half a day. Safety is naturally important. So also stipulated the copy level, what level into what kind of this? Do not allow overambitious. Chapter 75, turns out it's just a little guy who's less than level 20. Shu Han took the money and explained very carefully. Lin Mou had the feeling that she had spent a small amount of money to do a big thing. He felt that the 100 points were well spent. Through Shu Han's explanation, Lin Mou knew the specific rules in the replica hall. In addition to meeting the requirements of the replica itself, one needed to pay extra points to enter the replica in the Xiaojing Academy, everything had to be spoken in terms of points. Entering a replica was the same. The higher the level of the replica, the greater the amount of points required. Points could also be spent to eliminate the cooldown time of a copy. Even if there was no cooldown talisman, as long as there were enough points, it was possible to anti-replicate copies. Lin Maxian was slightly surprised in his heart. In this way, one's upgrading speed could definitely be accelerated a lot. Shu Han brought Lin Mo Yen to the center of the duplicate hall. There were some crystal balls arranged here. Shu Han explained, this is the mission center and team recruitment center of the duplicate hall. There are quite a few quests in the quest center, mainly collecting some materials, equipment, and some special items from each copy. You can complete missions in exchange for points, or you can issue your own missions to collect some materials and props. The team recruitment center is used to form teams. You can either post recruitment or join another team. These two functions were also very practical. But the prerequisite was points. Regardless of whether it was the mission center or the team recruitment center, it all required points. Points were required for posting missions, and the points gained from turning in missions were also subject to being siphoned off. Posting team recruitment required points, and only joining a team did not require points. In the Xiaojing Academy, points were hard currency and could not be separated from it anywhere. After spending more than half an hour before and after, Shu Han had already spoken to Lin Mou in detail about the situation in the replica hall. Classmate, is there anything else you don't understand? At this time, Lin Mou's communicator suddenly vibrated. He had received 50 contribution points, the score for this Mermaid Island trial it wasn't much, and it was still far from the 1000 contribution points required to join the Creation God Academy. Lin Mou asked, how do I get contribution points? Shu Han asked, classmate, are you asking about the contribution points of the Academy? Lin Mou nodded her head. Shu Han said, there are not many ways to obtain contribution points, participating in the trials organized by the Academy is one way. Completing the tasks set out by the Academy can also earn contribution points. In the task center, there are some tasks that are issued by the academy, and if you complete them, you can obtain a certain amount of contribution points. But these kinds of tasks are very sought after, and usually the tasks are completed by people not long after they are released. Everyone wants to obtain contribution points, and if you want to join the academy, contribution points are a must. Lin Muyue checked the mission center it was true that there were a few missions that were set up by the academy. But the contribution points that could be gained from completing the tasks were very few. It was usually 2 points, 3 points, and the most a mission had was only 10 points. It's hard to get contribution points. Lin Mou suddenly felt that he could obtain 50 contribution points, which was considered very much. It was estimated that Zhang Tao Tao's few people wouldn't be able to obtain more contribution points than themselves. The communicator rang. After connecting it came Duan Gao's excited voice. Silence, how many contribution points did you get ah, I got 20 points ah, I've earned a lot this time. Sister Peach got 30 points, it made her so happy. Lin Mou said softly, 50 points. I'll go. Sister Peach is right, you're definitely the one with the most points. Boy, getting 50 points at once tops several of my quests. If there's another trial mission in the future, I'll definitely team up with you, I want to hug my thigh. Duan Gao spoke excitedly over there before turning off the communication. Shu Han had already looked dumbfounded at the side. Surprisingly, one trial mission could get 50 contribution points. 
contribution points were very hard to come by. Not only Xu Han, the several people beside him were also dumbfounded. What kind of trial mission could get 50 contribution points? It wasn't like they hadn't done a trial mission before, it was usually just 5 or 10 points. Unless the performance is particularly good, maybe they can get 20 points. Getting 50 points in one go, unless it was one of those advanced trial tasks after the second turn, they had never even heard of it. It's a lie, how could there be such a high contribution score? I haven't heard of any high-level trial quests lately, and looking at him, his level doesn't seem to be very high. That's right, bragging. Lin Mou didn't care about the whispering crowd and said towards Xu Han, thank you. 100 points were well spent. Xu Han hurriedly shook his head, you're welcome, you paid for it. So are you going to find a team to paint a copy now? Lin Maxian came to a copy. Newton Forest, level 17 copy. The requirement was that professionals between level 15 and 19 could enter. In the Temple of Replicas, there were only two low-level replicas below level 20. The Mutant Forest copy was one of them. Entering the replica required 10 points and removing the replica's cooldown time required 40 points. The previous record for this copy was 58 minutes, set three years ago. The team that set the record consisted of five people. One knight, one seer, and three mages. Everyone was a level 19 professional. A full set of bronze equipment. The powerful configuration of three outputs allowed them to advance as fast as they could. This record had been held for three years and no one could break it. The second ranked record had reached one hour and 17 minutes, almost 20 minutes slower than Nemlin Mashua paid 10 points and chose nightmare difficulty to teleport into the copy. Seeing that Lin Mou had actually entered a low-level copy, the people in the copy hall exploded. I'll go, I thought it was a big shot from somewhere. Turns out it's just a little guy who's less than level 20. That's right, what kind of big tail wolf is he pretending to be here? Getting 50 contribution points for a trial quest, I think it's 50 points. But he's single-handedly brushing a copy alone, he's not small in guts. Begs for flowers. Hee <laughs> hee, maybe he'll come out grey in a while. A bunch of people completely didn't believe what Lin Mashua had just said, gaining 50 contribution points from a single trial quest was simply a fantasy. Now that they saw that Lin Mo Yen had actually entered a low-level copy, they couldn't help but mock it feeling that Lin Mo Yen was just talking big. However, Xu Han felt that Lin Mo Yen wasn't talking nonsense Lin Mojin gave her a strange feeling. It was as if he was filled with confidence and had the illusion of strategizing. Perhaps, what he said is true. This thought popped up in the bottom of Xu Han's heart, and even she herself was startled. 50 contribution points, ah, how outstanding a performance does one have to be to obtain it? She didn't even dare to think about it. Lin Mo Yu found herself in an ancient forest. The wind blew the leaves of the trees, making rustling sounds. Underneath her feet was a thick layer of dead leaves. It seemed like no one had set foot in it for countless years. From time to time, the roars of wild beasts came from the forest, which was frightening. Standing outside the forest, one could see wild beasts roaming in the forest. The mutant forest, the beasts inside were affected by mysterious forces and mutated. The wild beasts turned into terrifying ferocious beasts. There were bears, tigers, and wolves of all kinds besides the ones visible to the naked eye, there are also some hidden in the trees. For example, all kinds of snakes and mutated insects. If one wasn't careful in the forest, they would be attacked. Break the record and get a reward. Lin Mashian thought in his mind for a moment. A large number of skeleton warriors appeared by his side. A whole 108 skeleton warriors, not a single one. The skeleton warriors that had been injured by the mermaid queen earlier had now completely recovered. Go. The skeleton warriors charged into the mutant forest with a unique clicking sound. Mutant Grizzly, Reinforced Elite Monster. Level, 17. Strength, 1400. Agility, 1000. Spirit, 500. Physique, 1600. Skill, Roaring Attack. Mutant White Tiger, Enhanced Elite Monster, comma. Level, 18. Strength, 1700. Agility, 1500. Spirit, 400. Physique, 1500. Skill, Roar. The attributes of the two ferocious beasts were viewed consecutively with the detection technique. Compared to the skeleton warrior's four-dimensional attributes of up to 5,400, there was no comparison at all the skeleton warrior rushed into the forest like a tiger into a flock of sheep, charging all the way across. Each monster was slashed up to three times and was directly decapitated. Killed level 17 mutant grizzly bear, experience plus 6,000. Obtained animal skin asterisk 5. Kill level 18 mutant white tiger, experience plus 7000. Obtained animal skin asterisk 4. Tip swipes the screen. The experience value steadily increased. 
When I entered the copy, the experience was 17, 32. 57%. I wonder how much the experience will be mentioned after brushing the copy. Geo. Chapter 76, Super Hard Turtle, New Record. Following the skeleton army, Lin Moshian walked through the dangerous mutant forest as if he were walking on the ground. There were quite a few monsters in the forest, but they were too scattered. Lin Moshiwe didn't even bother to drag the monsters. He might as well kill them directly, anyway, without using skills, three slashes apiece with skills, two slashes apiece. The efficiency is not low. Completely horizontal push. Even if Lin Moyu walked slower, he would not be able to keep up with the pace of the skeleton warriors. Lin Mashiwe was almost jogging all the way forward to keep up. Ha! Huh? Are there no alpha-level monsters in this copy? Advancing all the way through, he didn't come across a single alpha-level monster. The most they encountered was two groups of wolves. The skeleton warriors surrounded them and killed them, directly exterminating them. Even Lin Mashiwe didn't even have time to use corpse burst, and by the time he arrived, the battle was already over. In Lin Moyu's feeling, the copy was even easier than the West Sea Mines copy. However, the copy map was very large and without any sense of direction, Lin Moyu almost got lost several times. After having been around the copy for 30 minutes, he finally came to the end of the copy a good-sized water pool, a few large-sized ferocious beasts were napping on the side of the water pool. I've seen wolf packs, I've seen dog packs, and I've seen snake dens. It was still the first time that I had seen a monstrous group of tigers and bears. It's really out of the ordinary. Mutated ferocious beasts would actually gather together. It's hard to believe that it has intelligence. In front of them, two dog bears and two tigers formed a strange group. The dog bears and tigers were particularly tall. Especially the dog bears, standing up, they were feared to be more than five meters tall. Although they were a bit surprised, they were nothing more than experience in Lin Mashian's eyes. The skeleton warriors charged up without the slightest hesitation. There was no artistic sense of battle, it was the simplest and crudest siege. Without even giving Lin Moyu the chance to use the detection technique, both the dog bear and the tiger had already fallen under the skeleton warrior's blade with a loud boom, a huge column of water rose from the waterhole. A huge turtle-shaped beast climbed up from the water pool. The turtle was carrying a thick tortoise armor that covered its entire body like armor. The diameter of the turtle armor reached over 5 meters, which was very large. The turtle's mouth was open, revealing rows of sharp pointed teeth. Behind it was a tail as long and thin as a whip, and the tail was covered with sharp spikes. The turtle crawled out from the water pool and let out a sharp roar. Mutant Augur Turtle, Leader Class Monster. Level, 19. Strength, 4000. Agility, 500. Spirit, 500. Physique, 7000. Skills, Tear, Sweep, Super Defense Skills, Tear, Sweep, Super Defense. This boss had a super high physique, which had surpassed the Skeleton Warrior and was even higher than the level 24 Mermaid Queen. Such a high physique attribute meant that its vitality and defense were very strong the strength was slightly weaker, but it wasn't to be underestimated, and was equally capable of dealing damage to the skeleton warrior. While Lin Moshian was checking the attributes of the mutant Chao turtle, the skeleton warriors had already surrounded it. The large swords landed on the turtle's armor, making a sound like hitting iron. The turtle used its teeth to viciously bite the skeleton warrior, while its long tail also lashed at the skeleton warrior like a whip. The difference in size between the two sides was huge, the skeleton warrior was hit by its tail, although it didn't suffer any injuries, but unfortunately the large force still sent the skeleton warrior flying. The tail was usually shrunk in the turtle armor, but once it started to whip people it stretched out all the way. The tail was very long, at least 10 meters. Every time it lashed, it could whip out several skeleton warriors. The skeleton warriors jumped onto it and kept slashing at the turtle shell with their large swords its physique was too high, and its defense and vitality were extremely powerful. The attacks that landed on it didn't do much damage to it. Agility and spirit are too low. It's useless even if the strength is too high to hit someone. A red light emerged from Lin Moshian's palm. Skill, slow speed curse. A red aura fell like a large net. A red shackle pattern appeared above the head of the mutant Zhao turtle. The speed dropped greatly under the curse. The frequency of the mutant Zhao turtle's attacks slowed down by a full double, looking like it was slowing down its movements. It seemed to realize that its situation was not good. It simply shrunk its entire body into the turtle shell. 
A shimmering light emanated from its body. Skill, super strong defense. In the shimmering light, Lin Mashian saw that its wounds were rapidly recovering. Just now, the skeleton warrior was able to inflict a little damage on it, but now it just couldn't do even a little damage. Even the wounds it had inflicted earlier were recovering. The super high physique attribute, coupled with the skill bonus. The mutant auger turtle had transformed into a copper wall at this point. There must be something I've overlooked. Lin Mashian thought. If he couldn't even defeat his skeleton warrior, other professions would be even less likely to impress. Then how did the others get through the copy? Lin Mashua suddenly realized what the problem was in the top three ranked teams, the output position choices were all legal professions. There wasn't a single melee, archer, or other physical professions. It's afraid of elemental attacks. Flames immediately appeared in his palm. Skill, Soul Flame. A flame also appeared on top of the mutant Zhao Turtle's head at the same time. The flame quickly disappeared into its body. The originally motionless mutant Zhao Beast struggled violently, while breaking out into earth-shattering screams. After all, Lin Muyua was also a mage, that is, he had the super strong physical attack power of a skeleton warrior, and the attack power of his own magic skills was also very considerable. What's more, it was a spirit attack that was enhanced by a full 20 levels and ignored defense. It was even more terrifying than the elemental attacks of an elemental mage. Finding it effective, Lin Mashian continued to cast Soul Flame. The mutant Zhao Turtle screamed continuously, and the huge turtle body was vibrating it finally couldn't help but attempt to rush over and attack Lin Mouyu. However, the skeleton warrior firmly blocked it, not giving it any chance. When it stretched out its head and feet, the skeleton warrior seized the opportunity and avoided the turtle shell to greet its head and feet. Red light emerged from the skeleton warrior's greatswords, and skills were unleashed. Flesh and blood flew around for a while. The mutant Chao turtle screamed even more violently. Lin Mashian cast soul flame over and over again, his spiritual energy was being drastically consumed. He took out a bottle of primary spirit potion and directly poured it down to replenish his spiritual energy. The life force of the mutant Zhao Turtle was too strong, Lin Mo Yan felt that he wouldn't necessarily be able to kill the other party even if he exhausted his spiritual energy. By then it would be back to square one. Suddenly he thought of a way. Flip it over. With a command, the skeletal warriors immediately exerted their force together. A huge amount of power was focused and erupted, and with a loud boom the mutant auger turtle was flipped over. The soft flesh on its stomach was immediately exposed. Without the protection of the turtle shell, the skeleton warriors had a use for it, and each slash was able to inflict a considerable amount of damage. The mutant Zhao turtle kept struggling, but no matter how much it struggled, it couldn't turn itself over again. Blood flowed all over the ground, coloring the water pool red. The mutant Zhao turtle's struggles were getting weaker and weaker. After the skeleton warriors continued to attack for three minutes, the mutant Zhao turtle was finally killed. Killed the mutant Zhao Turtle, experience plus 150,000. Obtained bronze level weapon, Zhao Turtle fist gloves. Obtained bronze level defense, Zhao Turtle heavy armor. Obtained low level monster core. Zhao Turtle fist gloves, bronze level, strength plus 20, physique plus 20, boxer skill power increased by 6%, available after level 12, Zhao Turtle heavy armor, bronze level, physique plus 30, defense department skill power increased by 6%, available after level 12. Two pieces of equipment bronze equipment, Lin Mashian just looked at them and put them away. Looking at the experience, the entire copy had increased from 32. 57% to 67%. Almost a boost of less than 35% experience. With one more brush, he would be able to rise to level 18. At the same time that Lin Mashian successfully killed the mutant Zhao Turtle, the replica hall immediately rang a bell. The sound of the bell resounded throughout the space of the duplicate hall. It rang three times in a row. Both those inside and outside the hall heard it. I'll go, someone has set a new replica record. It's been a while since a new record was born. Quickly go and take a look, which big brother is it, so we can hug our thighs in the future. I didn't see an elite team enter the book just now, how strange. For a while, no one was yelling either. The people outside the hall flocked in. Fortunately, the hall was large enough and remained spacious after accommodating hundreds of people. On the mutant forest replica, the light screen was emitting a brilliant light that captured everyone's eyes. A brand new record had appeared on it. Chapter 77 No one can break it in a hundred years. Hundreds of pairs of eyes were present, and none of them dared to believe the newly appeared record. There were constant sounds of saliva swallowing. Some people pointed their fingers at the new record on the light screen, revealing expressions of disbelief. Is this possible? One person soloed the nightmare copy. Even though it's only a low-level 17 copy, it's not something a person can brush. This isn't even the key, the most crucial time. 
He only used 50 minutes, a full 9 minutes faster than the previous record. How did he do it? This occupation called Lin Moshian is a necromancer what kind of occupation is that? How come I've never heard of it? Everyone shook their heads. I've never heard of it either, it should be a new occupation. Yes, it's definitely a new profession, never heard of this profession before. Could it be a legend level occupation? Amidst the chatter, Lin Moshian appeared at the entrance of the replica. It's out, he's out. Classmate, how did you do it? Although there are also people who can solo nightmare level copies, how did you manage to solo and break the record? Big brother, can you take me? Lin Mashiwe was surrounded by a group of people, the corners of his mouth twitching slightly. He looked up and saw the new record he had set and understood what was going on. He then chose to pay the points to eliminate the cooldown. In the next second, Lin Mashiwe entered the copy again. Went in again. Another solo brush? Another solo brush? Isn't he tired? 14. Let's not crowd around, it'll scare him, after all, he's only level 17. That's right, someone is level 30, and just now he called NPC and begged to be taken. Be shameless. Amidst the chatter, the crowd finally dispersed for the most part. Shu Han was also in the crowd, and on her face was a shock that couldn't be dispersed. That's really awesome. Could it be true that he gained 50 contribution points in the trial? Just after entering the replica, a vibration came from Lin Muyue's communicator. A message entered the communicator. Setting a new record for the mutant forest copy, gaining 1,000 points and 5 contribution points. Can only be obtained once? Lin Muyue was slightly stunned, so it turned out that creating a new record for a duplicate was not only rewarded with points, but also contribution points. It was a pity that it could only be obtained once. But this was also right, otherwise there would be a loophole to exploit experienced teams could completely control the time and improve it by a few seconds each time. Then they could continuously set new records, and in turn swipe a large amount of contribution points. It was naturally impossible for the academy to leave such a loophole. Regardless, being able to gain contribution points was an unexpected blessing. Lin Mashian just wanted to practice leveling, quite simply. The skeleton warriors had already rushed out. The 108 skeleton warriors once again swept through the ferocious beasts and monsters in the forest like a tiger entering a flock of sheep. With the experience from last time, they didn't get lost this time and were much faster. In just 20 minutes, Lin Mashian had already arrived at the end of the copy. The skeleton warriors swarmed up, and in the blink of an eye, there were four more corpses at the edge of the water pool. Water columns rose to the sky as the final boss mutant Jiao Turtle crawled out of the water pool boom. 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 Skill, corpse burst. With four consecutive loud bangs, the mutant auger turtle died before it could make its way out. Accompanied by a large number of water splashes exploding into the sky, the pool of water suddenly shortened by several points. A large crater appeared on the ground, and the mutant Jiao turtle was blown up all over. Flip it over. The skeleton warriors had been preparing for a long time and swarmed up. No one would ever use this type of fight. No other profession could have so many summons. With the mutant Jiao turtle's size and weight, it was impossible to topple it. The mutant Jiao turtle fell on all fours with a miserable scream, revealing the weakest part of its defense. From this moment on, its fate was sealed. In fact, from the moment it crawled out of the water pool, its fate was sealed. The skeleton warriors swarmed up and used their skills. Skill, Berserk Strike. A large knife with a reddish glow landed on its belly blood rushed out like a fountain. It didn't know how much smoother it was than last time, first being confused by the corpses exploding in all directions, and then suffering the full force of the skeleton warriors' blows in the back. In just one minute, the mutant Jiao Turtle had already died. Killed the mutant Jiao Turtle, experience plus 150,000. Obtained bronze level weapon, Jiao Turtle Longbow. Acquired low level monster crystal core. Augur Turtle Long Bao, bronze level, agility plus 40, bow skill power increased by 6%, available after level 12. Obtained low level monster crystal core. In the replica hall, the bell sounded again. The people who had just walked out of the replica hall not long ago ran back again. What's going on? Why is there a new record? How come it's still the mutant forest and the score has been raised again? I'll go, this achievement is going against the heavens. I'm going to faint, who can tell me that this isn't real, it's impossible this kind of achievement. The new record time was set at 24 minutes and 32 seconds. Not only did it cross the gate of 30 minutes, but it also surpassed 25 minutes. The previous record, held for over 3 years, was 58 minutes. And it was still set by a team of 5 people in a near-perfect configuration. Which was like Lin Muyue, single-handedly creating a record that outsiders couldn't even imagine. It was very difficult to break the original record. 
otherwise the original record wouldn't have been hanging around for more than three years. I bet that no one can break this record in a hundred years. What hundred years, I'd say that no one will be able to break it in five hundred years. Totally not giving people a chance to live. Do you think he'll go brush another copy and set a new record? It's very likely. I just can't figure out how he managed to do that old turtle boss at the end of the mutant forest copy, hard as anything. That turtle has a ridiculously high physique and is nearly immune to physical attacks, only elemental attacks can damage him. His profession is a necromancer, it's normal that he knows elemental attacks. It's just that it's too fast, I used to fight this copy and it took me an hour just to fight the turtle. I really don't know how he did it, it's too powerful. Lin Mashua's whole body was glowing at this moment, as the mutant auger turtle fell, Lin Mashua finally upgraded. It reached level 18. It had been less than half a month since his transfer. He had risen all the way from level 1 to level 18. The speed was astonishingly fast. The attributes had risen once again, and the skeleton warrior's four-dimensional attributes were already as high as 5800. After these two copy experiences, Lin Mashian also saw the flaws of the skeleton warrior. Although the physical attack was powerful, it was too one-dimensional if they encountered some monsters with extremely high physical defense, the role of the skeleton warrior would be greatly diminished or even lost. The soul flame skill could make up for the shortcomings, but it wasn't efficient enough against bosses and was limited by the total amount of spirit. Necromancers, there shouldn't be only skeleton warriors. Cheer up an upgrade, when you're level 20, buy some skill scrolls and see if you can get new skills. He didn't plan to use skill scrolls again until he was level 20. 553. Even if the level 10 skills were still available, the success rate of skill scrolls was greatly reduced. It would be better to wait until level 20 to use a batch together. His profession was special, there was no way he could use other methods to acquire skills like other professions. Skill scrolls were his only option. Lin Mashian didn't even know how many skills he had, who made him the first necromancer and a unique profession there wasn't even a reference. Then he could only use as many skill scrolls as possible to get all the skills. It was fine when it came to beginners, 100,000 for a beginner skill scroll wasn't that expensive. But when it came to intermediate skill scrolls, the price skyrocketed to 10 million, and that was a bit scary. Take one step at a time, don't think too much. Lin Mashian appeared outside the copy. He realized that once again, he was surrounded. But this time, everyone wasn't like last time, this one was much calmer. Classmate, can you reveal how you killed the mutant Jiao turtle? Yes classmate, why were you able to fight so fast, is there any trick to it, share it. Many people humbly wanted to ask Lin Mou for advice. Lin Mou said lightly, just flip it over. Flip it over? The crowd was enlightened. Someone exclaimed, right, why didn't I think of that? This old turtle, the shell is hard, but the meat on his belly is still soft. That's right, wouldn't it be better to lift him over? Student Lin Muyue is really a talent to think of such a good solution. In the midst of the crowd's murmurs, Lin Mashiue had already walked towards the copy next to him. Level 20 copy, The Spider's Lair. The entry conditions were level 18 to 22. Minimum level 18 to enter, maximum not to exceed level 22. Chapter 78, Leveling Mecha, Material Mecha. There were only two level 20 replicas below level 20. Mutant Forest and Spider Lair. The Mutant Forest was a level 17 copy with the lowest requirements, and the level requirement for entrance was between level 15 and 19. The Spider's Lair was a level 20 copy, with requirements between level 18 and 22. Just by going through these two replicas, one could see that the Academy had a strict level limit for replicas. From there, a perfect mechanism for training trainees was also formed. As the trainees gradually rose in level and became more and more experienced in combat, this requirement would gradually be relaxed nightmare difficulty, enter the replica. After spending 10 points, Lin Mashian entered the copy. The wind came through the cave like the sound of a baby crying. The wind came in gusts, and the sound was intermittent and frightening. The cave was incredibly dim, and it was hard to see with Lin Mojing's sight. A flame appeared in his palm. Soul flames that didn't have a target, just stayed on Lin Mojing's palm for illumination. The flame wasn't very strong, and the area it could illuminate wasn't much. Lin Mashiwe could probably see the environment he was in. There were rock walls all around, and there was only one passageway that could accommodate two people to pass through side by side, not knowing where it led to. The rock wall was covered with tiny holes, the small ones were only the size of a thumbnail, and the big ones could be stuffed into a fist. There was a lot of spider silk overhead the sound of the wind with the sound of the spiders as they crawled was creepy. The copy was called the spider lair, and this was the world that belonged to spiders. A large number of skeleton warriors appeared, and the dim soul fire acted as a torch, reflecting a large number of shadows. The skeleton warriors rushed out along the passageway. The environment in the spider's lair was very complicated and twisted. 
the skeleton warriors spread out and ran through the cavern. A map that was expanding and generating appeared in Lin Moshian's mind. There were countless caves in the entire lair, caves one after another. Some caves even had several exits. They were connected to each other, forming a labyrinth-like structure like a beehive. The skeleton warriors kept spreading out, moving forward individually. Soon, some skeleton warriors encountered monsters. Both sides engaged in battle. Kill level 20 Scarlet Spider, experience plus 9000. Acquired Spider Silk Asterisk 5. Kill level 19 Hairy Spider, experience plus 8000. Acquired Spider Silk Asterisk 4. Messages kept popping up as the skeleton warriors fell into combat, and the map advancement slowed down rapidly there were many monsters and they were dense. Judging from the experience, they were elite monsters that belonged to the reinforced type. The skeleton warriors encountered attacks almost every few steps. Spiders tended to sneak up on them, and they usually lurked at the top of the cave. They would attack when a prey passed by. Lin Moshian followed the already cleared path through the cavern. The first time he entered a copy of this kind of environment, Lin Moshiwa appeared to be cautious. Suddenly a fine sound rang in his ears. In the dim light, a small spider crawled out of the surrounding rock wall. Each small spider was less than the size of a fist. Densely packed, in the blink of an eye it had covered the entire cave. There were at least a few hundred of them, surrounding Lin Moshian's small spider. Level, 18. Strength, 200. Agility, 200. Spirit, 100. Physique, 200. Skills, none. Just ordinary monsters, even a few points weaker than ordinary monsters of the same level. However, the number was too much. There are many ants, but they can also die like ants. Lin Mou thought about how the top three ranked teams in the spider lair all had at least two mage professionals with them. Mages had extremely strong group attack abilities, presumably to deal with the situation at hand. Two copies of the spider lair and the mutant forest, the top ranked team is the same team. The time seems to be 1 hour and 12 minutes. And it's also been kept for 3 years. Lin Moshian thought in his heart, and the soul flame that was always burning in his palm had flown out. The flame landed on one of the small spiders. The soul flame after a 20-fold increase was enough to kill ordinary monsters of the same level in seconds. What's more, the small spider's physique was only 200, weaker than an ordinary monster of the same level 18 the little spider let out a mournful cry and instantly died. The firelight went out, and this small cave was plunged into endless darkness. Boom! A violent explosion swept through the cave. Deafening sounds resounded throughout the spider's nest. The nest rumbled and shook, waking up countless sleeping spiders. They had already crawled out before the skeleton warriors even arrived. Boom boom! There were two more sounds in a row, and the cave seemed like it was about to collapse. When Lin Mashua's palm lit up with fire again, there were no longer any small spiders alive in the cave. Lin Mashua was swiped by hundreds of messages. Killed level 18 small spider, experience plus 500. Killed level 18 small spider, experience plus 500. Acquired spider silk asterisk 1. Kill level 18 small spider, experience plus 500. Gain spider silk asterisk 1, kill level 18 small spider, experience plus 500. Although each small spider can only provide 500 experience value accumulated, 20 small spiders exceeded the level 18 enhanced elite monsters. Not to mention that wave just now, there were at least 3, 400 small spiders. It was equivalent to killing 20 or so reinforced elite monsters of the same level in one breath. Blood Prophet Lin Moshian's eyes glowed and a rare color of joy appeared on his ancient face. He had already discovered that in the various caves where the skeleton warriors were, they were already crawling with these small spiders. These small spiders had all been lured out by the sound of the explosion just now. Experience Sanctuary Lin Moshian thought. Then his face changed slightly. The skeleton warriors began to take damage. Small spiders crawled all over the skeleton warrior's body. The little spiders bit the skeleton warrior with their own teeth. The damage wasn't high, but it was fast. The skeleton warrior's life force was slowly decreasing. It really was true that many ants could bite an elephant after seeing how the skeleton warrior killed the dragon during the transfer, this scene switched primary and secondary and happened to the skeleton warrior. Lin Moshian's first reaction was to try to retrieve the skeleton warrior. But realized that there was no way to retrieve it because of the small spiders crawling on the skeleton warrior. The skeleton warrior didn't have group attack skills, and the large sword in his hand slashed down, and often only managed to cut down one small spider. Luckily, he could kill two or three of them. A drop in the bucket. The th come back. Lin Moshian's heart moved and immediately ordered the skeleton warrior to run back. Even if it was impossible to retrieve it, then run back. If they didn't leave again, they would definitely end up being gnawed clean by the small spiders. 
the skeleton warriors ran back with a body full of small spiders. Behind them, there were also a large number of spiders. There were small spiders as well as various enhanced elite spiders the skeleton warriors had conquered the copies time and time again, pushing invincible across the board, cutting down a large number of monsters like chopping melons and vegetables. It was the first time that they had escaped in such a sorry state. Lin Mou realized more and more that the skeleton warrior was still too one-dimensional. Although the attributes were high, they also had huge drawbacks and were too limited. Now he could only look forward to level 20 to see if any new skills would appear. A skeleton warrior appeared in sight. Lin Moshian raised his palm. Skill, corpse burst. Boom. With a violent explosion, the small spiders on the skeleton warrior's body died to nothing. Then there was a constant stream of skeleton warriors returning, and the explosions continued. The entire spider lair shook more than once, as if it would collapse at any moment. Lin Moshian used the corpse explosions to advance all the way, his experience soaring like a rocket in the replica hall. A group of people saw Lin Moshiwe enter the spider lair copy. He's not going to set a new record again. It's hard to say, but the spider's lair is a good copy. If I wasn't already over level 22, I'd really want to go back and brush it a few more times. Yeah, the spider's lair is a mecca for materials, you can earn a lot of money. Besides money, there's also a large amount of experience. Although each small spider doesn't have much experience, it still adds up to a scary amount. Many level 24 copies don't have as much experience as the spider lair. The amount of experience also depends on the profession, if you can't group a mage, or if you group a mage that doesn't know group attack skills, it'll be hilarious. The crowd was discussing outside, while carrying expectations. They were curious to know if Lin Moyen would set another new record. Lin Moshian was already inside killing cool attacks it should be said that he was bursting with pleasure. Corpses bursting advanced all the way through, countless experience and materials drifting in like rain. Lin Mou didn't spare a single cave, the skeleton warriors were no longer completely spread out, but instead, they were in groups of ten to open up the way in front. Lin Mojing followed behind, as long as a small spider appeared, he was the first to rush over and corpse burst. He wasn't aware that everyone else was finding the closest path and killing straight to the end of the copy. Instead, he was going to clear the entire copy. He didn't intend to let go of a single monster. Chapter 79 Experience Sanctuary, Best Copy Below Level 25 Time passed by minute by minute. An hour later, Lin Moshian still hadn't come out. The crowd outside was a little disappointed. There were quite a few people who felt that this was only normal. Before, it was because Lin Moshian had found a new method to set a new record now the performance in the spider's lair was the normal performance. Even if he can't set a new record, but it's already considered strong for him to be able to solo nightmare difficulty. Indeed, but then again, the spider's lair copy is somewhat special, the difference between normal difficulty and nightmare difficulty is not as big as other copies. Yes, at least the strength of the small spiders is the same, only the number will be a bit more. Scatter scatter scatter, there's no new record this time. Shu Han looked at the entrance to the replica and listened to their discussion, but had a different opinion. She felt that it shouldn't be that way. Although there was no reason, she just felt that way. In the replica, Lin Moshian had finally cleared the entire replica. There are a total of 108 caves, and 60 of them have small spiders present in them. I don't know if they're fixed or randomized. We'll know when we come back in next time. Looking at the experience, it had reached level 18, 70%. A single copy had increased the experience by 70%. And it was only the first time, done under less familiar circumstances. The efficiency was really very high. Lin Moshian believed that the next time he came in, the experience would be the same as before, and it would take even less time. Time to check out the boss. After passing through cave after cave, he walked towards the deepest part of the copy. The copy of the spider's lair was huge, with 158 caves forming a labyrinthine map. If Lin Moshian hadn't formed a complete map in his mind, it would take half a day to find it. It was like this that he walked for another 10 or so minutes before he came to the place where the correct path led to the depths. There was an entrance here, and the entrance was sealed by a thick spider web. The skeleton warrior swung his greatsword to cut through the cobwebs. The spider web was coupled and extremely resilient, making it difficult to cut through it wasn't that the skeleton warrior didn't try hard, but it really wasn't suitable. If there was a mage here, under a mage attack, these spider webs would be easily cleared. After chopping for a full five minutes, the skeleton warrior finally broke through. Click, click, click. The skeleton warrior went to the front, and Lin Moshian followed behind. After passing through the passage, they finally arrived at the end of the copy. A huge cavern met the replica boss. It was just a giant spider with a body diameter of 7, 8 meters. The eight spider legs spread out like a giant pillar. Each leg was 15 meters long, about double the size of the body. 
The spider legs were covered with inverted hairs that emitted a steel glow. It was conceivable that if one was scraped by it, one would either die or be crippled. The boss had already discovered Lin Mojing at the same time Lin Mojing came in. Lin Mojing's heart moved, and the skeleton warriors came out in response the entire 112 skeleton warriors swung their greatswords and rushed over. The detection spell also landed on the boss. Spider King, Chieftain Level Monster, comma. Level, 21. Strength, 5000. Agility, 3500. Spirit, 500. Physique, 4000. Skills, Spit Net, Acid, Wind Scroll. Strength is stronger than the mutant auger turtle, agility is also higher, but accordingly, constitution is weaker. Possessing three skills, the first two Lin Mojing can be titled, and what is the last wind roll? The Spider King reacted, and opened its mouth to spit out a giant spider web. Skill, Spit Web. The skeleton warriors quickly dodged, but there were still a few that didn't avoid it and were caught in the spider web that fell from the sky. They were trapped by the spider web and swung up their large swords in their hands to try to slash the spider web. The spider's web was unexpectedly strong, and it was difficult to cut it off for a while. The spider king unleashed its web spitting skill several times in a row, trapping over a dozen skeleton warriors at this time, the skeleton warriors had already rushed to its feet and swung their swords. Some of the skeleton warriors jumped up high, leaping 10 meters in a single bound and charging towards it. The spider king quickly retreated, wanting to avoid the skeleton warriors that leapt up. Suddenly a red flame flashed above his head and did not enter his body. The spider king immediately let out a miserable scream. Then a red aura enveloped his head and a shackle pattern appeared. The speed of movement instantly dropped by a factor of two. Skill, Soul Flame. Skill, Slow Speed Curse. Lin Mashian joined the fray, interrupting the spider king's actions while simultaneously cursing him. The skeleton warrior smoothly jumped onto the spider king's body while unleashing his skills. Skill, Berserk Strike. The Spider King's defense was far inferior to that of the mutant auger turtle, and facing the skeleton warrior's fierce attack, it was instantly injured it struggled frantically, its eight spider legs acting like giant clubs, constantly sweeping back and forth. At the same time, a stream of acidic green liquid spewed from its mouth. Skill, Acid Liquid. The green liquid was strongly corrosive, and when it landed on the skeleton warrior, it made a piercing sound, while also having a gust of light smoke attached to it. Lin Moshian sensed that the skeleton warrior was being harmed. We need to fight quickly. Lin Mou thought in his mind as the skeleton warrior's attacks became more violent and he continued to use his soul flame to attack. The spider king's injuries were getting heavier and heavier, and it finally let out a scream. The entire person shrunk violently, and its eight giant legs coiled up as if they were coiled up, like a python coiling up. The knife-like barbs on the giant legs were pointed at the outside world, and the spider king began to spin violently, as if it were a gyroscope sweeping through the insight skill, wind scroll. A gust of wind immediately blew in the cave. Being swept by it, the skeletal warriors were sent flying. Cracks appeared on the bones, this skill was not small in power. The Spider King unleashed the skill Windswept, and after sweeping away the skeleton warriors, it charged towards Lin Mashian again. A skeleton warrior violently rushed to Lin Mashua's side and hugged it as it leapt high into the air, avoiding the Spider King's sweep. After sweeping three times, the Spider King finally stopped. The skeleton warriors once again surrounded it. Although the skeleton warriors were all a bit injured and their bones were covered in cracks, they didn't affect their attack power. Lin Muyue wasn't worried, he had seen the skeleton warriors at level 1, and they were just as miserable. It was just as miserable as the ones fished out of the garbage heap now it was really much better. The sound of iron striking resounded again in insight, accompanied by the spider king's miserable screams. The spider king suddenly leapt high into the air, and his entire body hung upside down to the top of the cave. Shrill screams were continuously emitted. The cave continued to vibrate, and a hole appeared around it, from which a small spider crawled out. The number of small spiders was densely packed, numbering in the thousands. The spider king fell back to the ground, like a swarm king, commanding his army. Seeing this scene, Lin Moshian didn't see any panic at all, instead, he revealed a smile. Sending yourself to death. With a flash of soul flames, a small spider instantly died a miserable death. Boom. 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 The entire cavern was like fireworks in full bloom as explosions rang out in succession. It exploded hundreds of times in a row. It was only when Lin Mayu's spiritual power was nearly depleted that the explosions stopped the Spider King staggered, its giant legs full of wounds and broken flesh, tattered and torn. It didn't understand what had happened. How it had been crippled by the explosion. The skeleton warrior then went up and added one last slash. Killed the Spider King, experience plus 190,000. Acquired Silver Level Weapon, Spider Dagger. Acquired Low Level Monster Crystal Core. 
Spider Dagger, Silver Grade, Agility plus 40, Constitution plus 40, Assassin System Skill Power increased by 8%, available after level 20. When I entered the copy, the experience was less than 1%, while now it's 81%. A complete copy can boost experience by 80%. It's just too time-consuming, it took 1 hour and 32 minutes, can't break the record. It seems like I need to find one and directly fight through the copy to do it, setting a record will earn points and contribution points, I can't miss it. Lin Mashian left the copy. After three hours, there weren't many people outside the replica anymore it wasn't overcrowded like before when he set the record. Classmate finally came out. Did you beat the copy? It's okay even if you didn't manage to beat it, this copy has a bit too many monsters, it's tiring to beat it alone. Several people were kind. We were all classmates at the Summer Capital Academy. Maybe they would even team up with each other to brush the books at some point. It was also relatively friendly to meet each other in normal times. Lin Mou said softly, thank you, I passed. Really? You really passed? Lin Mou nodded, passed. Awesome classmate, to be able to solo the nightmare level spider's lair. Although this copy has a lot of experience materials, it's actually not that difficult to brush. With so many monsters, only a mage profession like you can single brush it. Shuhan couldn't help but sigh in relief when he saw Lin Muyue unharmed, it's good that you're okay. Chapter 80, It's a Rising Star, and a Lone Wolf. Shuhan came just in time, and Lin Mouyu just happened to have a question to ask her, do you know, which copies have higher experience? He had thought that how much experience was in a copy was basically determined by the level. The higher the level of the replica, the more experience it would naturally have. Now it seemed that this was not always the case. The level 17 mutant forest copy and the level 20 spider lair copy. There was only a difference of three levels, and the difference in experience was nearly three times. And after one's proficiency, the efficiency could be increased again next time. Shuhan didn't find it strange at all, the spider's lair copy is also known as the experience mecha. Of the level 25 or lower copies, it has the most experience. Experience mecha, this expression was a bit interesting. The number of monsters was immense, and the experience of each small spider wasn't much, but when added together, it was amazing Shuhan suddenly added, but in my opinion, it can't really be counted that way. If you don't care about point consumption, the experience of the spider's lair isn't really that much. Oh? Lin Mou thought for a moment and understood the meaning of Shu Han's words. The high experience was based on the number of monsters. But finding monsters and clearing them took time. He had used 1 hour and 32 minutes to get through the copy this time. It seemed like the experience was high, nearly about 3 times as much as the mutant forest copy. But it only took him 20 minutes to beat through a winning mutant forest if he was fast. The time it took to brush a copy of the spider's lair was enough for him to brush the mutant forest four times. For the same amount of time, the experience value gained was instead more for the mutant forest. And why in other people's mouths would they say that the spider's lair was a mecca of experience the key was in the points. Brushing a copy over and over again required constantly offsetting the cooldown. For a beginner's copy like this, the ticket was only 10 points, while offsetting the cooldown required 40 points. That's why the spider's lair became the experience mecca that others spoke of. Thanks. Lin Mashian sincerely thanked Shu Han. Shu Han shook her hand, there's no need to thank you, you'll know sooner or later. She could tell that Lin Mou didn't seem to care much about points. Lin Mou said, then is there any copy that brushes up fast and still has high experience? Quick to brush up and still have high experience. Well. Shu Han cocked his head in thought. Lin Mou felt that there shouldn't be many such copies. After thinking for a while, Shuhan's eyes suddenly glowed, you can team up with someone to go to the Tyrant Desert Large Replica. In the Temple of Replicas, there were three special replicas two large replicas plus one mega replica. The large replicas normally required a group of 40 people to complete. The mega replica, on the other hand, required more than a hundred people to do so. If the equipment was fine and the level was sufficient, then the number of people for the large replicas could also be reduced to 30 or even 25 people. This also gave birth to a new line of work, leading people. There were quite a few trainees who teamed up to bring people to fight large copies and bring them to upgrade. The person being led didn't need to do anything, they only needed to pay a certain amount of points. There were many monsters in the large replicas, and the experience was high, so upgrading was fast. Shuhan continued, the academy is afraid that we will be in danger, and the level requirements for copies are limited very strictly, but large copies are an exception. The Tyrant Desert copy is a level 25 large copy, you can go in from level 20, and the highest you can reach is level 30, a span of 10 levels. When you reach level 20, you can look for a team in the group center, pay the points, and someone will take you to practice. After all, the higher the level of the replica, the more difficult it is to solo, and it's also getting more and more dangerous. Lin Mou could also understand her good intentions and softly thanked her. 
Shu Han smiled cheekily, it's okay, it's okay, I got the points. It's getting late, I'll go back to rest first. You can ask me again if you don't understand anything in the future. She used a teleportation stone to leave the duplicate hall. At this time, it was already late, and Lin Muyue looked at the time, it was already 9pm. After a whole day of fighting, it had to be said that he was also a bit tired. Although he had just upgraded and all his attributes had recovered to their peak. Even if there were any injuries, they would have been healed during the upgrade but after fighting for a long time, the kind of mental exhaustion could not be erased. There was also the point that the skeleton warriors were all injured in that battle just now. Although the injuries weren't serious, it would take a bit of time to fully recover. Lin Moshian looked at the copy and decided to come back tomorrow. Activating the teleportation stone, he left the duplicate hall. The schoolhouse was quiet at night, and Lin Mou walked on the way back to the dormitory. I didn't expect that only two days after coming to the academy, so many things had already happened. It had to be said that such a life was much more exciting than during high school. What he learned in high school was the basics of the world, most of the knowledge about what happened after the transfer was not taught, and he couldn't find any extra information. Because the school didn't know what type of profession you would become after transferring is it the main combat class, auxiliary class or life class. So what is taught is some basic general knowledge. Only after transferring to become a main combat class, will you be more exposed to those knowledge of the main combat class occupation? The same goes for the auxiliary classes. Some auxiliary classes such as seers, elf elders, and other professions also have to participate in battles. But like alchemists and pharmacists, they might not enter a copy for the rest of their lives. Knowledge was strictly stratified. When some days passed, the professions from all over the world that had been accepted into the Summer King School would come over. At that time, the school would unify the lectures, and all the knowledge that should be taught would be known. Lin Mou was not in a hurry right now. Returning to the dormitory, he took some food to simply fill his stomach. Before the trial left, Ning Yi had bought a whole bunch of food, and some of it was at his place request flowers. Summoned four skeletons and threw them into the summoning space. The number of skeleton warriors reached 116. A few moments later, if there was a sound of breathing, Lin Moshian entered a meditative state. In a hidden space in the Xiaojing Academy. Three people were sitting opposite each other and drinking. Bai Yuan had a smile on his face, how's that, I told you this little guy is not bad. Meng Anwen sat across from him, one person single-handedly swiped three rounds of mermaid copies and got all three of this year's mermaid tears. Toughly slapped the face of the Sakura Nation, stomped on the Inyan Masters, and made the guys from the Subterranean Dragon Academy, see how bad they are. Don't think that just because you have an academy to cultivate your amazing, looking down on the national top student, this time you've finally been slapped in the face. Meng Anwen had a bad smile on his face and looked at Hong Shan on the side as he spoke Hong Shan, the dean of the Subterranean Dragon Academy, his student was slapped in the face, as the dean naturally did not have a good temper. He couldn't help but grunt and ignore Meng Anwen. Bai Yuan grinned from the side, actually, I stuffed him into this trial just to see what this kid is capable of. This kid talks too little and can't hold a loud fart for half a day. Meng Anwen took a sip of tea, what is his talent, did you ask clearly? Asked, it's an increase, but I don't have a question on how much the specific increase is, I guess it won't be less. Meng Anwen looked over with an oddity in his gaze. Bai Yuan sipped his tea, this is someone's secret, it's not good to ask. Did I ask about your talent? Would you be happy if someone got to the bottom of it for you? If someone got to the bottom of their talent, Meng Anwen felt that she would roll her eyes. Indeed, no questions then. The talent of increase is really good and has appeared before. If his skills are strong enough, coupled with this talent, the future is promising. Bai Yi Yuan smiled, I also think this child has a promising future. Moreover, her sister, who is now a member of the God Creation Academy, is still favored by the old man and is being fully cultivated. Hiss. Even calm as Meng Anwen drew in a breath of cold air. He didn't find it strange to be able to enter the God Creation Academy. Although everyone inside was a heavenly pride, it couldn't be said that everyone would end up becoming a great person. But if one could be favored by the old guys, then it would be completely different. Bai Yuan slapped his thighs and laughed, it was a big shock, wasn't it, I was shocked at the time as well. Meng Anwen asked, do you know why? Bai Yuan shook his head, to be favored by the old guy, there must be something outstanding about him. It's not like you don't know how demanding the old guy is. Ordinary people, does he even look at them? It seems like my human race is going to have two more new stars in the near future. Meng Anwen sipped his tea and spoke slowly. Hong Shan, who had never said anything, suddenly spoke, it's a rising star, and a lone wolf. Lin Mou spoke too little and rarely interacted with others. It really looked like a lone wolf for a long time. Chapter 81 The Bell Rings, Setting a New Record Again Early the next morning, the spiritual power had fully recovered. 
he casually summoned four skeleton warriors, bringing the number of skeleton warriors to 120. After simply washing up, he directly used the teleportation stone and arrived at the duplicate hall from the dormitory. The outside of the duplicate hall was as lively as ever. A large number of professionals were setting up stalls in the food market, looking for a team. Inside, there were ordinary cadets from the academy, as well as quite a few cadets from various academies. Both belonged to the Shajing Academy, but they were somewhat distinct from each other. The ordinary cadets in the academy were basically those who had passed the grand examination. On the other hand, the composition of the various academy cadets was much more complicated, with some of them being cultivated within the academy. They had good family backgrounds, excellent bloodlines, and had been tilted by a large amount of resources since they were young. At the same age, their rank already far exceeded that of ordinary cadets. At the time when others were taking the grand exam, they were already ordinary over level 20, or even higher. So they were even more proud, and some of them even looked down on ordinary cadets. Such as Ling Jin, who even looked down on a national top student like Lin Muyue. In the history of the Shajing Academy, those national top rankers and provincial top rankers were indeed inferior to them when they first entered the academy. Starting too late, not as good as others in terms of level, not as good as others in terms of knowledge, not as good as others in terms of equipment and skills, the only thing that could be compared was occupation this situation didn't improve until they had to wait until two or three years later, when their levels came up and their knowledge was available. Some of those who were excellent would also join the academies and become part of them. The ones who were not good enough would still only be ordinary cadets. The existence of the academies separated the geniuses from the ordinary cadets. Lin Mou had already figured out this matter in the blink of an eye, and he was unconcerned about it. It didn't affect his upgrading anyway. What's more, he didn't want to go over and team up with others. He preferred brushing alone. Entering the Temple of Copies, Lin Mashue went directly to the entrance of the spider's lair copy. The cooldown had just ended, helping him save 40 points. Select Nightmare Copy and Enter the Skeleton Warrior came out in response. Familiar route, familiar cave. The map hasn't changed, it's the same fixed map as the last time I was here. In that case, it's completely possible to speed through, 20 minutes should be about right. Lin Moshian silently estimated in his mind and probably had a bottom. However, this round, he didn't choose to speed pass, but instead optimized his route. Some places that were too far away were left out, and deliberately chose caves that were closer, pulling the skeleton warriors to pull over all the big and small spiders inside. In this way, most of the experience could be gained and a lot of time could be saved. Doing so optimized efficiency. According to his calculations, the speed of brushing the book could be increased by almost 1x. It would take 50 or so minutes at most to beat the copy. And one could harvest about 70% or so of the experience value. In this way, the efficiency was greatly increased. This was what he had thought of last night, it shouldn't be a problem Lin Moshian followed the skeleton team all the way, and from time to time, there were skeletons behind him with a large number of spiders coming over. Explosions rang out from time to time, constantly echoing throughout the spider lair. The experience value was constantly rising. Halfway through the line, Lin Moshian's body was already glowing with the light of upgrading. This was also within his calculations, so he consumed 80% of his spiritual energy and summoned four skeleton warriors at the end of his meditation. He knew he would finish the upgrade halfway through. After this upgrade, the mental power was once again fully restored. Lin Moshian didn't summon the skeleton warriors, he saved his mental energy to deal with the final boss. Yesterday, the Spider King's skill had caused some damage to the skeleton warrior. That couldn't happen again today. The upgraded skeleton warrior was even more powerful, the four-dimensional attributes had reached 6200 the attack power was even more powerful. Paired with Lin Moshian's corpse burst, it pushed all the way across the board. After only 40 minutes, the team had arrived at the end of the copy. The skeleton warriors quickly sliced through the spider webs that blocked the way, revealing that there was a passageway inside. As long as they passed through the passage, it was where the spider king was. Lin Moshian didn't rush in, but instead stood in a nearby cave. Click 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 click. The sounds were getting denser and denser, besides the sounds of the skeleton warriors, there were also the sounds of a large number of insects crawling. Several skeleton warriors ran over, followed by thousands of small spiders. They rushed into the passageway and ran towards where the Spider King was. As long as these small spiders can be dragged into the vicinity of the Spider King. If that was the case, Lin Moshian could basically manage to kill the Spider King in seconds by directly using Corpse Burst. The conception was good, the result was not good. The small spiders seemed to be afraid of the Spider King's aura. They stopped at the entrance of the passageway and refused to go in. Seeing this, Lin Moshian knew that his idea had failed. At least it didn't work in the Spider Lair copy. Soul flames flashed, followed by several violent explosions. The small spiders at the entrance were cleared. Lin Moshian passed through then summoned all the skeleton warriors. 
120 skeleton warriors with four-dimensional attributes as high as 6,200 swung their greatswords and rushed towards the Spider King. With that stance, if the Spider King had some intelligence, it would definitely be scared to death. The Spider King opened his mouth and prepared to spit out his web. Skill, Soul Flame. Skill, Slow Speed Curse. The two skills were released one after the other, and the Spider King immediately erupted into a terrifying scream this time, Lin Moshian didn't even give the Spider King a chance to spit out its web. The skeleton warriors didn't jump onto it either, but instead all focused on the legs. Each spider leg was evenly distributed with 15 skeletons. One was not too many and one was not good, the distribution was very even. Red light flashed on the large sword. Skill, Berserk Strike. The Spider King let out a miserable scream as the armor on its legs was completely chopped up, revealing the flesh and blood inside. Lin Moshien's soul flames hadn't stopped since the beginning. Attacking the Spider King's elven world again and again, it didn't give it a chance to cast its skills at all. The Spider King's spiritual attribute wasn't strong, and the soul flames were effective. So far, Lin Moshian hadn't encountered a monster that could resist soul flames. This kind of spiritual level attack ignored defense and was hard to resist the skeleton warriors surrounded the spider legs and attacked like iron. And the point of attack was almost always the same. Finally, with a loud bang, the spider king's leg was chopped off, and its huge body fell to the ground all of a sudden. Completely defenseless, it was much more miserable than last time. It screamed continuously, insight shook, and countless small spiders crawled out from all around. Die faster. When the small spiders arrived, it was a series of explosions. The corpse explosion was definitely called a divine skill, and the spider king suffocated and died under the corpse explosion in less than two minutes. There wasn't a single piece of good meat on his entire body, although these small spiders didn't have high vitality. But they couldn't help but be outnumbered. Lin Moshian had consumed almost half of his spiritual energy to destroy the Spider King in less than two minutes. It's a bit of a waste. In hindsight, Lin Muyue felt that his fighting style was a bit of a waste so much mental energy was actually exchanged for just one minute faster. Otherwise, he could have summoned two more skeleton warriors. After all, there were only 120 skeleton warriors right now, and the summoning space already had 190 empty spots, with 70 more spots waiting to be filled. In the duplicate hall, the bell rang. The people outside the temple rushed in. Setting a record always aroused the curiosity and surprise of others. Someone set a record again. Which big brother is it this time? I wonder which copy was played. Hundreds of people rushed into the replica hall in a rush, then found the light screen that was shining brightly. It's the spider lair. So it's just a level 20 copy. It can't be that student from yesterday. Don't say it, it's really possible. I just saw him go in this morning. A new record appeared in the light screen. The original first place moved down one square, and the new record appeared at the top Lin Murmur, level 19, Necromancer, 47 minutes and 22 seconds. Wow. It's really him. He just set a new record for the Mutant Forest copy yesterday, and today he set a new record for the Spider's Lair copy. The key is that he still swiped solo, this is too terrifying. How the hell did he do it, is the Necromancer profession this powerful? Nope, I think he might have talent in addition to his profession being powerful. Hiss. Everyone huffed cold air. A gifted professional was an extraordinary existence, at least in their eyes. There were only a handful of gifted professionals that could appear in the country every year. Bullshit gifted professionals, he's just lucky. A voice filled with jealousy rang out. At the sound of the voice, he looked over. Hundreds of pairs of eyes landed on Lingjin at the same time. Chapter 82, This Eyes, He's Really Killed Someone Before. Being stared at by so many people, Lingjin clearly felt a little uncomfortable, this student, why do you say that? Someone questioned. Setting a record was not something that could be done simply. Moreover, it was a record set by a single copy. This was even more difficult. Why did you say that Lin Moshian was just lucky? Lingjin wore disdain, he's just an ordinary student who just finished the big exam, relying on being somewhat related to the white god, I don't know what kind of powerful treasures he's gotten. Otherwise how could one person alone brush the nightmare copy? As soon as his words fell, someone immediately said angrily, what's wrong with ordinary cadets? Ordinary trainees can't set records? That's right, you're saying that student Lin Muyue relied on the treasures given by Lord White God in order to set a record? Do you have any proof? I recognize you, your name is Ling Jin, you're from the Subterranean Dragon Academy no wonder you look down on us ordinary students, Subterranean Dragon Academy is marvelous. You guys are just starting out earlier, maybe who will be great in the future. Ling Jin's words instantly caused the scene to be in chaos. Originally, the ordinary cadets and the academy cadets were just a little bit at odds, but at least they weren't put on a pedestal. No one had pierced through that membrane. But Ling Jin just said that. 
A stone stirred up a thousand waves, and the ordinary cadets here erupted all of a sudden. Being an ordinary trainee, and being able to obtain recognition from the academic affairs office and be qualified to enter the replica hall it could be said that they were all very outstanding people. And most of them were professionals who had gotten excellent grades in the grand examination and were not weak in their own professions. Even if they were initially inferior to the trainees trained within the academy itself, as time passed, this gap 14 would be gradually drawn closer and narrowed, and in the end, even surpassed. Therefore, in the eyes of many outstanding ordinary cadets, your academy's own cultivated cadets are nothing more than that. On the other hand, those who belonged to the academy were naturally on the side of their own people, feeling that what Lingjin said was true in all probability. The two sides were all of a sudden bickering. Mocking each other, you and I were so close to making a move. With a flash of light, Lin Moshian appeared in front of the copy. With the sound of fierce quarrels coming from his ears, he couldn't get his head around what was going on for a while suddenly, someone pulled Lin Muyue, student Lin Muyue, did you just finish the big exam this year? Lin Mou instinctively gave a hum. What grades did you get? Lin Mou honestly said, national top student. Everyone froze for a moment, surprisingly, it was the national top student. Especially the cadets in the academy froze. Although ordinary cadets were looked down upon by them, the national top student was different. Even if they weren't as good as them when they first arrived, after a few years, most of the national top scholars would be able to catch up and even surpass them. Which national scholar was simple. The career was definitely strong, and the skills were definitely not bad. It's just that they didn't get more resources, and they started a little late. Lingjin said in a cold voice, what's so great about being a national scholar, can you compare it to us? It's not easy for us to go to the big exams and get a national scholar. Someone retorted, that's not the way to put it. If you grew up outside and only transferred a week before the big exam, it's really hard to say whether or not you can take the national top spot. These words were agreed to by many. Even those in the academy had to agree. The truth was just like that. Lin Mou finally figured out what was going on. Dare I say it was this guy Lingjin who caused this again. Lin Mou looked up at Lingjin with some killing intent in her gaze, I said, if you mess with me again, I'll kill you. Lingjin was startled by Lin Mou's gaze, you think I'm afraid of you, what the hell are you? Lin Mojing gave him a deep look, filled with warning. If it was in the wild now, Lin Mojing would have already made a move. Someone noticed Lin Mojing's eyes and couldn't help but shiver. Lin Mou didn't pay any more attention to him and turned around to enter the spider lair copy once again it was only then that someone patted his chest, boy, this look, he's really killed people. And more than one or two. Don't make it sound so scary, okay, he's just a new cadet who just finished the big exam, how could he kill someone? Do you think the outside world is so simple? You've only grown up under the blessing of the academy, the outside world is dangerous. I'm sure he's killed people, and quite a few. The way he's looking at people, it's like he's looking at a monster in a replica, he doesn't even see you as a human being. Yes, 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 it's that kind of look, it's scary. Lingjin was also a bit scared at this point. The look in Lin Mojing's eyes was the one he felt the most deeply. In Lin Mouye's eyes, it seemed like he really wasn't being looked at by Lin Mouye as a human being, but rather the kind of monster that could be killed at any time. Thinking about Lin Mayu's skeleton that was so strong that it was terrifying, he was truly afraid his legs were trembling. Fear was fear, face could not be lost. Lingjin braced himself, Humph, don't let me encounter it in the wild, or I will kill you. After saying that, Lingjin used a teleportation stone to leave. After he left, a burst of laughter erupted from the replica hall. Ha, huh, this guy is scared. I can hear that this guy's last words were outwardly strong. Cowardly like this, really useless. This is the cadet trained within the academy school, the so-called genius, disgraceful. The people from the academy school also felt disgraced, and one by one, they did not retort. In their hearts, however, they had already hated Lingjin. It was this guy that had caused them to lose face. Put Lingjin on the blacklist, and in the future, copies would definitely not group this guy. Just as they were leaving the hall of copies and preparing to pull someone back into the group, the bell rang once again, I'll go, what the hell is this? Another new record? Needless to say, it must be Lin Moshien. It was the same yesterday when he brushed the mutant forest copy. Yes, I was there yesterday. Setting a new record for the first time and breaking his own record for the second time. I've never heard of any treasure props that allow one to single brush a nightmare copy and set such a terrifying record. The people who had just left the duplicate hall rushed back. When they saw the results on the light screen, each of their eyes were whiter than their mouths. Lin Murmur, level 19, Necromancer, 22 minutes and 51 seconds. This record was no longer awe-inspiring, it was frightening. Everyone had a feeling of chills running through their bodies. A single brush of a nightmare copy that only took 22 minutes and 51 seconds. No one could imagine how he did it. In any case, he did it. 
The facts were right in front of their eyes, it can't be that there's something wrong with the duplicate hall, right? What are you babbling about, even if you have a brain problem, there won't be a problem with the hall of replicas. Do you know how many years the replica hall has existed, and there has never been a problem? Then how did he do it? You go and ask. I'm not going, his eyes are too scary. At this time Lin Mashian appeared outside the copy. The next second he entered the copy again. In the copy, Lin Mashua looked at his experience. Level, 19, 74%. Still 26% short of leveling up. Just now, in order to complete the speed brush, he didn't kill many small spiders along the way and gained very little experience. After brushing this time, I'll be able to upgrade. A new record had been set earlier, and once again, he was rewarded with 1000 points and 5 contribution points. The roaring sound rang out in the spider's lair. Lin Mashian led the skeleton warriors in stride. By the time they reached the entrance of the boss, white light had emerged from Lin Mashian's body upgraded. Finally reached level 20. Lin Mou let out a long breath. Those who could upgrade as fast as him probably couldn't find a few in the whole world. After all, he was able to single 553 brush a nightmare level copy and was incredibly efficient. However, when he thought that he had to be level 30 to join the Creation Academy, he felt that he was far behind. After level 20, the upgrade speed would definitely slow down again. It was just that he didn't know how much it would slow down, which he would have to fight to find out. Based on his experience at level 10, the skills might change after upgrading. Especially the two main skills, one's talent as well as summon skeleton warrior. I wonder if there are any changes. Lin Mashian was extremely looking forward to it. Checking his attributes. Name, Lin Muyu A. Profession, necromancer, unique, comma. Level, 21. 0%. Strength, 300. Agility, 300. Spirit, 1300, plus 20. Spirit, 1300, plus 20. Physique, 300, plus 20. Physique, 300, plus 20. Equipment, Goblin King's Grimoire, Robe of Knowledge Summoning Space, 120,200. Skeleton Warriors, Quantity, 120, comma. Talent, Total Increase, Level 3, Unique, comma. Passive Skill, Damage Transfer. Active skills, Soul Flame, level 20, Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 20, Corpse Burst, level 2, Slow Curse, level 1, comma. Overall increase, level 3 increased the effect of all skills by 30 times. Damage transfer, all damage taken by the sorcerer himself is taken by the summon. Soul Flame, level 20 burns the target's soul, causing searing damage, with power depending on one's spiritual power and skill level. Summon Skeleton Warrior, level 20 summons a silver level skeleton warrior. Corpse Burst, level 2 detonates a corpse, dealing 15% of the corpse's life value to enemies within 2 meters. Slow Speed Curse, level 1 curses enemies within a 5 meter range, reducing their speed by 5% for 1 minute, although he had expected it, Lin Mashian was still shocked by the changes he had made. Chapter 83, The Boss That Was Almost Killed In Seconds Divine Grade Talent, Total Increase It was one of his most important abilities. A powerful source. The Total Increase Talent reached level 3. The increase had also changed from 20 times to 30 times. The increase could not be described as great. The power of Soul Flame was even greater. Originally, this was a skill with great single damage power. Now after a 30-fold increase, the attack power must be frightening. The interrupt boss skill is very powerful. There is also the very important body burst skill. Corpse burst is still level 2, and the range has increased to 60 meters. A range of 60 meters is already a not-so-small area. The damage was even 450% of the corpse's life force. It was equivalent to 4. 5 times the damage. If a similar monster was detonated, just ask which monster could carry the pillar the slow curse skill also benefited from the talent upgrade, with a range of 150 meters and a slowing effect of 150%. The duration was up to 30 minutes. Finally, Lin Mashian opened the attributes of the skeleton warrior. Reaching a level 20 skill, the skeleton warrior had changed from bronze to silver. The attributes had definitely increased quite a bit. At level 19, after increasing the skeleton warrior's four-dimensional attributes was 6200. The true attribute was actually 310. It was moderate, not too high, not too low, and about the same as an ordinary wild monster. However, the number of skeleton warriors was large enough that even without the talent increase, it was still easy to fight monsters in the wild. After all, it was dozens of people fighting one, and at most, the fight was slower. But now... Skeleton warriors covered in silver white stood in front of them. It was a little taller than at bronze level, emitting a silver white luster the bones appeared a bit smoother, without the roughness. 
The greatsword in his hand had also become sharper, and it was already like a carefully crafted piece of equipment that no longer had a bit of a tattered appearance. All kinds of changes were all telling Lin Ma Xian, I've gotten stronger. Silver level skeleton warrior. Strength, 12,000. Agility, 12,000. Spirit, 12,000. Physique, 12,000. Skill, Berserk Strike, level 2. Berserk Strike, level 2 inflicts 300% of one's own strength damage on the target, cooldown time 10 minutes. Lin Mashian's entire body tingled a little when he saw these attributes. Once again, he was shocked by himself. 12,000 points of 4 dimensions. Over 5 digits. The base attribute was 400, which wasn't that high. The most powerful thing was still one's talent. Silver level skeleton warrior, how much spirit does it take to summon one? Lin Moshian thought of a question. Leveling up, the attributes became stronger, what about the consumption he tried summoning one? The spirit power instantly dropped by a large amount. 1320 spirit power was directly reduced to only 820. His eyebrows involuntarily twitched. Consuming 500 points of spiritual energy, that's quite a lot. Looks like I'll have to get some equipment that increases mental power. Only two could be summoned at a time, and there was no telling how long it would take to fill up the summoning space. It's level 20. It was already possible to wear silver equipment. Lin Mashian decided to go to the exchange to see if he could buy suitable silver equipment. Also to buy beginner skill scrolls. Level 20, to draw a wave of skills. The silver level skeleton warrior after his attributes had increased greatly, chopped through the spider web in three or two strokes. Then a wave opened up and rushed in. Facing the charging skeleton warrior, the spider king had already assumed a battle stance. This time Lin Mashian didn't move, he wanted to see how strong the silver level skeleton warrior's combat power was. Skill, spit web. A huge web descended from the sky. Originally, Lin Mou felt that the skeleton warriors were going to be caught in the net again. Unexpectedly, several skeleton warriors suddenly leapt up and swung their large swords in their hands in a smooth manner. Accompanied by a soft sound, the spider's web snapped in response. The skeleton warriors passed through the spider web without pause and continued to rush towards the spider king, it's become spiritual. It's as if it has spirituality, its combat power has increased. Lin Moshian felt a sense of spirituality from the silver rank skeleton warrior. It would be able to improvise, instead of just slashing hard like before. If that was the case, in the future, at the gold level, platinum level, would the skeleton warrior become like a real warrior, the kind of warrior similar to a professional? The spider king spat out webs in succession, and they all ended up being easily dissolved by the skeleton warrior. After reaching the silver level, the skeleton warrior was not what it used to be. Not only did his attributes increase greatly, but he also possessed a fighting sense. In the blink of an eye, the skeleton warriors had already arrived at the spider king's feet. A portion of the skeleton warriors emitted red light from the silver-white greatsword in their hands and slashed down directly at the spider king's thigh skill, berserk strike. A strength attribute of 12,000 points, plus a 300% attack bonus. This skill was enough to be called a true berserk. Red light illuminated the cave. As if cutting vegetables, the spider king's legs were cut off in unison. Amidst the screams, the spider king fell to the ground. Another part of the skeleton warriors unleashed their skills. The large swords fell on the spider king. Killed the spider king, experience plus 190,000. Obtained silver level weapon, spider staff. Acquired low level monster crystal core. Spider dagger, silver level, spirit plus 40, constitution plus 40, mage system skill power increased by 8%, available after level 20. Seeing the prompt, Lin Moshian froze for a moment. This was the end? The skeleton warriors went up and released a round of skills in less than 10 seconds before and after. The dang duplicate boss died just like this? Facing silver-ranked skeleton warriors with four-dimensional attributes as high as 12,000, the Spider King couldn't even summon his minions it was really fast. Lin Moshian checked his experience and couldn't help but be speechless. Gaining 190,000 experience, his experience value had only risen by 0. 0.2%. Upgrading after level 20 was several times slower again. Normally, level 20 to level 30. A fast one would take a year, and a slow one might take two or three years. With five levels as a stage, level 25 onwards would be even slower. It was no wonder that the Creation Academy requirement was level 30. Those who could reach level 30 in a short period of time were all very powerful characters. And like his sister, those who were able to join the Creation God Academy after only a few months in the Academy were even more rare. 
Lin Mou didn't linger in the duplicate hall and directly used the teleportation stone to return to the dormitory. Leaving the dormitory, he headed to the Exchange Imperial Exchange, Academy Exchange, two exchanges built side by side. The two mansions were slightly different in appearance, but their styles favored unity. They were connected together and were called the Exchange Center by the cadets. Lin Mushue first came to the Scholarship Exchange, which had a large number of items for sale and all of them needed to be settled with points. The biggest difference between it and the Imperial Exchange was that there was no recycling function. You could consign items inside, but you couldn't sell them directly to the exchange. Lin Mashian found a few quests in there, basically collecting materials. Spider. Turned in the materials he had obtained for the quest and exchanged it back for 150 points. This was one of the ways many trainees gained points. Then he came back to the Imperial Exchange and handed over the rest of the stuff to the Imperial Institute to recycle away in one fell swoop. Lin Mashua hadn't thought about consignment, the price difference wasn't that big, he was too lazy to toss it around to study the price with that kind of effort, he might as well brush his copies twice more. Silver level equipment was worth a bit more than bronze level equipment. A few silver level weapons and equipment plus a few bronze level weapons and equipment, as well as some messy materials. A total of 430,000 gold coins were exchanged back. The total assets reached 610,000 gold coins and 135,000 points. Having set a record twice, the points not only didn't become less, but more. Lin Mashian searched through the Imperial Exchange and didn't find the equipment he needed. In the end, he spent 600,000 gold coins and bought six primary skill scrolls. The Six sheets. Shouldn't be enough. Just to be on the safe side, he went back to the schoolhouse exchange. There were similarly primary skill scrolls for sale in the schoolhouse exchange for 800 points apiece. According to the ratio of 1 point to 100 gold coins, 800 points could only be exchanged for 80,000 gold coins it wasn't enough to buy a skill scroll. From this, it could also highlight that the purchasing power of points was much stronger and the value of points was higher. This was not only the case with skill scrolls. Other equipment, items were like this. Lin Mou thought about it and bought 10 more beginner skill scrolls, using up 8,000 points 16 should be about right. After buying the skill scrolls, he looked at other items. There were some equipment items that were not available in the Imperial Exchange. For example, Lin Mashian saw a silver grade weapon. This weapon, called the Spirit Sword, was not from a copy, but was created by a blacksmith professional named Zhang Tai. A blacksmith belonged to the auxiliary class of professions, and he could create the weapons and defenses that a professional needed. Spirit Long Sword, Silver Grade, Spirit Plus 400, can be used above level 20. Maker, Zhang Tai. Introduction, one of the Spirit 3 pieces. Without any skill bonus, only one attribute of Spirit plus 400. Compare it to other silver level weapons. For example, the top silver level staff, the spirit attribute increased by 200, the mage system skills increased by 15%, the comprehensive practicality is better than this spirit sword. For most mages, it would not be chosen. The spirit long sword was somewhat otherworldly in the silver level weapons. Unless it was some special mage type auxiliary like the prophet that needed a lot of mental energy to cast skills, only then would they choose such an alternative weapon. What Lin Mashian was looking at was its spiritual power attribute that increased to the extreme. His own spiritual power had now reached 1300, and with the 400 increase, he had a 1700 spiritual power attack. Each skeleton warrior summoned required 500 spiritual power. Originally, he could only increase two skeleton warriors at a time, with this sword, he could summon three and the higher the spiritual power, the faster the meditation recovery speed and the more efficient it would be. The most crucial thing was that the higher the spiritual strength of Lin Mashian's soul flame skill, the more powerful it was. Increasing his spiritual power was equal to being able to add to his skills in disguise. To Lin Mashue, it was much more practical than other silver weapons. The spirit sword was priced at 3000 points, which was slightly higher than other silver weapons and basically the same. Lin Mou still didn't hesitate to buy it. Chapter 84 Foolish Money, New Divine Skills an exquisite silver white longsword appeared in his hand, and his spiritual attribute instantly grew to 1700. Lin Mou could feel a surge of energy passing into his body from the spiritual longsword. If one held it and used soul flame, the soul flame power could be increased by quite a bit. Just two minutes had already cost 10,000 points there were still 125,000 points left, which seemed like a lot, but was actually completely insufficient for real use. Those gold level weapons and equipment could easily cost tens of thousands of points, and his entire fortune was only enough to buy one. 1700 points of spiritual energy wasn't enough, so Lin Mashian looked for defense equipment again. Ha! Huh? This is. Lin Mashue saw a mage type defense item named Spirit Robe among the defense items. Spiritual Robe, Silver Grade, Spiritual Strength plus 200, can be used above level 20. Maker, Zheng Tai. 
Description, one of the three pieces of spiritual armor. Made by the same person, same name. The same only increases spiritual attributes. None of these were strange. What Lin Meiyu saw was the last introduction, one of the spiritual three-piece suits. This is. Set. Lin Mashiwe was slightly surprised. In high school, when he was learning the basics of weapons and equipment, he had seen descriptions of set sets were extremely rare equipment, and if one could collect a set, they would have additional bonuses. The spiritual robe was priced at the same 2000 points, slightly cheaper than the weapon, but higher than a silver level defense at the same level. Lin Mou didn't even think about it and bought it. Points, he doesn't care too much for the time being. He's not too concerned about points for now. With a thought, the spiritual robe appeared on his body, replacing the original knowledge robe. Spiritual power immediately pushed to 1900. 553 Lin Meiyu checked the attributes and realized that it didn't inspire a set effect. Spiritual three-piece set, there was still one thing missing. Once again, he opened the exchange and started searching. There was a search function in the exchange, and based on Lin Yan's intention, the corresponding equipment was quickly found. Spirit ring, silver grade, spirit power plus 200, can be used above level 20. Maker, Zheng Tai. Description, one of the spiritual three-piece set. The price was set to 5,000 points, extremely expensive. Its pricing far exceeded other silver level jewelry. Lin Mashian didn't care about the price, he wanted to gather the set now. Without due to buy it, he put it on his finger at the same time. As the set was assembled, a faint silver light unexpectedly emitted from Lin Maya's body, attracting the attention of the others in the exchange. This is. The light of a set, someone has collected the set. Silver white light, it's a silver grade set. What kind of sets are in the silver level, I haven't heard of them. You're forgetting about that handcrafted set. You mean that set that only increases spirit? The set that's been hanging around the exchange for over two years? Holy shit, there's really someone buying that set? It's not like people are stupid and have a lot of money. Everyone's expression when they looked at Lin Mou was like they were looking at a fool spending 10,000 points to buy a silver set that didn't have any skill bonuses wasn't stupid. What was the point of stacking mental strength so high? It would be better to have a higher skill bonus and increase your attack power. Other mage skill power basically has little to do with spirit power. They didn't understand Lin Mojing, and Lin Mojing didn't need them to understand. After putting on the spirit ring, the spirit attribute had been pushed to 2100. It far exceeded every other attribute. Then Lin Mou finally saw the set bonus. The spirit three-piece set added an additional 800 points of spiritual strength. The spirit long sword, spirit robe, and spirit ring three pieces of equipment increased 800 points of spiritual strength. In total, it added 1,600 points of spiritual strength to Lin Mou The spiritual attribute also reached 2,900. It's worth it. Lin Mou felt that 10,000 points were very well spent under the odd gazes of the crowd, Lin Mou Yan left the trading center. Not a single word had been said from start to finish. However, when he left, Lin Mashiwa had a hint of satisfaction and joy on his face. What a weirdo, spending so many points and buying a set of equipment that only adds spirit, and he's still so happy. Maybe he thinks it looks good, just now I looked at his spiritual robe and also his long sword, the appearance is really good. What's the use of looking good, what we want is strength, can looking good charm the boss? People don't care if they have a lot of money, 10,000 points, how good would it be if it was given to me, my golden weapon is just a little bit short of points. Lin Mou left the exchange and went straight to the skill cultivation hall. The academy had a specialized skill cultivation hall, and had asked the array master to set up an array. In the skill cultivation hall not only could you speed up the cultivation of skills, it was said that you could also increase the chances of awakening skills whether this rumor was reliable or not was unclear, but there were indeed quite a few people who chose to use skill scrolls in the skill cultivation pavilion. With the idea that it was better to believe in something than nothing, Lin Mou could not be exempted either. The skill cultivation pavilion was similarly divided into middle, middle, and high levels. Just like the duplicates, in addition to points, they also needed levels. Lin Mou was only level 20 and could only enter the primary skill cultivation hall. With 100 points, he could train in the beginner's skill cultivation hall for one hour. Now he understood why there were skill cultivation halls that weren't being used, but the students still had to cultivate their skills outside. The price of 100 points for an hour was indeed a bit expensive. This was only for the beginner's pavilion, the intermediate pavilion was 1000 points per hour, and the advanced pavilion was 10,000 points per hour he had heard Ning Yi say that there seemed to be even better top-level cultivation halls, but they weren't open to the public. Lin Mou paid the points to enter the cultivation hall. The cultivation hall was an independent space. The length and width were both around 30 meters, not too big and not too small, enough for cultivation skills. Inside were placed some of the instruments used for cultivation. 
Standing in the cultivation hall, Lin Moshian felt a different aura. He had summoned a skeleton warrior after upgrading and consumed 500 mental energy. After all this time at the exchange, it had only recovered a little bit. The speed of recovery was very, very slow. At this time in the cultivation hall, he didn't meditate, but the recovery speed of his spiritual energy was surprisingly comparable to the meditative state. Using meditation in the skill cultivation hall, that recovery speed could be accelerated several times again in this way, there was no need to worry about a lack of mental energy when practicing skills. The speed of cultivation could naturally be drastically increased. If I summon skeleton warriors here and then use meditation to recover my mental energy, won't I be able to fill up the skeleton warriors very quickly? Lin Mo calculated in his mind that it was indeed a good method. However, now was not the time to summon skeleton warriors. Lin Mo took out one primary skill scroll and then activated it. The scroll transformed into a ball of light that enveloped Lin Mojing, turning him into a ball of light that shone brightly in the cultivation hall. A moment later, the ball of light dissipated. Nothing had happened. No skills had been acquired. The primary skill scroll had failed to be used. What was expected, skill awakening was never that easy. Ning Yi had once said that there was an unlucky guy who used 300 primary skill scrolls in order to awaken all the skills below the second turn when he was at level 30 he used a full 300 primary skill scrolls. Lin Mou felt that he shouldn't be that miserable. Activated another one. The light cluster lit up again. Lin Mou could see that the light cluster was made up of thousands of points of light, like stars, very beautiful. At this moment, Lin Mou thought of the time when she used to be on the roof with her sister looking up at the sky full of stars and making a wish on a shooting star. Grandma would bring snacks and fruits for them to eat. That time was beautiful, and Lin Mou cherished it. Suddenly, Lin Mou saw one of the stars light up. It then turned into a stream of light and drilled into his body. Acquired skill, Skeleton Armor. Skeleton Armor, level 1 summon skeletons to form an armor that provides 100 points of body defense for 5 minutes, this skill can also be used on others. Necromancer also belongs to the mage class, although equipped with the mage system skill bonus has nothing to do with him, but ultimately there are mages have something in common mages had their own shield skills, so did necromancers. Skeletal armor appeared in this regard. The defense power converted from 100 points of constitution was not very high. However, under the effect of the overall increase, the defense power was directly increased by 30 times. It was equivalent to the defense power of 3000 points of physique. This was simply a humanoid boss. Facing those level 20 professions, Lin Muyue could boldly say, I don't fight back and let you hit me, you can't even kill me. The most crucial thing is that this skill can also be used on others. Unlike mages who could only use it on themselves. Then the security of the team with him in it will be greatly enhanced. The appearance of this skill also made up for the shortcomings of his own weak defense. Lin Mashian raised his palm slightly and then pressed down as he pressed his palm down, a soft sound rang out in the cultivation hall. The same into there was a cloudy wind that came out of nowhere to surround itself. A layer of white armor made up of bones quickly covered his body. It looked a bit eerie, but it was also a bit cool. After putting on the skeleton armor, Lin Moshian moved around a bit. The whole body moved freely, and the armor didn't hinder movement at all. Moreover, the armor was as light as nothing, and if you didn't use your eyes to see it, you wouldn't even feel it. After trying it out, a smile appeared at the corner of Lin Moyan's mouth. Another practical and powerful divine skill. Activating the skill scroll again. Chapter 85, Skeleton Mage, Elemental Resistance The light mass lasted for a while and gradually dissipated. It didn't obtain a new skill. Lin Moshian was not disappointed. Having just obtained a divine skill, he was already very satisfied. As there were more and more skills, the failure rate of skill scrolls would skyrocket even at the back, a dozen times wouldn't necessarily succeed once. Continue activating the skill scroll. Fail. 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 Failed all in a row. Lin Mo Yan had a calm face and continued to activate the skill scroll. Even if all of the latter failed, the skill of skeleton armor alone was already, already earned. Failed seven times in a row. The tenth skill scroll. The light mass enveloped Lin Mercury exactly as before. A few seconds later, a different image appeared before his eyes. Flames of fire rushed to the sky. Cold ice like rain. Howling winds. Electricity flashing and thundering. Four images alternated in front of his eyes. Four images, representing four elements. As calm as Lin Muyu was, he couldn't help but get excited at this moment. Such a picture, there was a new skill. And it seemed to be a skill related to the elements. Acquired skill, Summon Skeleton Mage. Summon Skeleton Mage, level 1 summon a black iron level skeleton mage. There wasn't much explanation. Because the skill was only level 1, the one summoned was only a black iron level skeleton mage. 
A small black hole appeared beside Lin Mashian, and then a skeleton mage stepped out in response. Summoning a skeleton mage consumed 50 points of mental energy. It consumed more spirit than summoning a skeleton warrior. Remember that a skeleton warrior only needed 10 points of spirit power at level 1. A black iron ranked skeleton mage was covered in rags. Compared to a silver ranked skeleton warrior, it was simply miserable. The bones were full of cracks and staggered when they walked, as if they were about to fall apart at any moment. There were no weapons, and a pair of skeleton hands were glowing with fire. This was a fire type skeleton mage. Check the attributes of the skeleton mage. Black iron grade skeleton mage. Strength, 300. Agility, 300. Spirit, 900. Physique, 300. Skill, Explosive Flame. Bursting Flame, inflicts fire elemental damage on the target, attack power depends on spirit power because of the presence of the overall increased talent, all attributes were boosted by 30 times. The base attributes strength, agility, and constitution were all 10 points. Spirit, on the other hand, was 30 points. Lin Mashian was very satisfied with this attribute. A skeleton mage's strength, agility, and constitution weren't high. It was a little lower than a level 1 professional. The only thing that reached 30 points was mental strength. And its skill power was also determined by its spiritual power. Lin Mashian understood the purpose of skeleton mages. They were the turrets, the output. The skeleton warriors were at the front, and they were at the back outputting at full power. It was thought that the power of these skills wouldn't be bad. Now all he had to do was to keep practicing the skills, leveling them up and making the skeleton mages stronger and stronger the light clusters lit up again and lasted for more than 10 seconds before declaring themselves extinguished. Lin Mashian used it one after the other. Again, it was a continuous failure. Already having the previous experience, Lin Mashian felt that this was normal. The big deal was to go back and buy dozens more. Finally, when the last scroll was activated, Lin Mashua once again saw a different picture. Whenever a skill appeared, there was bound to be a different picture. It was just like the preview before a movie. This time, the teaser was so colorful that Lin Mou couldn't understand it. It didn't matter if you could read it or not, just have it. Acquired skill, Elemental Resistance. Elemental Resistance, Level 1 Passive Skill, 10% Increase in Resistance to Elemental Attacks for Self and Summoned Objects. I didn't expect it to be a passive skill. The damage was reduced by 10%, and after a full increase, the resistance against elemental attacks would be increased by 300% in other words, the damage of any elemental attack against him was going to be reduced by a full 3 times. Safety was once again increased significantly. Although the skeleton warrior's physique was high, boss elemental skill attacks could still cause considerable damage to them. Now with elemental resistance, the skeleton warrior's resistance to elemental attacks had increased dramatically, making safety even stronger. Each of the necromancer's skills were practical, there were no wasted skills at all. Looking at the time, half an hour had passed since he entered the skill cultivation hall. Time was points here. Decisively recruited for skeleton warriors. Pushed the number of skeleton warriors to 125. Then scattered the skeleton mages. Lin Mashian summons, I. E. They could be included in the summoning space, allowing them to exist permanently. It was also possible to scatter the skills at any time, which was equivalent to destroying the skeleton mages there was no way around it, Lin Mashian needed to repeatedly practice his skills, he could only do this. Recruit 1, scatter 1. The spirit quickly ran out. Lin Mashian then grabbed the time to start meditating. In the skill cultivation room, meditation recovered mental energy quite quickly. One could clearly feel that their spiritual energy was rapidly recovering. It would even give one the illusion of addiction. By the end of the hour, Lin Muyue's spiritual energy had recovered most of it. Lin Muyue thought about not thinking about it and paid the points to bag another three hours. When his mental strength had completely recovered, he started practicing his skills. Skeleton mages kept appearing and disappearing. When his mental energy was depleted, he continued to meditate. This cycle went back and forth, not stopping for a moment. Practicing skills was addictive, Lin Mashian sort of understood the meaning of this saying in the repeated practice, the summoning skeleton mage had finally risen to level 2. Black Iron Level Skeleton Mage Strength, 600 Agility, 600 Spirit, 1800 Physique, 600 Still Black Iron Grade, still in ragged shape. It was no better than the skeleton warrior, if I were to say that it couldn't be used, it wouldn't be so bad. The time had come again. Lin Mashian had already spent the afternoon in the skill cultivation room for four hours straight. Repeatedly meditating and practicing skills. Although it was very refreshing, his mental head was a bit drained. This situation was just like playing a copy for a whole day. 
Lin Muyue left the skill cultivation room and used her communicator to contact Bai Yi Yuan. The communicator was connected and Bai Yi Yuan's majestic voice came, What is it? Lord White God, I'm level 20. Lin Maxian said calmly. Bai Yi Yuan, who was drinking tea, revealed an odd color, slightly surprised, You're level 20? Lin Mo Yan said calmly, Yes. Bai Yi Yuan was silent for a moment, Go wait for me at the faculty office. Good. After hanging up the communication, Lin Muyue rushed to the faculty office. Request flowers. In the hidden space, Meng Anwen couldn't help but laugh, who's level 20? Bai Yuan waved his hand, who else could it be, Lin Muyue? Meng Anwen was not surprised, isn't that normal? It's indeed normal, but it's also a bit abnormal to say it's not. Yesterday evening he was only level 17, now he's level 20 in only one day's work, the upgrade speed is a bit fast. Meng Anwen's face also showed some astonishment, very fast indeed, looks like he's working hard. Bai Yuan suddenly burst out laughing, I get it, this guy is simply soloing nightmare level copies, otherwise it's impossible for him to be so fast. Thinking about Lin Moyu's performance on Mermaid Island, Bai Yuan felt that he was fully capable of soloing a nightmare level copy at this time, someone walked over, something strange has happened. Bai Yuan looked at the visitor and revealed a smile, old man Ning, you don't care about the duplicate hall, why do you have time to come to my place? Ning Tai Ran said in a deep voice, something strange has happened in the replica hall. There's a little guy that's continuously setting new records for replicas. There was even a fight for him today, almost a fight. That person said that you gave the little guy treasures to make him set new records. Bai Yi Yuan raised his eyebrows, there's such a treasure? Why don't I know, who set the record? Saying this, Bai Yi Yuan even handed a cup of tea to Ning Taran, no rush, drink your tea and speak slowly. It's just a little guy, can't make a big deal out of it. Meng Anwen looked at Bai Yuan's old-fashioned appearance and knew that this guy should have an answer in his heartening Tai Ran took a sip of tea, a trainee called Lin Muyue, who came here yesterday at level 17, first brushed the mutant forest, and later the spider's lair. This is the record he set. Ming Taran showed Lin Mashue's record. Mutant forest, 24 minutes and 32 seconds. Spider lair, 22 minutes and 51 seconds. Bai Yuan and Meng Anwen looked at each other, this record was a bit scary. Even the two of them were shocked for a moment. Meng Anwen was a bit self-deprecating, old Bai, could you do it back then? Bai Yuan was very bald, doing shit, letting me solo normal difficulty is fine, nightmare difficulty isn't that like going to die? Not to mention the score, I really don't know how this guy did it. No more talking, I'm leaving, that guy should have already arrived at the faculty office. With that, Bai Yi Yuan disappeared. Ming Tai Ran said strangely, what's he doing going in such a hurry? Meng Anwen smiled, went to look for this guy called Lin Moyu, leave him alone, let's drink tea. Ning Tai Ran said, just in time, I also have something to find you. Meng Anwen was slightly stunned, what is it? Make a ring. In the faculty office, Lin Moyu met Bai Yuan. Lord White God, what is the mission? He got right to the point and didn't like to bend. Bai Yuan glanced at Lin Moyu, and sure enough, he was already level 20. This leveling speed, it wasn't generally fast. At least it was much faster than he was back then. Thinking of his own miserable appearance back then, Bai Yuan couldn't help but say in his heart, both siblings are monsters. Lin Mohan getting to level 30 in three months and then joining the God Creation Academy was already as fast as flying. This younger brother was even more frightening, it was estimated that at this rate, it would take less than two months to reach level 30. The quest is also simple, go get an item, Kulu. Chapter 86, White God's Quest, Tyrant's Heart. Bai Yuan sat with a big grin on his face, although he had a smile on his face, his majesty was still heavy. Having been in a high position for a long time, anyone would develop an unusual aura. Ordinary people who saw Bai Yuan would be taken in by his aura. However, Lin Moyu didn't have any feelings and did whatever she needed to do. Bai Yuan didn't put on airs either, you've been to the replica hall, right? You should know that there's a large replica called Tyrant Desert in the replica hall. Lin Moyu nodded, I know. Bai Yuan said, your task is to go to the Tyrant Desert copy and bring back the Tyrant's heart in the copy. It was that simple? The Tyrant Desert was a large level 25 replica that could hold up to 40 people together in a group, and the level requirements were also put very broadly. Anyone from level 20 to 30 could go in, so there were definitely a lot of monsters in there, and they weren't low in intensity but to him, the more monsters the better. With the corpse burst still in place, even more monsters would only increase his experience for him. Bai Yi Yuan laughed, do you think it's easy? Lin Moyu almost instinctively had to answer yes. The Tyrant's heart isn't that easy to obtain. The reason why the Tyrant Desert copy can be called a large copy and requires a group of 40 people to get in, there are naturally difficult parts. Even though this copy is only level 25, it's quite a bit more difficult than other level 25 copies. 
When the words came to this point, Bai Yi Yuan didn't continue. Lin Mou understood the reasoning within. But Bai Yuan definitely couldn't imagine that he was originally going to Tyrant Desert. Bai Yuan's fingers gently tapped on the table, making a thumping sound, I'll give you three days, bring back the Tyrant's heart within three days, and I'll help you get a cooling amulet. I know. Lin Maxian replied softly. Before entering the replica hall, he had a strong need for a cooling amulet. But now that he only needed to spend a few points to remove the cooldown time in the replica hall, he didn't seem to have such a strong need for cooling talismans anymore. Bai Yuan noticed Lin Mou's eyes and couldn't help but reveal a mysterious smile, do you think that with the replica hall, the cooling talisman is of little use? I can tell you that the cooling talisman is very useful, it's not comparable to the replica hall. Although there are many replicas in the replica hall, none of them are the best replicas, and there are no top-tier replicas. You will definitely come into contact with the best ones in the future, and the cooldowns will be incredibly long. There are some top-tier copies where the cooldown will even reach a month. At that time, the cooldown talisman will come into play. Lin Mei Yu asked, but this is only a primary cooling talisman. Bai Yuan laughed out loud, any high-level cooling talisman is upgraded from a low-level cooling talisman. Complete the quest and I can not only give you the primary cooling talisman, but I can also tell you the method to upgrade the cooling talisman. Surprisingly, this was something Lin Ma Xian didn't expect. All right, I'll bring back the tyrant's heart. Lin Mou accepted the quest. Bai Yuan laughed loudly, three days later the academy will hold an opening ceremony, all of you who have been admitted to the Shajing Academy this term will be here, you should come and participate then as well, don't miss it. I know. Meng Anwen was still sipping tea when Bai Yuan came back, seemingly enjoying the scenery in the distance. How was it? Is it still satisfying to look at? Meng Anwen report a cup of hot tea for Bai Yu and Bai Yuan's mouth was tinged with a smile, the more I look at it, the more satisfied I am, this little guy has a calm personality, very much to my liking. I told him to go to the tyrant desert to get the tyrant's heart and gave him three days. Oh? Meng Anwen said, it's not easy to group up so many people. This guy doesn't know how to form a group, he's definitely going to go solo. He must have gone to single brush the large scale copy. The corner of Meng Anwen's mouth twitched slightly, this is something you did when you were young. Bai Yuan laughed, a good man doesn't mention his courage back then. Meng An shook his head, I remember that you went in at level 30 back then, and then rolled out in a very sorry state. Bai Yuan's smile disappeared instantly and hurriedly drank tea to cover up his embarrassment, it's been said that a good man doesn't mention his courage back then. The gate of the duplicate hall was still bustling. Lin Moyu's arrival immediately attracted the attention of many people. Now he was a big name. Although his level wasn't high, he had set new records for two days in a row, and his results were exaggerated and outrageous. If he wasn't famous, who would be? Lin Mashiwe is here. He's going to refresh the new copy again, isn't he? Could it be another new record? I wonder what copy he'll brush. Lin Mashiwe came to the quest center in the center of the duplicate hall. Checked out the quests. Found a few quests related to the Tyrant Desert. If there was something to be gained in them, they could be exchanged for points. Suddenly, he saw that there was actually a quest for the Tyrant's Heart. Someone was asking for the Tyrant's Heart, offering 100,000 points. This price was very high, so high that it was unusual a level 25 copy, even if it was a large copy, was always just level 25. The items inside could be worth 100,000 points? 100,000 points was almost enough to buy platinum level equipment. Combined with the fact that Bai Yuan also wanted the Tyrant's Heart, it made Lin Mou feel that the Tyrant's Heart was unusual. Schoolmate Mouyu, are you planning to make a copy? Raising his head, he saw that Shu Han was standing beside him with a smile on his face. Lin Mouyu happened to have some questions in his mind, Senior sister, do you know about Tyrant's Heart? No ah. Uh. Shu Han answered instinctively without even thinking about it. She then said in detail, Tyrant's Heart is a material that only drops from the final boss in the Tyrant Desert copy. Alchemists can use the Tyrant's Heart as the main material to craft boss jewelry, the Tyrant's Necklace. It turned out to be the same special material as the Goblin King, used to make boss jewelry boss jewelry was a special kind of jewelry that would have some attributes that ordinary jewelry didn't have. For example, the Goblin King's ring, the full skill boosted by one level. The kind that doesn't distinguish between professions. Lin Maxian didn't know if it was useful to him, but it didn't hinder its value. Shu Han continued, although the Tyrant Necklace is good, his main material, the Tyrant's Heart, is too difficult to obtain. The Tyrant Desert copy is a large copy, there is no difficulty to choose from, and the monsters inside are even more powerful than the nightmare difficulty of the same level copy. The bosses inside are even world-class bosses that are very difficult to fight. Even if you're a level 40 full editor to fight, it's still time-consuming and dangerous, and if you don't get it right, you'll be fighting a trip for nothing. 
The tyrant's heart only drops once a year, and it's been two years since the last time the tyrant's heart dropped. Lin Meiyu felt that even if the difficulty was high, but what about so many people, there would always be a team to fight. The tyrant must have been killed many times as well, so why did no one obtain the tyrant's heart? With curiosity in her heart, Lin Moyu asked, why? Xu Han giggled, Lin Moyu spoke very little, and she was partial to trying to lure him into talking. This cadet, who was two years younger than herself, seemed to be very playful, just like her own younger brother. Xu Han held up two fingers, two reasons, one is that the requirement in the tyrant desert copy is that the fewer people there are, the higher the chance of dropping the tyrant's heart. This less people is counted from the time you enter the copy, quitting halfway is useless. The second reason is the tyrant boss, the faster the boss is killed, the higher the probability of dropping the tyrant's heart. Hearing this, Lin Mou finally understood. Calculating this way, 100,000 points in the quest center to acquire the tyrant's heart was simply too cheap. Not to mention that Bai Yuan also wanted this. Even if Bai Yuan didn't want it, Lin Mojing couldn't possibly sell it to him after knowing its value. Boss Jewelry, it doesn't smell good when you use it yourself. Thank you. Lin Mou sincerely thanked Xu Han. Usually other people weren't willing to say so much. Xu Han smiled cheekily, you're welcome, but in the past two days, I heard that an academy is planning to organize manpower to attack the tyrant desert, does Silhouette student want to team up with them? Lin Mou shook his head, no team, I'll go solo. Xu Han was surprised and covered her eyes. Xu Han covered her small mouth in surprise. She originally thought that Lin Mou was going to find a team, but she didn't expect Lin Mou to say that she was going to go solo I've heard of solo brushing ordinary copies, but I've never heard of solo brushing large copies. This was simply something that was impossible to do, it hadn't appeared in history. This was simply impossible. Senior, don't think about it. Xu Han said with concern. Lin Muyue laughed and walked to the tyrant desert copy. The entrance vortex of a large replica was much larger than an ordinary replica and was very special. Looking up, the light screen on the replica had a record hanging on it. The record was set four years ago. Flying Dragon Academy, 40 people, 16 hours, 45 minutes, 18 seconds. Flying Dragon Academy was the same as Subterranean Dragon Academy, the same academy in the academy. There were six academies like this one in the academy. Ordinary cadets of the academy, cadets of the independent academy department, and cadets of the top academy department. Like unspoken rules, the cadets were also graded in the previous incident with Lingjin, there was almost a fight between the ordinary cadets and the academy department cadets. Competition existed within the academy as well. Xu Han brought worry, schoolmate Moyu, do you really want to go in and go solo? Lin Moyu nodded his head. He was about to go in when suddenly a condescending voice rang out from behind him. Don't block the way. Chapter 87 If he succeeds, he'll make history. Lin Moyu's eyes and hands were quick, and he pulled Xu Han over. A knight in full body armor walked over with a fierce face. If it wasn't for Lin Mayu's quick movements, there was a chance that he would have bumped into Xu Han. Behind him were many other people. The knight had a sturdy figure, close to two meters tall, giving off a strong sense of oppression. He looked at Lin Mou obliquely, full of disdain. Then he raised his head condescendingly, Our Bailey Academy is going to brush the tyrant desert copy today, and we're bound to set a new record. Behind him followed dozens of people who echoed in a loud voice. The record for the Tyrant Desert copy had been held for four long years, set by the Flying Dragon Academy. The fact that no one had set a new record for four years showed how difficult the Tyrant Desert copy was. Xu Han whispered, there's been news in the past few days that Bailey Academy is going to brush the Tyrant copy. It's rumored that they've made all the preparations, and for this reason, there are a few mainstays who have been stuck at level 30. Some of the higher-leveled students in the Academy have even prepared a full set of gold equipment for them. Lin Moshian could understand their thoughts. Being able to set a new record wasn't just a way to gain a lot of points and contribution points, it was also an honor. The academy students would work hard for this honor. It could also be a stepping stone for them to enter a top-tier academy the knight represented the 100 Miles Academy and announced in a high-profile manner that he was going to raid the Tyrant Desert replica, going to set a record that had been set by the Flying Dragon Academy four years ago. Then he looked down at Lin Mou, 14 student, please give way. Lin Mou didn't move, without the slightest intention to give way. I was here first. He said lightly, not giving the other party face. The knight frowned, classmate, do you want to follow us to brush copies? Sorry, we have a mission this time, we'll bring you next time. Lin Mou cried and laughed. This guy's ego was too good, when did he ever ask him to bring him alone? Seeing that Lin Mou still didn't have the intention of letting go, the knight frowned, feeling a little embarrassed, and even more so, a little humiliated. Feeling how Lin Mou was so annoying. But the replica hall was watched by hundreds of eyes, he couldn't do anything to Lin Mou if you don't allow it, then you don't allow it. 
he shouted angrily, all get ready to enter the replica. As soon as his words fell, he only heard Lin Mou say to Xu Han, I'm entering the book. Xu Han nodded, be careful. Lin Mashuai disappeared, and the vortex of the tyrant desert copy lit up. It meant that there was someone inside, and Lin Mashian had really gone in. The corner of this knight's mouth twitched, this kid is here to cause trouble, right, going in alone, looking for death? Suddenly, the entire replica hall came alive. I'll go, he really went in. Even Tyrant Desert dares to go in solo, a true bigot without a doubt. Never heard of anyone being able to solo brush a large replica. If he succeeds, he'll make history. It's hard, I think it's unlikely to succeed. I've been to the Tyrant Desert once, it's too dangerous, if you're not careful, you'll lose your life. If it's someone else it definitely won't work, it's hard to say about him. The corner of the mouth of the night leading the team from Bailey Academy twitched. Their Bailey Academy's team was well prepared to set a record. They didn't even pay attention to it like this, and ended up paying attention to a little guy who swiped it alone. He saw that Lin Mashue was still wearing silver equipment. He himself had a full set of gold equipment. At this moment, everyone in Bailey Academy felt a little embarrassed. The knight realized that his momentum had declined and knew that he couldn't wait any longer. Enter the copy. With a loud shout, the students of Bailey Academy rushed over and teleported into the copy. The knight also swept the light screen before entering the copy, 16 hours, 45 minutes and 18 seconds, I will definitely break this record. Tyrant Desert was a large replica, and it was already level 25, so the charges naturally rose. Lin Mashian paid 500 points when he came in. To remove the cooldown, it would even cost 2,000 points if one repeatedly brushed this copy, once would be 2,500 points, and four times would be 10,000 points. For the first time, Lin Moyen felt that the 120,000 points he still had left didn't seem to last long. It turned out that points were so unused. Let's hope the reward for breaking the record will be better. The hot wind swept through, raising yellow sand in the sky. The blazing sun overhead, the scorching sunlight, and the rising temperature were all telling him that the environment here was harsh. Not far away there were patches of sand dunes blocking the line of sight. Lin Mashue found himself in a basin surrounded by sand dunes. Skeleton warriors appeared in large numbers, and a whole 125 skeleton warriors quickly ran towards the four directions. Topographical maps also appeared in his mind. Lin Mashian also walked up a sand dune and saw a large, endless desert. There was no sense of direction to speak of. The blazing sun hung directly above his head, unable to give himself directions this was a copy, not the real world. The blazing sun on his head would not move, and could not point in the direction at all. Southeast, west, and north, it couldn't be distinguished. Judging by the record 16 hours, this replica will be unprecedentedly large. As he was thinking, suddenly a skeleton warrior sent an alert. An enemy has been encountered. A withered branch suddenly leapt out of the desert and entangled the skeleton warrior. However, the skeleton warrior's strength attribute was as high as 12,000, and he directly swung his sword to cut off the branch. Then a large tree rushed out from the desert. The tree was 10 meters tall with countless dead branches, and as soon as it came out, it madly smacked the skeleton warrior. Skeleton warrior's hand big knife swung non-stop, dead branches flying, in a flash this big tree is only left with a pole, dying. Lin Mashian arrived and before the tree died, the detection spell flew out in time, desert ghost tree, super reinforced elite monster, comma. Level, 25. Strength, 5000. Agility, 1000. Spirit, 2000. Physique, 6000. Skill, death entanglement. Looking at this attribute, it was already very close to the skeleton warrior before the upgrade. It was even stronger than the alpha-level python in the mermaid copy. Worthy of being a large-scale copy. Just an ordinary small monster, its attributes are already comparable to the mermaid copy's level 24 alpha. If the skeleton warrior hadn't leveled up, it would have taken a bit more effort to deal with it. If it was the previous bronze-level skeleton warrior with 6,200 full attributes, it would naturally be no problem to deal with it, but it would just take a bit of effort. It was like fighting a boss, there was always more hacking to do. It would be as easy as it is now. After seeing the opponent's attributes, Lin Muyue probably had a concept of the monsters in the copy, kill level 25 desert ghost tree, experience plus 300,000. Obtain ghost tree branch asterisk 5. Not only were the attributes alpha level, even the experience was. A single kill would yield 300,000 experience, which was really quite a lot. At this time, the skeleton warriors connected to encounter enemies, all of which were desert ghost trees. This desert area seemed to be the territory of the desert ghost trees. The number is not small, there are everywhere. They usually hid under the desert and attacked when someone passed by. Skill, Skeleton Armor Lin Moshian pressed down on his palm and put skeleton armor on himself. A set of armor made of bones appeared on his body, 
emitting a silver-white glow in the sunlight. Let the skeleton warriors continue scouting in all directions. The controllable range of a black iron-ranked skeleton warrior is only 500 meters. It reached 1,000 meters at bronze level. Now that it was silver level, the range reached 2,000 meters Lin Mashian advanced along the route the skeleton warrior passed through. More and more areas were being detected. The map in Lin Mojing's mind became perfected. An hour had passed, and Lin Moyan's detected range was getting bigger and bigger. There was yellow sand everywhere, not a single thing else. Apart from the yellow sand, there were desert ghost trees, and he hadn't encountered any other monsters. After two hours of detecting, something different finally appeared in his mind. Water. Water was found. 553. Lin Moshian hurried over. Standing on a sand dune, he saw an oasis. The oasis waterway spread out towards the distance, winding and long. Without saying anything, he collected the skeleton warriors from the other directions. A large number of skeleton warriors instantly appeared in front of them. Then they rushed towards the oasis. When an oasis appeared in the desert, there was bound to be danger present. The skeleton warriors opened the way the skeletal warriors had just rushed to the edge of the oasis. There was a clamor. The oasis rolled up a large amount of water. Then a large number of scorpion-like objects rushed out from the oasis. Lin Moyu didn't panic in the slightest, he was still on the dune at this time and didn't go down at all. The detection technique blew through like a breeze. Oasis Giant Scorpion. Level, 25. Strength, 4000. Agility, 3000. Spirit, 2000. Physique, 6000. Skill, Poison Needle. Each giant scorpion was as high as 2 meters, and counting the tail, the length was more than 5 meters. There were giant poisonous needles on their tails, which looked very hideous and terrifying. There was more than one poisonous needle, but it was formed in the shape of a flower petal. Under the sunlight, it emitted an eerie blue light. Hundreds of oasis giant scorpions rushed towards the skeleton warrior. The skeleton warrior was not afraid in the slightest, his greatsword already raised if it was any other team, when approaching the oasis, it would inevitably be step by step. Little by little, the monsters would be attracted to them, and they would be surrounded and annihilated. It was like Lin Mashue, simple and rough. The ten skeleton warriors simultaneously swung their greatswords and displayed their skills. Skill, Berserk Strike. With three times the attack power of their own strength attribute, they struck a Berserk Strike. The greatswords carried a reddish light that blocked out the sunlight. An oasis giant scorpion let out a miserable scream and was instantly killed in seconds. Killed level 25 oasis giant scorpion, experience plus 300,000. Obtained sharp tail needle asterisk 3. After two seconds, the other oasis giant scorpions were already leaning in. Lin Moshian raised his palm. Skill, corpse burst. Chapter 88, skill cultivation holy land. There was a loud boom. It blew out the yellow sand in the sky the oasis giant scorpion was wrapped in yellow sand and blown away. The corpse tumbled in the air. Skill after skill. Explosion after explosion. A big crater appeared. Yellow sand rained down, and those oasis scorpions that were blown up were buried. A large amount of experience was pocketed. Lin put the materials into the storage space. Experience took off again. 1. The experience of each monster was equivalent to thousands of small spiders in the spider lair. In just one wave of monsters, the experience had risen by 8%. Cool. Lin Moshian lightly drank in his heart. I didn't expect experience to rise so quickly after level 20. If one could keep blowing up monsters like this, then upgrading wouldn't be as easy as drinking water and eating. The monsters that other people were careful and exhausted to kill. In front of Lin Mou, it's as easy as chopping up a melon and cutting up a vegetable. Experience is really like rain flying over. Not only experience, there are also a lot of materials in the blink of an eye, the monsters on the edge of the oasis had been cleaned up. Lin Moyu followed the skeleton warrior and advanced along the waterway. The waterway meandered and flowed into the distance, and Lin Moyu didn't know if this was the right direction. But for now, there was only this one channel to follow. Everywhere else was filled with roiling yellow sand, and it was impossible to tell the direction. On both sides of the waterway inhabited a large number of oasis giant scorpions, their bodies buried under the yellow sand, often with only their tails exposed. From afar, it looked like a sharp stinger. As the skeleton warriors continued to advance, these spikes were eradicated, leaving behind only a body. While advancing, a large number of skeleton warriors were also spread out on both sides. They advanced in the same direction as Lin Moshian while clearing out the ghost trees hidden in the desert as well. The number wasn't particularly large, but it was experience anyways the map of the Tyrant Desert was simply too big. After advancing along the waterway for more than an hour, other sites finally appeared in the line of sight. 
there was a not-so-high mountain peak that appeared at the end of the waterway. Lin Mashian also knew why the other teams were advancing so slowly. The first thing was finding the path, and the second thing was these oasis giant scorpions along the way. The strength of each one was no worse than the other copies of the alpha-level monsters. A normal team, even a full formation of 40 people, would need a lot of time to clear through. The waterway flowed to the end and disappeared into the ground. Some sparse professions appeared in front of them, all cacti. Next to the cacti lay a large number of ants. Not ordinary ants, each ant was over a meter in size, revealing sharp teeth. Each foot had barbs growing on it, like a large sharp knife. Desert Juvenile Ant, Reinforced Elite Monster. Level, 25. Strength, 2,500. Agility, 2,000. Spirit, 1,000. Physique, 3,000. Skills, none. Weaker than the Desert Scorpion, it belongs to the Reinforced Elite Monsters, and is similar to the monsters in the Nightmare Level difficulty of the same level of replica the only thing is the number of them. The ants are a very large group of people, but they are still young. Ants are a very large group. They are a very large group of ants, with a strict hierarchy and a clear division of labor. The young ants are only the weakest of them. If even the juvenile ants are elite monsters of the reinforced type, then the worker ants, soldier ants, and so on above them are all elite monsters. Then the worker ants and soldier ants above them. Lin Mashian had already gotten into the spirit, sensing that large amounts of experience value were closing in on him. The detection technique had already caught their attention. A few young ants raised their heads to look at Lin Mojing in the next second, with a screech, they rushed over. It was fast, feeling beyond the speed that the 2000 agility attribute should have. It was fast, and the skeleton warriors were even faster. A few skeleton warriors blocked them, and their hands rose up. Two clicks. Directly killed in seconds, without any suspense. A tribute gap is too big. With 12,000 attributes, the skeleton warrior possesses a completely crushing combat power. The skeleton warrior rushed out, killing the nearby young ants without fail. Killed level 25 desert hatchling ant, experience plus 50,000. Obtained ant fangs asterisk 3. Kill level 25 desert hatchling, experience plus 50,000, gained ant fangs asterisk 3. Gain ant fangs asterisk 3. The experience value was steadily increasing. More than 4 hours had passed since entering the copy. The experience had also risen to 15%. There hadn't been any more clusters of monsters since then, they were all scattered, so naturally the efficiency had dropped quite a bit what is this? Lin Moshian walked over and saw the strange-looking cactus. Hanging from the cactus was a small fruit. The dark blue fruits looked like grapes and were mouth-watering. Mundane undecided detection technique. Desert fruit. Can quickly restore a large amount of mental energy, needs to be taken within 5 minutes after picking, cannot be saved. At that moment, a squeaking sound rang in his ears. A large number of young ants burrowed out of the ground and quickly surrounded themselves. The number was over a hundred. These young ants let out angry screams at Limerick, seemingly warning Limerick to stay away from the desert fruit. What answered them were the great swords of the skeletal warriors. Lin Mojing looked ahead, a high mountain blocking the way. A steep cliff, difficult to climb terrain. At the foot of the mountain were several cave entrances there seemed to be ants present at the entrances. Ants Cave Lin Moshian realized that this was an ant cave. If you wanted to cross the mountain, you had to enter an ant cave. But there were a full five cave entrances in front of him, so he didn't know which was the correct passage. With a thought, the fifty skeleton warriors split into five groups and ran to different caves. As for Lin Muyue himself, he plucked a desert fruit and stuffed it into his mouth. The desert fruit was not as sour as expected, but instead had a hint of sweetness. The flavor was very good. The taste and shape were similar to grapes. Originally, he had already consumed more than half of his spiritual energy. After taking the desert fruit, the spiritual energy began to recover rapidly. The speed was fast, and in just less than a minute, the spiritual energy was almost completely recovered. Lin Moshian couldn't help but show a shocked expression. One had to know that his total spiritual power was 2900 under the spirit set's enchantment, the spiritual power was at least double that of a mage of the same level. The effect of the desert fruit was too good to be true. The recovery speed was ten times faster than if he meditated in the skill cultivation hall. Looking at the patches of special cacti with tons of desert fruits hanging from them. When the moment came, he made a decision. A skeleton mage was summoned. The spiritual energy that was about to be full was once again consumed in large quantities. After consuming all the spiritual energy, Lin Mou dispersed all the summoned skeleton mages. At this time, the medicinal effect of the desert fruit hadn't disappeared yet, and his spiritual energy was still recovering rapidly. When some of his spiritual energy had recovered, Lin Mou Yen started summoning skeleton mages again. 
When the medicinal effect was all gone, he took another desert fruit and continued to wait for his spiritual power to recover the skeleton mages kept appearing and disappearing quickly. This place had just become the best place for Lin Moyen to practice his skills. With this alone, Lin Moyu felt that this trip was worth it. Without having to care about mental energy consumption, skill cultivation was fast. While he was practicing his skills, the skeleton warriors had already rushed into the ant cave. The distance was 2,000 meters, which was a straight-line distance that wouldn't change due to the complexity of the terrain. The ant cave had a much larger number of ants. Kill level 25 desert hatchling ant, experience plus 100,000. Obtain ant fangs asterisk 3. Kill level 26 desert worker ant, experience plus 330,000. Obtain ant fangs asterisk 6. Shortly after going deeper into the cave, the skeleton warrior came across desert worker ants. From the experience, Desert Worker Ants clearly belonged to the super reinforced elite monsters. Moreover, it had reached level 26, with even more experience. Without bothering with the skeleton warriors anymore, he let them fight freely and explore the map. He fully began to cultivate his skills. After hundreds of consecutive summoning of skeleton mages, the skill was finally raised to level 3. But this was only the beginning. Lin Mashian was happy to be here, how could he miss such a good place? This place was simply the holy land of skill cultivation. Time passed little by little, Lin Mayu's skills didn't stop for a moment, summoning with reckless abandon. Desert fruits were taken one by one, and his mental strength was always in a state of rapid recovery. Ten minutes later, the skill was once again raised by one level. The speed was unknown how much faster than in the skill cultivation hall. In the ant cave, the skeleton warrior kept exploring and moving forward, the map gradually improving. The experience had also been rising, and at this point, it had already reached 17% three hours later, Lin Mashian slowly stopped. The desert fruits had basically been eaten up, and the summon skeleton mage skill had been raised to level 20 by him. There was no way to level up. Lin Mo Yen checked the attributes of the skeleton mage and a satisfied luster flashed in his eyes. Silver level skeleton mage. Strength, 6000. Agility, 6000. Spirit, 24000. Physique, 6000. Skill, Ice Storm. Ice Tempest forms an ice storm within a certain range, inflicting ice elemental damage on the target, attack power depends on spirit power. Standing in front of him was a skeleton mage attack of the cold ice system. A cold aura flickered on both palms. There was constantly ice appearing and dissipating. From time to time, the sound of ice cracking would come out. A whopping 24,000 mental power after a 30-fold increase. Lin Mashian could imagine how terrifying the skeleton mage's attack power would be. Moreover, its skill, Cold Ice Storm, was a group attack skill Lin Mashian pointed in a direction and gave the command to use the skill. The skeleton mage palmed its hands and shot out a cold light. Chapter 89, Silver Level Skeleton Mage, Ant Cave Under Lin Moyu's gaze, the cold light exploded. In an instant, ice and rain were exchanged. Large chunks of ice shot down like rain. The originally scorching hot desert was instantly frozen into ice. The ice storm lasted for a full 10 seconds before it ended. It covered an area of 10 meters. A group attack skill, and it was powerful. 24,000 points of mental strength was not a false mark. As a skill that could only be mastered at level 20, it should be normal for a skeleton mage to be a little stronger than a skeleton warrior. Two types of skeletons, each with their own uses. However, skeleton mage also had its drawbacks, which was that it took too much mental energy. Summoning a skeleton warrior only required 500 points of mental energy. While summoning a skeleton mage was a full 1,500 points of spiritual energy, three times that of a skeleton warrior if he hadn't been wearing the spirit three-piece set, he wouldn't have been able to summon even a level 20 skeleton mage with just his own 1,300 points of spiritual energy. But come to think of it, who could cultivate a new skill they just mastered to level 20 as well? Basically, such a thing didn't exist. Looking at the desert fruits that were no longer much. Most of the consumption was in the second half of the summon skeleton mage skill. Especially after level 15, the consumption was extremely fast. It was almost like summoning a few times would consume a desert fruit. If only I could take it out of the copy. Unfortunately, the desert fruit was not savable and could not be taken out of the copy. It needed to be taken within 5 minutes of picking it or it would lose its effect. Otherwise, Lin Moshian really wanted to come a few more times and take a large amount of desert fruits out the rest of these can't be wasted, it's just the right time to fill up the positions of the skeleton mages. Now having 125 skeleton warriors and one skeleton mage, there were still 553 with 74 empty spots in the summoning space. While there were still some desert fruits left, Lin Moshian intended to fill all these positions. Eating a desert fruit, he then summoned five skeleton warriors. Bringing the number of skeleton warriors to 130. He then started summoning skeleton mages at full strength. 
The attributes of the summon skeleton mages were randomized and not controlled by Lin Mashian. A cloudy wind gusted and various elements vibrated. Fire system. Wind system. Electricity. A skeleton mage was summoned and appeared beside Lin Mashian. There were all kinds of series. Regardless of which series of skeleton mages, the attributes were all the same, the difference was in the different skills. Fire skeleton mage, skill, explosive flame. Explosive flame, inflicts fire elemental damage on the target, attack power depends on spirit power, ice skeleton mage, skill, ice rainstorm. Ice tempest, forms an ice storm within the area, inflicts ice elemental damage to the target, attack power depends on spirit power. Wind skeleton mage, skill, tornado windstorm. Tornado storm, forms a tornado storm within range, inflicting wind elemental damage to the target, attack power depends on spirit power. Electricity skeleton mage, skill, 5 thunderbolts, skill, 5 thunderbolts. 5 Thunder Blast, inflicts lightning damage on the target, attack power depends on mental power. The fire and electricity skeleton mage skills are single attacks. The ice and wind skeleton mage skills were group attacks. The silver white body, slightly shorter than a skeleton warrior, had a more vigorous soul fire in its skull. Elements rolled and flowed in both palms, manifesting a powerful force. Lin Mashian felt that his skeleton mage was enough to kill a mage professional of the same level in seconds when the desert fruits were completely consumed, the long vacant summoning space was finally replenished. 130 skeleton warriors, 70 skeleton mages. A whole 200 skeletons, forming an army of skeletons. Lin Mashian felt that a copy of the same level could be completely pushed across the board. What nightmare difficulty, that wasn't even a matter. Even hell difficulty was not a problem at all. Just like the tyrant desert that he was in now, a large copy that required 40 people to raid could be pushed across by himself. The skeleton army was much too strong compared to a 40-person professional. Next time I come back, it's time to cultivate other skills. There was more than one skill to cultivate, there was also skeleton armor, and slow curse that needed to be cultivated. As long as there was enough mental power, these two skills weren't difficult. The hardest thing was still corpse burst, after all, there weren't that many corpses after the monsters and the copy were killed, the corpses would disappear in no time. And he couldn't overuse it, he still needed to save some spiritual energy for emergencies. Practicing the skill before and after used up almost 4 hours. It had been over 8 hours since Lin Mashian entered the copy. At this time, the terrain in the ant cave had been initially explored and understood. The skeleton warriors had advanced 2000 meters and mapped out the insight within the 2000 meter range. Lin Mashian realized that no matter which entrance they entered through, they were actually all interconnected within. This was much like a spider's nest. The end cave was much larger than the spider's nest, and the distance of 2,000 meters deep was only a small portion. As Lin Mashian entered the cave and the distance closed, the skeleton warriors began to move again. They darted through the cavern, scouting out the terrain for Lin Mashian. There were thousands of twists and turns in the ant cavern, and it was complex and circuitous. Like a huge, incomparable labyrinth.